I don't think you're gonna make it. You if you have thin skin like that. I mean, that's why it's going down. I think I'll be fine. You'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Ethan, if I can interject right. in his behalf, I think he's gonna do better than all of us together. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I, not I, I not you and me, him, him. Yeah, Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, 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 I <laughs> that's disagree. just my opinion. I mean, our podcast is always is continually in the. I don't top know who that guy is. He's like one of the characters, podcast. right? Welcome to another episode of Ethan and Ela. Today we've got a little something on deck here. This was from one of our suggestion threads from a couple months ago actually, from a dude named Epitry. He says, this is my actual dentist. I discovered this video when I decided to look up his alter ego named Jimmy Lee the Jersey Outlaw, a name which is displayed at the top of his music albums that he gives out to his patients after each visit. So that's the basis of the story and I just love the detail that he that the dentist is actually handing out yeah. his musical CDs to his patients. <laughs> Here we go. We we present to you one fucked up dentist, a TV pilot, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. This is a pilot for <laughs> television made by a grown man. God. A grown man who is also a highly trained professional that we trust to do very <laughs> delicate and expensive work in a very vulnerable part of our body. Also, Danny say in his comment that he stopped using that dentist yeah, for he this said, reason. Yeah, he stopped using him. <laughs> Frankly, I don't blame the guy. I don't blame but the hell, guy. But you guys don't even know where we're coming from, so let's but just... But even just the format the of whole, like... The whole idea that your dentist is like, hey, check out my mixtape, it's yeah. fire as fuck. It's like, okay, dope. I'll be sure to do that and also to never come see you again. Yeah. <laughs> One fucked up dentist. AKA one fucked up dentist. That's clever playing words. Already a joke. It's a joke. Are you laughing? Or I've what? already got a joke and I'm only at the credits. <laughs> what more can you ask for? This guy's on fire. Hey, I'm one fucked up dentist. <laughs> what? Can I say what? Hey, I'm one fucked up dentist. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, the thing that's fucked up is that he's a real dentist. Yeah. So when he's saying, hey, I'm one fucked up dentist, hey, yeah. little shop of horror, he's actually a real dentist. <laughs> like you're talking about yourself. It's not, you're not playing a character. He's himself. As soon as I'll see something like that, I would also not go back to this guy. No, dude, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to go to your little shop of horror. You know what I mean? No, man. <laughs> Cancel all my appointments for the day. <laughs> We've got more important work to do. She's really into it, that girl there. The girl in front? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. She's yeah, she's probably doing a little more than insisting, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's earning her she's earning her wage right now, for real. <laughs> I can see why they did this. He's really a, he's a good dancer. <laughs> yeah. I can see why they included this shot. It's funny and he's a good dancer. He's got moves and he's got grooves and he's got swag out the tush. He's just all around funny, entertaining guy. And I gotta say, got a lot of shine on his forehead. <laughs> the shine levels are, I give it a nine out of 10. Hey baby, I'm back. Hey, it's a celebration. Jimmy, where you been? I don't know if you guys heard, I'm not singing anymore. I don't croon no more, I'm the dentist now. Hey, hey, I'm back. It's a celebration. Where you been? Hey, I'm one fucked up dentist, huh? Dennis. I'm one fucked up dentist. My teeth, you, you sons of a bitch, you. Dentist. You son of a bitch. Come on, come on, you son come of a bitch. Get him out. <laughs> I have never been more confused as to what the <laughs> fuck is supposed to be going on. This is just, I, I'm at a complete loss here. Lower it! Why is the gay guy always gotta sit next to me? Oh, he's a gay guy. That's why he's acting like that. He's gay? Yeah, he says, why is the gay guy gotta sit next to me? He's a gay guy. 
That yeah. explains his behavior. <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't get that. Well, no. yeah, that's why he's so flamboyant and uh, <laughs> loud and obnoxious, because he's gay. Yeah. Obviously. I've been to a lot of dental offices, but this is a metal sure office. Fucked up dentist. I'm out of here. Oh, <laughs> just because the gay guy's in the lobby? <laughs> this is one fucked up dentist. You are definitely strange. Uh, I don't know about you. You a guy or a girl? I don't know. Are you a guy or a girl? Come on. Very hard to tell. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. Why do you gotta be so fucked up, man? Okay, do you have insurance? Insurance? What do I look cheap? I got friggin' cash, lady. Okay, come back with me and I'll have you seated. And I got plenty of it. I want you to meet our dental assistant, Natalie. Hello, how you doing? Oh, uh, hell yes! The <laughs> fuck is that? This has got to be some kind of front here. <laughs> we'll be with you shortly. Shortly? Hold on, I'm hard as Jeopardy. I'm hard what? as Jeopardy? Gross. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the, the Did world... this turn into a porn all the time? It seems like it. it. And it has the similar production quality. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Hi, how you doing, sir? Who are you? I'm the doctor. Doctor? I don't want a doctor, I want the broad. You want the broad? Sure. Well, then we'll have a threesome. We'll use both hands. Yeah, that. Isn't this a mas massage bottle? It is a massage bottle, but it's a discount massage bottle, pal. Sure. Self-service. You got Thank you very much. You got Where you. you going? That's all right. Thank you. You're I guess, good. Natalie, we just going to have to play with each other tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's making it good. <laughs> Wifey alert. Careful at home. I told you, there's no wife anymore. The sexual tension is uncontrollable between the <laughs> two of those people, isn't it? This is gross. A-P-T. Always pull T. So if you're such a rich dentist, why are you coming here to help us? I'm not a rich dentist, Lauren. I'm a fucked up dentist. You see a this watch? I stole it from a patient. I want to I wanna go to this guy's practice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want this guy to be my dentist. He tells his patients to actually go check him out and hey, watch this. Hey, thanks for coming by. Appreciate <laughs> you. Go watch my parody. Uh, go watch my TV pilot where I steal from my patients <laughs> while they're out. Um, you see this chair you're laying in here? Well, I had a big fucking husky shirtless yeah. guy uh, laying here. He was masturbating. <laughs> it's funny. Check out that movie. <laughs> now, Brainers, think about this. Once you pull the teeth, then you make the dentures. Yeah. Hello? Right money? money? Get money, it, you money. idiots? Calm down, one fucked up dentist. We're right here. Relax. They call him one fucked up yeah. dentist. That's his name. <laughs> this is the main joke here. That, that, is, that is the driving force. That is the punchline of the show. That's the driving force, is that one fucked up dentist play on words. New Jersey is pretty close to us. I wonder if we could get a, get a cameo from the <laughs> oh one fucked God. up dentist. <laughs> well, since I'm here, maybe, maybe I have somebody look at my tooth. Can I have your name? My name's Corporal Captain Neff from Kent County, Kentucky, U.S. Army, retarded. Do you have your records? Yeah, yeah. Well, here you are. I got them. Records. What? Oh, God. What the <laughs> fuck? He wrote that just for that shit. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much for me. In a way, that was the first funny joke here. That was the first like thought. That was the first like <laughs> setup pen punchline. The old, the old one two. You know what I mean? Lower it. Well, how you doing, baby? Ooh, I'm doing great. Great. Yeah. You know I love dentists too, cause why? They know how to pull out right at the right time. <laughs> they know how to pull out right at the right time. Ew. They're old. That's a bit Too much. Too gross. I'm not sure that you want your patients to see. I don't want anyone to see this. Well, grab onto this, baby. Maybe you think your hands are shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll think your hands are shrunk. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. I got four inches for you, baby, right here. You may not like it that wide. You may not like it that wide. See, that was oh, just four inches wow. wide. 
So, ba so basically, what he's saying this is guy. he's got a tumorous, a tumorous <laughs> lesion what, what growing out of his What is four inches? It's like this much. Four inches is like, I mean, that is a big boy. That's like a fucking beer can. You know, I love magic tricks. Here's too. one for you. Pick a number between sixty-eight and seventy. <laughs> What's that joke? Sixty-nine. Oh, God! <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so gross and stupid. It's like a ten-year-old joke. It's a ten-year-old in a dad form. You know sexualized, I mean? like yeah. a, a child's joke in a grown man's form. Sexualized, like it's the like levels the, it's of It's the cringe. worst thing ever, pretty it's a, much. Yeah, it's as bad as it gets. I did a girl so good last night, Natalie, that the police came three times. The police? What is that implying? Why are yeah. the police involved? They came three times. Oh, maybe on noise complaint. I guess. It's don't don't fuck around with like yeah. sex and police in the same joke. It's yeah, that's you might want you may you may create the wrong ideas. <laughs> you go to school. Yeah, yeah. I'm graduate with school. me. You graduate magna cum laude. <laughs> you like French food? Love, I love French food. Yeah. Bon appetit, baby. Hey, baby. What's your line of work? God damn, dude. <laughs> What's your line of work? Oh, oh, I'm in the computer industry. That's nice. You come over to my place tonight and play on my hard drive. <laughs> I'll download you, unzip you, and I'll gigabyte you all night long to you dot com, baby. <laughs> click, click, click. The hell with YouTube. How about my tube? Welcome to MySpace, baby. Mm. I'm going to log in, and you, Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo! It finished really strong. This, this is what it was waiting for, and then he, like, unloaded. Mm hmm Literally. Literally. He literally <laughs> unloaded. You guys may remember our hit review of one fucked up dentist hey i'm one fucked up dentist <laughs> now this was a great one of our best videos we've yeah. made on this channel because the video was so spicy and spooky i mean frankly we could have done that on the main channel probably but i mean hey a good meme is a good meme no matter <laughs> where you put it but the meme, some memes continue to give. Yeah. You've got DJ Khaled, <laughs> you've got John Sockers, but maybe, just maybe, we have a new living meme on our hands? <laughs> now, let me explain, okay. <laughs> now, I get an email from drlove at AOL.com. Not his full email, of course, for out of respect for this yeah. gentle warrior. But so. it's basically with some numbers. Drlove at AOL.com. <laughs> Oh Dennis, God. one fucked up Dennis is emailing me his videos, okay? And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, what? Who, why is this person sharing videos with me of one fucked yeah. up Dennis? And then I realized, it is one fucked up Dennis. It's him. It's him, and, and then... And he's using an AOL? Yeah, he's got an AOL. I mean, this guy... How old is that? I, 20 years? <laughs> I don't know. People still have AOL, but this guy's still rocking the at AOL. I literally have not seen that. It's kind of an artifact. You could, prob <laughs> you could probably sell that email address on eBay. But then I was not sure. I was like, someone's duping me, right? So we have this plugin where you can see t people's tags on YouTube. Mm -hmm. and sure enough, just as Jeopardy is hard, here in the tags you can see Ethan and Ela. H3H3 H3 production. H3 H3 production. <laughs> so James, we accept your offer. Yeah. Thank you so much for reaching out. I want to give a big pop of bless to James Wiener. Show him <laughs> some love because this guy, you got to love a guy who is who's having fun with it. Yeah. So I actually love your videos. It's got a lot mm -hmm. of character and it's a lot of fun. And I like what you're doing. It's, you're out there, you're shaking, you're, yeah. you're doing your thing, man. It's already a classic here in our It's in a our fucking classic. World. And I'll tell you what. A dude who works as a dentist full time, he's got a career. He's out there following his dreams, living his passion. You say what you want about the man, he has found time in his life besides owning a whole dental practice to go out there and fucking live his dreams. God bless you, James Wiener. So without further ado, guys, it's Wiener time. So let's check out his new video, his remix, and let's give him some notes because I want this to be primetime ready. I want to see this on NBC primetime Thursday night, okay? Just take those old. Okay, his his face right now is dead serious. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know if I like the tone change in this new <laughs> episode like a little bit. I don't know if this is Dexter or Seinfeld, you know what oh, I mean? God. See this watch? You can get this one day. I stole it from a patient. 
You're one fucked up dentist. That's my watch you stole. Well, Big Ben to you too. You too. You Jew. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, a little anti-Semitism thrown in there just for good measure. Okay. Okay, sure. I'll bite. I mean, Jew rhymes with you, so yeah. it wasn't like it wasn't like, hey, hey, I don't like you. Well, fuck you, you Jew. <laughs> it was kind of a little tongue in cheek. And look, a little anti-Semitism goes a long way. I've always <laughs> said it spices up any video, so that's good. I'm offended. I'm triggered. I'm so triggered right now. I could kiss a. I could eat a potato locker. I'm so triggered right now. I'm gonna go spin a dreidel. <laughs> Like fairy tales. I love fairy tales. Really? Why don't you puff on the magic dragon, baby? <laughs> Ouch. Can you imagine actually saying that to your patient? Oh my god. Hey, do you like magic? Yeah, I like magic, you know. Why don't you suck on my dick, lady? <laughs> okay. I'm just here to get my teeth worked on, but sure, I'll suck your dick. Come on and tell Pinocchio a lie. Hey, you want to play doctor? Yeah, I did. Was this thing swollen? <laughs> <laughs> It'll only be a brick. I got some penicillin to cure you right up, baby. Oh my, you know. Come on and tell Pinocchio a lie. Oh my God, how do you think of this stuff, man? You. The dad, the dad. What's that dad mind? It's a the beautiful dad, dad mind. Hi, I'm the doctor. Hey, doctor. Are you? Is this a dentist office? How the fuck did you get in that chair without figuring that shit out? <laughs> Hi, doctor. Is this a dentist office? <laughs> Very convincing dialogue. See, and oh, you're the dentist. C. Ah, uh, what's your name? Cy. Cy. C. <laughs> Can I get my tooth filled today? C. And uh, what's the assistant's name here? Sue. Sue. C. Mm. She's my wife, too. Your wife? Mm -hmm. C. And uh, what's Sue's favorite hobby? Sex. Sex. <laughs> C. What the fuck is this? I don't know. This conversation, this, uh, this, the C. 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 Is he playing a person who doesn't speak English? No. What's the angle here? <laughs> What's the comedic angle here? It's like those old uh, sketches. Where but why like, is he saying C? Because he thinks that it's funny that it's like C, Sue, sex, and that's it. But. But it's got to be from an angle, because who, I mean, he's playing a normal person. A, presumably, he's playing a normal person that only says C. So, I'm trying to place this in reality, and I'm not getting it. Don't try. It's one fucked up dentist. <laughs> Don't try. Hey, I'm one fucked up dentist, and I want to tell you, I endorse all the products that I use in my dead office. This is Novocaine, and I want you guys to see, I take my own Novocaine, like that. If the Novocaine don't work, I take the cocaine right here. Look. That is literally you <laughs> at least pretending to do drugs in your own office. In his own fucking <laughs> office where he does actual dental work on people. He's snorting lines of cocaine, which may be real. I don't know, Aww. James. Out in New Jersey, things tend to get pretty weird and wild. And if the cocaine don't work, I take the laughing gas. <laughs> that was crazy. That was fucking wild, dude. That was like a fever dream. I felt like I yeah. was like, I felt like that was a nightmare. That, James, you need to work on a real part too. That was yeah. disappointing. Yeah. That was so disappointing. In fact, I think we should watch another one of his videos because I need some fresh <laughs> content. I was so traumatized and disturbed by that that I want to watch another one of his. Okay, dude, uh -oh. that touching is not appropriate for a stranger. Uh -oh. You're, it looks like her boyfriend is standing right there. Guy, okay, listen. No, on that touching. I gotta say no. Here's a cookie. Who cares that you're Mexican? <laughs> Do me a Do favor. Us. Do me. Do Let's us. fucking get pushy with me. <laughs> <laughs> not you. Get the earrings a little bigger. The All the money little you little got, you buy two dollar ninety nine cent costume jewelry. My uncle, my granny, he told everybody to get undressed. Watch me harassing minorities yeah. around South Beach. Dadpranks.com. <laughs> dad, this is dad. Dude, James need to do dad pranks. YouTube channel, holy shit. You can start a second channel. Dad jokes, dad pranks, dad experiments. Dad, dad, just one called dad. That's where you 
look at the camera and say lovingly encouraging things <laughs> to everybody watching. Just I mean, dad. You're a virtual dad. How funny am I? I don't know. <laughs> My kids go to private school, they won't tell me where it is. I'm funny. Oh. <laughs> How funny am I? I had a threesome list that I used both hands. <laughs> You know a good, com a good comedian always ends his jokes with, I'm funny. <laughs> like the, you know how funny I am, wasn't relevant to the joke at all. It was just completely like, yeah. a real. it was a real question actually. <laughs> He's, he was just genuinely, he's gonna wait, for, like so. It's just a survey. This is a survey. I, okay, thank you so much for listening to my joke. I'm the uh, Jersey outlaw. Uh, can you please rate that joke on a scale of one to 10? I think I'm very funny. I'd like to know what you think. Two girls all sisters. Prostitutes. Oh yeah? <laughs> Lesbian prostitutes. <laughs> I went to the Rich Carlton. They gave me the honeymoon suite. I said I ain't. Who are these girls? They keep following him. Okay, everywhere. he's got some cuties on deck here. I don't the sex does not sell in this case. He just pays them to walk around with it? That's what it appears to be so. If people think, okay, sex sells. Have cute girls follow me around the whole time. Sex does not sell in this case. Okay. Not in this case. <laughs> not in this case. Sex is not selling. Oh. You're a Jewish or that's a 57 Buick, Billy. With a nose yeah, like that. Do that Jeez, that's, that's a big that. nose. Do you really just scream that shit at yeah. people? That's not. What did he say? Exactly? He said if with a nose like that for a Jew, that's like a 57 Buick or something about his nose. Jews have big nose, by the way, if you guys oh missed the memo on that one. Am I Jewish? I'm not. Although my nose is fucking massive. This lady's so old, she puts the cane in cocaine. I'm back! Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. hey I'm back! Hey, where you been? Thanks for lunch! No problem. What the fuck, I man? Know. Dad pranks. We need to get that dad pranks channel up. This guy is a fucking menace to society. <laughs> he, he's a perfect prankster. Yeah. You know he's coked out of his brain and drunk as fuck. He thinks he's like, uh. basically this guy thinks he's Louis C.K. right now. <laughs> he's the greatest comedian that ever lived. And everybody in that city, including the person whose food he's touched, is loving it. Yeah. Because they were graced by God. One of the funniest men of all time. <laughs> hey, Uncle, hey, you blackie. Hey, blackie Jew boy, I'm gonna eat your tacos. Hey, here, you want me to sign your napkin for you? Tell your family you met Jimmy Law, the, the wiener schnitzel. You just got wienered by Jimmy Law. And the three angels wearing you, white. You, you just got wienered by Jimmy Law and the three angels. Give me your taco. Give me your taco, you, you blackie. Hey, Jew boy, give me your taco. You just got wienered. Wienered. You just got wienered. She went into the 7-Eleven. She didn't leave till 6-10. You're a big girl. Thank you. She was on the corner. The cops went and told her to break it up. She's a big girl. You guys are cougars, you know? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Two like fives you. make a ten, you know, Maria? <laughs> and by the way, hun, P.S., you know, plastic surgery. <laughs> you know, as soon as he leaves, everyone's like, okay, that what was fucking was weird. That? Everybody is like, that was fucking weird. That's so true. I am a funny guy. He's, He's a, a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Thank you, because I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. All right, dude, look, you don't, I'm not sure that's how that being funny works. I'm a funny guy. It doesn't, if you say it enough times, it doesn't make it true. Ethan, yeah. I'm a funny guy. Say it, say it 10 more times, <laughs> okay. and maybe I'll believe you. Hire a bunch of people to follow you around and tell you that, and maybe you'll believe it. I got injured when I did that. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. <laughs> I am a funny guy. He's, He's a, a funny, funny guy. guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Funny guy. Funny guy. Funny guy. Ultimately, I give it uh, two wieners out of five. Hi. Hi, is this one fucked up, Dennis? Hey, what's up, baby? What up? It's the, it, it's the wiener man himself. Today, guys, we are on our way to meet a very special person. Some would call him a living meme. Personally, me, I would just say he's the funniest guy. 
that's ever lived. A very funny guy. And if you get a hint of who I'm talking about, you're gonna be hyped as fuck, just as me. I am so giddy right now, I cannot believe I'm about to meet the funniest guy ever. Look, you probably don't even believe me, so let's just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about, because I cannot wait to get going, so. Oh, my boy. Did I tell you I fired my personal trainer? Today she got you personal. That seems like that seems like it wouldn't be too much of a problem for you. No problem at all. <laughs> no problem at all. So why'd you fire her? She got too personal. But that's good, right? Uh, I guess. So why'd you fire her? She got too personal. <laughs> the last time Ethan and I ate in this restaurant, the food was so bad I wanted to give up my citizenship and move to Czechoslovakia. Was no? Was that something you wrote, or was that just was that was that off the cuff? Off the cuff. That's a not bad. Czechoslovakia is a funny word too. Old girlfriend of mine from the eighties. What was her name? Mrs. Czechoslovakia. <laughs> you know my idea. favorite. You know my wife's favorite bird, Ethan. Um, swallow. Yeah, that's a nice bird. <laughs> You know my wife's Asian, right? I heard that. Everybody asked me, is she Chinese or Japanese? Ethan, I'm happy she's on her knees. Oh, God. Okay. So it seems like your comedy career takes, you know, the lead over your dentist career. Because it seems like you're even, you've even gone as far to chase off clients in pursuit of promoting your hair. <laughs> that was not intentional. I, I know, but like, you know. That's funny. <laughs> so it's like, how, how frequently are you passing out your, your mixtapes? We stopped music three years ago, so we're doing comedy since 2013. Are you, are you informing your clients of, of your comedy pursuits? Yes. You bet you are. It yes, is, yes. You, yes. You, yes. You, you walk I have some in. of them coming to my show. You, you walk in and the Jimmy's, the Jersey James Wiener outlaw poster is, is draping from the wall. Correct. There's press all through the, uh, <laughs> the uh, foyer, so you can see the articles of me. I, I put them up on the wall. Do you really? Oh, Lord. That's hilarious detail. You have uh, media clippings of yourself on the wall in your dentist's office. All over. No, all no, over the place. All hallways, over. reception. No, not reception. Hall hallways. All the hallways. I'm a funny guy. <laughs> now that, that actually that scene was great because it was like he's a funny guy. You were said, you saying? Cause I I didn't know if you were doing a bit because it sounded like maybe you were bit. saying I'm a fun guy. I'm a funny guy. And the girl goes, he's a funny guy. I know it's a bit, but I didn't quite understand. I mean. Just, can you explain that bit to me? It's stupid, it's slapstick. I am a funny guy. He's, He's a, a funny guy. guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Because why would I keep saying like what you said, I'm a funny guy, when I know that maybe I'm not a funny guy. And then the girls go, He's a funny guy, which makes it stupider. So it's stupid. So it's that's like, what makes it. But then when way, you repeat it, it's funnier when you keep saying it. And that's why the guy at the end of the uh, official trailer reel, he dropped in four quick bits of it. And the more you see it, it keeps getting funnier. What are we doing? We're going to take a photo. <laughs> well, what, what, was, what did you call it? A wow photo. No, okay, a wow photo. <laughs> this is the one that sells, you said. Correct. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm just following your lead. I've never done a wow photo. You have to do one. What do I do? <laughs> no, I just do like that? Yeah. And this is all it takes to do a wow photo? Just like that. Okay. You gotta smile. Did Come that wow you, Brian? Come on in here, hello. <laughs> yeah. Senor. Senor. Sir. Sure. Sure. I went to London last year, I met the Queen, she said, no, not now, I'm on the throne. Now listen to me, the English people are crazy, they won't, they won't even eat the muffins. <laughs> They're bad in London. You gotta let the guy do You meet Bloody job. Mary? You're not obligated to stay here. You know Bloody <laughs> Mary from London? She's a This drunk. is just gonna get weirder for you. This is not gonna get better. What's your name? Antonio. Tony? Antonio. Antonio or Tony? Uh, Tony. Tony, yeah. take your glasses off. You're making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Oh, my God. <laughs>
You know how I know it's a dad joke? Because only <laughs> Another dad joke. Only, only, no, because only a hey, dad Hey, by the way, I never forget a face, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. I heard that. I remember that one. Don't move, Ethan. I want to forget you just the way you are. <laughs> one day you're going to go far. I hope you stay there. Don't, you know how I know it's a dad joke? Because only a dad can humiliate you at a dinner table this severely. <laughs> this I mean, severely. seriously. The more I think you, the less I think you. Like, You'll I, be all right. I already there. barely know the guy, and he's, he's I'm putting my head <laughs> in my hand. Who who can embarrass a waiter that much Put, other than dad? Put, what? Uh, nobody would know the difference. I'm, I'm, married, Chinese. I'm married, but my wife's not. I like you. <laughs> okay. And I want to make passionate notes. All right. You. But tonight I want to be on the bar. Okay. And I want you to be up on top. So Ethan's going to come home with a bunk bed. Okay. So this way I'm going to be on the bottom and you're going to be up on top. All right. Okay? I like piggybacks. You like piggybacks? I do. I really Brian do. Brian will jump in. Okay. Now the owner, wow. you don't want to lose your job. Maybe no. your virginity, but not your job. <laughs> and where are you from? Hong Kong? Uh, no, the contract to be signed. Oh, <laughs> Look at his face. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it's okay. It's this is normal. normal. I want to ask for the record. Like you right away too. Yeah, me too. Uh, what was that? That's what Ethan is. The beauty of me. That's the real deal. Unscripted, uncensored, and that's what people want. Me on the streets. Billy, get off the streets. The Jersey Outlaws on the streets. Okay, but what about that whole thing? The Asian girl? That, like Asian jokes and like having sex with her that seemed like kind of inappropriate. It was very appropriate. It seemed like kind of like awkward. No, Brian was really digging it. Brian just got instead of an election erection. This is the stuff that's gonna hit is the street comedy I, and I, the fun I, stuff I with think, the people. I think what I just saw was one of the most awkward things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to be ironic or funny. We're either going to end up in jail or famous. Oh my god. Where are you from? Where am I from? He's just New York. I'm from New York. Where are you from? What street? Sorry, my, my father did take his medication today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cheerio! When you're in England, do what the British people do. Complain. Alright, you, you, come on. Hi, take your glasses off. You're making a special for yourself. Are you from the hood or can I borrow the hood? Okay. I'm not sure about this. I'm just not sure what to do because Jimmy, he gets, he does his thing. You married? And no, the cameras aren't even looking at him. I don't know if I should intervene because we were just supposed to walk around the park and chat, like get to know each other. And this is the result of that. So I don't really know what to do. What's your first name, sir? Tell you a joke. I went to New York one day and I wasn't funny. It just happened to be today. Found it. Uh, <laughs> I went to lunch today and Brian, as usual, didn't reach in. Found he it. reached out. Found it. I went to lunch today and the waiter told me I'm going to have to felt the fish in a bagel. I said, first of all, in an Italian restaurant. And the joke I'm telling you makes no sense, Pam. Found it. <laughs> and the last joke I'm going to tell you is you make a lot of money on YouTube. Feed the, feed the wife a little bit. Fat her okay, up a little yeah, bit. Found it. Found it. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw. We're tying up the knot. We're in New York City. We're with YouTube gurus Ethan and Hilla <laughs> and Brian W. for Wiener. Davidson. It's the Jersey time. Outlaw. We, it's it's winter time. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Ethan and Hila. It is showtime here today <laughs> because guess what? It's <laughs> winter time. I'm completely insane. Last time we met him, we asked him to make another one. Because he duped us. He said yeah. he made the part two, but it wasn't really a part two. Yeah. And I honestly <laughs> felt betrayed by that. So we kind of were like, James, may I call you Jimmy? Mr. Wiener. <laughs> you got to make a real part three and he yeah. promised us he would do it and sure enough here it is <laughs> Dude, he knows how to hype this shit <laughs> One Woo! fucked up, he got his own <laughs> He got his own like doctor coat with one fucked up yeah. dentist. I hope he wears that around the office. Oh my god <laughs> What can you say about the guy? He's just a great guy. He's one fucked up dentist. He's a funny guy. He's both Remember lovable that? 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do I remember? He's a funny guy. What do you say? I am a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. <laughs> I'll never, I've tried to forget it. I never will. He's both lovable and criminally insane at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I love about him. Yeah. And he's a funny guy. Yeah. Dude, I am so hyped! This is the summer blockbuster of the year, Ela. One fucked up Dennis written in semen font. Yes! That's what I love. I'm so hyped, dude. Holy shit. What's with all the dancing? Yeah, I don't know why he uh, he's a dancer, didn't you know? That was his first love in life, his dancing. Okay. Is it a dancing show, Jimmy? Or is it a comedy show? Cut to the chase, Joe. <laughs> this is so long! <laughs> it's such a long dance That's scene. why it's 13 minutes. It's just 10 minutes of them dancing and celebrating and <laughs> jumping down the street and shit. Man, this guy is just he's committed to that. This is so long. This is way too long, Jimmy. This is not a good edit. Pal, you got problems. Yeah, I teach math. Could you teach me geometry? You show me the ladies with the curves, pal, and I can show you all the angles. Wow, wow. Well, why are you coming to this? Wow. I see my psychiatrist now for my teeth, but he will only treat my sensitive teeth. What a quack! Wow, wow. There's a problem in the balance here. The guy is taking more attention he's from Jamie. He's stealing the show. And I feel like it's depressing, Jamie. He's stealing the show. He's outshining. He's out wiener timing. <laughs> okay, can you tell me your dental problem? No, no. Right now, I have a mental problem. Why is that? Because you are my dentist. Lady, how about you open wide and swallow? I like Jimmy to be the star of the show. Yeah. Because he is the star. He wants to be the star. He is the and star. And if he's not the star, I feel like he's sad. Hmm. Oh, is this a sad Jimmy? Are we seeing a sad side? <laughs> That's what I see. That's interesting. <laughs> I think I got dippy doodleitis. The hell's that? That's when you think you got. He's a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Wow. Just in the chair to make you more comfortable, lady. Now take off your clothes and let's get started. I'm wacky. I'm a black guy. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> I'm a black guy, Jimmy! I'm a black guy, da -na 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 -na. Wow. I'm a black guy, da -na 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 -na. <laughs> You have got to give it up to the boy Jimmy for doing that. I'm a black guy. That was... He's that, back. That was like the first actually funny thing. <laughs> this show needs to be a, a nominated for some awards after that, some comedy awards. He actually has framed clippings on his hallway. It's like you get a moment to still consider it before yeah, you're going exactly. in. Yeah, exactly. It's like, are you, you sure? Can still turn around. Are you sure? <laughs> you can still turn around. The writing is literally on the wall here, guys. Turn around. Na, na, na. I'm a black guy. Da, na, 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 na. You're black guy. How long have you been black? Hi, I'm looking to get my teeth fixed. How long have you been black? It's one of his jokes. Do you usually <laughs> say that to, to, I guess he does. That's part of his thing. And that. If you guys have black friends out there, you meet black people for the first time, a great way to break the ice, how long have you been black? I can't work on you. Why? Because you don't got black teeth. Buddy, your teeth are perfect. It's your dick that's crooked. Why do you say that? Because you walk with a limp. You go to college? I went for eight years, but to a two-year community college. Wow, and I see you have a history of drugs. I did. I did, but now it's sell the drugs. What are the jokes he's just making like know. black stereotypes? So what are you, a criminal? You take drugs? Okay, you're black and also, okay, great, that's the bit. <laughs> I'm a black guy. <laughs> you're a sexy guy. I'm gonna be the barge with you and you'll be the dock and you lay there all night and go, hit the dock, honey, hit the dock. You're a sexy guy. You wanna play cowboys and Indians? Yeah, tonight I'll be Cochise. I'll put a little war paint on my ass. I'll get on top of the bed and I'll go, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, I'm a sexy guy. Oh, now my bowels are in an uproar. I've been here one hour. I want my cleaning done now. Ah, ah. Now that's better. Ah! Dude, shit on the floor. Jimmy! 
What the hell did you do? You just had to shut the lobby! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What's going on here? Well, I was here for a cleaning, but I'm all right now. <laughs> Buddy, you took a shit in the lobby. What the hell's wrong with you? That's one fucked up dentist. <laughs> We've got people shitting on the floor. We've got cleavage <laughs> out of control. We've got a black guy. Look, I know I've said some bad things about this video, but I, it stepped up. There's some plot now. There's a guy shitting on the floor. Yeah, that's the story. That's a development. <laughs> that's a key development. Let's see what happens with the poop on the floor. Listen, you... nuts. I don't have all day. I'm an important guy. I got a big time job. Big time house, lots of money. You see, Doc, I'm old school. I don't ever think you went to school. <laughs> I'm telling you, Doc, I'm old school. What is this? It's like the same line. I can't even find anything to say about it. There's <laughs> shit on the floor, Jimmy. There's shit on the floor. Can we please talk about the shit on the floor? You go into the 7-Eleven, pal. You don't leave till 6-10. All right, now can I get my dental work done? Yeah, follow me, pal, but don't follow me too close here. I'll call the cops. What about the shit on the floor, Jimmy? You just gonna it? leave it's, the shit on the floor? It's just a little shit on the floor. What's the big deal? Maybe we need to get in there and write an episode for Jimmy. <laughs> I feel like he needs some help. You gotta go home and clean your ass. No doctor's gonna work on you with a dirty ass. You gotta wash your ass. Clean your ass. Soap, water the whole nine yards, buddy. Wash your ass. Clean your ass. Wash your ass. <laughs> I don't understand anything that's happening in this video anymore. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to say. So we found out about Jimmy Lee on our subreddit. There was a post and he's like, I have this dentist in New Jersey or Philadelphia, one of the mm -hmm. two. And he, my dentist gave me a mixtape while he was working on my teeth of his band called Jimmy the Jersey Outlaw. And he was like so weirded out by it <laughs> that he never came back to that dentist. <laughs> but what he did is Googled his name because he was fascinated. <laughs> fascinated <laughs> by the guy. And what he found was um, was incredible, right? So what he found was that he was also making comedy sketches in his dentist practice beyond passing out his mixtape. Yeah. So here's that video. And this is how we found Jimmy. Just to give you an idea, it was called One Fucked Up Dennis, AKA One Fucked Up Dennis. The non cheeky version. All right, this credit goes way too far. One Fucked Up Dennis. <laughs> so. So he's, yeah. And then, they're, like, just, I mean, you know. Just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. And then here's a timestamp, a little one specific moment that caught my eye. Great. Yeah. You know, I love dentists too, because they know how to pull out right at the right time. Right. Well, grab onto this, baby. Maybe you think your hands are shrunk. <laughs> so, uh -oh. just for the record, this is his real assistant <laughs> that he put into this sketch, you know, and he's married, he has kids. He's probably a great family man, for all I know. I don't know. Hi. But. Yeah. I got four inches for you, baby, right here. You four like inches. It that <laughs> you know, I love magic tricks, Here's too. one for you. Pick a number between 68 and 70. <laughs> I did a girl so good last night, Natalie, that the police came three times. You go to school? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm graduate like, with me. You graduate magna cum loudly. <laughs> so anyway. So, but this is a whole, like, total <laughs> romp, right? This, this sketch was something that I had never seen before. And so we made a video about it on our second channel um, that, that, you know, got his attention. And we ended up meeting up with the guy. But I would say, even before I get to that, what he's most famous for is his street comedy. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a taste of this. Three, we're here. Couple black girls. You're black, I took a guess. How long have you been black? You're right. <laughs> This one. I'm half she went into the 7-Eleven, she didn't leave till 6-10. You're a big girl. So, his comedy style is essentially <laughs> roasting people he's never met before. It's it's incredible what he gets away with. Yeah. Sheesh. Hey, how you doing, you big fat? <laughs> how long have you been black? It's really great to watch. I mean, it's really so fascinating. Ugh. I'm so aware of myself saying it now. Fascinating. That took way too the long. The delay. Down. We gotta work on that delay. You gotta be. You gotta be. 
You got to be Doc <laughs> Holiday on that fascinating button. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Goddamn restaurant. What is it with you? You're Jewish or that's a 57 Buick, Billy. With a nose you like that. Jeez, that's a big like nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh so like he's like a drive-by <laughs> insult artist like when people go on a show like the roast right you know, they know what they're getting into and they're volunteering themselves right 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 but he's just walking on the street and just insulting people <laughs> like brutally <laughs> well Ela, don't you know when you walk on the street you consent to be roasted by jimmy lee <laughs> Freddy <Krueger>. <laughs> <laughs> he brought cameramen with him i wonder if they know what they're getting themselves into <laughs> I don't think they've ever worked together before. It's gonna be interesting to see the uh, see how that works out. <laughs> this is one of my favorites here. He's talking to these old ladies. Or what did he say to them? Wait. You guys are cougars. You know Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you guys are cougars, Freddy Kruegers. <laughs> And he's saying two You're fives ten. make a ten. You're ten. Two fives makes a ten. Yeah. And P.S. Plastic surgery. It's a little rough telling a girl to get plastic surgery, to be honest, but that's just, that's the art. That's the hey, art. What do you do here? I'm a stripper. You're a stripper. Wow. She went and got a boob job two weeks ago because it's all she could qualify for. <laughs> I mean, he paid this girl to come with her. Anyway, you guys get the idea. If you're not familiar... We've got some more clips planned. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Sports. Guess what? You oh, guys... this one. Wait, this is the one. Okay, I want to watch this one later. All right. So that's pretty much Jimmy in a nutshell. Here's a good hey, one. Man. We're here at Comic Con Might in so. Philly, and I want to tell you. Oh, you can keep going. Hey guys, today I discovered black and white television. Let's hear it right now. Black and white TV, back from the '60s. But it's back. Your name? Uh, Anna. Think about She's it so scared man. of him. And your name? Jordan. Jordan. We're Jordan and Anna. They date. They have a lot of fun. They mix it up a little bit. Tonight she's going to be black. He's going to be white. They do whatever the hell they got to do to get a little attention. So anyway. Ooh. To get a little attention? Eesh. And then, so anyway, this is his comedy. And then after all that, we made a couple, several videos about it. We went out and we met the guy. I like you. <laughs> okay. And I want to make passionate about it. All right. But tonight I want to be on the bottom. Okay. And I want you that to Discord know. doesn't work. It shows up on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The Discord doesn't work, guys. So Ethan's going to come over the bunk base. Okay. So this way I'm going to be on the bottom and you're going to be on the top. All right. Okay. I like piggybacks. You like piggybacks? I do. I really Brian do. Brian will jump. So we went out to lunch and he started like... He's trying to like fuck. I couldn't tell if he was actually trying to fuck this girl. Okay. Now the owner, wow. you don't want to lose your job. Yeah. Your virginity, your job. And your contract to be signed. So anyway, just I'm trying to give you as much full context as I can because I think a lot of people. This was a long time ago, and since then, since we made these videos together, we've kept in touch. We've kept in touch big time. We, I mean, Jimmy emails me very frequently. He, he pretty much emails me like five times a day. We're best friends. He emails Ela too. Except I ended up blocking him. <laughs> Only because brutal. I gotta keep my inbox clean, you know? I yeah, gotta, it wasn't personal. I gotta see. But I, I endured it because I'm like, Jimmy's a legend. I mean, the guy's, the guy's a legend. So, look, that was, was kind of... Kind of brutal, but uh, <laughs> you have blocked his ass. I don't feel bad saying that, but uh. it's just look. We're just try we're trying to be forthright. We're trying to be frank here. And Jimmy, he's a legend. Are we ready to bring him in? Here we go. We got so Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. Welcome, the legend. We just did a full intro on you. Welcome aboard. I appreciate that. Um, Jimmy also brought his cameraman with him. You want to check this real quick, Sarko? Yeah, we'll want to check audio? Make sure. Now, what's the cameraman for? Well, the cameraman is just to make me feel good because when you get older and nobody cares about you and pays attention, you have to pay people to hang out with you. That's kind of what's happening. That was me. like, uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was well, real, kind of. Yeah, things are things are tough for me now. Oh, my I'm God. I'm having a rough time. Are things you, are wait, tough. I, I are you a doing a bit? That's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> setting me up. I'm setting you up. Yeah, what's the setup? I got a new girlfriend, though. You know about her? No. Oh, she's a blow-up doll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she takes my breath away. Nice. Mm -hmm. So what is your name? Sarkis. Sarkis? Uh -huh. Sarkis. Yeah. 
Awesome. Sarkis and I met at Folsom County Prison many years ago. Is he was true? actually an inmate. Mm -hmm. true? Are you familiar mm -hmm. with... Um... Oh, my God. All right. Audio, good young fellow. Okay, enough. No more movement. Yeah. Uh, do you know what you're getting yourself into? A little bit. Are saw you? some of his videos on <laughs> what, was your, what was your reaction? Really funny. Yeah, funny guy. He's one funny guy. <laughs> so how are you, dude? How you been? Um, I'm having some, some problems, Ethan. Wait. wait. <laughs> I'm having Where some are we? problems. We're going back to the beginning. Let's move past <laughs> no, that. No, things are fine. How are you in life? Tell me. Like Things are good in life. Things are good. I don't have any complaints. Well, I, I have a couple complaints. I had a dog. I told you about the dog we got rid of. You know about him. The what? kid was in the hallway with his leg up in the air. I had to get rid of the dog. It was what? awkward. My son, I would walk in the hallway, had his leg up in the air. So the dog, and then the dog kept teaching the wife how to roll over and play dead. I had to get rid of the dog. <laughs> yeah. We called the dog Egypt in every room he left the pyramid. Right. The dog's gone. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Good. Okay, so wait, but can... Is, is it a, a possibility to ask you how are you doing, like, not as a bit? Yeah, how are, yeah like, how I'm are doing, you, though? I'm doing fine. Here overall. comes. No, overall. <laughs> okay, but. overall, good. I, I'm, I'm a farmer, so, overall. <laughs> how have you been since last we saw each other? Because it was a pretty intense moment for me. Like, it's, it's no secret, like, between us <laughs> that it's, it can be awkward for people to be around you, right? Like, you know that you elicit that response. Why, why do people think that when I'm just a funny guy trying to have fun, why does that um, perception happen? You don't know? No. Or I hear dad jokes or cringe, and I, I'm just trying to be funny and cute, and people take the whole thing the wrong way. Okay. I don't know. Okay, that's I don't a, get oh, that. that. Well, this is great. Okay. okay, so here, okay, well, I actually have a clip, one in particular, and I'll just show it now because I think this is a great place to jump in. Well, if I had to tell you, I think it's because you tend to be like way too offensive. Right. But to it's people in a people you just met. Right, but people don't get that it's cute. They get they well, take you, it the wrong so, way if okay. they don't know me, right? Right. But none of them know you. <laughs> that's that's the, pro the problem. So that's we have to get problem. famous so everybody <laughs> yeah. knows me and then when I do my shtick I'll be okay. Yeah, you got So like, that's the key. You've got like a catch 22 where you're like my my bits are just mean unless I'm famous. And then they're great. And then they'll know because they'll know my caveat. It's kind of getting oh, yeah. in the way of you getting there, maybe. Right. Or not. Mm. Let well, me let me let me watch this particular clip because this one struck me as as being which? particularly brutal. Which one is this? So, one? Here. Guess what? You guys, it's Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. I got the eighth one of the world over here and the ninth one of the world. Tell them your name. Nicole. Nicole. Shalimar. Shalimar just got her own zip code two weeks ago. So, like, you're just, you're basically just, like, <laughs> making, like, brutal fat jokes yeah. next to these girls. And the thing is, like, they don't, you know, they don't expect it. You're like, hey, do you want, like, how do you introduce them? How do you get them to come in the video? Well, a lot of times they see the cameras and the models and the photographers. They know something's happening. Right. So mm -hmm. that's a little uh, preempt to bring them in. Right. But they don't know what's going to happen. So you get that, uh, they, the candid response because mm. if you kind of tell them ahead of time hey we're going to do insult jokes you want to do it it takes away from the uh the, the candid the response and then it, it's not as funny and then there's sometimes we'll do clips and the other people don't react and then it's not funny because both people have to react to make it funny mm. so you'll do some clips people get upset or they they're not interested well do you ever feel like maybe i took this too far yeah but i never had any filters you know, that's mm. that's a good thing and a bad thing. Now, when I'm doing my business and running a company, you know, if you saw me doing that, you wouldn't even know it's me because I have right. multiple you locations, 50 employees. I own my own denture lab. I got 10 docs that work for me and I got a big outfit. And so you're, you're a successful dentist. What is your passion? Is it comedy or dentistry? Well, I have one dream left. You know, I've made enough money. I have a big company. I have a wonderful family. I've been with my wife 30 years. Two kids. My la my last. I've traveled all over. My last thing, Ethan, I want to do is just get famous and known. That's famous the only and known. thing. Yeah, that's the only void Why? in my life. What is that about for you? I had a void since I was a kid. I always wanted to be a celebrity and a star. You know what's strange? What about thing? it? That it I to never. You? I never got past it. Why? Um, they're really, it's a good question. I don't know why. I think uh, my grandfather, when I was real young, took me to the 500 club and I saw the celebrities and I got that buzz. 
And then in college, the casinos came to Atlantic City. I used to go see all the shows, and I just got a high from entertainment. Hmm. I wasn't doing this for money. I'm not making money doing it. <laughs> right. It's a passion from here. So what does your wife think about the— She thinks I'm nuts. And, right. and I got my oldest son that thinks I'm nuts, and my young one thinks I'm hysterical. So what does she think about all the female attention you get? Because I see— in your videos, you're often escorted by beautiful young women who... They're, they're show pieces and sizzle pieces, and I do sizzle. security guards now, too, based on, right. like, the Comic-Con I did them. It's basically uh, just a, a, an adjunct or a show piece, or, or, like, if you go to your the steak place, there's the sizzle, and then there's the substance. The substance, if the steak's good, the sizzle's how the restaurant looks, and if there's pretty waiters... So the girl sizzle for you. It's a sizzle effect. Where that's do you find these girls? Modeling agencies. Okay. That's, that's basically all they are. And the security guards a security guard agency it's just a, a business transaction i pay the girls for the day or the security guards okay, for the day. but they they create an effect got it and an illusion is really what it is right um, so it's a marketing tool is it possible are you are you going to be there the whole time <laughs> it's a little hard for me to focus on are you filming are you filming we have three cameras just, in here jimmy i mean i He's don't mind the, i don't mind the guy here but it's hard for me to focus on you when it when okay. Get out, dude. <laughs> oh, can no, he I'm stay kidding. and do stills? Or no? <laughs> Not really. No. This, this Okay, one okay. Is, you know. We'll do the stills Thanks, all the time. Dude. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Sorry. Well, all right. <laughs> well. All right. Sorry, I just... I no, it's pretty... Yeah. I'm, That's totally it, fine. It's usually pretty intimate for us. Like, we're just having a conversation. Okay. So. I wrote a song, Spanish Girl, in 2011. And it was a ballad, which I normally don't write. And um, it was a beautiful song. It was probably one of my best songs. And it got some radio play and it didn't go anywhere. And I said, that, that's it with music. I, 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 put in, I put out something that was like a Mona Lisa. Was it? Do you Spanish, have it available? Should we listen Spani to it? Spanish yeah, Girl to it. on, uh, listen to it. And, Spanish and Girl Spanish by? Spanish Girl, Jimmy Lee. So listen to a piece of it. I mean, that's what made me stop when that, that's wow, it right there. Wow, that cover when, is When really this <laughs> didn't, when this cover. song didn't go big. Listen to just You realize when this song didn't go where you wanted it that, all right, let's watch this video. Yeah. Who's the girl? Another model. She's a model, Jen Ortiz. That's you singing? That's me singing. I'm really talented with music. That's it by a producer, so it's Did mixed. you write it? I wrote it. Every song this you see. This is all you. Every song I've done is written by me. This is really something. It doesn't sound like you. It's, it's mixed. Huh. <laughs> It sounds good. That's some, that's rock and roll, baby. Yeah. Listen to the course a tiny bit more. Just where you were at. That's the bridge. Where are you right now? Philadelphia. Mm. When did you shoot this? 2012. So, um, that what happened with comedy was it was a fluke that I got into comedy. I was doing a music show one night and... The lady introduced me to a comedy booker, and I said, you know, my wife always tells me to do comedy, and uh, he goes, well, we have an open mic. Come down in a week. So I, I got some jokes, and I went down, and I did like five minutes, and people laughed. Mm -hmm. And I said, all right, I'll try this. That's exactly what happened. It was actually, Ethan, a fluke. So would you want to roast one of us? Because you're like a roast comedian, right? <laughs> Yeah, but we're, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're having this this serious thing, and now I got to go into Jimmy Lee mode. Let's do it. All right, so um, you, who am I roasting? Am I roasting? You can start with me. You want me to start with you? Take it, Elon. Poor Elon. Yeah, I can take it. Well, you know, we all know. Can I, Ethan? First of all, while the viewers are listening, can I can I confess something that a lot of people don't know, what? and I think Hila doesn't know? Hmm. May I do this on the air? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay, well, Ethan, I'm here to tell you, and Hila, I'm here to tell you that I am Ethan's real father. And <laughs> I just wanted to tell you on the air live, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna do this, you know, uh, all yeah, up. I, I want this is and, and I, I have photos home and everything. You do. I know you think about mom and dad. And Ethan, the other thing is your mom, and I know you don't believe this, mm -hmm. is a Kutana. What is that? What is she that? is Afro American. 
<laughs> Wait, what is Kutan? That seems racist. <laughs> no, no, no. It's from the, <laughs> the Disney that? part. Oh, it so, is. So, yeah, I'm your real dad. Mom, what the fuck? <laughs> and your mom is, yes. And I, I know you don't know this, right. but you need to know this. And I have photos, and I can bring them in later and show My you. My mom is probably texting me right now. <laughs> <saying Yeah. it's laughs> <laughs> now, your mom is a Kutan, and I am your real dad, Ethan. So, son. So I'm half black? So you, wait, Yes, you just don't look it. that my mom's black. Well, we that would be a surprise. It is true because we had a lot of treatment, skin treatments done with you when you were young. <laughs> yeah. We you did. dipped me in bleach. We bleached you a lot. Okay. Yes, right. yes. All right. Oh, so yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a confession, and Heal, I wanted you to be here when I, I liked, did that. I like that I asked you to roast me, and then you're my dad is the hardest roast <laughs> I could deliver. <laughs> yeah, let's hear some material. Let's hear some of that fresh original. Well, content. I have some new material, okay. oh, which is it. nice. This is an Armani, my okay, shirt. Okay, good. Yeah, Salvation Armani. And I was telling right. uh, Ethan uh, the difference between a Jew and a canoe, and he said, what is the difference between a Jew and a canoe? I said, a canoe tips. And uh, I can keep that joke to myself, Hila, if you don't <laughs> like it. And uh, I, I remember, I remember. Well, okay. Canoes tip, unlike Jews, Jews don't tip. Tip like money? Because Jew, Jew, oh. tip like money. A canoe tip? So, yeah. Ethan, although, you know. Although good canoes aren't supposed to tip. Right. So, so Ethan, when he was a little boy, we took him to the zoo when he was five and we left him there. And this is what, what happened. This was the, the result. Mm -hmm. And we had him work in a pet store when he was 11 and people used to come and ask him how big he'd get. So he quit that job. When he was a teenager, uh, he was a lifeguard in a car wash one summer, got wet. So he quit doing that. Mm -hmm. And he went to high school and he graduated ninth in his class, actually out of 10. And he was he a, a honor student in high school. Yes, your honor. No, your honor. Thank you, your honor. And uh, you want any more? <laughs> he did go oh to college two years, Hila, and he quit. And I said, Ethan, were you a dropout? How He's... do you know so much about me? I'm your father. Yeah, okay, it all makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, Jimmy, do me a favor. Take off those glasses. You're making a spectacle. Oh, I never heard that joke before. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, how long have you been white? I'll be black with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't even get the jokes. Like, I don't no, even one of my new mean. one of my jokes is when I do the blacks. I have my whole setup, but the when blacks? I'm done, when I'm done, I go. I'll be black with you in a minute. I added that one in. <laughs> That's powerful. It is. You powerful. seem to be very right. focused on race, like when you do your bits. Well, I was a marathon runner, and that's part of that reason. Yeah, why? Is <laughs> oh you said God. I was focused on race, right. and it's because I was a marathon runner right. when I was younger. <laughs> right. How'd she get that, and you didn't? <laughs> Race? Well, I don't know why. If just the, I kept <laughs> it's hearing, it was bad. No, I kept, it was bad. No, it was good. I just kept hearing you say blacks in my mind. Yeah. And I was like, "Do is it racist to refer to black people as blacks?" Um, Hila, I'll defer to you on that. I don't know. I'm I'm from Israel. I'm... But you say that, right? You say you say the blacks. That's yes. what you say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chocolate mocha. You know. Colored cream, you know, they're all different flavors. Because some of the stuff, I feel like if you said this to the wrong person, you could be in danger. Well, you know what I did dumb? Did you watch that, uh, hey, you want some change? I went into Camden, I did something stupid, I could have got killed. Oh, I want to watch that. How's oh, it called? Oh, my God. How's it called? Hey? It's brutal. Hey, you want some change, you want Jimmy some Lee? some change, Jimmy yeah, Lee. Yeah, you, you want to, Hila, you'll die when you see this. This sounds good. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. it's brutal. Okay, so set this video up. <laughs> I go to Camden with a bunch of quarters. What's Camden? It's the worst area of South Jersey. It's all. Okay. Uh, you know, Medicaid people, poor people, and I go to the bus station and watch. It's hysterical. It, and it, it you, is brutal. And then you ask these poor people if they want change. Well, watch what I do to do it. It's 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 kind of it's 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 they. You talk about danger. This was stupid of me to do. Now that I look back, I would never do this again because I could have really got killed. Did you feel the in danger while you were doing it? We left after about a half hour because some people started up, and right. I was only with one guy. You didn't have the whole, you no. didn't have the girls, you didn't have, yeah. It was me and one guy on my phone <laughs> filming. All right. Oh, he's on your film. On my phone oh, your filming. Phone. Oh, yeah. wow, this is great. Let's have a look. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> Say, you want some change, poor people? <laughs> that's funny, because they're poor. Mm -hmm. And they probably do want change. Well, that's what makes it cute. Watch, watch. It's cute. Watch, watch. <laughs> I became very popular. Question right up, I'm gonna give you some change. What's your name? My name is Mike. Correct. Where are you from, Mike? Yes. Correct. That's stupid. Are you black? Yes, sir. Correct. <laughs> that makes your name. This is funny. 
the big question. How big? Huh? That's kind of a personal question, right? It's funny because who would do this? That's why I don't get the people don't get uh, That's me. why it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Who would do this? That's why you're healing. We have to get famous so people well, expect you know, to see it. That's like, you know, that's almost like murdering your whole family and then being like, who would do this? <laughs> well, it's okay it's because funny, I'm famous right? now. People it's expect cute. It. It's cute. It's funny. <laughs> who would do this? I'm not that crazy over the line. You're not that crazy. <laughs> no. But that never, would be funny. I would never hurt a person. I just want to be noticed. <laughs> And have fun. That's really all it is. So I guess you're successful if that is your goal. But let's keep watching. <laughs> By the way, how much money were you giving this guy? I had a bunch of quarters in my car. A couple maybe bucks. 50 bucks a quarters. We had fun. Yeah, we had a good time. We had fun. We had a lot. We almost got killed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was a good time. But there's it, there's more good scenes so if let's, you want to watch. Yeah, I want to watch this. Let's, let's find out how big this guy's dick is. How big's your dick? To this. That's the width. How big's your dick? <laughs> now, come here. How big's your dick? You this keep it. pushing it, too. It's like... He's also yeah! Oh, <laughs> he's also on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's on the phone. Like, I love it. I love it. So why? So why do you keep pushing the? It's your big. Like, are you genuine? You just like the awkwardness. You like to push that boundary. Um, a bit. A bit's good when the person reacts, mm -hmm. and you have to be innate when you do entertainment. Innate. Innate. You have to kind of know without thinking about it whether to push, whether to go away. Like if someone's really getting mad, you apologize, you stop and you don't, you don't put that clip in. Of course. And when somebody's going with you and they're energetic and he's manic -y like me, you, you push it. So, you know, you He kinda... was welcoming you. Yes. Or he, the energy was come hither. Ener Let's keep the quarters rolling. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, there's more funny bits in this. 60 inches, yeah. correct, and you win the grand prize. Yeah, Here's the white guy. Yeah. We got, wait a minute. Watch wait, this wait, one. This guy's homeless, and let me tell you guys something. I'm dating a homeless girl now, and the coolest thing about going out with a homeless girl is wherever you drop her off after the date, she's home. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Next week, she liked that. Next week, ha ha. Ha ha to you. Next week, she's moving into an abandoned Watch mini. what I make this guy do. You want some change? Yeah. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. All right. Where'd you get your beer? This guy doesn't seem down right. with your shit. No, but watch what I make him do. Ethan, it's hysterical. Watch a little more of this. Watch this. This, this big black guy on you is He wants a out. picture. He wants a picture. Oh, he watch, just wants a picture. Watch what this white dude does. Watch okay. him. Wait, he knows you? No, he thinks I'm famous. He wants a picture. Watch him. Mm. The black dude on the right. Watch the white guy on the left, what he does. Watch. Uh, what's your first name? What's your first name? Yeah. Correct! You get changed. Are you gay? <laughs> well, ask that question again because he thinks you are. Are you gay? Are you bisexual? No. Are you trisexual? No. Correct! You now watch what happens I'm now. I'll try anything. <laughs> in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. I'm talking to Kevin. The Irish Kevin? Watch this. <laughs> it's your fucking day. Start doing the leprechaun shit. Dance around. It's St. Patrick's Day. We did this. The fucking white guy, he's got rhythm. You black guys aren't the only ones got rhythm. So you see, it's it's just being crazy. And what I did was I didn't think before I did this reel and I watched it, Ethan. And I could have actually got killed. I would never go into the danger zone like this. This is kind of being manic not thinking before you do something. That's probably the most risque reel, reel I did. Do you put people under and then work on them? Well, if they ask me for gas, you know what I do? I give them electric, you know, because they always turn me on, especially the middle-aged ladies. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Where's that, where's that clip? Where's that oh, clip? Yeah. Here he goes. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, it's a vibrating toothbrush, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give that to my middle-aged ladies that are lonely. <laughs> it's actually really good. It's a great toothbrush. You know what I told one dental patient the other day? I All said, right, bring out the cane, Dan. No, I said when we're done, get dressed and use the mouthwash. She did. Okay, good. So wait, do you wear the sunglasses when you're at work? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. This is the Jimmy Lee look. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. God thank bless you. you. Kids, thank, you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And H3H3 yeah. H3 rocks. <laughs> thank you, guys. Welcome back to the H3 podcast live. Unfortunately, this week. <laughs> All right. How was that? <laughs> that was a ride. That was a ride. It was. Um, it was some pretty, uh, pretty powerful stuff out there. Uh, I think we made we we um, I think we broke some new ground though. Yeah. I mean, you got him to get real for a couple for like moments two seconds. There. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
There was there was a little chink in the armor right at the end there too. It seemed yeah, like that's the, the, the guard came down. Right, a there was bit. A, some realness there where he's yeah. like, you know, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Hope that was a uh, interesting experience for you. <laughs> and I've never told this story before, but I might as well now. Jimmy Lee has a special. He has a special spot in our Hall of Fame, <laughs> where we were trying out a new thing, bringing him on because he's a more meme than man. Well, yeah, yeah. And so we're like, well, let's try Jimmy Lee and see what kind of you know beautiful train wreck that is. Well, it was more train wreck than beauty. <laughs> and during the first break, me, Elon, and Dan were in the corner, and we're like, like, this cannot go on. <laughs> we gotta cut this. <laughs> you know, we gotta we gotta give him the cane. <laughs> so we came back without him. Honestly, it's our fault for not planning better. Yeah. And not knowing what we're doing. But, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Jimmy Lee's a Hall of Famer. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hey, Dan, it's uh, Jimmy Lee. Um, give me a call when you can. I wanted to invite Ethan and Hilla to Las Vegas. I'm doing Hilla. a uh, comedy shoot next week, and I was going to invite him out to have fun and enjoy. But then he, he emailed me to give you a call. Maybe I'd call into the show. So uh, when you get a time, when you get a chance, call me, and, you know, we can figure out. Maybe uh, I'm working with my... Did you call him, Dan? Uh, he called me, uh, I, I missed the call. Did you miss it, Dan? Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> we gotta get Jimmy on the air. I wanna hear some of his new material. I mean, you you have an invitation to go hear it in person in <laughs> Vegas. I don't know why you don't wanna take him up on that. You know what I should do? I don't hate the guy, but I, I wouldn't mind giving him that Sharky's gift card and just seeing, <laughs> seeing if he can make that work. There you go. There you go. Okay, I've got the Intel Manifesto. I've been putting this off because it's it's like a long video. There's a lot to chew on there. And I've got Jimmy Lee. Let's end on Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee, friend of the show. You all remember him. Uh, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He has emailed me. Basically, we had him on a while ago. We collabed with him on our second channel like years, years, years ago. And he has never stopped sending me emails. Just for example... Here's, it says, of about a hundred emails in the top right. <laughs> so this was, I took this screenshot a couple weeks ago, but you can see pretty much every week consistently, like, ju- two on July 5th, uh, June 22, June 21, June 20, <laughs> June 10, June 6, May 30, May th- May 18. Wow. But, I mean, of about a hundred. So this guy, that's a hundred weeks he's been emailing me. So here's the new video he sent me. He says, uh, he forwarded it to me. Comedy, reality, TV, dangerously funny at Comic-Con. So I was like, all right, let's see what Jimmy's up to, you know? I haven't, I haven't looked at his content in a while. So here he is at Comic-Con. Tell me if you guys think his improves. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, filming our comedy reality television show, Dangerously Funny. We're here in Comic-Con in Philadelphia with all the geeks and all the freaks. Yes. Dude, yes. Today we're here in Comic-Con. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. These guys have conquered Comic Con. One day they're going to conquer basic hygiene. Let's hear for these guys right now. <laughs> friendless, overweight losers. <laughs> friendless. There's there's five of them. I don't have five friends, <laughs> and they're also really all skinny. Yeah. Friendless, overweight, Jimmy. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah, who you roasting? Let me tell you, you guys should be proud of yourself. How many people can say they're going to remember the first time they got gonorrhea in Philadelphia? Let's hear it for these So guys. he also just said that they're getting sex, too, because gonorrhea is an STD. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I should focus on the comedy. He's right now. I'm not here to debunk him. And you know him. what? You'll be able to tell your kids or whoever you take to your AA meeting. <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> Comic Con's a gamble. This is great. We're rolling the dice here with Dice Dungeons and and Jerry. And Jerry, this is a wonderful product back in 1962. <laughs> it's irrelevant. No one gives a shit about it because you're decent looking. You may sell a couple dice. The odds are against it. Okay? You got to play the odds. Pretend you go to the racetrack. Okay? Now snap out of it, pack your bags up, and get your crap out of here. What do you think about those jokes? Where was the joke? He was just like super mean. I love it. 
He's like, listen, nobody this fucking is cares about you. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that comedy or what? <laughs> we love Jimmy. What's your name? Lennox Knight. Lennox, I read all the comic books when I was a kid. Yeah? Then I turned nine. <laughs> you put out <laughs> Oh, my God. He's killing it. It's On ten minutes date? of this. I do not. Dangerously I'll go funny. The corner, pick you up. will be our second date. Sounds good. You look good, huh? What happened? Yeah. What are you Jesus. selling? Uh, what happened? I want to buy absolutely nothing. Wow. What's your name? Uh, Nick Fury. So okay. here he goes. It's kind of hard to make out what, but I think what's going on is that he's approaching this black dude like he's a scary, dangerous criminal because he's black, and mm -hmm. so I think that's the context of this interaction. Okay, Nick Fury. Nick Fury. He's I'm a super. Because yeah. you could hurt my family. Fury, Fury, Fury. Everybody, call whatever you, Fury. whatever you say, Fury. Okay. Anything you say. Direct. Wherever you want to eat, you. anything you want. You want a car, your broad, anything you want, I'll do. Uh, just don't, I, I, don't hurt my family. Do just don't hurt my okay. family. <laughs> and you're a remarkable person, Fury. Well, thank you, you keep thank telling you. yourself that. I disagree. Uh, you said it. <laughs> you share. Like, could we? I like threesomes. No, he's a talent. He's well, a mega. I, one I use both hands, but I want to do a different one tonight. And let me explain something to you. With threesome to me, it's two chicks and a guy. It ain't what you're thinking. All right? Debatable. I didn't know they came in pairs. <laughs> it's really nice. That's really nice. Good. This is a nice outfit. Thank you. Halloween will be here soon. Just keep it on. Oh, yeah. And you, Absolutely. how's Laverne and Shirley? <laughs> They're great. Thanks really? for asking. All right, what's your line of work? That's an up-to-date uh, reference. I'm an actress. <laughs> Are you? Well, eventually. Every time the director hollows action, you take your clothes off. You don't think I know about you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You were in that show, so I think you can suck. Was that you? No. <laughs> You're all right. What do you do? Uh, I'm I came attempting and to be a film editor. A what? A film editor. I got it. Come here. Find another line of work. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> what are you? Rabbit. You don't know how good she is at editing. <laughs> I thought you were Elton John. No. Just don't, let your, don't let your son go down on me. <laughs> That's my manager. The manager. He's, you got the job. Sit back. I'll bring your shrimp cocktail. Whatever you want. Who's the lady? Oh, that's my, my manager. Is that your girlfriend? That's my manager's wife. Not, not my girlfriend. So, the oh, manager's so wife. You, you share. <laughs> Josh. Josh. What are you doing? Oh, I just, what are you doing, Josh, with the manager's wife that I want? Oh, I want to know about it. How many peanut M and M's did you eat today? Uh, about thirty hundred. You know, All right. about three. You in the free love? Always free love. How about free ribs? Hey. <laughs> free what? I don't know. Free ribs? Anyway, you get the idea. It's 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 a Whoa. challenge. It's a watch. It's a challenge to get through it. I love how his his technique is just to go to Comic Con and just like be a dick. That's his comedy <laughs> style. Yeah. It's a, it's an interesting approach. I mean, certainly unique. Um, here, let's let's watch this one, Batman. Smart guy. <laughs> this is Batman. I want to tell you something, Batman. Yeah. You're no cave crusader. Oh, really? Or you're, you're more like a gay crusader. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where is the joke? It doesn't even rhyme. Caped and gay. <laughs> like, it's not even a play on words. Uh, man, yeah. you're no cave crusader. Oh, really? Or you're, you're more like a gay crusader. Uh, Go home and suck your own thumb. And by the way, Batman, yep. put the mask up a little bit more. Well, hello! I've always oh, looked man. up to you. Are you oh, English? A... Are you English? A bit English and Irish, too. Would you eat the goddamn muffins, for Christ's sake? They taste wonderful! What bus accident were you... Anyway, you get the idea. ...to win today. <laughs> Listen, nice of the meth lab to let you out for the day. Want to go skinny dipping later? Yeah. That's not you even. Take your clothes off. Everybody's going to run for the hills. <laughs> you what? Guy. Thank you. Jesus, what is going on with this guy? <laughs> He's just off the rail. He really is off the rail. I'm surprised he hasn't been choked out, man. What do you do for a living besides bang white chicks? <laughs> Tell me the truth. Come here. What are you doing besides banging young chicks? Asian ones are good. You know why? They get on top. They're light. They don't hurt. Oh, okay. So listen. What's I'll the you joke? They get what? They're light. They don't you know hurt. You know why? Mm -hmm. In case if one has a headache. All right? And I want to show you something. What's your name? Andrew. So Andrew, I'm going to show you this hat how to wear it where it looks better. Watch. Just like that. Ugh. 
I know your catch. All right, I'm over it. You just, yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, everyone. Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. <laughs> Noticeably less fat jokes. Those were the ones that always got me. You only made fun of one fat person. When the, how many M&Ms you yeah. ate today? But it used to be like, he went up to a big girl and he said, uh, you're a big girl. You're yeah. a big girl. <laughs> I, I forget, but. Oh, that's great. Well, um, okay. The only way to follow this episode up is to have Andrew Yang on for president. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Idubs are friends. We've made a lot of content together. I mean, I have, I do have non-famous friends, of course, but what do you want me to say about them, dude? Do you want me to tell you all, everyone I hang out with and know? Ethan That's is strange. the Iago of YouTube. He is but if you look at, like, I mean... ...with you unless he has something to gain. Somebody who he o I don't even know that I should blame him, but I will, uh, because he is. I mean, I, I genuinely don't think he has ever collabed with a smaller YouTuber. You know, take that how you will. He has no ob obligation to, but it says something, considering how many f friends he has in the community. But sure, he'll have John on the podcast after not talking to him for eight months. But we all know why that is. Because he wanted the fresh scoop. He wanted the juicy details. He wanted John. That's not why people watched it. It's not no. fresh either. Yeah. It, it, was, <laughs> it was old news at that point. But also, all, a lot of our podcasts have views like that from that. From like that age, you know, it's not it's not unusual. Tron to explain to everybody how he got those fucked up ideas in his head, and this is classic. I mean, this is not a one-off situation. Watch the podcast for so long, and you'll definitely notice something. You might not notice it directly, but anytime Ethan feels he's superior to a coughing. guest, he makes it blatantly <laughs> obvious. One of the worst occasions of this is the episode with Jimmy Lee. Now, I'm going to try and make this brief, but if you do watch this podcast episode, it is n insane the amount of disrespect that Ethan displays for this. Old okay, so, <laughs> so this part, I, I have to admit, is just... So funny to me because he clearly has no idea who Jimmy Lee is. Yeah, he thinks he's just some random, uh, some random, random dude comedian. that I, some random comedian that had Jimmy Lee. Let me give you some backstory on Jimmy Lee because, and I have to go back again to the hours and hours of research comment because, again, either you didn't do that much research or this is a bad faith argument because the origin story of Jimmy Lee is that a fan displayed at the top. Here, I pulled this up. A fan wrote us an email. They said, this is my actual dentist. I discovered this video when I decided to look up his alter ego, Jimmy Lee, a name which is displayed on top of his music album that he gives to his patients. <laughs> it's the dumbest fucking thing in the world, and this video makes me want to claw my eyes out. So Jimmy Lee is a dentist who gives his mixtapes to his <laughs> patients. And this was during the time we were doing Ethan and Nila videos. Yeah. And people kept... Uh, posting submissions for us to react to so, and that's how it started. We reacted to this video that they sent here So Jimmy Lee makes these incredible videos like sketches. Let me show you an example. They're all yeah, super like racist too. Like here, here's just one clip. Let's see. This is one <laughs> Oh, oh She says song. something about she thinks he's gay and she doesn't want to be Sorry. next to him or something this And it's just all super crude. She's got like a low. Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. So anyway, that's how we found out Jimmy Lee. And then we started having this back and forth with Jimmy Lee. He became like this beloved meme in the Ethan and Ela universe. Um, to the point where we actually collabed with him, which goes against your original claim, by the <laughs> way, that I haven't collabed with any small YouTubers. Jimmy Lee was a small YouTuber, and we made a video with him. Here's an excerpt from that. Oh, then nobody would know the difference. By the way, this is one of the greatest moments ever. So we met Jimmy Lee when we were living in New York, and we just made kind of like a vlog together, getting to know him because he's such a character. And I cannot emphasize this enough. Jimmy Lee is a character unlike anybody else in the world. <laughs> Here we are eating lunch and just watch him start. He's married, by the way, and watch him start hitting on this waitress. I know the guy, and he's, he's, I'm putting my head in my hand. 
Who, who can embarrass a waiter that much Put other what? than dad? Put what? Then nobody would know the difference. I'm married, I'm married, but my wife, you know, I like you. <laughs> okay. And I want to make passionate notes. Look at his right. hand. But tonight I want to be on the bar. Okay. And I want you to be up on top. So Ethan's going to come over the bunker. <laughs> okay. So this way, I'm going to be on the bottom, and you're going to be up on top. Look at his right. hand. I like piggybacks. You like piggybacks? I do. I really Brian do. Brian will jump in. Okay. Now, the owner, wow. you don't want to lose your job. Maybe no. you're Virginia, but not your job. Wow. <laughs> and where are you from? Uh, no, the contract to be signed. Thank you. Look at his face. I'm good. <laughs> I want to ask for the record. Uh, what was that? That's what Ethan is. The beauty of me. That's the real deal, unscripted, uncensored, and that's what people want. Me on the street. Billy, get off. The streets, the Jersey Outlaws. So this is Jimmy Lee. He's he's just this absolutely incredible character, right? But like, I mean, he. Oh shit. Um, here's another one of one of his videos. He does street comedy, and here he is. She went into the Seven Eleven. She didn't leave till six ten. He just calls. He just calls people fat. I mean, it's incredible that he gets away with this. She was on the corner. The cops went, told her to break it up. She's a big girl. You guys are. Curving. You believe that shit? He just goes up to people and calls them fat, and now he calls these girls ugly. You know, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Five make a ten. You know, Maria. Jesus. By the way, P.S. You know, plastic surgery. Jeez. You know, as soon as he leaves, it, uh, there's a bunch of, he does racist jokes, he does it all, man. He's the whole song and dance. I wish I had some racist jokes time-stamped. But, like, this guy has just figured out how to say and do anything, and people just, I don't know. Standing right there. I think, guy. I mean, it's the age, too. It's just a different generation. Dude, it's great. <laughs> and then he cruises around, by the way, when he's doing the street comedy with, like, he hires models to walk around with him. Um... It's awesome. Boy. How funny am I? I don't know. <laughs> My kids go to private school, they won't tell me where it is. I'm funny. Oh. <laughs> How funny am I? I had a threesome list and I used both hands. Oh. <laughs> <Do you> know? <laughs> Imagine telling that. I mean, anyway, that's Jimmy Lee. Like, this, he acts like Jimmy's just some random sweet old man that we came, uh, we came in and just uh, decimated or something, but I mean, come on, it's Jimmy Lee. You you don't know anything about Jimmy Lee, bro, and you're talking about it. It's crazy. It's crazy that you were that you're defending. Insane. I mean, it, it, it's crazy, dude. I don't know what to say. You, you it, it's crazy. Like it really, genuinely is. But okay, let's watch what he has to say about Jimmy Lee. For occasion, Ethan, <laughs> this the episode. He opens the podcast by basically bashing him and discrediting him as a comedian. His comedy style is this. You didn't watch the. You didn't show the clip. You didn't even show the clip. Actually, roasting <laughs> people he's never met before. We, I mean, Jimmy emails me very frequently. He, he pretty much emails me like five times a day. We're best friends. He emails Ela too. Except I ended up blocking. Him. Jimmy, by the way, does e even to this day he emails and texts mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Frankly, but we love Jimmy for it. He's a character. <laughs> I gotta keep my inbox clean, you know? I yeah, gotta, it wasn't personal. <laughs> I gotta see. But I, I endured it because I'm like, Jimmy's a legend. I mean, the guy's the guy's a legend, so. And Jimmy, he's a legend. <laughs> then after talking shit about him, he welcomes him onto the podcast. I mean, it wasn't that much shit, but okay. <laughs> Jimmy Lee, by the, way, by the way, the whole relationship we have with him is talking shit on him. <laughs> We've made like four videos on him on the Ethan and Ela channel. They're all shitting on Jimmy Lee. That's the whole premise of our relationship. That's it's basically uh, he does cringy comedy, and that's how we found him. And so it's not that like, is the relationship, you know. It's not like it's not like he's unaware of that. Right. That's the whole purpose. <laughs> he wants to be with us. He wants to <laughs> interact with us, knowing that we're always just goofing on him. So 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 why should I? That's that's the expectation he had coming in. But it's all fine. It's all with good. Yeah, it's with peace and love. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Welcome the legend. The guest actually guy. reveals himself to be kind of, you know, a decent guy, and everything's of going kind of okay guy. until. No saying but they, not. they create an effect. <laughs> Got it. And an illusion is really what it is. Right. Um, so it's a marketing tool. Is it possible? <laughs> are you are you gonna be there the whole time? <laughs> okay. By the way, <laughs> they, we told Jimmy because we knew he was gonna pull some shit because he's such a character. He we told him no, can't you can't. I don't want you to bring a camera in the podcast studio because it's small, small room. and it's distracting. <laughs> and then sure enough, we start recording and this camera guy slips in the door. 
after we started Mo- recording. Not one. There was one guy there. Oh, there was t- and one and guy here. Yeah. So, so <laughs> like, it, I agree. It's awkward. It's a live show. But, like, but again, you're... But the guy, like, for me, every time I was looking at Jimmy, the guy was here, like, trying to take pictures of us. And it's like, I can't talk He's... to you when the guy's yeah. in front of me. So, I mean, it's easy to point Ela as being, like, bitchy or something. But, like, again, we said, don't bring the cameras in. And then there was two camera guys that came in. I'm like, Jimmy, just use, I was like, just use the footage from the podcast. Yeah, we told them you can, we, yeah. you can have all the footage. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to focus on. They're are getting right in our face and shit. We have three cameras just, in here, oh, Jimmy. I mean, <laughs> I don't want camera. the guy here, but it's hard for me to focus on you when it, when. Oh, yeah. it was three. Get out, dude. <laughs> oh, can he I'm stay kidding. and do stills? Or no? Still, not really. No. I still know. We took okay, photos okay, together. We'll it's just still Jimmy. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. All this right. is pretty much what we expected, though. <laughs> it's part of the experience yeah. for sure. Well. <laughs> and for some reason, this interaction gives Ethan the green light to just fucking ruin this guy's day. Like it's it's no <laughs> again. I you I don't even know. That's based on nothing. That's just yeah. your narrative. <laughs> Your hours of research didn't even take take you down the Jimmy Lee hole. <laughs> you don't even know our relationship. I mean, that's just a bad faith argument to show Jimmy Lee secret like between us <laughs> that it's it can be awkward for people to be around you, right? Like you know that you elicit that response. Why? Why do people? Dude, you have, dude, you have to go watch the video I made with him. He's you don't understand. That is his existence. <laughs> Like, to say that that was the green light for me to shit on Jimmy Lee just proves this is a bad faith argument. He focuses heavily on the fact that his jokes are dated and they're kind of racist in a way. And, oh my god, did you see that? Look at this. My god, Ethan. So, we just got a good look at the Google Doc he uses to question this guy. And wouldn't you know it, it outlines every single question he asks. For me, and I got a big outfit. And so, you're, you're a successful dentist. What is your passion? Is it comedy or dentistry? Well... I wasn't doing this for uh, money. I'm not making money doing it. Right. It's a passion from here. So what does your wife think about the... She thinks I'm nuts. And, right. and I got my oldest son that thinks I'm nuts, and my young one thinks I'm hysterical. So what does she think about all the female attention you get? It even has some of the fucking jokes that he uses. Jimmy emails me very frequently. He, he pretty much emails me like five times a day. We're best friends. He emails Ela too. Except I ended up blocking him. <laughs> so now we know why he was so pushy during the JonTron interview. When he has an agenda... Well, okay. I mean, this Such criticism is just strange that I have notes. Yeah. I mean, the f- why why is that a criticism? I mean, I'm an amateur podcast host and I try to formulate my thoughts as best I can. I mean, I agree that it's best. I've learned that it's best to be prepared but to avoid it as much as possible. That's what I've learned over time. Yeah, you don't script it nearly and as closely and as we're that. Still but and obviously it takes practice. Too. And we have experiment We've experimented with different ways, too. It's just, this is all a learning experience yeah. for us. But we've done ones like that, and then we've done ones with no notes to see how just a conversation goes. But I don't see why is that here in the video. That's just... I don't either. And, I mean, I accept the criticism, of course, that I'm not a good podcast host. And um, I'm def- I'm always trying to improve. But it's almost like he just saw, like, my notes, and he's like, oh... I can expose, I can use this in some way to show, like, I found something out that I wasn't supposed to see. But there's really nothing incriminating about me wanting to have notes. I mean, Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be prepared. He just goes with it. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't even listen to what the people are saying. He asks the questions he wrote down and doesn't even care to transition them properly. That's kind of a personal question. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's probably true that at that, especially at that time, that that, uh, I was too reliant or I wasn't, you know, engaged my fear as a podcast host is like that I was I'm I back then I had this issue was like I don't want dead air and my fear is that they'll stop dead talking air. and then I won't know what to say, right? So I was always trying to load up the next question in my mind because it's like this you want to keep the show flowing but you also want to have a natural conversation. So this was kind of what I was balancing with. And especially doing it live added an extra layer of making it stressful. Right. Because it's live, and every little, like, I don't know what's the next question, mm-hmm. is you notice it immediately, and it's awkward. Yeah. Back, back then, too, I want to point out that we, uh, not only were we doing it live, but you guys would always have the Twitch chat open right. during the show. Yeah. And, which 
we realized was a terrible idea because yeah. then you're being way too receptive to yeah. the feedback. And I remember during that Jimmy Lee episode, it was just a wall of people saying, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. This is so cringe, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, and, and that gets in your head. Right. Yeah. And that yeah, is, so, yeah. I mean, that was, that was a mistake as well. Yeah. But it's convenient for him that he goes, I'm just going to talk about this real fast because... Yeah, because you have you don't have any context. You don't actually show any of the episode, and you're just painting this whole narrative and speculating on shit that's just a hundred percent untrue. I mean, the only thing that is true that I'll own and that you're right about is that I'm a, I was and still am a bad podcast host. But is that really enough <laughs> to say that I'm a bad dude? Which I think this video is trying to say. I mean, I don't see how that me equates to me being a bad person. Question, right? It's funny because who would do this? That's why I don't get the people don't get uh, That's it. why it's fun. <laughs> yeah. now people and have fun. That's by doing this. For having I'm just going to skip ahead. Yeah. For its viewers. Looks at the script. Jimmy, how long have you been white? I'll be black with you in a minute. <laughs> I'll be black. What? I don't even. <laughs> that's powerful. That's serious. Like this older. Whew. Let's keep watching, man. This video is a. Cherry picking the parts that make him look bad. You, dude, that's you the gotta watch his videos, bro. <laughs> what? You have no context. The fact that you're gonna come out here and, and be sad for Jimmy Lee is so mental, bro. It's such a bad faith argument. Just go watch the videos, bro. Nothing's cherry picked. Yeah. It's spectacular. Okay. Older people. Let's take a quick off the cuff. Back when we were I control over this. The only reason that they kick him out failed is because you wanted it to. You wanted to rag on this old man and you succeeded. This old and he man. was no <laughs> angel. Okay. When this guy goes to the uh -oh. bathroom, she fucking literally suggests that they kick him out. Say we could bring Dan with the news after the break. <laughs> and Ethan loves and, and again, you like people on the chat were going like, "Get him out of there! Get yes. him out of there! Yeah. Pull him! Pull so him!" So we were, so again, we were reacting to that. I agree, it was super awkward, and honestly, we probably shouldn't have kicked him out, but like, whatever. It was just really uncomfortable. It was a really early episode. It's poor planning all around. Yeah, we it was just no, a bad execution. Uh, yeah, it needed to be planned out more. As here is this segment, and here is that, and yeah. there's a transition. But it was all live, and it's like, okay, how do we talk about how we want to move forward right yeah. now while yeah. it's also live, and we don't know what we're doing. But this whole thing, he's just a poor old man. It's so crazy. It's just so bad yeah. faith argument. It's just, it is. And I don't know how much Jimmy Lee would appreciate being referred to as some old man, by the <laughs> way, either. Like, it's weird, because Gokunaro has this way of insulting the people he's trying to defend. Like, he freak when you'll see when we get to Shoe Nice, he's always going, he's just a drunk, he's mm -hmm. he's this alcoholic drunk, yeah. and, like, he just writes him off as... And it's I find it very bizarre, I find it very demeaning, the way he refers to these people, mm -hmm. as some old man. This he's idea. not some old man, he's Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he goes through with it, he does it. Oh okay. my god, dude. I'm just, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I have no control over this. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I was a, it was a pleasure. My pleasure. I hope you'd finish. Yes, cheap it was awkward. Awkward. Right, what? I know. Like with, like the guy was racist. That his jokes, that were clearly jokes, were racist. And then five minutes Bro. after the old guy leaves, he says this. The Chanel. old guy leaves <laughs> for for banning dabbing. There it is. That was a brutal dab. Yeah, <laughs> 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 formation for it's like a yeah. scary yeah. dab. Hold on, hold on. That was like a fucking jihad dab. <laughs> 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 that was like a fucking straight up. <laughs> Allah Akbar dad. Here we go. We're going in slow mo now. Wind up. Whoa. That was a brutal dab. Damn. Wasn't that about how they banned dabbing in Saudi Arabia or some shit? Uh, no. I don't think that they banned it. I don't remember. Oh, man. That was video. so long ago. I, a, I don't remember. That was a really brutal dab. Dude, that's <laughs> when the bombs go off. <laughs> employee. Ooh. He keeps referring to Dan, too, as an employee. If you've done your research, hey, this is Dan. Dan. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dan, okay. the producer. It's got a name. Yes. Anyway. I treat, my, my answer really is I just treat people with the same respect they give. Anyway, we've talked about Jimmy Lee. Now let's hear what Jimmy Lee has to say. And we welcome to the show, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. And Hello. with us today, we have Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Can you see and hear me, Jimmy? <laughs> Are we doing a gag? We're doing a gag. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That's it. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I like kids. Jimmy, nice to see you. How you been? 
<laughs> well, I'm all right. I, I had a rough week there, Ethan. I went to my doctor to get my prostate checked, and I said, where do I put my pants? He said, next to mine. I laughed. <laughs> Nice. How you been? How you good, been? Good, 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 good. I've missed those those uh, beautiful one-liners. Um, Our podcast episode we did together. How did you feel about that episode? I mean, uh, did you feel that I was rude to you there? Well, there were a lot of comments that you were, and then I get I guess I got asked to leave, but didn't figure it out till the end. And um, I never had a problem with you, but I think people that watched it did, and. Some people said you're mean, and some people said I'm mean, and <laughs> it was like a catch-22. But me being a performer, I know you mock me, and I mock people when I'm on the street. And, you know, I don't take that personal because that's part of the act. And, you know, being a, an entertainer, you have to roll with that. So, Did you want fresh material? <laughs> it's always fresh. All your material is fresh. <laughs> you, want my, you want a new joke? Just give me whatever you like. Well, I was with an orphan girl last night, made love, and then when I got done, she said she wanted to go to church to find her father. <laughs> no, no good. <laughs> I like that one. That is good. It just took me a moment. I was processing. I think I didn't get it. The, or, she went to church to find her father being God, right? Well, father, meaning she doesn't have a father. and She's you know, an orphan. In the church. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot to chew on. That's a good My joke. She's giving me trouble. She's giving me trouble. Hmm? Why? My wife's giving me trouble. I took her to the presidential suite at Motel 6, Hilla, and uh, we're making love. And I said, honey, why are you so quiet? And she said, I'm in the bathroom, you idiot. And I said, stay there. I'm doing better without you. So we're not talking now. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm there sorry was, to hear that. There was Ethan around bed above the uh, ab around mirror above the bed. It said objects may appear larger than they actually are. And so, <laughs> right, of course. And uh, and I told her she's a lousy cook. I said, if you could cook better, we could fire the chef. She said, if you could screw better, we could fire the chauffeur. You see, we're fighting, the wife and I. If you could screw better, we could fire the chauffeur. Yeah. In fact, oh, she's uh, fucking said, the yeah. chauffeur. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told her last night, I said, do you want to have sex? She said, no. I said, is that your final answer? And she said, yes. So I phoned a friend. And, and, he'll, and he'll, uh, that's when the fight started. <laughs> well, that makes sense. You shouldn't be calling other women, Jimmy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still doing my thing. Still doing my thing. <laughs> well, thank you for giving us a call. It was great to see you. This was great, okay. though. You That's some great material. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank, thank you, thank Jimmy. You. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, Bye. take care. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Influential, -bye. The, the quick wittest, quickiest, wittiest uh, insult Comedians to ever grace our planet. <laughs> we have with us Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, for an exclusive interview. He's just been featured in Hollywood Magazine, and we're here to celebrate uh, none other than Jimmy Lee. So with that being said, let's throw it on over to Jimmy. Okay. With us today is the Jersey outlaw, and who, who we're today celebrating being on the cover of Hollywood Monthly. Which is, um, what is Hollywood Monthly Magazine, Jimmy? I've not heard of this magazine. Although, to be fair, uh, I, don't, I don't read a lot of magazines. So what is this? It's a magazine for entertainment, you know, for the arts and entertainment. And we got lucky enough through uh, a connection out in California to get the cover and, and a very nice article in the June edition. Uh, thanks to Prather uh, Jackson, who's the uh, publisher of the magazine. Did you have to pay for this feature, Jimmy? No. Oh, that's nice. That They give you a really good spread. It's like when you open up, it's all about you. Yeah, it's like all Jimmy Lee. Well, I mean, that's love and not, respect. Yeah, that's through the agent's relationship, not mine. But in, 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 in business, it's relationships with people. So my agent, who knows the guy, asked for a favor. There you go. So I got, I got kind of got lucky. I've never seen honest. that. It's like the Jimmy Law, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Lee magazine. There is other yeah, stories. Well, the, the, actually, the following lady is uh, Ganja the Witch. I don't know if you read yeah. her spread. The Ganja you Witch. See, you see her around Halloween. She's the one with the mask on, but it's not from COVID. Right. Yeah. Right, of course. Let me read right. an excerpt here about, because um, they, they wrote a really nice, they says, Jimmy Lee, comedy is all too easy for Jimmy Lee. It's like inhaling and exhaling air. It's how he communicates. That is to say, Jimmy Lee is a wise guy. 
You're never going to get a straight answer from Jimmy Lee. You're going to get a funny answer sprinkled with brutal honesty. If he's telling you the truth, you can't get mad at him. Kavish. Well, I wish that was true. Maybe I would have got on TV by now. I did notice. <laughs> I, I did. Well, according to this magazine, you have a TV show. It says comedy reality TV star Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outline, is hit comedy TV show Dangerously Funny is one of the best rated comedy TV shows. So I wasn't sure. Well, that's according to me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. You didn't understand, Ethan and Hill. I have two fans. They happen to be in the attic right next to the air conditioning units. You see? Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So two, what are, just two. So wait, what are they referring to? Two. The TV show, though. The TV show, according to me. Okay. <laughs> but what is it? Your life? Or you're like your YouTube it's channel? Dangerous. There you go. Yeah. They're okay. polite, light and polite. So Jim, mm -hmm. so what's your YouTube channel? So the people know it's the Jersey uh, Outlaw, Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy, tell me. Um, well, congratulations. What's, ro what's wrong with me? <laughs> no, I would never ask you that. <laughs> Hillow was thinking that. What happened? Did the doctor cut the cord? Your mother hung herself? What happened? Jesus. No, I would never no. say that. The to doctor you. slapped me and the nurse slapped me a couple times. Something must have went bad. I'll tell you what went bad, Ethan. I looked up my family tree. Four dogs were using it. Things aren't easy, Ethan. It's rough. Yeah. No, for sure. I get that. <laughs> I'll tell you, nothing's going well. My kids are nuts. They go to private school. They won't tell me where it is. You think it's easy? <laughs> Jimmy, I happen to know your your son is holding the phone. <laughs> yes, he is. My son is holding the phone. <laughs> How do you know? Well, I happen you to be tell. privy to the, uh, the pre-interview portion where your son was helping okay. you uh, get the internet yeah. going. I got two kids, Ethan, two good-looking kids. I got two ugly kids. I don't talk about the <laughs> ugly ones. Hill is not interested in hearing about them. And your son holding the phone, is he the ugly one or the beautiful one? He's the, he's the good-looking one. Otherwise, you don't hold the phone. Right, yeah. That's an honor. You know That's what a I mean? place of honor in the Jimmy Lee family. <laughs> Correct. Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. That's why I'm in court a lot. <laughs> I gotta say, you know he my lawyer. You know my lawyer. The guy works for that law firm. Do we treat him in house? You know him. N no, I don't. Do we? <laughs> he works for that law firm. Do we treat him in house? Do him, oh. cheat him in how? Right. Oh. Yeah. That's oh. yeah. that's all. Yeah, the biggest uh, law firm in the world, as I understand it. Correct. <laughs> So, Jimmy, how oh, the, the jokes are going to get worse. Hilla. The uh -oh. jokes will get worse. Jimmy, how is the uh, <laughs> career going at this point in time? I know you're you're you are um, primarily a dentist and you kind of right. do the comedy, you know, whenever you can. You also are a musician. So how how is it balancing those two worlds, being a dentist and being uh, dangerously funny at the same time? It's it's difficult. And, you know, we just came back from the uh, COVID and the business is, is mm. tough. Some staff mm. didn't come back. They're starting to come back. The revenues aren't quite where they need mm. to be. But uh, I'm hanging in. I'm working a lot of hours. And, you know, I'm still doing through pandemic. I wrote a lot of jokes. I think you saw some of the uh, the videos on, uh, you know, some of the uh, COVID jokes and the Trump jokes. I was doing a lot of writing and comedy during that. And, you know, of course, the comedy TV show has a lot of subscribers and followers and uh, good hits on some of the videos on the dangerously funny street comedy stuff that seems to be my uh my vehicle that most people know me from is right. street comedy street comedy right. yeah um, do you ever do you tell jokes to your patients when they're on the dentist table actually it's funny because today there was a patient miguel and i had him dying for about 10 minutes i started with the famous quotes and he was spanish i threw a couple spanish one-liners in you know, I said I had a Spanish girlfriend, but every time I made love, she took my wallet. I had to break up with her. Wow. You know, once that... you go re once you go reek in a job, you'll be seeking. And he was dying. And, that, and when he came up for air, I just kept going. And he <laughs> I... said to me, he said to me, you're a funny guy. He said, wait a minute. He you... says that. Yeah, said, like, you, you know watch me? my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. He says no. It was kind of funny. Um, but it just happened today. Wow. Let me ask you this. Maybe if I, I wonder if some people who are going to the dentist maybe don't expect a routine. I wonder if maybe some people, I, I do. I wonder if you, maybe you've lost patience from, from that, or maybe you think that you've gaining retaining. Patients. Um, I would say may have lost a few that don't get me and, uh, and possibly <laughs> the ones that know me, love me and they come. Right. So maybe a mix mm -hmm. and match, but I'd say overall, I don't think it, 
hurt me too much. I think it hurt me a little bit more hiring dentists that saw the channel and got offended. Mm. I lost a couple really? of docs really? for interviews because of that. Oh. Not so much patients. Wait, Isn't how did that they awkward? find it's it? Weird. I think they Google my name and then oh, uh, it cross yeah. links to my stage name yeah. and they find a video and I, <laughs> I insult someone. I go up to the faculty and say, I saw you in the casino at a buffet. Stop doing that. And they, they yeah. get offended because they don't know me as a person. Well, you I see? do understand yeah. that, that they would. Yeah. I, right. And I mean, I've seen you go up to big girl or big girls to use your words. You say you're, you're a big girl. You say that yeah. to them. I can yeah, see why exactly. they, they might find that offensive, but you know, yeah. But hey, what can well, you do? Forget about it, huh? You got to forget about it. That's what uh, you, you heard about Nikki Pompanese. You know Nikki Pompanese, Hilla? No. Nikki Pompanese, he had a rape charge. You didn't hear about Nikki Pompanese? He had a rape charge. Pum- I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're doing a rape <laughs> joke, Jimmy? No, he had a rape charge downgraded <laughs> to tailgating. He had a good lawyer. Nikki Pompanese. Pump. I thought a you knew him. Pompanese. I guess I don't understand. Was, like, okay. like a niece? Are we talking about incest? Oh, rape? yeah. Well, you do know Nikki Pompanese. You do wow, know. Wow, that's pretty dark, Jimmy. Well, how old was the niece? Yeah, how old was the niece? 12. <laughs> Holy smokes, Jimmy. You well, don't know that gets worse. Patients, I you? got a <laughs> Ethan, I got a I got a I got a buddy of mine, a doctor friend of mine, he got two years in jail for, for having sex with one of his patients. Having sex with one of his patients. He's a veterinarian, Hilla. He's a veterinarian. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No. That's rough. True story. Uh-uh. Two years ago. Well, two it, years you jail. know what's funny about that story? But it almost had a happier little? it had a happier ending. Cause like, you know, fucking an animal is better than like fucking a patient well, in a way. You know what Dr. Phil said? You watch Dr. Phil, Ethan? Yes, of course. He said if you're not sick and you gotta have sex with an animal, do it with a horse. This way you'll have a ride home. You got to think smart about things. Right. That's um, true. That's a good point. So he, he's very, very important. Too? No, that's not a joke. That's just good advice. Oh. That's very, very <laughs> sad advice. You know what Dr. Root said? Hilda, you don't want to talk to your partner during sex. Don't pick up the phone. Say that one again. I'm sorry. You don't want to talk to your partner during sex. Don't pick up the phone. Don't, oh, right, 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 right. I can't write these out. Jimmy, let me ask you. You seem like a ladies' man. Uh, through I throughout your career, when I see you, you seem like a man who appreciates beautiful women. Am I wrong about that? No, that is correct, and that's kind of been one of my my uh, sizzles of the act is the Bandito Girls, which I, I I did that when I did music and it carried over with comedy and What's and we mix it with some security yeah. guards. And, well, uh, I notice whenever you do your act, you bring some beautiful women along. Jimmy, are you? What did you, have you had a, an illustrious uh, sex life? I have to ask. I know you're. You are a. Well, you seem like a will, suave dude. I will be honest. When I was young, I was really good looking. Like not now, but when I was young. Right. And yeah, I had I had pretty much a good a good run. Do you but I'm married and happily married, how, and I'm fine now because I had that when I was a kid. How many, so I use the girls you, as props. Can you can you tell me how many women you've slept with throughout in your, when you were really in your prime? In my prime, yeah. Put it like this: I grew up down the shore in the summer, and two or three a week to rotate wasn't wasn't a bad move. Wow! And I wasn't the only one doing it. I had buddies just as good looking as me, and you know you don't kiss and tell. But back in the days, Helen. Mm. I didn't, the kid didn't do bad. Now, you know, you, people look at me, they look the other way. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of what happens when you get old. So you said you so, use the girls as prop. Do you, do you find that? I maybe? use them as eye candy, as eye candy, eye candy when I shoot. Yeah. It's the biz. It's show biz. And I use security guards too. In, in, in fun yeah. cities, what I'll use the ask? girls. And in regular cities, I'll use the security guards. Do I that. don't think it's necessary. And I, I don't think... I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if that's a good thing to do. You yeah. wondering if you, you guys, should drop the girls? Yeah. Should I drop them? You mm. may be right. I get comments from guy. Oh, I like the Bandito girls, and with security guards, people actually think I'm famous. You know, they go, "Who's he?" Which is good, right? <laughs> so it, it kind of works a little yeah. bit, authenticates you a little bit as as an entertainer, because you and me both know I'm a big nobody. But I gotta, you know, sometimes you dummy it up a little bit. And, and you pretend you're, you bring your Sinatra <laughs> a little bit. Do these Once girls, in a while, people go for it. Are these girls able to keep their hands off you? If I was your wife, I might be a little bit worried. They can't wait till the shoot's over. 
Oh, really? <laughs> and they get their money and they run out the door and they say, do me a favor. Next time you do a shoot, don't call. <laughs> no, they, first of all, they're told ahead of time what's going to happen. And some girls, if they're not comfortable, the, the coordinator will say, you don't want to do this. It's offensive comedy. Mm. And he's going to uh. be he's got a big heart, but it's going to be that kind of comedy. And mm. if the girls are funny like that, they don't do it. But they're told. So they know they're prefaced right. you know, before we start. Right. And we've had problems in the past. So now we tell the girls at a time with the security guards. I work with two sets of guards so they know who I am and there's no problem with them. Mm. So we we were getting to the heart of Jimmy Lee. When did you decide to settle down? You were such a playboy. You were such I settled down um, in my mid late thirties. I, I pretty mm. much I've been married a long time. Same woman. Yes, yeah, same woman. As Good far as I know, unless if there's a weirdo fooling around with me at night, you know, <laughs> and I got a blindfold on and I wake up with spring marks on my ass and I played Batman in the Batcave. But as far as I know, it's the same girl. Okay, uh, that's good. Good for you, Jimmy. You said I know the Chinese people look alike, but you know, let's let's not go there because every time I think about, it, I want to order. You know what I mean, Ella? You know, this night I wanted sixty nine. Okay. She said chicken and broccoli. His, chicken his and wife broccoli is this late at night. <laughs> <clears throat> is your oh wait a minute, Ethan. It was her son- birthday. <clears throat> it was her birthday last week. I gave her sixty one dollars, and you know what she said to me? I'd like to have eight dollars more. Can you believe that? Can, can you do me a favor, Jimmy? <clears throat> yes. Ask your son how does he feel about the Chinese jokes aimed at his mother. How do you feel about the Chinese jokes, Cole? Ethan wanted me to ask you. They're good. They're, they're good. They're good. <laughs> Attaboy. He said okay. <laughs> Spoken like a real uh, Lee, right? He, yeah. He's a true So you asked, the, you asked the question and I lost my train of thought. I went into a joke. You asked me something. Uh, when I did forgot. you settle down? Well, no. You yeah, I settled yeah. down a little bit late because I, I, I was a Peter Pan type of guy as a kid and always fun. So my actual dental career took off probably when I hit about 38, 40, when I made it a business model and decided to do serious you know, dental consolidation by offices. But before that, I had one location and, you know, made a decent living. But we went out a lot and had fun. I think I grew up late. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of grew I up know. late. Yeah, I know. I know. I know exactly what you mean. So how is the yeah. dentistry business? Dentists make a lot of money, don't they? Well, they do. And I'm blessed to have a business model so I can do very well. And, you know, sometimes be able to do my passion while the office is run because <laughs> I have about 45 employees, nine dentists and managers and wow. great, great employees that, that work for me and they're loyal and they're good. So I'm blessed. But I also, he'll, he'll, since the pandemic, I've been working 12, 14 hour days, six, five, six days a week to catch up. So wow. my job is not a lighthearted job where <laughs> it's easy. And I don't think a lot of people could do my job. Because what is your job? Are you doing hard. dentistry or are you just managing the business? Uh, two days clinical, Ethan, and a lot of admin and a lot mm. of paperwork at night, hires, everything related to running a business. And it's mm. very hard. It's getting harder. It Jimmy, really what are is. we pulling in? Are we pulling in like seven figures? Is that what we're looking at? Seven figures more? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm high, right? Right in that area. But the company does about six million. Yeah. Wow. I'm, Good I'm for a, you. I'm a... I'm a well, it, yeah, but Ethan, nobody ever gave me anything Abs- in life. No, absolutely. And I Good worked for you. like a dog. I was a waiter as a kid. And when I do comedy, I worked like a dog. And no one gave me nothing. I never had any kind of entitlement syndrome and felt if I didn't work, I was going to get paid. And I made sure, you know, when I worked for people, I worked hard and was a good guy. And, and I expect the same for my people. And I work alongside them. I don't ask them to do something I wouldn't do. Absolutely. And, you know, I work just as hard as them, so I lead by example. Jimmy, what you know, is, what's the, how are you guys dealing now with the COVID? What's the procedure to see people? Well, what we do is we have them wait outside, and then when they want to come in, we have them wait outside. And then we move the uh, the dental chair outside, and we work on them, and we spin on them so there's a <laughs> chance they'll catch the COVID. And when they catch it, we say, we don't have nothing to do with this stuff. <laughs> you spin on your patients, Jimmy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. And by the way, I found out the disease is young and Asian, so now I'm interested in dating it. Oh, so good. there's a lot of stuff happening <laughs> with this disease. <laughs> Jimmy, what's the craziest thing you've seen as a dentist? Because I'm sure a lot of wild shit pulls in oh, there. I'll, I'll tell you what happened to me the other week. I had a lady come in, take her clothes off, and she said, Doc, I want to have these two pulled in this cavity fiddle. Two weeks ago, oh, that God. happened. Oh, God. And did you, oh, yeah. and did you oblige? No, but I had a lady grab me <clears> in the privates and... Uh, 
I was getting ready to number. She says, we're not going to hurt each other, are we? I said, no, we're not. That was a very awkward situation, too. I can imagine. Uh, he's in about, about Jenny, a month but, ago. But really, you must have some wild mouths pull up into the dentist's office. I mean, in your long, illustrious career, what have you seen inside someone's mouth that really stands out to you? Um, well, I had a lady come in last week. Hilly, you'll appreciate this. And uh, we Busy cleaned her week teeth. last week. <laughs> We cleaned, <laughs> we cleaned her teeth, and uh, when we were done, I said, you can go over to the sink, spit, and then you can get dressed and go. And she did. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you asked for a little joke, a little side swipe there, a little love. and uh, no, but Oh, I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had a guy come in a month ago. He had a brown necktie. He said, how do I get my teeth white? I said, go home and get a brown necktie. You know what I mean? I messed that joke up, too, by the way. Uh, what? I guess I don't understand that one, the brown necktie. Can you explain No, that a one? guy came in with a brown necktie. I forget how the joke went. I forget. But I'll tell you, Ethan, what I did do. I figured out a way to hide my bad breath. Guess what I do? Hmm. What's that? Hold up. Hold up my arms. Hold up your arms. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid that's I don't. How I hide, that's how I hide my bad breath. Hold up your arms. Well, hold up that... my arms. How does that hide body, your bad breath? Body odor. Body odor under uh, the arms. Okay. I'm like, oh. I can't write them out, Hila. I can't write them out. Right. See, so let me put, tell you, you saying, Ethan, about right, me. Jimmy, are you saying you put your armpits in your patient's face? <laughs> Correct. I have to at this point. Excellent. <laughs> I wish you were my dentist, Jimmy. I would be getting spit well, on, <laughs> raped, and... Uh, no, wait a minute. Guess what I give some of my patients, Hilla? What? Jimmy, why do you yeah. keep calling out Hila? <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? You don't want to give me no. any jokes? No, Ethan, Ethan, <laughs> guess guess what I give my patients? I give them gears. And guess what else I give them? What's that? I turn give them electric, too, and then they, I turn them on. You know what I mean? Gas and electric. Forget it. Forget it. I thought you were gonna say you shit on him because you say I give him gas. No, that was the guy in the in the one F up dentist reel that did that. You want to hear? Hey Ethan, hey. want to hear a weird story? That guy passed away about six months ago. The guy in the third one F up dentist that that shot on the floor, he passed. Is that sad? That's true. Really oh. nice guy, Steve Steve Whalen from New York. It's what? hard. He passed uh, away. Jimmy, do you? Oh. Do you find it? I find it interesting that in between jokes, you kind of just dropped that somebody close to you passed. Also, he wasn't he wasn't close to me. Let's get that straight right now. Are you glad he's dead? No, no, oh, because you were just you, were like, hey, you? I don't know. Are I don't. You? That guy is not close to me. <laughs> no, I met him one time and I, okay. I and that was the end of it. Is your son want to be a comedian, Jimmy? Is he inspired Colby, by you? Do you want to be a comedian? Absolutely not. He shook his head no. Oh, no. <laughs> what does he want to do? Does he want to be a dentist? A proctologist. It's a job that you start at the bottom and stay there. We'll have the top and bottom covered. Is that true? Uh, does he want to a proctologist? That's a what do you want to do? Doctor, right? Dentistry. He doesn't know, but he's leaning towards dentistry. Oh, good for him. He's got a good career lined up for him. Yeah. Well, this way he could pull out at the right time. You know. Absolutely. He wouldn't be here if you did. Exactly. Well, that was an hour supposed to be a girl. He just made a face. <laughs> can he hear us Hill, or can he only hear you? No, but Hilly, you know my problem, Hilly, can may I may I speak pr frankly? Okay. I appeal to people, Ethan and Hilly, that could do me absolutely no good. That's been my problem my whole life. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he appeals to people that can do I appeal to people that could do me absolutely no good. I guess I'm I just don't. being honest with you. <laughs> okay. Someone at home got that. No, nobody got that. Not even, <laughs> not even your people out there in TV land. It's a tough crowd. Dan, did you get that? No. 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 Well, I well, apologize. Well, Jimmy, I want to say no need to apologize. Uh, going through here. I feel like you should write a book with your jokes, and then at the end, there's like the explanations, like in case you didn't oh, understand geez. the joke. You didn't get the joke. A footnote? Yeah. Jimmy, like, you have really beautiful skin. Flip, flipping through this magazine, I have to say that you have a really beautiful skin regiment. Like, well, that is called Facetune, a Photoshop, oh. and 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 makeup. They always say, Ethan and Hila, a little powder, a little paint makes you what you ain't. Remember that. I need to That's get what whatever I do. you're on. <laughs> yeah, you right. can, you I can got even... a famous quote, Hila. You ready? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln, he said, all men are created equal, but you know what? He never went to a nude beach. Abraham Lincoln 
definitely didn't say all men are created equal. He said all men are created equal, but he never went to a nude beach because it's false. Mm-hmm. That that's implying that men who have have different sized penises. <laughs> Jimmy, no, are you, you packing said, heat? You said it. I didn't say it. Jimmy, Jimmy, are you packing heat? What kind of what what are we looking at downstairs? <laughs> what? Four inches, and that's the width. <laughs> Four, wow. So you got you got some. <laughs> Yeah, you got like a no, beer wait a can. Minute, wait a minute, I graduated mm-hmm. high school, Magna Cum Loudly. All right. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I told my wife, you know, you want to puff on a magic dragon, tell Pinocchio a lie. She understands. Right. Sure. Of course. <laughs> Excellent. I feel like I remember Ethan when the air was clean and the done. girls were dirty back when I was a kid. Jimmy, yes, I, think, I do. I think you should try to develop a drinking game where. It's just cards with your jokes. Okay. And... Should we do a game with Milton Bradley and sell it? Jimmy. Wait, what? Um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Jimmy, um, how do you feel that our president is doing uh, right now? Trump? Yeah. Well, I think right now he's got better connections with Russia than with Melania. That mm-hmm. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a good observation. How do you feel he's um, handling covid I think he's doing a wonderful job. I mean, you ask him, he'll tell you. He's right, not shy right, about it. Right, right, right. I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you though what I figured out about him, what he does with his makeup. He puts a bag of Doritos on his face. He puts it at medium temperature for about eight minutes, and look how nice he looks at the end. <laughs> he's doing a really nice job with his makeup. In fact, he's on match and Tinder right now. Are you excited about sports coming back? Oh, I can't wait. I'm such a sports fan. I'm a big football fan. My wife's my favorite tight end. Wow, he's got a line for everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, are you yeah. flying on planes right now during COVID? Oh, yeah. Not only do I fly on planes, when the pilot makes a left-hand turn, now he puts his hand out the window. I'm on weird type of planes. In fact, now the no-smoking sign smokes when you go in. Mm. I, I got to tell you, Those some are of the weird planes, planes are a little man. strange. <laughs> yeah, I am strange. on the wing looking in sometimes. <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. Um. Are you going? I know you're not supposed to be. Are you sheltering in oh, place? I golf. Are you, are no, you going I golf. In, I golf. Oh, no, that's not what I asked. <laughs> oh, are, sorry. Do you, go out, do you go out in public? Are you doing things? Or are you staying at home mostly just being safe? No, I go out in public. I'll eat at restaurants outside hmm. and I'm, I'm working. You know, we're PPP compliant in the offices. Hmm. And at night, I'm, you know, I'm with the blow up doll, you know, about my new girl right here with the blow up doll. Takes my breath away, you know, about her. Yes. Mm-hmm. And does your wife so, know you have a blow-up doll? Well, she does because I let the air out of her at night. She flies around a room, so, you know, she plays hard to get. My <laughs> right. wife hears it. Sure, so hard. it's a little awkward. Yeah, it is a little. It sounds a little awkward. And <laughs> yeah. your son, is he? Is, yeah, is your son making a weird face right now? Yeah, my <laughs> son that doesn't care for me very much. Right. <laughs> You know, well, he cares he enough to, to hold the phone. Yeah, he's holding I mean, the phone. He's been holding the phone very steady for a long time. <laughs> he That's... is holding the phone steady. <laughs> it's the least he yeah. could do for you. Now, I want to tell you guys, this is me being serious for a minute. I want to say thanks because you guys believe in me and you, you help me out on the promotion end. And it means a lot to me. A comedian going absolutely nowhere with jokes people don't get anymore from 1982 that's <laughs> trying hard to get a little somewhere in the business. You know, when you get a little love from some people that have a little bit of a following, it means a lot from a little guy. So well, I just wanted to uh, thank you. Oh, well, that's thank, all, thank you. That's from my heart. Well, thank not you very much. I was waiting for a punchline somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not a cardiologist, but I just wanted to say that because I you had me on a podcast. That. You came out to meet me at Fresco's a few years mm. back. And uh, I just for people that believe in you, when you're a little guy starting out struggling, it means a lot to me. So I just want to say thank well, you. Well, of course, Jimmy. It's our thank pleasure. You. I would be, I mean, are you concerned about getting COVID? Um, I know you're. Well, you're- double nickels. So not quite yet. Not quite yet. But, you know, getting there. Getting there. What does double nickels mean? Well, what's a nickel? Five. Mm-hmm. What's double nickels? Heal in those. 10 cents. 55. 55. <laughs> Double nickels. That's your ten cents. <laughs> Double nickels. Double nickels. I'll be using that. All right. Big well, Dan's going to use it. <laughs> well, Jimmy, who are you voting for in November? Probably Truman. <clears throat> I don't believe he's on the ticket. Are you sure? I think I'm. I'll have to double check. <laughs> Maybe Barry Goldwater because these two guys stink. <laughs> Barry. Okay, I'll write him in. <laughs> Put Barry Gold. You know who I may vote for? Zach. 
Oh, Zach, I, for Zach in. I mean, look at that patriotic. We're all back. gonna vote yeah. for Zach. Yeah, we're voting for Zach. I'm voting for Zach with that saxophone he played to me. <laughs> I'm I'm putting Zach in. Zach, is that uh, when did you play? Was it saxophone or guitar, Zach? What it was guitar, play? Jimmy. It was guitar. Well, <laughs> Jimmy, you I... made Led Zeppelin look bad. Man. You played you played a good song one that. Oh, you played Sir Duke. I did. Yes, thank you. you. I appreciate you want, that. You want to hear the weird thing, Zach? Stevie Wonder didn't even see you. When you did it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Ta-da. Jimmy, um, yes. your glasses you are kind of floating you off your face. Quote? Do you notice the glasses don't really sit on your face? They kind of float. Do you know what I mean? Like, like they don't rest on your nose. They kind of just jiggle I around. I didn't notice until you I just had it. my nose done. Oh, okay. I just found that was, that was interesting. Is that a, do you specifically not put them down all the way for a reason? No, this is the gynecologist glasses, a guy that puts his hands in to the lady says, your hands are in the sink, doctor. She says, oh, I have the wrong glasses. <laughs> uh-huh. Wait, what's the joke? <laughs> <laughs> he wore these glasses, a gynecologist, and he was with the patient, says, uh, doctor, your hands are in the sink. He says, oh, I'm sorry, madam. Oh, because he Forget thought the it. sink was her vag? Bingo. Man, that's like Double a nickels. big mistake. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a big Zach misunderstanding. Zach was, Zach was nursing. He was the assistant that day. Yes. Right. Yes, I was. <laughs> Zach forgot. Don't you feel Zach like you could make a great drinking game from... Well, how does it go? How does the drinking game go? I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> not Dylan, let's get me famous with a, with a game, man. That's, yeah. that's cool. Whatever I'll think works. about it for you. This is what's going on. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, Hollywood Monthly. So, do, do what do you want? Do you want people to buy the magazine? Do you want people to go to your YouTube channel? Where do, what do we want the people to do to support Jimmy? It's not a we YouTube would love, channel. A we TV would love show. YouTube channel uh, viewers, subscribers, um, views on videos, uh, TikTok. What are we on TikTok? Oh, oh TikTok. TikTok. There we go. We are on TikTok. What do you do on TikTok? What do we call it? Called the Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw. Oh, that's where we need to be. Oh. Get that. Get that. Nice crowd of yours on TikTok okay. uh, and, and YouTube. And uh, may I say something to you, uh, Ethan, that probably nobody has ever said to you? May I? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, may I on a serious yes, note? Yes, please, please. I actually like you. Well, that is nice. I have never heard that before. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Jimmy, thank you very much. As always, on fire, on point. There he is. The Jimmy Jimmy <laughs> Lee all over the place. TikTok, YouTube, everywhere else. Hollywood Magazine. The Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw, people. The Jersey Outlaw's in the house. He's had sex with many women. Hundreds, would you say? <laughs> Many women, but no men. No men, sure. I wasn't, I didn't. Asian men are out of the question. Asian women are all right. Jimmy, the fact that you brought what up about... men makes me think you've had sex with men. What about non-Asian men? <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. I went on a gaycation many years ago. A gaycation? I found out, a gaycation. I found out everybody comes. Right. And I, I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ethan. I had I had some problems. With yeah. That. Well, that sounds good if everybody's coming. Well, all the gay guys, when they go to the supermarket, you find them in the fruit section. It was a little weird, so I didn't want to go that mm, route. That sounds offensive, you know I mean? possibly, but I get it. Yeah. Jimmy, are we talking hundreds? Are we talking thousands? What are we talking here? Thousands. I know. Some men Chick, have had that chicks, many women. Chicks? Yeah. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Over 100? But no more. No more. Oh, way over a hundred. Yeah. What? Did yeah. you see? Did you see what I? You see like how we reacted? Over two hundred? Are we pushing five hundred? More. What? Whoa! We need a Ethan. Buck. Ethan, have Zach pull up my Facebook page and look at the picture when I was twenty-five, real quick. Let's pull, Zach, up, pull it up. Facebook. Let's pull see. It up right let's now. see the Find young, the beautiful buck. Me, the black and white picture of me. Let's see when the I was buck. Twenty-five, and you'll see why. It over five hundred. Yeah. I oh, mean. Yeah. But no more. Spider doesn't work well that much. I'm older now. Do you still now when you um this I'm um, apologies. I'm destroy uh for, for being crass, but at a certain age I know that like do you still have a libido? Does anything come oh, out? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I do, but my when you get older you change, you know, my priorities are different. I work a lot of hours and you know, 
Uh, I love to do comedy, and on weekends I relax. I like to go to the diner and eat with friends. Sex, sex is lower. When you change. It sex sounds isn't like before really it was up your... there as you get a little bit older. But when you're young, you know, anybody talks and breathes and moves, and, you know, spider wakes up, and you, you, spider you, wakes you, you up. attack them. Jimmy, are we talking a thousand? Are we nearing a thousand? In the summers down the shore, think about how many people are down there for three months. Think what? about that. I grew up down in Margate, down in by Atlantic City, and the casinos. And when you go out at night and you're good looking and young, things happen. Wow. I mean, it sounds jamming. like it was your full time job. <laughs> no, no, no. Because in the winter, then he, he, what happens is in the winter time, it's different because your unit's not busy down the shore. So you got to get, get it out when it's busy. It wasn't busy in the winter, in the summer. You ever catch Did anything? Did you find a photo? <laughs> Zach's looking. You ever catch anything, Jimmy, during those days? Well, you know, everybody used to clap when I did my show. I said, don't do that. I had that a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. <laughs> knock wood. I uh, used the, uh, what do they call it? The, the raincoat? What do you call that, Zach? The raincoat? I believe it's called a condom. Yes. Condom. Condom. <laughs> yes. In England, they call it a condom. Yes. So I was pretty, uh, what's the word here? It's self-conscious. So the raincoat hey, went what's on. the word? Safe. Yeah, I have safe. no idea. Yeah. The raincoat. <laughs> we call it the raincoat. And are you and your wife still active? Very active. We are in separate bedrooms. We barely talk to each other. <laughs> but once in a while, we have, well, we do have sex, uh, Ethan, almost every day in a week. You know, almost Monday, almost Tuesday, right. almost Wednesday. All right. That's All about right. it. Right. There you go. That's <laughs> Where's that photo? Zach is looking feverishly. I can Jimmy, you have like 15 different Facebook pages. Like, <laughs> Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Act. Yeah, there's like 15 Jimmy, different public, Facebook pages. Wait, public Jimmy, figure, why do you have so many Facebook figure. pages? There's so many no. different pages. Is it under no. your real name? No, go Jimmy Lee public figure. <laughs> Jimmy, It has a picture with me and the models. Jimmy, why do you have so many Facebook pages? I have old ones that I don't use. I only use the one. I don't know why. Cool. Why are the old Jimmy, ones up? Um, you know what would be interesting to try for a video instead of those models? It would be interesting to see your wife just kind of like how he how she reacts to wow. your madness. She oh, just... she she makes faces and walks away. See, that's she funny. Knows that, no, that that sounds like an interesting video. I agree. I can't get the wife and the kids to go on the That's what would make it great, Jimmy. Agent. Bring your son and your wife to react instead of the models. Yes. Would you want to do it, Cole? Colby made a face he made, but we can't tell mom, right, Colb? Yeah, Colb's making a face. He can hear us? I, can no. you hear what they're saying, Colb? Oh, Colby can hear you. I didn't oh, know he can. can hear you. Oh, okay. He can hear you. Yeah. Did Colby, no picture, guys? Uh, Colby, what do you think about your dad's um, pursuit of comedy? Do you think he should give it up, and or do you think he... Are you yeah. proud of your dad? What do you think, Colb? Should I give it up or stick with it? Be honest. Yeah, be honest with us. Give it up. He said, "Give it up." Hmm. How do you? Uh, why do you think he should give it up? He clearly cares a lot about it. Why should I? Not give it good. Because he good. says, "I'm Oof. not. I'm not really relevant and good." Does that hurt your feelings, Jimmy? A little bit. Oh. Uh. Did you think your son thought you were a good act? Uh. Well, Colby's the one more like me, so I guess I did at one point. He mm. just says I'm too passe. Like Colby, is that what you said? I'm not caring. Um, well, you do do like the offensive kind of comedy, which is probably something be, of the past. That yeah, it's point, old. especially yeah. in 2020. It's the old um, tiny the, insult comedy. Yeah, and it doesn't go like. But you know what is weird? <clears throat> my my agent Roger, he says, you know, no one does it. It's funny that there's not a niche for you because mm. no one does what you do. Yet people won't bring you in because it's so politically correct and there's a Me Too movement with women. <laughs> so it's almost like if you touch someone or you insult someone, you're going to like end up in jail and get beat up where when Rickles would do a roast and he'd say to the black guy, the show's done, clean the tables up. <laughs> you do that today, they want to grab you and beat you up. So it's yeah. kind of like the stuff that I do, which is what I remember as well, a to kid. Be fair, yeah, Jimmy, the 80s I mean, don't work. To be fair, Jimmy, you could own slaves at one point and we don't like, allow that anymore. Obviously, that's an extreme example, but times do change. Right, right, right. So my problem, I think, was my age is I'm not as adaptable to change. And the style I have, I do. And my videographer and agent said, if you changed, and there was a production lady in L.A., Sue Haber, who said, if you changed, Zach, I'd develop you. You probably could hit. 
your your clothes you're wearing are outdated, your jokes are outdated, mm, the but clothes? you have to totally Damn. change. That's huh. what she told me. Really? I like mm-hmm. your I like your your bit uh, your routine. I, I mean, I can't. How speak- do you tell a singer that sings country you start singing Motown? I'm who I am as an artist. Right, you can't right. tell Tony Bennett to sing like uh, the One Connection band. Zach, what is so going I'm who on? I am. Zach is in the Matrix trying <laughs> everything to find this photo. I, I uploaded three of them to Discord oh, and go on my face. Oh, okay, oh, can you get so to we've your got phone? some. We've got okay. some. All right, let's see. Holy Fine. F- Find the black and white that. photo of me. That's not Wait, this isn't young. Or well, well, you tell this me if this is what you meant, Jimmy. <laughs> Here, is let's this? Oh, can going. Jimmy see what I'm seeing? You no, you'd have to screen share. Okay, I'm going to screen share, Jimmy, and you can tell me if this is. The it's photo. a black and white picture. I look what, like. Why don't you Trebek. send it? Black and white. Oh, it's black and white. Mm, this isn't it, white. Zach. It's a modeling shot I did when I was like. Can 24. you send it to Zach? Twenty four, Zach. I, Cole, I'm can you, not um, seeing anything on Hold here. on. <laughs> can you go on my Facebook? You can't, can you? Cole can't leave here. Yeah, can I hold that and you get on, go on your phone? I'm, I'm, I'm looking too, no Ethan. Big deal. You, you got to understand. If you go there on are... Facebook, Jimmy Lee, it's, it's, it's hold on, my Hold on, Jimmy. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. There, Jimmy. There, it's a good picture. Jimmy, Jimmy. Hold on one sec. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, there's, uh, I'm on his Facebook. There, You have literally thousands of pictures. Like I've been scrolling <laughs> for the last five minutes. <laughs> It's not an exaggeration. There are thousands of pictures. Go into albums albums and find the black and white album. You'll find it. You'll find it. There's one album with six pictures. It's black and white. You'll see it. (laughs) So So, your family doesn't seem, hmm. I don't know how to, I, I, I would, I'm a little sad that we, that it seems like you're, you're, I don't, I don't want to cause a rift or anything, but. It's got to be difficult to pursue something that maybe everyone. I don't have the support of my family with this. My wife, not really. My oldest son doesn't care. Colby kind of helps me with it, with stuff and videos. And he kind of gets me. But he said, if you change, you could probably be more successful. He was giving me good advice. What, Mm -hmm. two months ago, Colby? He was telling me the truth. I guess it's hard to change because of my age. Colby, what is it about his act that you think he should give it up? I mean, just just give us a little it. more insight because it seems What'd like why should I change it or give it up, Cole? What's wrong with yeah, it? Yeah. It's too old. Too old style. Offen- He's offensive. Offensive. Well, hold on. Your, your dad is yeah, too old or no. the bit is too old? The bit. The, the comedy. The comedy the, bit is too antiquated. It's too antiquated. The offensive type. Yeah, I, I kind of have to agree. And that's what Sue, that's what the girl lady said in California. She said, you're still nice looking for a middle-aged guy. If you start wearing John Varvatos and you do a uh, observational comedy, you are funny, but you have to change right. your style and your look. She said, uh, it's not hard to do. Uh, what's your son's name? Colby? I Colby? found it. Colby. Colby. Colby, who's Colby. your favorite uh, comedian? Who do you like for comedy, Colby? I don't really like comedians. He likes basketball. He doesn't like sports. comedians. Damn. He likes sports. He's rejected the art of comedy, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's uh, rejected me, it seems like. <laughs> I got I to gotta pick in uh, Okay, we got, we got the picture. Oh. This, this will show you why We I'm got the picture, Jimmy. The this is the guy that fucked your sister and mom in the same day. <laughs> oh, Look at the outlaw. <laughs> Chiseled. Beautiful. Look at that wow. hair. That was the kid in the day. That was in like 1990. Damn. I guess. Wow. But that's why when you asked How me, I wasn't lying. I wanted you to see the photo. I'd fuck, I'd fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I wasn't a lemon drop. I wasn't like my loafers. But lemon Zach, drop. <laughs> Zach would be a second choice. Yeah, you know Zach, of saying. course. <laughs> Everybody wants to fuck Zach. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Zach would be my second choice. <laughs> Dan Good. would be my first choice. Oh, really? Ooh. ooh. <laughs> well, Jimmy, we've learned a lot. Guys. We've learned a lot. Uh, yeah. Got a lot of insight. I wonder if we can develop a new comedy maybe you style. Can, maybe you can just give it a shot. Maybe work with but your son. Really, that's what this girl Susan told me to do. Yeah, because you're 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 a funny guy. No pun right. intended. Just don't piss everybody the, the off. Video do modern comedy. <laughs> well, why don't you just write some material about you know. What's something you're passionate about? I mean, dentistry, for example. What's a topic, you know, we can make some observational humor, a story. I think slow it yeah. down a little bit, you know? Right. I do think the fact that you're a dentist is very interesting. So a combination of a comedian who is also a dentist. But could, modern style comedy, that modern well, look maybe may work. 
I love the dentist mm-hmm. comedy connection. You know, yeah. they say they say that dentists are the highest rate of suicide of any profession. What's the deal with that? Oh yeah. <laughs> he just dropped dead. <laughs> <laughs> the big one, Ethel. <laughs> well, they kill themselves. Why are all why are dentists killing themselves? Well, I think they're depressed. Why? Why are dentists depressed? Have you looked at what dentists mostly look like? They're ugly. So oh. if you look at the mirror at yourself every day and you're ugly, you, you, you kill yourself. I dentists was blessed, are ugly. I was blessed with uh, a receding hairline, a five head, not a forehead. <laughs> five uh, head. Gay, gay glasses, a shirt from 1987, jokes from 1977, <laughs> and, uh, and a little bit of money. And, and, and I'm carrying on Zach's tradition where he plays guitar. I do gay jokes in Las Vegas, and we're both going absolutely nowhere quickly, <laughs> if I may say so. Even though Zach's uncle was a gangster with the mob and I ran the bootlegging shit and whatever and all that, and Sir Duke was a good friend of his and Stevie Wonder, and they played guitar together and saxophone. Zach, and uh, and Jimmy, I gotta. St- I mean, I, I'm not. I haven't been following you for like a fair couple of minutes, so I figured I was. I haven't in. been following myself, yeah. Jimmy. I do want to see you succeed. I do want to see you do yeah, well. Thank you. I love thank to. Co- I love to nice. have you back on the show and maybe, maybe try to develop kind of maybe a more modern, yeah, mo- okay. more modern kind of shtick. Maybe I'm about race relations or something. About about what? About race relations, Black Lives Matter, something like that. Maybe we could talk about the ball game. Did your son how just you, whisper something? How do you pay? Did your son just whisper? You, end it. <laughs> Cole, what did you just say? End it. He just said end it. He whispered. <laughs> Cole, come on. Yeah, your your oh. son knows how to read the room. <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you a million times over. We'll have you back on. Let's see. Up. Yeah, we love it. We love the outlaw. Okay. Thank All right, Jimmy. You take a care. Times and thank let's you. Stay, Col- let's stay in touch. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Colby, for holding the uh, the phone there Colby, for us. Thank you. Very He's got a steady right. hand too. Yeah. I have to. I have to tell him he did very well. Are you guys, thanks for believing in a little guy. I love you guys. I mean, All right. okay? appreciate thank you, Jimmy. All right, take care. Have Bye. a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So uh, for our final roast, which I, I think will just take us out, we'll we'll end the show on this, right? Um, if, well, you want to give a little setup? This is Jimmy Lee. Yes, <laughs> I, I was going to give the setup. This is Jimmy Lee. Now, um, I just am going to warn you now, <laughs> for those of you that are easily offended, um, you may want to just dip out now. This, <laughs> and let me just say, this is not, we do not endorse. Yeah. This is we do not endorse anything. Jimmy in fact, Lee says. I, there there is there's genuinely references in here that I was so clueless on that I have to assume sort of like Crowder that it's <laughs> some sort of high level advanced racism that I, like, right. I don't even know. I, I had like, to I, ask him. I had to ask him. Well, I googled around. <laughs> I couldn't even find this. So um, anyway, some of it I had to beep because it was just a little too much. But um, you know, we love Jimmy. And um, if we didn't bleep this, this video would be removed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I'll say this: not only do we not right? endorse what he's saying. We are proactively uh, saying that that we reject everything. We, we do not. We that we reject Jimmy Lee. So with that said, uh, let's throw it to Jimmy, and um, and I think we'll just uh, we'll wrap after after that. So take it away, Mr. Jersey Outlaw himself. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, honored to be here today at the Ethan Klein Roast. Glad he and I want to tell up. you guys, Ethan Klein's come a long way. He's got something to be very proud of. When he went to Israel, he did confirm to me that the Wailing Wall was built over 2,000 years ago, and there's <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Ethan, really? you got something to be proud of. And Ethan, you got something else to be proud of. Ethan Klein, I'm going to announce it here on the air, is the first guy to bring gonorrhea to Jerusalem. Let's hear it for him. What a guy. And Ethan, you'll be able to tell your son when he gets older all about it. Now, for you people out in TV land that don't know about Ethan and me, I am Ethan's father. Ethan is my son. Ethan's mom is a Kutana. Yes, she is black. Ethan is half Jewish, and Ethan is half black. And as a kid, he was a little bit confused. He didn't know whether to... (laughs) But, you know, he figured it out as he went. Super racist joke, I'm assuming. Now, I'm going to tell you, when he was born, the doctor slapped him, and the nurse got a couple in, too. Then the mother took (laughs) a look at him, got... Oh my God, I'm Jimmy! Tell you about Ethan Klein. He was an ugly kid. 
Boy, was he ugly. And when he was five, I looked at my wife. I said, now I know why tigers eat their young. All right? And I'm going to tell you, when we went out with our friends, they'd all say the same thing. He's got mom's eyes and he's got dad's nose. I told the kid he's got my sympathy. You know what I'm talking about? Now his mom lives in Florida, and she sends him money to stay the hell away and changed her name on top of it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it What's again, Jimmy even with an ugly about? kid. Uh, we took him to a freak show when he, he was 11 about years me? old. They let him in for free, all right? And he wanted to go to the zoo, and I said, if they want you, they'll come for you. I'm going to tell you something. They came for him. And Ethan had his first job when he was 13. Is was he talking about me? One of his best friends, Bob, <laughs> all right? Yes, guys, Ethan had his first homosexual experience at 13 years old. What? Two days what? before his bar mitzvah. And I'm going to tell you something, at his bar mitzvah, that was another weird situation. The rabbi left last minute, and Deacon Leroy had to fill in. And when they were doing the blessing over the bread, Deacon Leroy stole the silverware. It was a rough night. I'm going to tell you something. What the fuck is he talking it was a rough about? Night. But I, Ethan pulled it together. Like I said, I graduated Deacon from high school. Deacon Leroy? Highly Leroy. offensive. I, I, I apologize. Heard I, about. I genuinely don't Everybody know Everybody heard about it. How long is and this? And when he took his driver's test, How guys, he got 18 out of 20. Three, three and a half minutes left. The other two kids Three and a half minutes? Yes, sir. They okay. were lucky. Okay. I got more stuff to tell you about Ethan Klein. In college, can you bring he was me a slice a of whole cake? Liquor, liquor. That was his first job. Was a whole liquor, liquor. That's right, folks. He'd get a <laughs> bottle of liquor and break it over to hold a boat and lick the liquor off the hold a boat. What are you know talking what about, you Jimmy? Were thinking, We're talking about breaking liquor, liquor and licking liquor. boats. I don't get and that it. Was his job. And I want to tell you, we should all be proud of Ethan Klein. He's got a very, very big following on YouTube now. And financially, he's doing very, very well. In fact, last week, he bought himself a Rolls Royce. That's true. But he didn't forget his wife, and he did something real special for her. He bought her a chauffeur's cop. What a guy. A what? What a guy. And I'm going to tell you, in I reality, bought her a chauffeur's Ethan, don't, cap. I, don't buy. To imply cheap, that Eli's your chauffeur. Ankles. I'll tell you what he spends on. He oh, tips prostitutes. Cap. Yeah. In fact, last night, he was with Mercedes, Lexus, repossessed. <laughs> I don't know what the hell her name was. But I know he dropped his pants. She dropped the price. It was a rough night. Let me tell you something. Bruh. And she looked down at <laughs> What is he talking canary. about, yeah. Jimmy? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so what else are we going to talk about? I don't know. You tell We're me. Talk about uh, possibly uh, he takes venereal disease very, very, very seriously. In fact, what? one night he got gonorrhea, uh, syphilis, and chlamydia all in one night, which proves as a big celebrity you can catch everything. You don't have to go fishing. All right. So I think it's time we give Ethan a big hand. You see, he's already got big feet. And I do want to talk a little bit about his beautiful, lovely wife, Hilla, who uh -oh, I met many, Hilla. many years ago in New York. And uh, when I met her, she turned a few heads, but she turned a few stomachs, too. All right? And uh, you're she's you're telling repulsive. everybody that she's mean? Israeli, <laughs> but I think she's Egyptian. I think basically Egyptian. what happened, uh, Ethan couldn't find a parking place for her camel. So she converted. What? Why are we still working in, in camel jokes? Uh, yes, folks, the river. Did There's not. no place for uh, camel jokes in, in this road. Don't make me write these jokes out, okay? <laughs> there are, there are. Now, I believe Ethan and Hilda met at the Holocaust Museum in uh, Washington, D.C. So if there's any Germans out there, put down your goddamn guns. We don't want any problems, okay? And I want to tell you that, uh, <laughs> okay, that Hill is that's a very true. quiet, shy person. I mean, I've had a better time at viewings. And spending the night with her is almost like watching a casket warp. But Hill is very unique. She's the only it's person I've ever met that can enjoy herself without having a good time. How about that? And everybody says the same kind of things about Hilla that she knows how to listen. The problem the is nobody knows she yeah, how, much, me. how much time is you left, Dan? I always say <laughs> to Hilla. I always say to Hilla. Tomato emoji. Don't, don't give up the shit. white. Sell her. You see what I mean? Now, Hill, I'm one of your friends, but I have to tell you, I'm in a minority group here. Okay? And continuing on, Zach, I'll mention your name only because you asked me to. There's not really much to say about you because you got a bad personality. <laughs> so, <in> closing, <laughs> I do want to say this on a serious note. One of the only good uh, roasts in there. <laughs> besides all the, the silly, stupid jokes. Uh, Ethan and Hill, I've been friends since 2013. Uh, we kid, we have fun, we, we joke around a lot. And in show business, it's tough to have a friend when you're at the bottom. And folks, I'm at the bottom. Okay? <laughs> so I will say this, when the whole world booed, when the whole world booed, Ethan and Hill stood by, by, stood by my side, 
and made a little guy feel a little bit important. And for that, I'm grateful. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. And uh, for all you people out there that are grateful, the only advice I can tell you to do is fly American Airlines. Right now, there's no planes flying. But uh, Ethan, happy birthday. Stay out what, of the What, is he getting bars. paid I by American? <laughs> and Zach, behave yourself and don't get in any trouble. <laughs> I'm going to come back right. to the desk real fast. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jersey outlaw. Where did Jimmy tomatoes, Lee. Why did tomatoes get a filter? <laughs> because there's just too many spam. There's too many tomatoes. There's tomatoes. <laughs> oh, like, there's tomatoes. <laughs> I feel like I could write a whole dissertation on Jimmy's <laughs> delivery. Yeah. Yeah, that was really something. What a good time, huh? Well, <laughs> how, how you doing, Ethan? How are you feeling? Yeah. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm honored that we got so many great people involved. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys did fantastic. Thank you. And it's all, it's all love. love. Great it's job. all love. <laughs> that was, yeah, it, and I mean, uh, that was a fantastic, it was fun. All right, you guys want to talk about Jimmy Lee? Because this was pretty epic. Um, as you guys know, Jimmy Lee, friend of the show. He is a, how would you call him, a shop? Associate of the show, I would say. Right, let's not say friend. He's more <laughs> of a... Uh, he's an acquaintance. Character on the show. Yeah, he's in our goof game. Well, uh, he's a friend of the show. I'm, I'm going to embrace that. <laughs> Sometimes you have friends. Uh, you know, wait until you see the footage. Yeah, right? after... Maybe. That bad? Uh, after what we experienced, Ethan, I don't, I don't know, man. It was pretty rough. I mean, he's been on the show. <sighs> but Jimmy Lee, he tells shocking, often racist, just horrific... Uh, jokes. I'm I'm afraid he's gonna get beat up. The stuff he says to people is just beyond. Now, you guys, he's been begging us to do a. He texts me and, and Zach. What like I don't know. He uh, there was, he emails me like ten times a day. Yeah, he he called me like five six times. Uh, there was one week where he called me five six times a day, just brigading and harassing. Did you ever answer? Well, eventually, yeah, we filmed with him. <laughs> I mean, it got so it worked. Yeah. yeah, that's why he keeps it up. Yeah. So, we did a segment where Cam, Love, Ian, and Zach went out to to do some jokes with him. His whole shtick is he goes up to random people on the street and just offends them. Zach, you he was taking your un, under his wing. Was that the idea? That that was our plan. Unfortunately, that really didn't fall through. Because um, he uh, he brought his own filming crew. Yes, he always does that. Right. So in, in our minds and what we've discussed with him and made it very clear that this, this was mutual, that I was going to come and he was going to teach me the ropes. However, this was not the case whatsoever. He totally hijacked our shoot. Yeah. He, uh, it was just Jimmy. He just, he turned on into Jimmy. Yeah, I, I, that's what I thought would happen. He's kind of got one track. Yeah, and, you know, that's it. That's all you're going to get. He kept getting in our shots. His filming crew kept getting in our shots, and um, <laughs> there was no stopping this man. And he kept, he kept telling me, you're not funny, Zach. You're not doing this right. He said that to you? Yeah. You're the mentor. Was he serious? He kind of alpha dog Zach a little bit. Yeah, I do. So what, well, okay, that, so what was, Ian, and, well, Love, you're Swedish, you're visiting, what was your impression of all that went down? Uh, I mean, my view of the American people has been very, very reinforced. People are resilient. Uh, probably if you did that in Sweden, you'd get your, I, I say Swedish people are pretty calm, but doing stuff like that would not fly in Sweden. I'm telling you, we even did that in New York. The first mm-hmm. time I met him, we were in New York. And you know, New Yorkers have a reputation. Yeah. I'm surprised nobody nobody swung at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, we had these two big-ass security guards with Sure. Them. But oh. were people getting pissed, or were they just kind of playing along? <laughs> I mean, it's so dumb, so yeah. it's hard to take serious. <laughs> some, people were, some people were mad, yeah. So, Ian, what was your take? Because you were there behind the camera. Oh, I mean, it was... It was ra- it was a radioactive situation. It, I mean, in Jimmy's words, it is dangerously funny. Yeah. <laughs> so. he, he, I mean, he keeps saying the same jokes like twenty times, even though sure. it's different people. Like God loved the guy, and he treated us to breakfast was really mm-hmm. nice, and he treated us to lunch. But we w- were supposed to film with him till like seven o'clock. Oh my! Goodness. And it hit like. I was done around like one o'clock. I'm like, how are you gonna do? There's no. When did you meet him? We we met him at nine. 
So he wanted it. He wait, nine a.m. Nine a.m. He point. wanted to do ten hours. Yes. Yeah. He wanted to fuck do that. Dude. Ten I mean, hours shoot. So ten hours by one o'clock. I'm getting like I'm done. Like I'm just. Fuck that. Yeah, four hours is enough with Jimmy. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it like four o'clock hits, and he, we're all just like, this is enough. We got to, this is too much. And Ian was getting upset. I was upset. Love was just for the ride. What were you upset about, Ian? Well, <laughs> we were just pissed. It like, just wasn't. I could tell everyone was tired. It wasn't really, you know, we were trying to film, as Zach said, every, just a lot of backs turned. We couldn't get a good shot. Jimmy is bringing us into <laughs> restaurants. He just flagged, stuff you're not comfortable with. He he flagged down a bus and made them stop. <laughs> and he roasted every person on the bus. He went on the bus? He, no, no, he, he had, made everyone go out. He had them leave the bus. <laughs> what? How and did he, he do that? Them on the Wait, bus. what kind of was what kind of bus was it? Like a Hollywood bus. Yeah, it was like So he Hollywood stopped the Hollywood bus. bus. Yeah. He, he somehow convinced them all to come off. He sees Not the, all of them. A lot of people were like I'm not doing this. And then he got on the bus and roasted them too. Oh my and God! It's not, it's not like comedy. It's like saying you're ugly. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's common. He, he sees the, 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 the bus driver and he gets him to pull over. He's like, "Hey, ZZ Top," because he's got a big <laughs> long beard. It was just horrendously bad. And I think the part that really pissed him off was he people would come up with him to, to take pictures of them because obviously you have a camera crew and bodyguards, so people think you're someone, right? But we would get notice from the show, like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's Ian. Oh, my God, that's Zach. That's love. And he would get kind of pissed at that. Really? Yeah. We lost a couple of fans for sure. <laughs> oh, like, no. There, there was this ticket boy in, like, a ticket, you know, cube, wherever. And I heard the, the, the like, speaker, like, is that you, love? A3? Yeah. And I turned around and, yeah, it's us. And then I pointed him out to Jimmy Lee, like, there's a fan in here. And he just goes up and, like, calls him, like, he goes on fat or something. No, no, way worse. I don't even know. <laughs> like, see, a uh, super racist slur. <laughs> like, going crazy, dude. Ethan, and, it, it was bad. And I just stayed after because I'm, I'm the audio dude. So I just, like, sorry about that, dude. <laughs> I, I, I felt so bad. Well, if you're a fan of the show, you know Jim, the Jimmy He the was experience. laughing, but that was rough, it, dude. Ethan, oh. it was, dare I say, the worst day of my life. Well, <laughs> since I started working here, this is the first thing I voluntarily, like, skipped. I was like, I can't Smart. do it. I cannot do this. Even dance out of it, Yeah, me Smart, and man. we were alone we should, in the office yesterday. We should just, I'm actually seeing a decent amount, because we have a lot of relatively new fans, and Jimmy is kind of an old meme. Jimmy is a uh, comedian, let's say. <laughs> Uh, who has been part of the H3 lore for years now. There was an old H3, H3 Productions video made about him um, because you guys discovered on YouTube some of his, his comedy sketch, his sketch comedy stuff, right? That's, that's how it all originated. So the original story, this is so crazy, is that he's a dentist. He's actually a very successful dentist. He was rich. And one of our fans, member of the subreddit, said, I was at my dentist. And when he finished, he handed me a DVD right. <laughs> of his sketch and said, go watch this. And when I watched it, it was the worst, craziest thing I ever saw. You have to watch this. And they posted it on the subreddit. And then we started making reaction videos to it. And it is incredible. I mean, you could go watch those on our Ethan and Ela channel. They're still up. One fucked up dentist, it was called. Which he told me why he kind of like got rid of that. It was totally tanking his business. Yeah, of course. He can't, what, what <laughs> what dentist, what you can't You can't have a dentist passing out mixtapes to his fucking Like he told me he lost a lot of business. <laughs> <laughs> and like he, he's like burying it. He, he that's like he's putting the kibosh, it's buried, like it's gone. And to add that, he's not only a dentist, he's the owner of like seven or eight yeah. dentist businesses. He spent yeah. like four grand on this whole day. Oh, he, yeah. he he keeps telling me he drives a Rolls Royce. No, he's I loaded. Believe it. Yeah, he's, he's loaded. a multi multi millionaire. See, yeah. the, the thing with Jimmy, he wants to be famous so bad. That's his like goal. He doesn't care how. He doesn't care any will or way. He By will. the way, I should also mention he's like seventy. He's old. <laughs> this is not yeah. like a young like this is not a young man who's ready for Hollywood. Not not to give off too much of the sauce from the video and what we have upcoming, but. When he's in makeup, I mean, it's just, 
Ethan, I've I've <laughs> never seen some shit like that. Before. Did he put a shitload of uh, makeup on? What do you mean? He had a full makeup artist, and you know, his hair is thinning, which he can't help. But he's old. Yeah, he's getting old. Yeah. And he's like, I, he's like, I got a receding hairline. So what the makeup artist did is he painted on a hairline, and it looks like he's like ready for the mortician or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's I mean, what crazy dude. Here, just to show you guys. Now, this was like from ten years ago, so, and I just to give you guys an idea. This is a trailer. I don't know. Apparently, he erased them all. Hey. But the thing is, he still. Do oh, this is like a trailer. <laughs> <edit>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, he still does his comedy, so it's not like he's retired. He he will do anything to get famous yeah you guys you got by the way you guys might feel bad because we're making fun of him but we're he's literally this is how we always talk about him and he literally emails us a hundred times a day yeah well he also me it, and zach it's gotten to a point where he goes by a different alias now so he's creating new aliases to email us he made a fake manager <laughs> yeah. that he admit to zach was him <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm Jimmy Lee's right publicist or whatever. We're like, that's you, Jimmy, right? He's like, yeah. It, it was the name, like, I won't say it, but he, um, it, it was just fucking hysterical. So, this we've done a lot with Jimmy over the years. He's, you know, he a he's a great on, sport. He doesn't care. <laughs> he loves it. He loves the attention. Yeah. So, I mean, we try to do what we can for him. For him. It's like a make-a-wish for Jimmy at this point. <laughs> We yeah, bet. I guess I just remembered any relatively more recent fan. If you saw the roast that we did for right. Ethan's birthday last year, uh, he was one of the participants. Right. In that. Yeah. Right. So Which you, we had to edit. If you watch that, you may remember him from from that clip. So uh, here, let's let's see what this is. I'm one fucked up tennist. <laughs> I mean, he sang, he danced, he dusted. Full screen. I'm not singing, man. I'm just a tennis. <laughs> Someone made a dramatic uh, One edit. thing counts in this office. Pull teeth. You gotta pull teeth. You hear me, you idiots? <laughs> That's where the money is. Let me hear it. A-P-T. Always pull teeth. Hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I got some aches and pains. I need an hour. Oh, no. Not this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop it, stop it, stop, stop, stop it. This is, this is Star Wars music, I just realized. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me, um, I gotta find some of his street comedy to give you guys an Ian idea. Ian, the clip. Okay, good. Yeah. So he, he was in town two weeks ago doing the same shit with, like, the same crew. So there's a recent one of them. This one is from March 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah recent. Yeah. Let's see. You. Look what we get in LA yeah. for 10 bucks. Can you turn up the quality too? It's like. Oh, yeah, sorry. Mega pixelated. Because you know he always film in 8K. Yeah. Okay. Well, the last one I assumed was it would just look like that. But this one. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's, let's look, give you guys a taste of, of, of <laughs> what we, what's to come here. Yeah. Well, there's actually a really funny wrinkle in all this is that a Keem Sadar fan, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> We saw on Twitter a fan encountered all that was going on yeah. and then was like, yo, I got, yo, Keemstar, you want an exclusive clip of me roasting the H3 podcast crew? And then, of course, Keem's like, send me. And it's just Jimmy <laughs> Lee. A guy who, by the way, when Keemstar was trying to cancel me, was being like, Ethan's just mean to this old man, Jimmy Lee. This poor, poor guy. <laughs> um... <laughs> Which we'll get into. I'm excited to watch that. By the way, Cam, Cam was saying that it was the most chaotic day of his life. <laughs> the final edit's going to take some finesse, I'm sure. Cam, I just unmuted your mic. If you okay, want you can hear me. In. Yeah, I gotta say we got kicked out of at least eight places yesterday, and <laughs> they were all fancy restaurants and such. And it was, you know, this is going to be a nightmare to edit, but it's going to be gold at the end of it. So okay, I'm going to do my best. Well, Jimmy but should be thankful you're the one editing it, not. We got. Four and a half hours of footage yesterday, so it might take a little oh bit. But uh, this is a this is a really good uh, hype up we're doing right now. We 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 went through hell, Ethan. Oh, I I've, I I know because I've done it myself, bro. <laughs> right. I was. I made time, I though. when I before I knew much about him. We did like a whole series of reaction videos to him on our Ethan and Ela channel when we lived in New York. 
because he's from New Jersey. So we met up in Central Park, and we kind of did what you guys did today with him, and it blew my fucking mind, you I, guys. I sent a timestamp. I don't know if you want to look at it from that video. From and, the restaurant? Yeah, and it's one of my favorite moments in yeah. H3 history. Yeah, so this was my first encounter with... Uh, with Jimmy Lee, and it was just mind bending. It was unlike My him. <laughs> who, who can embarrass a waiter that much Putting other what? than dad? Putting what? Uh, and Listen, nobody would know the difference. I'm, I'm, Chinese. Married, I'm married, but my wife, you know, I like you. <laughs> okay. And I want to be passionate enough. All right. But tonight I want to be on the bar. Okay. And I want you to be up on top. So Ethan's going to come home with a bunk piss. Okay. So this way I'm going to be He's holding her arm. He can't he's, leave. He's right. still I mean, using that does. joke to this day. I do. I really it's not a joke. Okay. Now the owner, wow. you, know, you don't want to lose your job. Maybe no. your virginity, but not your job. <laughs> and where are you from? Hong Kong? Uh, no, the contract to be signed. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. It's this is normal. I want to ask for the record. I'm glad you did it right away, too. Yeah, me too. Uh, what was that? <laughs> That's what Ethan is. The beauty of me. That's the real deal, unscripted, uncensored, and that's what people want. Me on the streets. <laughs> Billy, get off the streets. The Jersey Outlaws on the streets. Okay, but what about that whole thing about, like, the Asian girl? That, like, Asian jokes and, like, having sex with her that seemed, like, kind of inappropriate. It was very appropriate. It seemed, like, kind of, like, awkward. No, Brian was really digging it. Brian just got, instead of an election, an erection. This is the stuff that's going to hit. Is the street comedy I think, and the fun I, stuff I with think, the people? I think what I just saw was one of the most awkward things I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that to be ironic or funny. That was insane. We're either gonna end up in jail. <laughs> I mean, I was just. I had to confront him on it there and then because I I had never been put in that situation before. Yeah. I mean, I, I just the man is un, He's fucking insane. He would say he has balls of steel. He's got. He's he's not. Thanks, Tommy. He's insane. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. There, there's another gold timestamp at 7:40. If you want to show that. <laughs> Cam says they went through literally a thousand of those situations. Yeah, yesterday. that was nothing, dude. No, there, there. I don't know the way. He, so here we go into Central Park. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's like he's a just, shark, dude. Like Looking for his next reason. <laughs> Oh my god. He, he's, a, he's a maniac. What, A.B.? I didn't say anything. Oh. Where are you from? Where am I from? He's just... He, yeah. my, I'm, from I'm trying to stop from? him. Sorry, my, my father didn't take his medication today. <laughs> that's, that's what the shtick <laughs> I was doing with. Oh, oh really? Yeah. When you're in Dude, Dude, that played it so smooth. From the footage I saw, I'm very impressed. So like, why was he... And he was complaining that you weren't... That you were, like, ruining it? Because I would call him out on, like, his jokes. Yeah. Like his racist okay, jokes. Okay, good. He, That's like, good. He's like, you're, you're ruining it. You're, good. You're I'm tough. glad you did, Zach. I'm glad. Because <laughs> you need a straight man. Otherwise, it just is psychotic Like and crazy. He's too much, dude. Yeah, at a certain point, I was like, I can't. <laughs> we got to stop. All right. You, you, come on. I was <laughs> just trying to talk to him, you know? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't there to do shtick or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from the hood, or can I borrow the hood? <laughs> okay. I'm just not sure about this. I'm just not sure what to do, because Jimmy, he gets, he does his thing. You married? And no, the cameras aren't even looking at him. I don't know if I should intervene, because we were just supposed to walk around the park and chat, like get to know each other. And this is the result of that. I mean, this sounds similar to what they were explaining He's happened doing yesterday. Shit, but he doesn't have a lab on. There's no camera yeah, on. Right, yeah. I mean, the whole premise for yesterday, which I know was discussed heavily, because Zach's not lying. I mean, the dude calls him like three times a day. So I yeah. heard a lot of these Me conversations. Too. Me and the too. premise was that he was going to be little Jimmy, and he was going to be like mentoring him or whatever and pretty much just immediately that just went out the window and he's just walking around insulting everybody that he encounters so. yeah it's kind of the opposite of what you're showing because you're saying he had no camera pointed on him then this time he was trying to like <laughs> trick people into thinking he was famous mm. so he would be like all right camera guys get out first then security we're gonna wait two minutes then zach and i are gonna get out Everyone's going to think we're celebrities, and then we're going to start he, talking He to kept people. saying, isn't it great being famous? Isn't it great? <laughs> he would say that in front of them. He, he just, he, he's off the fucking rails, dude. So we would be, like, <laughs> sitting outside the limo waiting for Jimmy to get out, and then he, 
all these people are taking photos. Wait, you guys like, were you guys were going around in a limo? Yeah, yeah. you rented oh, yeah. a limo. All these people are thinking like <laughs> Bert Looney or someone's about to jump out. And then Jimmy would launch out and just be like, hey, this is my boyfriend, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, fatty? Yeah. It's shit like that. He, he, he went up to a girl in one of his uh, street comedy videos. It's just, it, this was stuff we used to, uh, we used to clown on him for. Um, he goes up to a, like a larger woman and be like, hey, what's up? You really, uh, whoa, save some food for me inside, huh? <laughs> yeah, we got a crazy. big one. It, 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 remember? He say what? <laughs> we got a big one. We got a big girl. <laughs> we got a big girl. girl. Yeah. And he, he's like, he's like, hey, I know what you had for breakfast. The whole buffet. Oh, my like, God. Like, he said that. Uh, he's like, uh, you really have inflated. Oh, yeah, and he has this one pose. This is his pose. <laughs> he yeah. does that every <laughs> yeah. fucking time. That's his pose. And he kept saying, do it like this, Zach. Do it like this. But like, okay, so, so he yeah. was mentoring you. Well, yeah. in, you in, photo. in photos, but not like going around saying, hey, right. this is an approach. This, he totally hijacked the shoot. You know what's crazy? If you just look at his face, like you could see he's bald. Like you see his <laughs> dome, and then there's just like hair on top for Darkness, some reason. Dude. <laughs> like he's bald, and then there's some hair on top. Madame Tussauds wax figures, man. Yeah, so I'm actually curious how old he is. He he's he he he's not a young man. He'll never admit his age. I think he's got to be in the seventies, easily. Yeah, something like that. Like mid seventies. Yeah, that seems about right. So um, that's the lore. Cam he says he's fifty four. <laughs> no, that's not possible. You, you, gotta, to, you can't be serious. You no, I don't think I honestly have to. Stand that's what up he told him here. Cam says yeah. That's what he told him. He told him he's 54. Yeah. He's I'm gonna, 74. I'm gonna, I'm no, gonna he's really him. agile, though. I know. He's, he's in like good shape. He's around doing all this shit. I agree. Uh, I doubt he's 70. Bro, trust me. He is in his 70s. He's old as fuck. I'm texting him right know. now. No, but tell him he's got to tell you the honest truth, Zach. Yeah. So, you see, we have a we have a interesting relationship with Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> But he's, he's a character. What can I say? He's one of a kind. Absolutely. Never met anyone like him in my life, that's for sure. We get in LA we... for 10 bucks. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Dangerously funny in Hollywood. Pandemonium and mayhem. It's going to get nuts. What band are you in? Guns and Noses? Guns and Roses. Guns and no oh, so yeah, he, just, he literally just. The he's meanest the shit. He's an I asshole, dude. He, he used that joke on me. Next time. Dude, that's he so hit you with the guns and noses. Yeah, he he got me good. Oh damn, got you got fucking <laughs> wrecked, Jimmy. That's just mean, dude. He doesn't give a shit. They should have a tail. Jimmy Lee, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaws, wheeling, oh, yeah. dealing, yeah, girl stealing, like limousine riding, jet flying, and it's gonna get nuts. I'm pretty sure his. I remember his breath really stinks too. <laughs> like when you get really close to him. Did any of you guys notice that or no? No, to, he gets really close to his. He's he's a soft talker. He's he's a very soft talker. But to his yeah. credit, he did smell decent. He did okay. smell good. Okay, yeah. good. Who's this guy? <laughs> Who was the guy you're with last night? The big Israeli guy. <laughs> Who's on the bottom? Who's on the top? I am on the top. All right, I'll tell you what you do next time. If you're on the top, you're on the bottom. Get a bunk bed. <laughs> You're a sh See that one wasn't bad. That joke he did probably ten times yesterday. Yeah. Really? Ex that exact like all of those jokes. Same thing every time he meets a couple. That's the magic of street <laughs> comedy. I yeah. Love. He, he kept you saying, uh, "You got to do it like ten times with one joke to get one to hit." <laughs> <laughs> Don Rickles is his idol. He wants to be famous yeah. in Don Rickles. I could see he's trying to do that, but there's only one Don Rickles, and also Don Rickles was like 50 years ago. So yeah. Rip to the goat. He's even way meaner than Don Rickles, though. Don oh, Rickles yeah. had a but charm. I don't know. I yeah, don't Don Rickles yeah. knew the boundaries. Yeah. Right. right. Jimmy just... This guy is unchanged. Yeah, sometimes, like, to young girls walking by, he's just... You're ugly. Straight up, he did that yesterday. <laughs> Nothing else. He did that yesterday. He's like, look yeah. at you. You're fucking ugly. To, like, 15-year-olds. And we had to tell him, don't do that to young kids. He, he doesn't, like, <laughs> ask for ID. He doesn't do any of that. No. Nah. So we had to stop him at some point, which is we just, brutal. We, that's why like, he got mad. 
I literally stopped being friends with someone last semester because they called someone ugly. <laughs> and I was like, I haven't called someone ugly since I was like 10. Yeah. Well, I don't think we can be friends anymore. Jimmy's 10 hundred. And, and <laughs> that's, so. that's wild. I didn't know. He was just screaming at people that they're ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Fat. Uh, who did you sleep with last night? Like, like he just did. You know? Well, let's like, see. That was St. Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Girls, I have to be honest with you. I've never seen and met two more boring people, and now I understand why there's no dates. What's the joke there, Jimmy? It, he just, there's none. He's just being an asshole. Wow. And after, after he calls someone ugly, he'll just walk, walk away, and then he'll, he'll gather up with the guys, or with us, and he'll say, yeah, that went very well. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just called someone ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Lord, he kept he kept asking. He's like, "Is the audio rolling?" Because yeah. he was wearing two laps. So he was wearing from. He had two laps. Was, I, we don't want to miss a moment from, of from ours and from his crew. He's like, hey, uh, "Can you hear me? Okay, like uh, every five fucking <laughs> like, minutes, yeah, bro." Like, I could hear him pee at one time too. <laughs> We How was the stream? Was it soft or strong? No, hard as fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, crazy. So he has a good prostate. For <laughs> I, I yeah. asked him, like, Jimmy, how's your prostate? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently good by the sound of his pee. Yeah. How you doing? 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 Can I ask your girls a question? Can I talk? Do you guys speak English? Yes. yes. Don't, don't get angry, but did a bus hit you on an angle? What happened to you? See that? That's the type of he thing. said that one about thirty times yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotten worse. I feel like I don't. Oh, feel, yeah, I don't feel like he used to be this me just straight up mean to everybody. I think he's like mentally losing it or some shit. Dude. I th yeah. Yeah, this might be a cognitive decline. Yeah, he he also said that he wanted to become famous, and we asked like, we kind of went into details about be becoming famous, and he's like, I don't care how. Just whatever, give me fame. <laughs> nice. I just find it, I find it so interesting that at his age, he's still so determined. I mean, this guy managed to have a long, extremely mm -hmm. successful career in life. Yep. The guy is truly an enigma. I mean, he is one person of seven billion, truly. Well, you guys are really exciting people. It's like watching a casket war, hanging out with these people. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. This is where they make all the wonton soup. I'm going to tell you a joke that's going to make your boobies fall off. Looks like you already heard that joke. Oh. <laughs> Said that one about 40 times yesterday. <laughs> Everyone is just so mean. It wasn't this oh. bad before. What's your name? Hello. Nice of you to come out in your pajamas. It's a nice outfit. Thanks. You could work the cotton candy machine at the you carnival. Mama, it's a nice right? outfit. <laughs> what are you smoking? Are you vaping? No, I'm not. It's just the kids. How you doing? Where was the joke? <laughs> the editing is just insane. <laughs> By the way, you know his shoots are 11 hours long. This video is six minutes. Right. Well, you gotta yeah. pick the gold, the gold nuggets. I mean, holy shit, dude! What happened? Come on, baby. Hey, it's a nice shirt. You, you put put a candle on. You play restaurant. Jesus Christ! It looks like a tablecloth. Where's your husband? I have no idea. I lost him. Yeah, I wonder why. How do you know he's not hiding? <laughs> oh my God. We're applying for the no, job. No, no. Pause for a second. Yeah, yeah. This will definitely won't make the final. Call. He asked that to some lady yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was fucked. He, he, she said he he passed away, and he said, "Oh, are you sure he's not hiding?" <laughs> <laughs> right, <it's> so fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Ethan! The amount of trauma we went through yesterday. This is worse than I imagined. <laughs> it's oh horrible. God. Dude. It's so fucked. <laughs> It's it's bad, dude. <laughs> All right, enough. Well, we have so much to look forward to. Brutal. Um, we have so much to look forward to uh, with the edit. I'm I'm interested. I think your guys's video will be interesting in that. Um, 
You'll get your. I'm interested in just seeing your guys. Yeah, no, the observer. It's like we, a yeah. We gave the true, safari. the true Jimmy Lee. Right. We gave the gate. We didn't bullshit. Unfiltered. We just, we just, <laughs> we said it like it is. <laughs> well, you guys went through what I did, so sounds like even worse potentially. I don't know that. You, I don't think you guys understand how awkward that restaurant situation was. Oh yeah, because I that, can't imagine. I, I, I never incredibly been. uncomfortable to watch, much less be there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> um, here, here's the tweet that someone sent to Keemstar. Pulled up on the H3 podcast crew today and got video roasting them if drama alert wants. So here's Jimmy, Zach, Ian smirking, <laughs> which never happens. <laughs> and love. What happened here? Who was this guy? He was a. Uh, Kim says DM. For for lack of a better term, he was a little shithead. And um, he was, you know, look, I get it. He's probably a fan. He was with a camera. He was just looking for to do some shit. And he just, like, told a bunch of people to scream Keemstar. <laughs> okay. And we turn around, and it, 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 it Jimmy got pissed because it interrupted his joke. <laughs> he was telling, which you'll see. Did Jimmy roast him? You'll see. Okay. You'll see. Wow. Yeah. Who got roasted, my friend? Don't take on Jimmy. What's interesting is that the, I I think this person is clearly a fan because they they knew who Jimmy was almost instantly. Oh, they're a fan of ours. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, let's move on. We've got a little clip. You said Dan. I don't see that. Huh? You said we have a preview. Oh, uh, Cam was editing a a teaser. Oh, here it is. All right, I've got it. Here we go, guys. And in the meantime, you want me to queue up this uh, fan call? Yeah, you can you can cue it up. Uh, cue it up. What's up? To give you an idea, you know, right? Jeez! Star! Oh no! Who are these people? We just like Keemstar, and we think Ethan's a lying hypocrite. Wait, he came out with his own camera? <laughs> yeah, he was. He had it all on fucking you know, handheld shit. He was vlogging. Wait, it, it, you like pause it for a second? You really listen to the the Keemstar, Keemstar uh, screech? Is he in puber? He's prepubescent by the sound of it. <laughs> People. We just like Keemstar, and we think Ethan's a lying hypocrite. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> On the water runs up. They give you an idea. They're right. Keemstar! Look, look, look at Jimmy. Look at him. He's all mad. It's just chaos surrounding Jimmy at Bro. all times. All right. Look at Jimmy Lee's hairline there. You see that black line? Love you. It's a shadow. You're, you're muted. muted. Wait, oh no, that's makeup? Yeah, yeah that's makeup, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Who are these people? We just like Keemstar, and we think Ethan's a lying hypocrite. <laughs> I wouldn't mess around with H3H3. They're here. He's a big Why not? Because that's Zach. That's his Is right Keemstar hand man. here? His I'll team's right Keemstar here. I'll get Keemstar to pull up. I'll get Keemstar to pull up. This reminds me of me doing my tour portion at my apartment. <laughs> exactly. This guy's <laughs> balls haven't dropped yet. Wait, so you think he's a fan of ours or Keemstar? He's a fallen fan like the rest of them. Oh, you he think knows. he's a real fallen fan? Oh, for sure. He knows a lot. Oh, I think he's still a fan. He knows a lot of lore. I think he's still a fan. Who are you? Who are I'm just you? here to say that I think that Ethan's a lying hypocrite. I think that the more time, there's probably more times that I've tried to interrupt you. Ethan's tried to say the N word in a video. <laughs> okay. Isn't it a little fucked up? I think you're a little funny. I have like Parkinson's. <laughs> Zach, you got a little uh, personal there, bud? I, he, this, this guy yeah. was throwing shade, and I mean, he was just a little fucking prick, you know? Okay. I was cracking up when I seen the photo first on Twitter, because Zach is so tall, and he's just standing in front of everyone like a <laughs> unit. facing. He the is, kid. Zach is a unit. Yeah. yeah. You have some issues, sir. Yeah. What issues do I have? Well, I find it interesting that Jimmy, when confronted with like a real hater, like where's the roasting, Jimmy? Oh, right, he's, he's being does. heckled. This is your guy. He does a little he bit. He does. Actually, it's my favorite. Oh, bit Jimmy. Yeah. The only, it's the only time he was genuinely. Funny. Okay, Jimmy, let's go. Yeah, yeah, roast him, not so innocent funny. random people. I think your math major got a lot of problems. <laughs> Did you go to college? Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny, dude. He's awesome. You didn't go to college? I'm just wondering. Shoot the son of a bitch. <laughs> shoot him, you German. Shoot. Pull, get the right button, shoot him. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> Pull up on me. <laughs> what, what did he say? He told him to shoot him. Shoot, shoot, oh. shoot that son of a bitch. Shoot, shoot oh, what did the kid say? Oh, I Son of a bitch. Couldn't really catch what he said. 
Shoot him, you German. Shoot. We'll get the rifle and shoot him. Yeah, go get it. You say you're German? Uh, I'm just saying, yeah, I missed that the first yeah. few times. Always a little bit of a... You own a, always you have to have a racial component. Put this guy out of his misery or but, machete but, or something. Oh, yeah. Buddy, I give you like a dollar. Why don't you just like spend it on a hair transplant again? Could you, could you, give, him a, could you give him 12 bucks to go away? Give him 12 no, the bucks problem is away. fucking... No, you know? <laughs> nah, you know? I just, I can't get over his voice. He sounds just, he does sound like a kid. Oh, yeah. Well, it's funny he's going after Jimmy Lee. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I love the conflict. It's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, what's up? Make like a tree and leaf before the security guards knock your ass out. Is Goodbye. that your comedy? No, my comedy's looking at your pecker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jimmy, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy. You just got fucking actually roasted by the outlaw, bro. What's he got now? Oh, buddy, I'm 16. Yeah, you're... Oh, now you're 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way that he says that. I'm 16. <laughs> you know, I thought you wanted to be a big boy and come and challenge Jimmy Lee. Now you're 16 when he just dunked on you, bro. Let's hear it again. Let's hear the 16 again. <laughs> What's up? Make like a tree and leaf before the security guards knock your ass out. Is Goodbye. that your comedy? No, my comedy's looking at your pecker. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is where Jimmy comes in clutch. That's the thing. You, uh, he needs to know you gotta. You have to point Jimmy to the right people. Right, right. Not right. random bystanders who are minding their own business. Right. We need to. You know what? We need to harness Jimmy against our enemies. We need to bring oh him in and, in and then talk about people we don't like. Now, I will say the next thing Jimmy says. Not good. I have no <laughs> idea what he's saying. Okay, okay let's, let's try to dissect it. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm 16. Yeah, you're 16. Whoops. And let me tell you something about you. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> wait, I want to hear this. <laughs> it's like a schoolyard fight. Dude. What That's what it's fuck? like. Wait, hold on. I want to hear that. Buddy, I'm 16. I'm 16. <laughs> yeah, we, we could tell. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, I want to hear what Jimmy says now. Yeah, you're 16. Whoops. And let me tell you something about yeah, you. Up? Do the pimples come from Hershey's or you lock yourself in the bathroom with the radio on lap? And whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there captions? Can I turn on captions? <laughs> I don't know if yeah, that'll be. So. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, it says I can. <laughs> Sometimes the captions really come in clutch here. I just. I don't understand the joke that he was trying to portray. Yeah, you're 16, Whoops. and let me tell you something about you. Yeah. Do the pimples come from Hershey's, or you lock yourself in the bathroom with the radio on loud and play with what? yourself? <laughs> did the pimples come from Hershey's, or did you lock yourself in the bathroom with the radio on and play with yourself? <laughs> he, uh, uh, he just goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know on that one. He, he stretched out talking up about it. You got him good, Jimmy. He was speechless. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. Wait, hold on. Hold on. There's oh no word for it. And let me tell you something about you. Do the pimples come from Hershey's? Or you lock so did the pimples come from Hershey's? <laughs> lock yourself in the bathroom. With the or did you lock yourself in the bathroom? Radio on loud. With your la radio on loud? With your radio yeah. on loud. And play with what? yourself. And play with yourself. It's just... Verbal diarrhea at that point. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a wall of words that aren't connected. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a lot of problems. Did they come from whoever Hershey's? Cuts, wait, wait, wait. Did they come from Hershey's or did I go into the back? <laughs> yeah, no, he's right. What? <laughs> he fucking owned it, right. dude. Uh, he's so angry though. This kid is so angry. You're only 16, man. Why are you so angry at me? I, like, what? What did I do? I I think he was just having a little. He's you know, trying to get clouded up. I mean, he immediately <laughs> started tagging Keemstar, trying to get <laughs> it's so attention. So funny, and, you know. Like, what is? Ugh, it's so fun. I love this whole thing. It's just great. <laughs> hey, good lawyer, Sue Supercuts. Good, get a good lawyer and see supercuts. Sue supercuts for his and Jackson Sue supercuts. Yeah. See that one wasn't bad. See, but this is yeah. good when the kid's uh, being a dick. Yeah, that, yeah. That's don't the say I caught the, myself out, and that's horrible. So that, if you go up to a random person and say, "Hey, go sue supercuts," mm. not funny. No, not at all. This kid being a dick is funny. Yeah. You have a hair transplant. You go. There they are. Easy. Yeah. How, How you doing, girls? Come on over. Jimmy Lee, nice to see you. What's your name? 
<laughs> Jimmy just is. Wait. He's off. Karen and Lucy, where are you guys from? Everywhere. Everywhere. Watch him proceed to be meaner to these nice ladies he, than the kid. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you're one of them. Yeah. Look what we got today for ten bucks, Zach. <laughs> yes. What? Oh. What was that joke? I didn't get it. They're pro he's calling them prostitutes. Oh. <laughs> I would have liked so, to watch well, them argue more. That was that was magic, man. That's mm -hmm. awesome. But that's a W for Jimmy Lee though, because he said he had a trans hair transplant, but that's just makeup, dude. Oh, that's just <laughs> that's real. A w. Yeah. yeah, that's just all they natural. look like. Yeah, that's but... he. He was. He kept asking us like when he was in makeup. He's like, he's like, can you see the key paw, Zach? Can you see it? And he, he had a hair, he brushed it over, and he had it, like, sawed it over. Yeah, I mean, and, dude, it was crazy. And Zach answered a little bit hesitant at first. So he's like, tell, told the makeup dude to put more powder. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You guys got that on film? We got yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. This is going to be so good. So I feel a little bad for Cam, who has to relive this shit again. Well, apologies to everyone on the street. Seems like you guys did a good job trying to reel him in or apologizing for him. That's good. Yeah. Shout out to the heckler. That turned out pretty funny. Shout out. There you go. Oh, we have a fan calling. Uh, go ahead. Anyone else's wish list? I love looking at it. It's my That's favorite. That's true. What exactly do you do? To the peanut butter on peanut butter Friday? I have no idea what that is, so let's just close that. <laughs> there you go okay let's finally oh wait this is an important update so we've talked a lot about jimmy lee on the last episode yes. and about how he was obsessively trying to get on jimbo kimball jimmy yeah. kimball and dude this was on the show this is fucking amazing this is so <laughs> amazing you guys <laughs> zach did you know that they were recording when you guys were walking by we saw that they were setting up for some type of outdoor like roving reporter type shit but it wasn't when we were there whether they were filming oh this was just him yeah at this point we left i mean so this th so this means that he kept walking by there <laughs> for all day we we left around 4 30 I, I think he was shooting till about i don't know eight or nine wow. so he's just walking back and forth with the kimmel shit oh yeah so he definitely knew they were recording Oh, yeah. He was very adamant. He was like, we got to be at Kimmel at three. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> so here it is. I mean, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. This is a fucking phenomenal. Um, why did Reagan say she's named after her mom, Aisha? Uh, I believe. <laughs> because, uh... And you can see his security beeline towards him because this was like probably the third time they told us to oh, go wait, away. Let's watch again. <laughs> Um, why did Reagan say she's named after her mom, Aisha? Uh, I believe. Oh, yeah? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did you say, Cam? You can, you can see Jimmy Kimmel's security team beeline towards him because they, they, they got very angry. Oh, yes. that was Jimmy's security team. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel security is the guys security. in suits. Yeah. And uh, uh, Jimmy Kimmel's uh, security is Reagan the guy. They're the ones that actually look like security guards. Yeah, the one in the foreground. This one looks like an agent from The Matrix. Yeah. That's the guy I fucked with. And He's crazy. <laughs> and then here's this an guy. actual security guard. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they told us, we, we we walked back and forth, and they told us to get the fuck out. What, it was like two or three times. Yeah, yeah. But oh, wow. apparently he just kept doing it. But to be fair to Jimmy, that's public property. They don't control who walks so by. So they true. tried to pin us, like, say saying that we were stopping traffic. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, we weren't. We no, were. you... You know what? Those guys think that they've got money and power and they can control who walks on there. And I think Jimmy needs to teach them a fucking lesson, bro. That's bullshit. They don't own the sidewalk. Fuck True. them. So power to Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, good for Jimmy for getting on that show. In fact, if I had it my way, I'd have a move down to Hollywood and show up there every goddamn day and walk back and forth nonstop. Hell he, yeah. He was so adamant that we were going to make it on that show. He did. <laughs> he, he was so just like, we're on, man. So wait, have you talked to him since this clip? He sent me an email today, <laughs> um, which I sent our chat. I don't know if you want me to read it. No, okay. not that one. Okay. Was there one about Jimmy Kimmel? I, when I sent it to him, he, he's like, wow, 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 it's happening, kid. And then he's like, can, can you help me download this? And then, like, a minute went by. 
And he's like, can you help me download this? Is there any way to download this? So I just sent him a screenshot. <laughs> and he's like, wow, can you help me download this? Well, somebody download the clip and... Well, I sent it to him, but he didn't understand that it was a video. Yeah. The uh -huh. screen recorded, but... Yeah. Well, he's going to make it. As long as it doesn't record down, it doesn't. As long as it doesn't involve downloading anything, he's definitely gonna make it. Oh yeah, I'm eating peanut butter now. Oh my god, peanut butter Friday, right. baby. Uh, small, I haven't eaten today. Small update. Um, despite being on his wish list, uh, Amazon will not let you send a car battery <laughs> as a as a really? gift for some reason. With peace and love, this is a warning. If you are easily offended or have triggers or you're an empath or whatever it is. I guarantee you there's something in this video that's going to offend you. So skip the next 30 minutes or something. If you come back and you see Jimmy's face, just wait, go away back again and come back so <laughs> you right. don't see Jimmy's face anymore. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this video is going to put me over the top, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, guys, here we go. Do I, I, uh, you want to say anything before we play this, Zach? Uh, you want to apologize? Uh, no, because I didn't do anything wrong. I was, I was, we were filming a documentary and right. we were, don't, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just the piano player. Um, we, we went out there and we, we tried to film Jimmy like, like, a, like a Maisel's documentary. Um, and this is what we got. This is, yeah, I want to say that we do not condone or right. endorse. Not at all. Not at nor all. Nor did we participate. Nope. We were in any of the shenanigans, we were simply there to observe Correct. an animal in its natural habitat. Correct. In fact, at times you guys were even trying to pull him back and be like, dude, you gotta you we, gotta chill. We pulled him back, yeah. we told him this is too far, you can't do this. And And he was he does this stuff anyway, so we didn't we didn't even Right, he was coming to LA. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh to do this. Don't don't blame us. Right. right. And we were like, Well I am washing my hands with so, peace and love. He like I don't know, he was here for a vacation. All disclaimers yeah. are being made with peace and love. This is Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Let's make it happen. So, we are here with the legend, the man, the myth, Mr. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. He's very graciously treating us to a very nice Actually, breakfast. this guy's petting over here. I, I didn't tell him yet. Now I just want to, I'm gonna to have to pause because it's long. That magazine, that magazine he brought to the podcast like two years ago when we had him on, right? You're right. Say magazine. Yes. Which he only texts me about like five times every month. So the magazine. Yeah. What does he say about it? He's like, check this out. You already, but we already showed it. He doesn't. He doesn't remember. He, no. he sends the same things to Zach like every day. <laughs> It's, All right. It's a lot. Let's yeah. go. Give the thumbs up. He's getting the bill. You've got a lot of money, I know. When your wife dies, you're, uh, you're going to be all right. <laughs> Good to see you back at men's clothes. Anyways, we're having a nice breakfast. So Wait, was that guy angry? He said, I got a lot more money than yeah, you. Yeah, he, he was not happy about that. Nice to see you back at men's clothes. You're going to notice a lot of kind of ancient homophobia, and transphobia, and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So... Trigger the usual Get out stuff. Of yeah, you, usual Jimmy stuff. Based on the timeline today to go to certain areas and interact with people, do street comedy. The idea is to end up in the hospital at the end of the day. Right, and when I'm in the hospital, Cameron, I keep them in stitches. Joel's going to make me look a lot better than I look now. From a 9 to a 10? That was polite. <laughs> that was very polite. How about from a 1 to a 3? <laughs> <laughs> One thing, Cameron, that they say about Joel, that he knows how to listen. Nobody knows he's got nothing to say. He's making me look pretty, though. Hey, what's going on here? Getting the makeup done? Yeah, a little powder, a little paint makes me what I ain't. Are you so, having a penile enlargement put in? Well, yeah, I got that last week, but my wife rejected it. <laughs> that does make him look fabulous. That's By the way, this is my favorite part when he's self-deprecating. He's charming. He's funny. This is my note for Jimmy when we bring him on, because when he gets out there and he turns it on other people it just goes really really south fast yeah uh, uh, Cameron you want to eat something I won't say nothing eat a cookie I won't I won't tell nobody what do you weigh oh you think it looks skinny I appreciate you that you're a skinny guy <laughs> skin. 
They could call you Adam, you know, anorexia. You're, you're pretty lean, too. For you. I'm a lean guy, but that's because the Asian chicks like guys lean. I got what they call yellow fever. You know what yellow fever is? Bring them young, bring them in stiletto heels, but be sure to bring them, but bring them Asian, never Caucasian. Bring them young, not the university, bring them young. Bring them young. And by the way, I mean, his makeup artist is Asian, I think. So. Right. It, it, add extra layers of cringe. Right, 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 right. Bring them young, baby. Bring them young. Are we even a minute in? I'm already... Yeah, minute 40. <laughs> but be sure to bring them. I like that. I don't think you guys did, though. Guess what? <laughs> now we got to do this part. You think the makeup was hard? So the hairline... I... Now, you guys, the, the hairline situation you guys talked a lot about. Right. Um... Yeah, <laughs> like you'll see what he's trying to lower it quite a bit. I mean, it. God love the guy. It looks like he's like in a mortician makeup <laughs> chair. Like, <laughs> actually, like it has to kind of be. It's really see how high up it is. It's got to kind of be like to that. Mm. Can we get Ethan to do his hair like this? It's like what a full think? inch he down or two inches. Okay? Yeah, I think it's looking really sharp. Okay. <laughs> I look like I did <laughs> twenty years ago, Zach. Bad. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go, you guys. Ready? Well, I want to be like you. You look like Trick or Treat Charlie. You want to be like me? Change your clothes. You got clothes for me? Yeah, I got clothes for you. Right? If I make it snappy, I got some place to be. I'm very unimportant. What's guy. Trick or Treat Charlie? We still can't figure that out. Okay, because there's a lot to decode in here. That's kind of hard. But okay, Trick or Treat Charlie. Maybe someone in the chat knows what that means. I'll keep an eye out. Because the Jersey outlaw and the mini Jersey outlaw are getting ready to shoot in Hollywood, California. Here we go. So did Jimmy just tell you you're not allowed in the shop? I'm not allowed in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's got fucked over. It's our shoot. I have, a, I have an idea. Do the shot in front of the limo. I wish security would fix his collar, though. Yeah. Can I, can I just do one thing? I mean, no offense to this. Can I fix your collar? Oh, right there. Yeah, he's, he's kind of right. I, I'm sorry. There was a big issue with the caller, and you were got a little sensitive about the, thinking he was mad at you, too, Zach. What happened here? His caller looked like shit, and we were filming, and we, we couldn't have that, so. <laughs> okay. A little, is that presumptuous to fix a man's caller, or? I, he, I didn't touch him. You didn't. He just, you just pointed showed, it out. Yeah. I don't yeah. think what you did was out of line. I don't think he was in angry any way. Either, I don't know. I didn't see any signs he was actually angry. He, he definitely was. He was really. Fucking, <laughs> I mean, this dude was like ex-Israeli forces and like he was not happy. He about was it, really the caller issue really got him. Yeah. I mean, his, where did Jimmy find these guys? These actually guys are actually like scary ass bodyguards. There's some company he hires and like elite mil ex-military. Yeah. Uh, like something, but yeah, that, that really pissed him off. But we're, we're bros now, we're homies. It's okay, that's good. Oh, wow. Thick. Somebody said uh, Jimmy's got Austin from Ace Family's hairline when they painted on like, the 10 inches lower. Yeah, that's right. I mean, <laughs> Austin true. has two hairlines, though. Right. Well, Jimmy kind of did too. But... That's true, actually, with the paint. He has two. Right, so come here. All right, so one, two, three, go. <laughs> he just he just squeezed the fuck out of my hand when I told him to fix his collar. <laughs> he didn't like that. I told you, we're going to get killed by the end of the day. Your teeth look like the Spice Girls. They're all different colors, and they're all doing their own thing. <laughs> that's funny. Did we film that? That was actually a good one. The red light's on. The red light's on. That's what they said at the place last night. I had to leave 200 when I left, you know? We're going to Beverly Hills where the rich... Prostitution joke? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. got it. So that, that one he says a lot about the Spice Girls teeth thing, I notice. Meet the famous, little, which would be the little Jersey dated outlaw. Reference. In this Spice yeah, Girl, Spice Girls joke, little, little, probably, yeah, a little, probably bit. a more up to date reference you can make there. I mean, Spice Girls is you know, timeless. Zachary. I feel like I pissed him off, and I just want to apologize. Can I shake your hand? I'm sorry. These guys are good guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, I know where you stay. We have to come up with a stage name for Zach, stay. so we could call him the Zacker, so people remember. So you want to be known as the Zacker? I go by Zilly Zonka. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, so this is like, you guys managed to get all these people there to wait and think there's like a real celeb coming out. Uh, I, I guess you guys are down at like... Uh, Rodeo, I think. Yeah, Rodeo. Yeah. And then Jimmy comes out talking about the audio. It's my, this is my favorite part. <laughs> like, look at this shot. It's so perfect. They're waiting for the celeb. It's happening. 
Hold it. I want to <laughs> check. Audio, audio on. Dave, you have my audio. Where's the, you have audio? All right. I want you guys to meet my gay, my gay friend, Zach. We're, Howdy, we're, gay, we're friend. gay. My gay friend, Zach. And this year, I took him on a gaycation, and everybody came. Where are you from? The English? Yeah. How come you don't eat the muffins? Listen, your teeth look a little bit like the Spice Girls. They're all different colors, and they're doing their own thing. There are people in, in London called dentists. That is okay. terrible. So can I, can I, I'm his protege today. This is my protege. So were these jokes funny? Did you like these jokes? No. No, they're okay. The first few were, yeah. Yeah. Uh, The first few were okay. All right, Grandpa, time to get you back to the home. It's a nice guy. It? It's a pain in the ass. Give him a cookie, goes away. A little less starch on the collar. Okay? How you doing? Here he is. I mean, Mr. Like Magoo, how you doing? Prowling. How you doing, buddy? Where you from? Take off your glasses, on. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Look at this lady. I know you. One, two, three. It's going to get nuts. One, two, three. Beverly Hills, California. One, two, three. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. You doubled up with two guys? No. Well, we, we share everything we no. do. Tell her, Zach. That seems kind of inappropriate. I mean, uh... John. John, you know John, and you're very popular in hotels. <laughs> Respectful every time King, I go Zach. to my hotel check in, there's a John. Well, I went eight years to a two year community college. Oh, wow. You stay out of gay bars, I'll stay in them. Okay. All right, now get out. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, what do you say? Stay out of gay bars and I'll stay in them? Yeah. Yeah. You stay out of gay bars. This I'll stay in them. A lot of homophobic, like, okay. Jimmy jokes. I guess the only way to describe it. Okay, interesting. I had it up to here with you. No. Yeah, I met you in the Little League. I know who you are. Hey, that a short joke. That's a nice outfit. You look like Trick or Treat Charlie, for Christ's sake. Wait, he already said that. He kept I don't know what Trick or Treat Charlie I'm guessing it's a Charlie Brown reference when I put that into Google, and I saw some people in the chat saying that, but I don't know. But I know further. it's Charlie. Like, I get, but, like, what's the reference? You can't just call everyone Trick or Treat Charlie. Well, is it from the Great Pumpkin I'm guessing. Charlie Brown special? Is so she's saying you look like way? a Peanuts person dressed up. You look like a kid. You look like yeah. a... You look like a Peanuts dressed up for Halloween. Which I just... He said that joke 20 times. Like, if not more. Interesting. Where are you from? Humble County. It's your Humble County. Here, Humble this. Jesus, humble Jimmy. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? I ran out of jokes. I love that. He just bails. <laughs> I ran out of jokes. <laughs> Look who's here, Mussolini. Come on over, Mussolini. Here he is. The war's over. You lost. I don't even know what to do. You, you're British? You look British with the teeth. No, I'm Mexican. You're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> don't take anything from... <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> He's so out of it's control. It's not even a joke. Yeah, that's just... That's Ugh. bad. It's a Christmas miracle he didn't get clocked in the face. Well, those security guards are pretty intimidating, I'm, to be honest. He's probably learned that lesson already. That's like, why he hires those guys. We hired security guards for events and stuff and, and, and our building and all that. They don't look like these guys. He went to some, like, real elite bodyguard shit. Yeah. Those guys are, like, 6'5". They're massive. Yeah, they were big dudes. This is a nice outfit. You, you, you can work at goddamn zoo. You. you can work at the zoo. Okay, so okay. You, by the way, that's Trevor or limousine. We've driver. met Trevor, yes. <laughs> so I got a question. What do you Wait, you? that's the driver he keeps roasting? Yeah. Poor Trevor. He was he was being a sport to Jimmy. Um and like he was actually a really nice guy. Yeah, no, he looks like a great sport. But yeah. But he Jimmy just kept like Give him a break, man. He yeah. can't even escape from you. No. <laughs> ever scared of you gonna get clocked? Or I like... got uh Uno and Yeah, Bono. but if the guy swings, like my guys are here. You wanna try? <laughs> I would. I, <laughs> that I guy's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> he, he really <laughs> fucking hated me, dude. Yo, you look small next to him. Like, how tall was Big he? Big dude. We were, I mean, he was maybe an inch taller than me. Mm -hmm. Um, But, I mean, the, the, the funny part is, like, him and I were sitting next to each other in the limo. And I was sitting on the hump the whole fucking ride. And I'm just, like, squished. The hump? Like the middle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I have Up close and personal. Pretty much. Hey, look who's here. And look who's here. I heard of the Spice Girls. You girls look like the Bland Girls. You look like Amy Winehouse if she went to rehab. And you, you're looking as beautiful Jesus as ever. Jesus Christ. And girls, two fives do make a ten. Okay? 
You look wonderful. Thank you. So do really. you. You keep this up, on You're gonna have a massive one by Friday. Yeah, that that one was just like so out of control, and we blurred their face because, well, without verifying some's age, I don't want to put any uh, youngsters on blast, but there was actually one moment we cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and like I tried to leave in as much shit as I could, but some shit actually had to cut because it was like I, I think it was probably a crime, actually. Without a doubt, I probably shouldn't even say it, right? No, yeah. no, nah. let's yeah, <laughs> just let it let it lie. <laughs> Trick or treat, Charlie is a minor character in Trick or Treat. Yeah, uh, it's a, a, a super chatter uh, pointing this out. Uh, I still don't necessarily get it. I well, guess. let's ask Jimmy when he comes on. I guess we can ask Jimmy. Yeah, let's trick or treat Charlie. If you have any other jokes you want to ask him, let's let's keep a tally. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Get we answers. Just, we can get to the bottom of a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, but we need to really get, explain to Jimmy that this is. I've tried before. Like, you can't just go up to a girl and call her ugly. I mean, that's not really a joke. A little more premise, <laughs> right? Here's the premise: you're ugly. Mm. Zach, you're, uh, you're getting iced out by Jimmy a little bit. Hardcore, man. Fucking hardcore. The girls he fucking roasted, they're like, they're like, who is that? They're like, I don't know, but he looks famous. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out his camera. Sort of famous. Jimmy the Light Screen. Yeah. I'm talking, please. The money you can go into the store. Will <laughs> well, you wait a minute? Painting the ass. I'm trying to do my work. Jimmy, can you teach Zach his catchphrase? Yeah, phrase? teach me like. Yeah, so he's you, a little more. You angry. haven't done it once. Work with me. We're gonna try it right now. Follow me. Turn around, Zach, and do your stick. Do your do your catchphrase. Work with me. Let's try it again. I got two kids in private school. They won't tell me where the hell it's at. <laughs> work with me. All right, take care. All right. This fucking dude. Get the hell out of that court. Two hot chicks. Two hot mamas. Two milfs. Two milfs. You married? Pull over. Pull over. Pull this over. was incredible. No. He actually here. got one of these Hollywood buses. This is famous. Just he's straight up pull over. Pull over. Pull over. cleared the fucking bus out. Pretty incredible. Out of the bus. Let's go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. We're gonna we're doing comedy TV. Everybody out. Let's go. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. <laughs> the power so of confidence. My grandfather Jimmy Lee. We take him out here every Tuesday. Look, yeah, this must have been so night. surreal been for these people on the bus. <laughs> just what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> these people are on vacation in LA. They just want to do a little tour of Hollywood. Pull over. <laughs> Jimmy Lee is screaming at them to pull over. Then they do. God knows what ensued. ZZ Top is here, guys. What song are we doing? Tush. If you're having a good time, let me hear you say yay. 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 China doll. China doll. <laughs> come on, my mom. Chanel, come on, Chanel. We, we need a fucking break. <laughs> I'm just stunned. I don't know what's going on right Shot. now. How you doing? To my black friend. The war's over. Everything's good. Jump, run. Wait, what does that mean? To my black friend, the war is over. The war is over. Go on, run. I don't... A civil war? You want to write that one down, too? Maybe? Yeah, I'm, I'll write it Wait, down. Wait, is he talking about the civil war? Oh, God. Honestly, his jokes are such, like, deep racism, like... You just don't know where the fuck they like, from. But, like, a civil war joke? <laughs> I <laughs> guess? He's <laughs> like... It's a, it's uh hold on because that that actually I was trying to figure out what that meant now I think I think it must be that Hang Chanel on. come on Chanel we, we need a fucking break <laughs> That's where it's I'm just at. stunned I don't know what's going on right Shock. now how you doing to my black friend the war's over everything's good jump run I could have been in the Olympics I didn't want to I didn't want to run I could have been black and been in the Olympics I didn't want to I didn't want to run think I what. I think that's like a Jesse, Jesse uh, Owens. Owens, yeah. Yeah, reference. Wait, what's the joke? It, like, it's not even a joke. It's just like an obscure reference to a runner who participated in the Olympics during World War II, or yeah. prior to World War II. Jesse I, I, Owens, but why does he say I could have been black? Because maybe he runs fast. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's Jimmy, man. Like That's the only explanation. <laughs> I got to say, I don't know. I'm not reading the comments, actually. I can only imagine, but 
<laughs> look, he's a one of a kind guy. That's for sure. And he's fucking in. I mean, look, at, you never met anyone like this in your whole life, right? No. That's what it's all about. No, he this is, is the only one. I have kind, like for sure. PTSD. And Jay. Uh, he's the only one on the earth, is Jimmy Lee. Amen. I'm getting ready to joke. I've been doing it. And this the thing so is, like, he's been out of our lives for so long at this point, and he keeps coming back because he's so persistent. Like, the first collab I did with him was, God, God knows, 10 years ago or something, or maybe not, seven years ago. Yeah. And he's just like so that. persistent that we go, okay, you know, maybe, maybe the world's ready for another Jimmy Lee cameo. It's been three years. So we can tolerate him once every three years. While that's a really good shot. Good. That's a good shot. Okay. Is it? Table 19, <laughs> your <laughs> breakfast is ready. How long after you eat this do you end up in the emergency room? <laughs> <laughs> Table tw 37, leave. <laughs> what? I got my eye on you. Oh, this is the best. This is the, the standout moment, for sure. On, got my eye on you. How you doing? <laughs> Your hairline's worse than mine. Just so inappropriate. It's just, just so wild. I mean, they're oh stunned. God. They're just, they're, they're floored. The, 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 poor, the poor lady. I think they're, they're just like, did he really just say got that? Got my eye on you, honey. Got my eye on you. How you doing? Good, you. Your hairline's worse than mine. <laughs> And the way he just brushes past them, too, after he drops that, it's pretty <laughs> incredible. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's your name? Hey, Jewish kid. Lawyer, counselor, doctor. What do you Auto think? parts. Auto parts. Yeah. Really. I've seen better bodies on used car lots, to what? be honest. <laughs> this is my grandfather. Zach, Zach, wants, Zach wants to say you something some to you. Zach's hair. I know. Zach. I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, keep it off. <laughs> Again, he comes back. By the way, first Once of all, wasn't enough. He really comes back. But shout out, the guy was ready. These car lots, to what? be honest. <laughs> this is my grandfather. Zach, Zach <laughs> wants Zach wants to say you need something some to you. Zach's hair. I know. Zach, I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, keep it off. Legend, actually. Will Smith, take note. <laughs> That's how you defend your your lady or mom or whoever that. Is. I don't know if it's his mom or his lady. Yeah, <laughs> keep it off. Good call. <laughs> Love him. Dude, that, that to me was truly left me speechless. But there it is, Jimmy Lee. Unfiltered, baby, raw. Yeah, I dare you to come at him. His bodyguards were beat up, your one-eyed mom there. <laughs> Jimmy, we can't go in there. Work with me, Zach. You didn't say nothing. Uh -oh. I, well, I was, like, supposed to say that. Like, you don't want to endorse the jokes he's saying. Plus, uh, yeah, I just we're observing. You oh, know, that was a little far. Don't push. <laughs> so far, uh, do you feel like Jimmy has kind of dumped you a little bit? To Completely. The How does that make you feel? Awesome. I feel hurt. I wanted to come learn, but I guess I am learning. I see some people defending the uh, eye joke. The j eye joke was objectively funny. <laughs> some are saying. So there you have it. I mean, at least you can fault, like, it, it's extremely offensive and rude thing to say, but at least it's like there's a direct there, line there, in it's the It's an actual of, joke. Like, what, yeah, right. Yeah. It was quick. He's not like, hey, you ugly hag, all right. <laughs> it, was, it was quick thinking of Jimmy. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. We didn't have to Google it. Yeah. It. Right, Maybe. we didn't have to Google it <laughs> to understand <laughs> this. <so. laughs> What yeah. have you learned so far? A fucking catchphrase. That's what I've learned before. So far. Work with me. Can we film, please? Are we filming or are we just talk talking? What are we doing here? The policeman's here. Maybe you could teach, tell Zach, teach him a joke. Yeah. 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 What you want to do is you want to go up to a woman and you want to say, I asked you if you had mutual orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm. I don't get the one. Wait, hold on. I didn't get that either. How you doing? You remember when I met it, you? But yeah, you're gonna he gave you a joke here, Zach. You your orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm. Teach him a joke? Yeah. Yes, Jack, what you want to do is you want to go up to a woman and you want to say, I asked you if you had mutual orgasm, but you told me you had State Farm. Do you have mutual orgasm? Okay, like mutual. It's, like, it's an insurance, insurance company. Mutual yeah. orgasms? 
Or is it just called mutual? <laughs> it's, the insurance company is not called mutual orgasm. Wait, what's the name of the? It's just mutual. So oh, mutual. and then he's just it's another okay. insurance company. It's not a great them. joke because I wouldn't miss here. No, it, there's nothing like quick about it. There's nothing. I I just maybe I don't understand it. I don't get it. It's not funny. Okay. Well, we could take a poll. Mutual. Somebody <laughs> said like mutual Omaha. Oh, mutual Omaha. So it leads mutual orgasm. Right. So maybe but, that's a regional thing. Yeah, is that a regional thing? Like for mutual Omaha, Yo, insurance but. jokes are pretty dope though. Mutual you got to give them up. Like, I don't yeah, think sure anyone. Enough. So yeah, it's probably a play on that, but I, I I've never heard of. That Here's company. the thing, guys. There's no working comedian today who's doing insurance jokes. <laughs> <laughs> So, put a little respect on his name. <laughs> I don't get the one. Tuna mouth. Tuna mouth. And if you, you feel doing? bad for Jimmy, first of all, I love oh, Jimmy as a person. I don't person. think you need to worry about that. I'm just saying because sometimes people go, oh, you're going too hard on poor Jimmy. I mean, someone made a video for Christ's sake about how I was mean to poor Jimmy. Yeah, that person. We've always had this relationship, <laughs> and he keeps writing me every day, me and Zach, a hundred times. We get it. It's fun. You know, this is the relationship that we have. Yes. And, um... It's all love, baby. He's all a, love. It is all love, but, I mean, to an extent, because, hey, I'm not... I don't want to be involved in it. You guys keep your... Hey, I got nothing to do with... no. I got to know nothing about nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Any crimes committed on the set of the filming, I, I ain't got nothing to do with. Incredible. You remember when I met you? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be on the bottom. I'm gonna be on the top. I'll tell you what we'll do. Zach's okay. gonna get us a bunk bed. What? Audrey. We're doing comedy TV, not real well. Very nice. And uh, where do you just hang out by yourself? I work close by. Oh, I so you deal with rich people. Are they painting the answers? Most of them. And you got to smile. Is he gonna stand underneath? Because they pay you. And sometimes you want to just walk. But you, you, you bite your lip. 100%. Yeah. Now, do you yeah, get a, you like space. pancakes? French toast? French toast. I had it last night. My tongue got caught in the toaster. <laughs> do me a favor. Take what? my wife, please. Okay. Wait, he can't be doing the take my wife bit. Well, that toaster joke we were debating about, like, that's obviously a, a like, vagina licking joke, right? Hmm? He said his tongue got stuck in the toaster. He's Zach saying they didn't know if that was a vagina joke or not. Oh, mm. yeah, because I was lost on that too. I, I mean, I guess a vagina joke. Yeah, the vagina's a toaster. Apparently, yeah. I mean, how do you get your tongue stuck in the toaster? Yeah. Uh, Aaron just donated 50 bucks that Jimmy is the Norm McDonald of our time. We won't appreciate his jokes till he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's aiming more for Don Rickles. Just uh, Oh, Don Rickles is Yeah, that's hero. definitely yeah, an inspiration. He's like Don Rickles, but... He's like Don Pickles. <laughs> Don Pickles? Maybe, yeah. Uh... <laughs> People are saying, like, French kissing, like French toast that you would make in a... I, His jokes are so complicated. You have to really get go to the math board. They're old school, man. Solve them. They're like so French old toast, school. French kiss. Yeah, he French, French toast, toast, French kiss. Okay, there okay. It is. Yeah, hey, come on. Sense. I'm a funny guy. I like that. Thank you, chat. We're like crowdsourcing the interpretation. <clears throat> we need a lot of we, these we, jokes. We need, we need a big thing here to decode <laughs> these. So, uh, I feel like I have to explain every joke. You look like Truman Capote in heat. Take the hat off, will you? Jesus. Take the hat off, will you? That was rude or compliment. That was totally rude. It was rude. Go. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, you're just being you're just being mad at him. <laughs> that was a great exchange. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta watch that again. Heat. Take the hat off, will you? Jesus Christ, lady. I'm not sure if that was rude or compliment. That was totally rude. rude. It was rude. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What on earth? Why are you angry at them now? Jeez. Get the fuck out of my face, lady. It was rude. <laughs> so, come on. Someone in the chat said, this is like Michael Scott trying to be Don Rickles. Oh, okay. Totally. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That, that helps yeah, me understand that. what's going yeah. on here. A little bit. Yeah. This is Peppy. Your teeth look like the Spice Girls. They're all going in different directions and with different <laughs> colors. Again. How many times does he use the Spice Girls joke today? Countless. Good. What are you, an agent? It's actually not that good of a joke because teeth generally are one color, right? I mean, for the most part. Well, that time he said they're all going different directions. He says they're different colors and they all go different directions. Okay, right. Because, I mean, I guess if you have rotted teeth. Yeah. It's a little, it's not that good to say 20 times, though. But, okay. It's like, uh, or just a, a rich Iranian guy that is hanging out. Who's watching the limo? I think we parked in a, a red 
fire lane. <laughs> We're here at the Ivy for lunch. Jimmy Lee and Zach from H3. Poor guy's checking his limo door behind Jimmy. You see that? Yeah. Who did that, Jimmy? No, it was no. the uh, the guy that guy. hates Zach. I think we parked in a, a red a Zohan, yeah. fire lane. <laughs> We're here at the Ivy for lunch. Jimmy Lee and Zach from H3H3. This has absolutely got to be the absolute worst food, but they beg, they beg, they call me constantly to come in, so we're going to go in. You got me in for tomorrow? I think the Peninsula called. They put for me tomorrow? in around 1 o'clock. Jimmy Lee. We're on Kimmel tonight, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Uh, one Let's second, see. guys. Yeah, nice scene. We'll be in tomorrow. I'm just going to hit the bathroom quick. He was confirming his reservation for tomorrow night. That's what he was doing. So he... So he Drove us to this restaurant. Said, "Get the cameras, roll the cameras." Yeah. Went in, took a took a piss. Yeah. And now we're leaving. Yeah. Well, this, this, this was very odd. <laughs> he drove you guys to a restaurant to confirm the reservation. Right. Did he try to get a table maybe for lunch, and they said we don't have one available? No, he wanted to film in the Ivy because. He he feels the Ivy is like the place to be for him. Like that's the end all be all. That's the Hollywood LA restaurant. So he wanted he to wanted to film people there. Right. They're like no. Right. So he he wanted to frame it like we just ate there, because that's like like a know. David Blaine kind of thing. Sure. Yeah. Or like he wants to be like oh I'm Jimmy Lee I'm famous I eat at the Ivy. He yeah. even pulled the Jimmy uh, Kimmel card on him, but he he did that. But all in reality, he just went to go take a piss. Which um, Ugh, we heard, which was pretty funny. Um, you heard him pee? Yeah, because he's wrong stream his... or weak stream. Uh, it, it was it was <laughs> his prostate might need a you yeah know, check, dribble. But, um... I get it. That happens with old age. I could hear him pee at one time too. <laughs> We How was the him. stream? Was it soft or strong? No, oh, hard as fuck, dude. It's oh, crazy. So he has a good prostate. For I, I asked yeah. him, like, Jimmy, how's your prostate? <laughs> okay. Shut up. We had a great meal. Oh, Zach. So he's pretending like they ate there? Fantastic. Right. Listen, I got picked up by a hooker. I dropped my pants. He dropped the price. It was a rough night, all right? There's nobody lower than this girl here, not even you. How's the food, guys? Good? Zach, I want to say something. What actually happened? So, so he, he he's kicking him out now, right? Because they said don't film here now. So is Jimmy sort of bringing us along in his reality that he is creating himself? Yeah. Like the guy who staged the Ellen thing. It's kind of what we're doing. Today. <laughs> That's such a Precisely. good observation. Yeah. He's actively getting yelled at behind you as we speak. We're gonna go before Austin picks us up and throws us out. It's hot diggity dog time then he with H three H three and. The Jersey Outlaw. Work with us. Work with me. <laughs> gonna get kicked out of here before we get to eat. Pink's hot dogs, the worst hot dogs in LA, and we get stuck here with this guy. The worst place to eat. What are you doing? Guys. Say, I, I just that seems so like mean to be saying that in front of the restaurant. I've never eaten there, by the way. How are the hot dogs? Fantastic. Oh. Pretty bad. Oh, you guys didn't even like it? I, no. I thought they were good. Huh. I mean, I haven't right. been there. So maybe years. he was telling the truth. I've been going there for years. Because there's like huge lines, so you'd it's think that famous, something special was going on. It's not good. Hmm. But I haven't had it in years, so I don't know. Maybe they've stepped it up a little bit. It was really bad. It's not the kind of place that steps it up. You know what I mean? Cam, Cam said yeah. it was really bad. Cam, yeah, I didn't Cam like said it, it's no. really bad. Love didn't like it. <laughs> Even Love didn't like it. Nope. Oh God, I think I got to the bathroom again, you guys. Oh, no. Got it, Trevor. Oh. God damn it. Right over there. Say hello to Trevor. Hey, how are you? Good. It's a black guy. You can talk to him. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> what TV the fuck? Show. Okay. These are the Look at the respect dogs. they put on those dogs for him after t shit talking their establishment. Damn. They, they, they asked me to say that. Jimmy, uh, Zach's, Zach's feelings might be a little hurt because he feels like he's not. Or are you being shunned out? No, I'll put, I'll get, I'll put you in. in the you guys. No, I'm not. I just get ADD. <laughs> That's so much. That's too much. <laughs> Poor going. Jimmy. I don't, I don't want to fuck. I do see the resemblance, though. That being said, your flow, up, man. We'll get you in. Work with me. We'll get you in. What? How long you guys been going? Like five hours? Yeah. We'll, we'll get you in there. I gotta. I gotta go to the bathroom. This is just. This is so <laughs> fucked up. You guys. God damn it. All right. I'm gonna try. Maybe if I just sit up and sit on it. I like bingo. Bingo. You can do it. Try. Bingo. No. no. Bingo. Bingo! Like you, yeah, you like you sound like Al Pacino. Bingo! Ooh, bingo! 
No, no. Bingo! <laughs> Try it. Bingo! That's it. <laughs> Get awesome. ready to go on Jimmy Kim. By the way, I like the way you said it first, Zach, to be honest. I think you kind of hit the post there a little bit. You were in the uh, pocket with that one. I appreciate that. And this is the point where I was starting to get really mad. Why? I was just done. I was you, done for the how day. How many hours into the day was this with Jimmy? Shit, shit Ian, what was this, five? Yeah, yeah probably. Ian, he, wanted, he, he wanted to do ten hours, is that right? He Something like that. He After where we were about to go, he wanted to go to like Venice and then another place. And he had the limo like all day and all night. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't do this. And Ian kept, he, he was being a really good producer of the segment. Because he kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. Yeah, I see Ian's uh, invisible hand there pushing, trying to push things into, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We into making sense a little bit. He, at, the, at the start, he showed us his itinerary, which I believe was 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's all over Los Angeles. And about 90 minutes in, we were getting pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a lot. But yeah. Ian's like... But this, this guy who's in his 70s has, has so much stamina. What is going on with Jimmy? Because he, he loves the idea of like him being famous. He's and, like, drive. Doing this to people. Like He loves it. He's obsessed with it. That limo ride didn't look very comfortable, Zach. I gotta go. But it was awful. You guys looked a little stuck. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. You know, the thing is, I, I know he looks up to Don Rickles, but if I can give Jimmy some advice, first of all, Don Rickles was what, 60 years ago? Yeah, when, I mean, it's old. I mean, old yeah, style yeah. Comedy. also, old when people would go into Don's show, they knew what they were getting into. These are just people on the streets. They didn't sign up for this show. Right. right. There's I a mean, huge difference. Rickles would be in the Copacabana, and you're right. You'd be expected to be roasted. Yeah. Jimmy's just like some fucking stranger that's walking up to you. Hey, you're ugly. Right, you know, yeah. so which I saw him do, which is just like wait, just straight up, like, hey, what's up? You're ugly. Yeah, it was it was a, a quick one. I don't even know if we got it on film. Kind of like the uh, the eye patch uh, comment. Pretty much, he just like, hey, you're ugly. Yeah, I, yep. I, when I was watching you guys at the restaurant, it reminds me of the old H three video because like once he's on a roll, there's no stopping him. He's just no. bouncing no. person to person, and he's got to let him do his thing. It's like a when he Wave. when he goes from James to Jimmy Lee, it's uh, it's Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Yeah, <laughs> well, so. I gotta say, Zach, you handled yourself well. well I would. That's th this is the first thing I've ever missed out on. I think shoot wise, because I would have had a panic attack. You're lucky. So I commend you. And a lot of behind the scenes, you know, we didn't show it, but Zach was good, and everyone, but especially Zach, was calming down the crowd and uh, doing damage control. So I was getting frustrated. Good job. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I was just getting. I was at my point of just like, fuck this shit. Somebody said the uh, the Spice Girls joke that he kept uh, saying was stolen word for word from Nikki Glaser at the roast of Rob Lowe. Oh. Oops. A little Oops. Uh, Jimmy Mencia over here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta say though, I, I would guess Jimmy has the most original content for the most part. Though. Original, because you don't understand it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's it's. There's something to be said of the, uh, just being able to have a rolodex of that many one-liners. Mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that they're all bad, but like I couldn't. Right. Yeah. Just think on of cue. like just on cue. Hit he's people quick. With... Yeah, I mean, he's quick. <laughs> he's got that. But give him that. He's quick, but is it funny? Well, it's the... right. Yeah. It's a different story. There, there were, you know, some extreme times, and I, we just, we don't condone that. We don't condone the, the severe shit. How, how did you feel, Ian, behind the camera? Was it, were you any more comfortable? Oh, you know, Zach was in front of it with him. I don't know. How were you feeling? Oh, I was super comfortable. <laughs> 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 no, no, it was very painful uh, the whole day. But, uh, you know, Zach was being such a good sport. Yeah. And it was nice to... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we all kind of got to commiserate as it was happening. You know, mm -hmm. we'd go off in little group and be like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> but then Love could hear Jimmy on the mic because uh, Jimmy was mic'd up. Mm -hmm. So as we'd be talking like, this is, cr we got to get out of here, man. We're all tired. This is ridiculous. And then Love will be like, I hear Jimmy. He He's saying that he thinks that we're all mad at him. And oh, you know, damn. Yep. I know it was, it was tough. It's we a, yeah. It's a weird situation with him because, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but 
you kind of want to feel bad for him, but then he just takes him not long to be like, oh, okay, never mind. It's hard to feel bad for him. What's that what quote? He's saying? What's that quote? Like, once that come out, they always try to bring me back in. Mm -hmm. What is that from? Godfather 3. Yeah. <laughs> I should know that. <laughs> one of the three movies that you quote endlessly, probably. Third one, not so much. I guess, yeah. Less so the third one. One moment that we we didn't get on camera, we weren't recording, but uh, Jimmy pissed off some guy on a bike, <laughs> and then uh, we J the guy was like, "If you're gonna put me in your video, I want some cash." Okay. Oh yeah. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy didn't want to do that. He was like, "Get in the limo. Get in the limo." We got in the limo. We drove like 15 minutes away, <laughs> and then in a couple minutes later, he's telling his jokes, and this guy rolls up on the bike. Jimmy goes. Oh no, not this guy. And the he guy's like, come on. Followed us. And Jimmy tossed him like 20 bucks. He's like, all right, let's get out of here. Wow. He fucking. <laughs> yeah, I think Ethan's right. He must have got that security guard after having a, like an actual experience. Oh, yeah. Because sure. Jimmy, in, in some of his other videos, he'll go out and he'll go with what he calls the, his terms, bandito girls. And it's these two girls that he goes around with and, you know, less intimidating, I guess. Right. Um,. But Cam, Cam gets saying, he's like, thank God I'm behind this fucking camera. <laughs> like, yeah, I got to say, I think you yeah. guys came back that day and you guys all bonded, like some real trauma bonding between you guys. Oh, no <laughs> doubt. Was, yeah. I could not believe that whole day, man. Like, it was like, what doesn't come through on the final edit is that he was nonstop. There was no off switch for him. I was very impressed with his energy, like we've said, but he was bouncing around from person to person all day. Right. <laughs> With no off. Yeah. It, it was it, it was just like a lot at once and I was hiding my face behind the camera the whole time because I couldn't even look at people. <laughs> yeah. But um everyone did a great job, the four of us. And I gotta say, the reason why it took so long to air this final edit is because the first cut <laughs> we cut all his bad jokes. And uh it just made him look pretty innocent for the most part and then <laughs> We included this. What you see is what you get. Right. right. That was tripping me out. The, day. the bunny. Was it looked like the bunny was moving its mouth as Cam was talking. <laughs> Are you the bunny, the Cam? Bunny. Oh shit. Bunny Cam. Cam talk. Cam talk. Hi everybody. It's me, the bunny, that. here on uh, Off the Rails today. I'm a talking bunny. Thanks for tuning <laughs> in right, today. And our boss is back. I can't sit down here for like I need like ten minutes for my butthole to cool off. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to sit down anytime soon. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the only thing we cut Cam was when he may have committed a crime, right? Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, and like no. other like just general cringe jokes, but these this is kind of like the uh, the top of the uh, cringe jokes. All right, there. sorry guys, I'm trying my best here. <clears throat> Kimmel, the outlaw and Zach, we're going over now to talk to the producers. Oh, there's security there. Will they chase you? No. Be careful, there's a car. Good. Yeah, you're good. No, you're not. There's a bus. Stop. Stop. There's a bus. All right, back it up. Go. Go, 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 go. Before this car comes. Go. No, the car's going. Stop. He didn't wait. If you drop us off in front of Kimmel, that could be a good move, right? Getting close to Kimmel. It's okay. Arms out, Zach. Do I know you? I don't know. I don't think so. I met you 20 years ago in Philly. You were having sex with my cousin. <laughs> And I didn't even know you knew Irving. Got him. He's cousin's a guy. Oh wow! Hilarious. Fucking wrecked, bro. He just called Did, you gay. I'll I'll like, see that coming. That guy's like, I was born 20 years ago, dog. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're like three times his age for sure. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. That's it. No. Oh. Just have another. Three minutes here, guys, approximately. I think YouTube pulled the plug. All right, let's get them, boys. You guys know where the Jimmy Kimmel show is? <laughs> That's not a joke, right? He's actually looking. So the guy said, keep it moving and walk. So can you walk past it again, do jokes and keep it moving, or you don't do it? And this way you get noticed. You're not going to get noticed across the street. Guys, rumor has it. We're gonna be on Jimmy Kimmel. Right now, it's a big rumor. Let's go. You look good, what happened? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? 
That's Zach. He's the celebrity. They don't know who I am. Go on a diet. Well, obviously. But you got to remember, so if I do a joke and you see me stop, go bingo, but do it loud. see how almost pissed like I am right there. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Aller, we're down here at the Jimmy Kimmel Show. We may be getting on. <laughs> Ted Turner's here. Hold on. Holy shit. <laughs> Teddy. Come here, Teddy. Come say hello. We don't bite. Come here, you stinker. How you been, Teddy? It's a nice app, but you look like you just got out. How you been? Good. Where are you going? I'm good, but I know who you think I am. So they're chasing me from here. Clash of security guards. Bingo. So what's happening here? <laughs> so um, that was Kimmel's security guard, and I guess they were shooting something, and we couldn't stand still. And he was like, "Move it along, guys." Right, right, right. So Jimmy's like had this idea: if we kept walking back and forth, roasting people, then that would suffice and be okay. But clearly not. Well, the best part, which which we explained before, but he actually was in the background of one of the shots. Right. You should yeah. show. Right. So funny. He got on. Oh no. Kim was on this side. Now, why did um? Why oh, here did it is. Say Look at this. <laughs> How amazing Bingo. is that? How amazing <laughs> is that? Jump, run. Jump. How you doing? You look good. Did a bus hit you on an angle? How's this one? I was like, let me guess. He's gonna call her ugly. Yep. <laughs> I know what she had for lunch. A lot. Okay, so oh that's my a nice God. foot soldier there, and now Jimmy Lee's hyping them. <laughs> well, they just unsubscribed. Zach, kneel down. Ladies and gentlemen, the cat cannot film here without permission. We're with the city. No, no, He's with the to, city. All right, we're Wait, just going to stay still. They, it was like security or someone for the Chinese theater. Oh, they're like, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, did Jimmy acknowledge or... They start doing start doing shit with the guy. Kneel down. We're with the city, I guess. <laughs> oh, which city? Bingo! What happened to you? You're like a bank. You lost interest. I'm fading. You are. Fading. We're all getting tired. Zach, when you do a joke, pretend even though it's canned and you you know it. Hey, you know almost and you like like you just thought of it. Ask him where he got his shirt. Does it come free when he bangs a 13 year old kid from Thailand? Nice. Ask Zach how he's doing with the comedy. Did he wait? Yeah, you, you heard know, that right. Hey, you know, almost, and you mean, like, like you just thought of it. Ask him where he got his shirt. Does it come free when he bangs a 13-year-old kid from Thailand? Don't ask him that. Dude, there, there, was, <laughs> there was, like, one joke he kept having me, like, try and say, and I just wouldn't do it. Dude, he was, trying, he was sending you to get killed over there. <laughs> he just, he's relentless, Nice dude. shit. Did you fuck kids in Thailand? Did Pretty much, it? yeah. I mean, just the next level of racism, like, and just, uh... Well, we love that for him, don't we, folks? <sighs> well, what was the joke? Do you remember? I do remember. I don't want to say it, though. Come on. No. No, I'm not going to say it. If it's that bad. I'll tell you off air. Really? It's it's bad. But it's... Don't say it. Night. Okay, it's that bad. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> hey, Zach, how are you doing with the comedy? How are you doing with the comedy, Zach? It's fucking awful, dude. This shit, good. you know what, Jimmy? I can't, I, I can't uh, do this anymore. I'm fucking done. I appreciate all the help. All right. There you go. Right. Avita Zane. I guess there's only one Jersey outlaw. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That'll always be true. Well, there you go. Good job, guys. Good job. You really went out there and made something happen. It's a tough day, it looked like, eh? Dude, I'm still recovering from that shit. <laughs> Well, is Jimmy online? He sure is. All right, well, let's talk to the outlaw himself. All right, one moment. This is the... Uh, st he's recently been appeared on shows such as Jimmy Kimmel, <laughs> the H3 Podcast. He is the Jersey outlaw, dangerously funny street comedian, Jimmy... Jimmy, you there? Jimmy. My man, what's going hey, on? Hey. How you feeling? You got a round of applause. When I get older, I get a round of menopause. You get a round of menopause? Well, when I get a little older, I'll get a round of menopause. You just gave me a round of applause, but when I get older, I'll probably get a round of menopause. Why would you get menopause if you're a man? That was the joke. I'm a guy. Okay, but... <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> Jimmy, I noticed your, your hairline's looking crispy today. Yeah, Zach asked me to, to fix it up, so I flew in um, I flew in the guy from L.A. to fix it up for you. I wanted to do that. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Uh, Zach, Zach ripped me up last time. I figured he'll have something to rip me up for today. So, Jimmy, the last time we had, I mean, you, I assume you've been watching the show, right? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you know, kind of the comments and reactions to your genre of comedy. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the last time we had you on, we kind of give you some notes like, you know, less, less mean maybe. Like the ones that I liked in yours was really the um, self-deprecating jokes really resonated, you know. Uh, right. uh, you clearly didn't take any of that feedback to heart. Do you think what you're doing is working or you think maybe you're time to adjust or what, what's your thoughts on uh, that? Well, I do want to say something on air that um, I want to talk to you about. The comedy I do is kind of to laugh at ourselves and have fun. Um, and I, I don't think people know that a lot of them that don't know me. I have a lot of haters. And I'm, if they understood, it's it's just comedy to laugh at ourselves and have fun and enjoy. Um, well, yes, can I challenge you a little bit on that, Jimmy? Comedy, yes. I mean, you walked up to um, a young girl and told her she basically just called her ugly, right? I mean, you said it looks like a bus hit you. I, I did say that. Yeah. So maybe more. So more I know in this time, you probably are right. You have to just the problem is, as you said earlier in your podcast, once I go, it's hard to stop me. Once I go. From, right. Yeah, we noticed know, that. And I go, it's almost like um, uh, that's it. There's no filter, you know, there's no political correctness or anything. I want your fans to know that I do this for fun. I'm not a really mean-spirited person. I'm, I'm deep down a good guy. I just want to have fun, get noticed a little bit, and do the type of comedy I grew up on. I, I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't want people to hate me for it. I want them to realize what I'm doing is to – it's like a, what Don Rickles did when I was a kid, which he did insult-style comedy. The only difference is he was famous. And people knew ahead of time what he was doing. That's I mean, right. People went that. there with the expectation that he was going to rip them apart. Oh, so when right. you just kind of rub shoulders with someone on the street and you're like, hey, take off the hat. What's wrong with you? And then they go, are you being rude? And you go, yeah, I am. Get the hell out of here. Right. No, you're you're correct. You're correct. And uh, I'm sometimes not self-aware of what I'm doing when I when I get on that. You get role, in the mood. I get in that, that, that yeah. character mode. And... Um, when I was watching your podcast from two weeks ago and reading the comments, I really realized that uh, a lot of people don't like what I do. And I figured maybe <laughs> if do what I, what I do is just to make fun of e- each other in fun and not to be mean spirited about it, but I'm a good natured person and maybe they'd accept me more and understand what I do isn't, isn't to be malicious and mean. It's just to style the comedy and the character I do. Right. I actually believe you because I, 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 I've spent I time with you when you're not on and I right. do, I do, yeah, I do. I would say you're not a malicious person. You're a sweet man, right? I, I want to apologize to, to the fans out there yeah. if I upset them because it's not my um, intention to do that. And I feel bad because despite how I act in my persona, I am a sensitive person and I do care about people. I own a bunch of dental offices. I have a lot of nice dental patients. I have a nice family. You ever do stick with on your time. patients, Jimmy? Uh, certain ones that know me, but I'll, I'll be honest, Ethan, with the way things have been now with, the the economy and COVID, not as much because people are very, they get uptight so easy. You don't want to risk losing any clients at this time. Correct. Which before you were willing to lose some clients. You made that comment when we made the frescoes and you're like, I'm willing to lose a few. uh... Uh, Well, what's interesting about clients at a dentist's office is what's good for you potentially is they can't leave. Well, they can. It's a captive audience. Yeah. Yeah. You but I, I just wanted, I wanted to apologize. More like a captured crew. audience. I, I wanted to apologize to your crew and to your fans if I upset people, because it's not ever my intention <clears throat> for that to happen. It's just, I like to be fun and go and, and, and have fun. That's really all I do. I'm an older guy just trying to enjoy things a little bit and be a little lighthearted. Yeah. I think the problem is that it doesn't come off lighthearted. I mean, Zach, do you want to say anything or Ian or Cam or... Or anyone who was there on that day, uh, you have any feedback for Jimmy here? I mean, Jimmy, we, we know you on like a personal level, and you you really do have a good heart. You really do when it when you're when you're James, <laughs> not not Jimmy Lee right. when you're James, right? Um, but you know, we were just out there to observe you, and again, you know, no ill will. We just wanted to follow you, but there were times where it felt a little harsh. It was a little. <laughs> It was well, a little too harsh. The, the shock factor is, I think, what gets the attention. And yeah, it sure they does. Like, all jokes and right. uh, some people like that. I feel like this is turning into know. an in- intervention. Jimmy. That's <laughs> yeah. not my intention. <laughs> I didn't want it like that. I just wanted to speak how I felt. 
from my heart and tell you how I felt. And I wanted to apologize to people if I upset them. I'll be okay. honest. Okay. All right. So um, are you working on any new material maybe to, me to meet the times? Like are you, are you writing some kind of new, maybe some yeah. newer shit? Yeah. In fact, my sweatsuit is Armani. Do you like it? That says Adidas on it right in the front. No, it's Armani, Salvation Armani. Salvation. Armani. Armani. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's better. That's more on the, the spectrum of the self-deprecation, again, yeah. you know? But it says Adidas on the front. I know, but you know how good my comedy TV show's doing, Ethan? I'll bet how good. I'm the only guy that knows about it. Yeah, that's, see, that, that's good. I like when you do those jokes. In fact, Ethan, the L.A. press gave me two thumbs down, and the Hollywood press gave me one finger up. <laughs> there you go. I like that. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm doing so good at my show, I can't even get in to see me. Say that one again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing so good at my TV show, I can't even get in to see me. Right. You can't even get in to see yourself perform. Right. Because it doesn't exist? Or what's like, is that a metaphysical joke? No, it's sarcastic because it's, it's not doing well. I can't even get in to see me. Oh, because it doesn't exist. Kind of, sort of. There you right. go. Okay, interesting. Can I ask you some questions? We wanted to decode some of the jokes. Trick or treat Charlie. Can you explain that one? Just like you're dressing loud and crazy like you're a Halloween person, like in a costume. It's not as deep as you guys were trying to make it. <laughs> you're dressed goofy for Halloween. I call you trick or treat Charlie. It what is Charlie a reference to? It's just a, a, a thing I came up with. I have no idea. <laughs> Good. I think you guys are trying to read into the jokes a little too right. deep. It's just trick, well, generally, I mean, okay. Well, Jerry Seinfeld says when he writes a joke, you know, he focuses on every word needs to be perfect. You know, that's not your mantra. That's not no, how you approach well, I comedy. I just go and whatever yeah. comes out on film comes out. And, it, and sometimes the jokes don't make sense, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I wanted to ask you, you were telling a black gentleman on the tour bus, the war is over. Which war were you referring to? Say it one more time. There was a black gentleman on a tour bus and you were saying, hey, the war is over. You can run now. What, which war were That's you referring to? Civil War. That was probably Holy Civil shit, War. bro. <laughs> you can't be making Civil War references. Also, the ref kind of referencing him as a freed slave is just a lot, I think, right now. I think the racial stuff's so so bad now, and I I done it. I should think not. I don't even think that's been good for decades. Probably, I think that no, one's. Probably I, I don't even think in the slightest vein you can do it. In the slightest vein. But anymore. you did it. <laughs> but I but I did it. Yeah, you did. Because Zach Zach asked me to. <laughs> Time out. What? Wait. Yeah. What? I said Zach asked me to do it. I'm jo joking. Oh, okay. You. Okay. Well. Well. Okay. <laughs> Zach, did you tell him to make a Civil War joke? I don't even think I could comprehend or come <laughs> up with a Civil War joke. <laughs> the war's over. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Then you made another one to my black friend. The war's over. Everything's good. And you said, jump, run. I could, you said I could have been in the Olympics if I was black. Do you want to unpack that one? Yeah, I, I, it's just an old school joke. When we were kids, most of the people in the Olympics that were the runners were black. So I said, I could have been a black guy. I could have been in the Olympics. I didn't want to go in. Right. But the, I guess the joke is that you could never be a black guy because you're a white guy. Right. Then I said, uh, I don't know if I said the punch, but I said, the Jews don't go in the Olympics. We own the stadiums. I don't know if I used that punch. But there's Wait, a but hold on. Are you Jewish? Guy. Yeah. You are? Mm-hmm. Part Jewish. How, how part? Uh, 50%. On which side? My mom's half and my dad's half. Both his is mom that... and his dad are half Jewish. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> wow. Okay. Man, that's rough. The Jews <laughs> owning the stadium, the black athletes. It's very dangerous. There's stereotypic jokes that were but those are on. Yeah, you got to drop those out of your routine, buddy. Yeah. The good thing is I don't think most people even understand what you're saying, so it doesn't escalate. Right. I think the jokes are antiquated where they're funny to people older like me. They got them in the 80s, not, not today. I know. I'm aware of that, too. Can I guess your age, Jimmy? Yeah. Will you tell it's me? Not 70. <laughs> Wait, come on. Be you, real, got me, you got me, like, way older. So <laughs> I told Zach. I told Zach what I was. Yeah, what are, how old are you? 60. You told him 50, didn't you? 
Oh, originally I said 54, but then he asked the truth, and I told him. 60? Will you show? Will you send Zach a picture of your license? I'm going to send you my driver's license. Okay, I, that, see, that, I that. asked you to do that, but you wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like I'm going into a club. <laughs> yeah, called prison. Well, that's, that's, that's my next move. That's my next move. Stop laughing. It's not funny. All right. Uh, what else? We also have... Um, I want, I want, you said something about having a mutual orgasm, but you said you have State Farm. So it's an old joke where I go up to an older couple. I say, do you, have, you and your wife have mutual orgasm? And they say, no, we have State Farm. Because they think the mutual orgasm is like insurance. Okay, so we were on the right <laughs> Oh, so we have State Farm. Right. It's an old style joke. But it's funny, again, to older people. Young people don't understand it. Maybe do you consider put, putting on a show, maybe at like a retirement home or hospice care or something? No, well, maybe I should retire and quit. <laughs> That's I not what I'm saying, but maybe just the, the uh, Oscars the other night. The thing is, you, said, maybe you should quit. Yeah, well, because Will Smith, uh, you know, Chris Rock insulted his wife. He went up and slapped her. So my wife's like, "That's going to happen to you. Maybe it's time to to walk away." She did tell me that. Are you afraid? So, I mean, what? It, what are your Has thoughts? that ever happened to you? Has anybody assault, tried to assault you for something you said? No, here? no, but people will get upset, but I have a good vibe on people. And you got to remember, I have two security guards. With yeah, those me, guys so are big. I, nothing's really, really happening bad. But um, I think my comedy doesn't work as well with the new, the new way the world is, and especially since COVID. Uh, my my mm, jokes, Way before but, COVID, Jimmy. Well, then maybe way before COVID. Yeah, maybe just too old style for people. Well, that's what I'm saying. You need an audience who gets your joke. So maybe go to like bingo night or something and do the opening night for bingo. Yeah, bingo. Or, or quit. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah. Work with me. I'm just work saying. Or, or you're going to have to. You're going to have to freshen up your material. Um, but what did maybe you think of the Chris Rock? What did you think of Will Smith, Smith slapping Chris Rock? So what I thought is, because I do that kind of comedy, I don't think you need to hit someone if they do it. And if you get upset after the show, you can go over and say it really wasn't nice. But, you know, I mean, Chris Rock's a comedian. So just like I try to do comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not well, but I try. You got to give me effort for that. And, um, you know, you have to uh, give him credit. But he said the wrong thing to the wrong person. And that's what I'm afraid it's going to happen to me yeah. on the street, too, because uh, the world's escalating in the wrong direction. And in the wrong direction? How do you mean? Well, for for me, I, 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 I'm going to try to, and I was talking to some people about it, try to write new material that's more current and pertinent so I can be more funny to, like, the boomers and the people your age. I've been thinking about doing Boomers? That. Those are old people. No, no, the people that, that are young. Like people I like mean, I'm, 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 I'm what, am, what are we, millennials? But boomers are like my parents. I mean, those well, are then, old. Then uh, millennials. I meant millennials. Yeah. That's what I meant. What generation yeah. are you? Uh, I, I guess I'm a baby boomer from the 60s, right? Yeah. So sure. I guess the millennials, right? That's what I meant. Not the greatest generation? And the Gen Zs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so and that, what, but what do you mean? That's going to be my writer. <laughs> But I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 my, my honest feedback is maybe maybe work with a younger writer to kind of help with... Because it seems to be something you really love. And I don't want to take that I have away from the you. whole charisma down, how I do stuff. I think I need maybe younger style jokes that people yeah. like. Work, and I'm not so disliked and hated being too, too much insult comedy and too much antiquated comedy. That's what, that's what I think where it's going. Oh, AB has a good point. Have you uh, have you considered getting on TikTok? He's big on there. Oh no, I'm pretty good on TikTok, and YouTube. I knew he would be. Wait, really? hold the phone. Let me look up your TikTok. Hold on. What's yeah? What's oh, terrible. I got the Keem Ethan. I got the Keemstar guy up there. I'm getting a, I'm, the video went viral for the Keemstar guy. It did. On my TikTok at the Jersey Outlaw. Jimmy Lee. TikTok, and you'll see I put up the Keemstar guy a couple of times. Watch it. It's got a lot of views. No way. Yeah. Okay, you got thirty thousand followers. Fine. Mm -hmm. Jersey's funniest guy, dude. I'm gonna follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, but like, it's getting a little hard. I'm just gonna say, like, <sighs> yeah, I I think you gotta just maybe your son. You have a son, right? Is he interested in maybe writing some more relevant jokes with you? My youngest son kind of is helping me along with this, and he gives me good advice. I don't know if he's a writer for jokes, but he he told me, Dad, you gotta if you do want to do it. 
you got to stop insulting people so much and do more current jokes so people understand. Your jokes are funny for people your age, not for the younger people. Right. It seems like you right. have people and around you telling the right thing. Yeah, which is what you said. Yeah, what do you think about the lady who you said, I got my eye on you? So to me, I thought it was hysterical. And, and Zach, or one of your thought it was awful and, and a really <laughs> offensive. And the guy got mad, which made me laugh. And I yeah, he did. He said, keep your eye off her. I said, I got my eye on you because she had the patch. He probably had a cataract operation. And then there was an ophthalmologist in there who I did the rectal optitis joke to, which was funny. So I, I was walking through the restaurant, uh, Ethan, <laughs> And I said to this guy, you're Jewish? He says, no. He says, get out. It's a Jewish deli. So I thought I was funny, but I don't know if anybody else did. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, that, I'm that's afraid the not. Right there. Jimmy, no, that's I don't the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the eye joke seemed to hit with a decent percentage of, of okay. chat. So. I mean, it was funny. It was just, a, it was very uncomfortable, but it was funny. Actually, yeah, there's lots of love in the chat for the eye joke, Jimmy. So maybe okay. what you should do, maybe a good strategy is to go up to like the most fucked up looking people <laughs> and then, uh, you can find it and then just, just go in on them, right? Rip them. Yeah. yeah but you had, a, you had a very good point you said in your other podcast where if someone's ripping me like the podcast kid and I come back at him, it's funny. But to go up to random people that don't know me and start hammering them isn't funny. And That's the problem. I took, that, I took that point to heart that you said that and maybe right. that's another good point. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Jimmy. We know you're a good guy. I want to give you a, a redemption arc. So here's what I want. Let's write some new material. Let's go back on the street, and let's try the tamer jokes this time, the le more self-deprecating or less insulting, and let's see okay. how it hits. Let's see. Could you think you're up for that assignment, or are you ready to throw the cards in and you're done? No, I was planning on coming out in May. I had mentioned to Zach today, and maybe what I would do is start getting an arsenal of self-deprecating jokes more and less offensive jokes and maybe more jokes for younger audiences and just do the same thing in the limo with the guards and, 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 and the same back, the same vibe, but with different material. You have any new jokes you, you want to hit us with? You have any new jokes you want to hit us with before we say goodbye? Well, I had so much gas last night, I thought mm. I was being followed by Arabs. Uh, I, I don't know. I just... <laughs> what else? What else? You wait, got? wait, 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 wait. I let, I wait, let hold, on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke after the whole conversation we just had. I lent a friend twenty-five thousand. Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't move on yet. <laughs> So the joke is that Arabs smell like farts? No, gas. Arabs sell gas. Oh, they I sell had so gas. much gas in this. I, yeah, but I thought I was being followed by it. Arabs. They sell gas and oil. Oh, <laughs> you know, Amy, is that right? It's yeah, not you own a lot of gas stations. Thought. My dad used yeah. to own gas It's stations. a little rough. It sounds like you're, they are saying they stink. No, no, no. I had so much gas last night, I thought I was being followed by Arabs because that's what they... They make their money in gas and oil. But you're saying oh. you farting. You are farting. So well, much. gas, I use jokes as a pun. Right. So here's another one, Ethan. I lent a friend of mine $20,000 last week for plastic surgery, and now I can't find the son of a bitch. Because he got a face because he changed his whole appearance? Right. Right. That's, a, that's, that's not an offensive joke. No, it's not. No, the not the Arab one, I think, dropped. <laughs> the Arab one dropped. That okay. didn't hit. You want to keep trying material, and we'll tell you if it passes? The, uh, um, the sniff test, this is, so to speak. This is really more Arab ones. Yeah, well, you have any I'm more late. Arab ones for AB? I was he asked, back. by the way. Don't yell yeah, at no, me. I, I, I'm, I'm interested. I was laid back in high school, but I haven't been laid since. Okay, that's okay. fine. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, so again, when, when, you're, when, he's the, when you're your own target, you know, it, it, I think it turns people off a little bit less. <laughs> that Arab shit was fucking killer, dude. Uh... <laughs> But don't uh, say that. Be, don't say I, that. Yeah. Don't. All right, I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. That's good. Ah. I mean, I'm doing dry humor, but it's it's not offensive humor. It's not really my character, but yeah, not I exactly like it's not exactly like biting social commentary. See, Jimmy, I right. think I think your best joke is the one about the hooker, where you're like, I hired a hooker last night. I dropped my pants. She dropped the price. She dropped her price. Yeah, that, I feel like that's your strongest joke. Wait, why? Because you had a big cock? No, because he's no, no, small no. Cock. I dropped my oh. pants. Because I, I think it would be funnier. I was thinking about that. If you go to a prostitute, 
and you paid her a hundred bucks, and then when you drop your pants, she should charge you more because she's disgusted. No, she should give you her money back. That's even funnier. But she like it's funnier if they if she raises the price, right? If she gives you a discount, I mean, she wants to have sex with you. She raises the price. She's like, well, I, I got know. another thing, Zach, to tell you. I went I went even to a discount massage parlor. I found out it was self service. <laughs> that's that's great. Okay. That's a good joke. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that I like. Uh, I'm, having, I'm having a rough time, Ethan. Yeah. I got two good looking kids and two ugly kids. I don't bring them up. Nobody wants to hear about them. What's the joke there? I got two good looking kids and two ugly kids, but I don't bring them up. Nobody's interested in the ugly ones. Yeah, what's the joke? I have two good looking kids, Ethan, and two ugly kids. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I repeat it enough. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you guys are missing, uh, am I missing something? I don't get this one either, Jimmy. No, he has two good looking kids. I don't kids. either. I just made it up. <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. Off the dome. <laughs> so you got two ugly kids. We don't talk about them, though, because they're I ugly. Got a, I got a fresh one. Mm hmm. You got to tell me if you want it. Oh, of course. Okay, my wife's Chinese, and every Thursday night she's on her knees. See, that's a little rough. That one's. I know. See, that's that's the freshies. That's the fresh one. See, that that's not good. We need those. Okay, are, all right. We got to stay. We got to work on fresher. You, you no know race. The uh, Arab ones. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> no race, Jimmy. Do you have any Jew I'm jokes for the me? Arab pass. Yeah, Jewish jokes I have. Let's I went go. up to a Jewish woman in a restaurant. I said, "Is there anything here you do like?" Okay. I mean, uh, I, I could see how that would the be worst. funny. Good, at, Jewish, good to a Jewish crowd, but... Jewish women, when you go to a Jewish comedy club, Ethan, there's a two-complaint minimum. <laughs> funny. And Jewish women in a household, if there's smoke, Ethan, there's salmon. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Where there's smoke, there's, there's salad. Salmon. No, salmon. if there's oh, smoke, salmon, there's salmon, it. and when there's dinner, Ethan, there's definitely leftovers. I think because you're Jewish, maybe these hit harder, you know? They seem more a sensitive. Woman, a Jewish woman, I'll tell you how they spell relief, Ethan. R O L E X. Rolex. Hmm. Okay. Not they don't sound no, that I'm close. I'm trying to do more appropriate, not fresh jokes. Yeah. I don't know if they're funny, but they're they're different. So <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not disagreeing. I'm I'm enjoying the set though, if you want to keep going. I mean, this is great. Give well, me your most offensive ones. Let's let's uh -oh. let's just uh -oh. no, maybe not. No, let's do uh, it. I I take my wife to Vegas, Ethan, every year. She plays the slots, and I play the sluts. We haven't had one fight. Yeah, I'm curious what Jimmy thinks is offensive. So this will be really interesting because <laughs> the ones that Jimmy thinks aren't offensive are probably the worst ones by far. <laughs> All right, keep going well, here, with the offensive ones. Here's another one, Ethan. It's a clean one. I dated a girl when I was 25 years old. She had very early American features. When I met her, she looked a lot like a buffalo. What was that word you said? That you said some kind of condition? I said I had dated a girl when I was 25 who had very early American features. She looked a lot like a buffalo. Early American features. Oh. That one's very bad. <laughs> Don't, yeah, drop that one. Ethan, when I you was know what? Yeah, you yeah, drop that one immediately. <laughs> uh, Ethan, when I was 20 years old, I had sex in Las Vegas for the first time. I was young and I was frightened and I was alone. Right. <laughs> Not what? <laughs> right. No. Okay. I tried to be gentle, Ethan, but it was hard. <laughs> and then Ethan, I finally got a grip on myself. And wow. then my Italian father said, "Jimmy, if you do that too much, you're going to go blind." I said, "Pop, I'm over here." <laughs> right. <laughs> Chronic masturbator. Yeah, so I mean yeah. that's not being too offensive. That's like a little skit I wrote a while back. I had layers, different levels. Yeah. yeah, that one kept going. Yeah. But that one wasn't offensive. It was just about masturbating. Yeah, the Indian or the Native American one was very, very offensive. You understand you know, why, right? Because you don't want to do jokes on ethnicity. R r r well, Thanks. right. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I think the world just kind of moved beyond that. Right. Rickles died, man. Yeah. He's gone. Are you kidding me? Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Too much masturbating, buddy. So, I, I got to keep trying, Ethan, and I think I got to take your advice, and I got to maybe try to change the material and but try to do better and be, build up a fan base and have people like me and be the guy on the street that's likable, not, not so offensive and rude. And there's no harm in, in hiring, uh, there's no shame in hiring joke writers. I mean, a, lot, a ton, if not all, great comedians work with joke writers, right? They do. And I was thinking if Zach had some free time on the weekend, he's not doing too much with you, I'd like to hire him. <laughs> what do you, what pay? do you think, Zach? 
Well, yeah, Zach, what's the pay? Five hundred a week. Oh, Jesus, bad. you were born in like nineteen twenty. I like it a week. That's I mean, going to be a part-time job for two days a week. Yeah, I mean, if it's just a couple hours a week, I mean, that that's not, Jimmy, he does ten-hour shifts. He he he's going to put you to work. But I have, I have a job here. You know, as, this is like that's why I'm giving you part-time. Job. I'm giving you part-time. How many hours you need from him? Two days. He can sit and write all the jokes, and we'll do current ones, and then I'll go. I'll memorize them and go out on the. How, how many How many hours a week are we talking? How many hours, Zach? You want to do? Well, here's the thing, though. I'm not a I'm not a comedian. I, oh, my comedy is through <laughs> sound bites, I guess. But like, I'm not like a stand. We gotta find Ethan a, a good, good young guy that can write some good jokes for me in in the Jersey Atlaw style. Mm. That are you I, need I, help? I, we could help. We could maybe find someone. Yeah, Ian, yeah, let's find, Ian would be great. Let's get Ian on that, and then I'll hmm. come out in May, and we'll we'll do a shoot, and it, we'll do a different style material that maybe will work better. Chad is saying 500 a week is not bad. I think that's good for poor time. What do you think, Zach? Yeah. I mean, I'll, you know what? Okay. I have a proposition for you. Uh oh. I know where that is. Uh oh. <laughs> what is it? Okay. I will work for you and help you write jokes for a month. Uh, no, I'll do it for two months straight, but you got to buy me a Rolex. Holy shit. Then I got to talk to Ethan and heal it. <laughs> Because they, they make more than me right now. My business is a little flat. So I got to talk to Ethan off the cuff about that one. Why? I'm a down with you it. Hit, you won in Vegas. I, I was told you won. Oh, someone. no. You're counting my money now, Jimmy? <laughs> 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 I was told you had a big hit in Las Vegas at Planet Holly. So. How much a roll? I mean, that's a good deal. Two months? I mean, that might add up to what Jimmy's. Mm, the you one know, he wants is ten grand. So no. ten grand for two months' yeah, work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Five thousand a, a month. Steep. That's a little steep. That's a little steep. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk. You guys can negotiate. Yeah. A rolly is the price, Jimmy. <laughs> I I do want to say that I appreciate number one that you guys continue to 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 give me uh, some love and have me on, and I want to also appreciate say I thank you and appreciate your advice, and I'm going to start to try and uh, change. To do things more current, maybe maybe be more likable and try and do better. With That's what I want. I want to set you up for success. Let's get let's try to set you up with a joke writer, you know, and let's give you another shot out there with some fresh comedy. And we're right. gonna maybe we'll change your name to, uh, you know, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey uh, law-abiding citizen. Not Jimmy Lee, the Jersey asshole. No, no <laughs> the law-abiding citizen. You're no longer an asshole. <laughs> Not Jimmy Lee, the Jersey asshole. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, clean. Yeah, clean Something version. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you say dangerously funny. It can be like, uh, you know, dang, pretty dang funny. Pretty dang funny. Yeah. Right now, what am I eating? Canceled culture? Is that what they call me now? Jimmy Lee, canceled culture? Well, I think you have to, you have to first exist to be canceled, unfortunately. I, I couldn't make a comeback because I never was a has been. That's <laughs> right, exactly. What you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> Just a little Jimmy Lee style humor there yeah. for you. All right, buddy. People say, hey, oh. take off the glasses, Jimmy. You're ta making a spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Who's what'd you just at? get hit by a bus? It's going sideways? No, on an angle. Get no, the joke an angle. right. Did you get hit by a cab on an angle? Hey, Jimmy, where's, uh, who let you out of the crypt? Aren't you the crypt keeper? No, but Ethan, let me tell you what. You can go home. Your cage has been cleaned. The cage has been cleaned? I'm you a... can go home. Your cage has been cleaned. What kind of animal am I? That was <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't animal. know. I just threw, I threw a curveball at you. Yeah. Okay, Jimmy. Well, then, uh, if you're so rich... If you're so, t I don't know, Jimmy. I, I'm not that. Right. Hey, Jimmy, what? How many hairlines you got over there? I see. I count one, Four. two. <laughs> Four. But Ethan, you know what? I'm looking at you. You have something under your chin. Oh right really? There. Oh, it's your other chin. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Hey, Jimmy. Oh, okay. What's <laughs> under your chin? Oh, Is, it's your other chin. You flabby skinned uh, old crib keeper, <laughs> you. You're my buddy. I hope you're my buddy anyway. Yeah, of course. We're just having fun. You got it. We're just you're doing we're just doing some good old times here. <laughs> we're just doing hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, hey, hey Jimmy, you got your hearing aids in or what? I keep saying I keep talking, but you don't listen. I mean you gotta turn up the what? hearing aids. What? 
Hey, Ethan, I got a funny joke for you. Okay. That's it. Got him. Wow. <laughs> Take that show on the road, Jimmy. You'll be famous for the end of the month. There it, there it is. Hey, Jimmy, you ever heard of uh, Kim? Wait, who's this? What? Wait, who is this? This is, this is Mao. <laughs> Mao Dang Chow or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> You got the similar hairline. You have you have you ruled any? Uh, was he Chinese or Vietnamese? Chinese. Yeah. You rule any Chinese countries lately, Here, Jimmy? He's not. Give me one second. He's not seeing it. I don't know who it is though. <laughs> who, is it? who is he? Hang on. We're gonna pull it up for you, right, there you Dan? Go. Oh come on! You're comparing me to that guy. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Oh, you rule any Chinese Christ. countries lately? Oh shit! You really hate me. Take that down. What do you mean? It's just you're, this is the jokes you tell on the street. Take it down. Like, <laughs> okay, like you can't me. deal with it. Take it down. It's right, too offensive. It's finish. too offensive. Taking it down. It's oh too my. offensive. You're, ki you're killing it. You're killing me. Thank you, brother. Uh, hey, you Ethan, I got so a dark. friend who's Italian. He embarrassed himself at the Last Supper by asking for seconds. Hey, Jimmy, were you at the Last Supper? <laughs> yes, with Zach. <laughs> <laughs> who's that laughing? <laughs> Who is that? That's your boy, Zach. Hey, Jimmy, why is it so hey. good? Like that Sorry, that, that was so good, Jimmy. I love you, but that, that, was, that was quick. That was exactly. good. Hey, Jimmy, why is it so dark in there? Your, light, your wife turn off the lights? No, but you ought to. We tell, tell love there's personalities for sale at Walmart. They're five ninety nine. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Brutal. I got to throw a couple in before I go. Get the guys. Get the guys. We're having fun. This is fun, Cameron. you know, because... This is good because we're all consenting. It's like an insult. Right, battle. exactly. Yeah, it, this is you fun. Know, if you can find a way to to set it up in such a way that it's people that are voluntarily being roasted by you, it, it's a totally right. different dynamic. This okay, is so fun. I hit love. So, Ian, um, I just want to say something to you, Ian. You're doing a wonderful job for uh, Ethan. When we figure out what job you actually do, we're going to call you let you know. you got a bright future, Ian. <laughs> Not not in the business you're doing. Maybe in the lighting business. Go easy on him, Jimmy. Uh, no, he's a wonder, he's a wonderful Roasted. guy. Uh, as a matter of opinion, his. Um, to to um, Cameron, I want to tell you, Cameron. One day you're going to find yourself. You're going to be terribly disappointed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> There's not much to say about Cameron. He's got a lousy personality, but he's a nice person, and uh, he keeps telling himself that. And. Um, we we didn't. Is there anybody that you know, Ethan, who's Egyptian? Oh, Where's geez, I guess not. Where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Dan? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little uh, worried. I got my finger on the sensor button here. I guess oh, I'm closest ready? thing to Egyptian. I mean, they're Romanian, right? Uh, are my, you ready for my it? heritage? Right, but Gyp really? gypsies are from Romania, right? No, he said Egyptian. Not oh, Egyptian? Yeah, Egyptian. Egyptian. I ready think for I'd be the closest. Yeah, I mean, Elo's kind of close to Egyptian, and so is AB. So take your pick, I guess. So AB, if he's Egyptian, I would just say, hope you find a parking place for your camel. Mm. That could work for a lot of countries. See, now that one. Uh... I'm Arab. What else you got? No, no, no. You're Arab? Yes. Uh, tell, mm. tell, him, tell him the one you... I tell the Arab <laughs> no. guy, make up with the Jews, we'll make you a corned beef sandwich. Stop already. <laughs> That's actually a good offer. I wonder if anyone's presented that. Jim, Jimmy, tell, tell him the... Bin Jimmy, why is it so dark? It keeps getting darker. <laughs> what is happening there? A second. That's, that's a celebrity vibe. A look, that's what me and my son set up for the room. We a celebrity a vibe? So, yeah, we had to set it up like this. Hey, Jimmy, the dental, the COVID really hit you hard. You can't afford to uh, pay the power bill. Correct. We yeah. used the gigas in the office. Now we use electric. Jimmy, tell hey, Zach. Tell, tell him, tell AB the been drinking one, the one you kept having me say. No, oh, no. yeah, yeah. So I said to Zach, you got to go up to a guy with a beard, a foreigner, and say, you look like Osama been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it, Ethan? <laughs> no, you didn't like it. I liked it. Zach liked it. Zach did go up to someone and do it. You did, Zach. No, I didn't. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Towards the end, I thought you did. No, never did that one. Osama right. been drinking. Osama been drinking. You got any Saddam Hussein jokes? <laughs> no. I just know really? that. No? Uh, I know <laughs> he's surprised. I know hey, he's I, getting I, darker I, now. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. <laughs> What's happening? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Where are you? Saddam Hussein's hole in the ground? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm in Ukraine. I'm in the bomb shelter. Right. Oh, okay. No? I'm in the dark area. No good? 
Wait, now he's gone. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> we can't even see you. Is it dark? I guess it got dark over hold there or something. No, hold on. Can you put light on? Is oh, that better? Go. Oh, there he is. There, there it is. is. We, we got the, the light. Backyard. We got the light. Jimmy crawling out of the crypt, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, this looks like a video Osama would put out. <laughs> yeah, wait. Are you doing an ISIS training video over there, Jimmy? What's going on? I got to tell you about those ISIS people. They're murder. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's good. They are murder. <laughs> They're murder. Well, I think we did. I think we had a great time here. What do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. I, I am appreciative of you guys. I, I love you, and I, I am going to try to move in the right direction and become okay. more current. I really mean it. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're, we're going to open the red carpet. We're going to throw out the red carpet for you. Oh, do a I full think. Jimmy Lee redemption arc. So let's just kind of feel bad. No, let's bring out Jimmy. We'll we'll okay. do that, and then that, and then we'll get back to the Ace family. Okay. Thing. All right. Stand by. I'm gonna bring him in. Sorry, guys. It's just you yeah. know what it was is I had spicy Mexican food last night, and yeah. I just have to stop. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I think unfortunately it's it's just it's sad. It's sad to it's tragic. be can in I, a position I, in my life to make that like, change. That that's literally why we were late today. I don't. I love Mexican, spicy Mexican food. So I mean, I get it. I but I go crazy. crazy. Like, just, I bought like I bought like a third. You know what it was ounce. is I had spicy Mexican food last night. And oh, I just Jimmy, mute that. your stream. Just just Jimmy, can you uh, <laughs> pop off that stream? Real quick? Oh, I was hearing myself. Yeah. <laughs> Jimbo. There he Jimmy. Is. Is. Okay, hello. Loving that. Uh, I got a new hairdo. I was just gonna say, I loving the. Uh, I got a new. Dude. What am I hearing? Wait, hold on. Jimmy, mute your stream. Jimmy, you gotta mute the show. We're we're hearing the show on your end. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. Just mute his mic, Dan, for Christ's sake. All right, let's let him. Loving the. Uh, what is that look? It's like. That's James Weiner, right? There. It's the no. It's the Chairman G. And Chairman Mao. Chairman Mao, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's giving it Turtle himself. the Train Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> he still can't figure out how to mute the stream. We love that for him. You well, back, he Jimmy? Himself. Yeah, he's actually muted on the Zoom now. Okay, you uh, muted yourself there. Right. That... How about now, Bright Eyes? All right, let's see. Better? <laughs> Much better. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> now, what's, Hello, guys. What's this look you're going for? I like it. Well, Zach wants me to sport a new look, so I'm doing the, the Telly Savalas look today. Which is Kojak. He was a, a TV show when I was young. And uh, Zach said to me today, my talent outshines my head. So I wanted to thank Zach for that. Okay. I, I'm, I'm okay. sure <laughs> some of the references went over my head, but the <laughs> delivery was good. <laughs> but uh, things are going good. Things are, things are going good. And we're, we're looking forward to our shoot with you guys May 17th. Jimmy, may I ask something? Do the glasses sit naturally that high on your head, or do they go down? I'm just curious. How's how's that? That looks yeah, that looks bad. More more correct. Is that better like that? Yeah, how's it that? is. It is. Okay. So I so. understand. I I just wanted to get you on the phone to talk a little bit because Zach talking to Zach, it sounded like it was going sideways a little bit. You were making demands on us, and I just wanted to make sure that this this redemption tour is going. <laughs> To go the right way, because I would hate to see uh, I would hate to see it go sideways. So, Zach, do you want to voice some of your concerns to Jimmy, and then and then kind of let's let's take it from there, and I can hopefully mediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the first and foremost was the outfit. You were pretty adamant that you didn't want to dress like me, so we compromised. And I was just curious yeah. why why you were so like set in stone on dressing like you, like. You what? want Zach to dress like you. You are unwilling to come in a Hawaiian shirt and shorts and do all that like Zach, right? Not shorts. Well, no, you... we, no, we compromised, Ethan, where I'm going to do the Hawaiian shirt, but he said I can wear the black leather coat, right? And the black pants. So it's kind of Jimmy Lee with a Hawaiian shirt. So I guess you... I'm used to my outfit. You know, it's kind of an odd look, the, the Hawaiian shirt with the black jacket. It just doesn't seem right. I mean, Zach rocks it. Yeah, I wear it if all I the time. You do? Jacket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there, there was that, but I was just uh, curious, like, what was the hesitation with that? Like, do you not like my look? Like, am I not studly? Oh, enough? no. You, Zach, look phenomenal. You look like a star when we were walking around it by the Kimmel show and all that. I think I'm just used to wearing my own costume. I guess I'm used to my 
leather coat and glasses because I've been doing it so long. Uh, you get older, you don't like changing that much. But I haven't th- changed. I haven't changed, Ethan, in 40 years, which is a big savings on my laundry. <laughs> right. <laughs> good. Yeah, that's true. That is a good savings. <laughs> but I think part of this experiment is to, is to, I think, to change you, right? To put you out of your comfort zone, to reinvent Jimmy the outlaw into Jimmy the upstanding citizen. So it needs to be a catatonic shift, if you would, please. So you want me to look totally like do a 180 is what you want me to do? I think so, yeah. Well, you know, my my outfit is not drastically different than his necessarily. Like, I always wear a leather jacket and, like, jeans or dark pants or something. But I, like, always rock a Hawaiian shirt, and he just seemed very against that when we were talking, but though we did reach a compromise. No, we, we, I said I would wear it, and then Zach said you can wear the black leather coat. So I called Fonzie from Happy Days, uh, Ian, and I got him to give me the coat. So I got Fonzie's coat I think, from Happy Days. I think what would be interesting is if you can dress like <laughs> Zach, that's funny, but if you want to pitch a new outfit, I'm open to that too. But I think we need to leave Jimmy, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, in the past and move forward like the Phoenix. Rising from the ashes, so we need to. So you want new outfit? You want, a di- you want a different outfit then? I think so. Yeah. All right. So, Zach, should we talk another time? Figure it out. I mean, we got a couple weeks. But you seem open-minded, so that's good, Zach. What, what yeah, I'm open. Other, I'm open-minded. What, what? 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 Was there any other issues, Zach? You wanted to resolve? Oh, the the limo time. I mean, we we told you we were going like four hours. Right. So I had said to Zach, they have because they have a lot of proms. They have a six hour minimum. So I said, I'm going to have the limo for six. I'm paying. And I said, well, you can do Zach four. You can do five. And whatever you guys decide is fine. Let's see. You know? Fair, Zach. OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. Mm-hmm. But other than- so I I figured 11 o'clock. We have it 11 to five. And if Zach's had enough of me by three, <laughs> I, I have the limo for another hour or two for me. Does that seem fair, Zach? Yeah. What are you going to do for that other hour, though? Ethan agreed if I play nice, he may come out for the day and drive me in the rolls. So we may do that at the end, which I, I never, thought was I nice. never said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely. Ian and I are going to twist Ian's arm, and, 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 and if, he, if we're nice, Ethan may come out. We may get him to come out. What's a, what do you I mean, twisty? Well, twist the arm a little bit. You know, you get a couple of security guards to work you over in the back seat. And then maybe you'll come out. What does that mean, Jimmy? I'm confused. <laughs> well, you ever you hear the, ever hear the mafia? I heard the mafia. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what they do when you don't do what they want. They twist your arm a little bit. They shoot your uncle. Oh, oh, you know. oh okay. <laughs> you gotta kill my uncle. That's fine. I'm... No, no, you, you. But I tell oh, you, you, I got a me. friend. Okay. I got a friend, Ethan, in a mafia. He's got a very, very fancy car. He has a hood under the hood. He's got a hood. Can you explain oh, like that one? And like a, hood, a hood, like a body, a hood under the hood. Well, hood, you know, the mafia is the hood, the hood under the hood. <laughs> I don't know if I've no associated good. the hood with the mafia. Do you? I, I honestly, quite frankly, no. Quite yeah. frankly, no. no <laughs> Zach says. So uh, the the other issue was, <laughs> I guess it was an issue. It was more that we're hoping you're working on new material, which you've been sending me stuff. Oh, yeah. And I've been working on a lot of self-deprecating jokes. And I've been working on, if you watch the circus thing I did in the disco, there's self-deprecation there. And I have a lot of general jokes when I was friends with Marty and Steve. And I have all those jokes ready to roll. They're you, all clean, clean jokes. Do you hit me with it. Hit, hit, you want to try some on me? Let's, let's get a, yeah, a, well, a taste. Well, well I, I was asked, and Zach, Zach knows because he made the phone call. I got a call from Reader's Digest, Ethan. They asked me last week to be the centerfold for Reader's Digest, but I don't like where they put those damn staples. I told Ian I'm not going to do it. You don't like where they put the staples? Because, because then it will, if he's in the center, then the staples will be in his crotch region. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Oh, all right. Wait, why don't you want the staple over your crotch so that your crotch is visible? No, well, because it would hurt. It would hurt to have a staple in, in oh, your Oh, they're going to actually your staple your body. Right, yeah. 
And, yeah. Right. But the f staples are physically there. They, they're not actually there in the photo shoot. Right. That's that's part of that's part of the joke. Jimmy, it's Jimmy. just part of the joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I got another uh, question. There, you you uh, keep sending me this picture of this one guy. Is that and you claim that's your manager? Is that really your manager? Is that just you in a wig, Jimmy? What 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 photo did I send? When you were in Atlantic City. Oh, me and my friend were in a limo and we were acting nuts and my other buddy took some pictures. The limo guy's a friend and he he took some pictures in the limo and we were acting crazy. So uh Mason, my social media guy, he tagged it uh two wild and crazy guys. So I sent you some of the pictures with the imagery and the and the uh and the uh, you know, some of the text lines. We're coming up with, you know, like work with me, bingo. Uh you know, we're just coming up with uh, different taglines, so to speak. Okay. Just try to be catchy. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, did you notice there was like a great moment in our last talk where the room got gradually darker, and it was like a big hit with our fans? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Maybe turn off the office light, and we can relive the magic. Oh, you want the magic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ethan, guess what? Sure. I, I'm so screwed up now. Every time I masturbate, I get a headache. Now it's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, hold it. Oh, there you go. That's oh. now. There's the Jimmy Lee we love, folks. Oh, look, Ian. There he is. <laughs> now you look hey, the Ian, Godfather. Ian. Ian. Guess what? When you go to the drive-in movie, you can watch it right here. I got a five head, not a four head. <laughs> just so you know. I'll what now? You. you said you you get a headache every time you masturbate. Every time I masturbate, now I get a headache. Yeah. Does anyone get that? Last last night, Ian, I had a glass of prune juice and took two Viagra. I don't know if I'm coming or going. I'm having a rough time. That right one I now, get. Ian. That's funny. That's pretty good. But what's That's the what's the headache one? one? Well, <laughs> do you ever masturbate and get a headache? It's a joke. No, not a funny <laughs> joke. That's why it's funny because it, it doesn't happen. But I got to tell you, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> and by the way, I wanted I have a, a funny joke off the cuff, Ethan. I want to tell you, I want to if I if you have time when I come out, I want to take you to the zoo so your real parents can claim you. OK, that's good. <laughs> Is that OK? Yeah, it's funny no for good? me, but I, not great for the on the street, I would say. Right. And Ian, uh, I, I talked to your father. I told him, keep the picture that comes with a wallet. Keep the picture. No. Because he, <laughs> he opened up his wallet. You know how people have pictures of the kids in the mm -hmm. wallet? So he, he showed keep a picture, the picture of you, that comes with the wallet. And you were so ugly that he was like, keep, right, keep right. the default That's better. That's, That's better. Yeah. Ian, Ian, watch. Why is Ian getting roasted right now? No, watch, watch. Going dark. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Wait a minute. Jimmy Lee in the dark. Oh, guess what happened to me last week at the disco, Zach? The disco? <laughs> I got picked up by two Chinese girls. One gave me a Saturday night fever, and the other gave me a Sunday morning rash. It was a rough night. Yeah, so that one's probably not the best to take on the road. We're not taking that one on the well, road. Well, yeah, the well, whole I feel, Chinese. I feel, like the, I feel like the joke can work, but the, the throwing in the Chinese girl yeah, the part is, that, it, you know. That makes people uncomfortable. It makes people uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. There was also another one in, in the, one of the videos that you said, uh, I forget the joke, but the punchline was come quick. That just seemed kind of racist. Oh, my wife told me my Chinese name last night, come quick. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's afraid of the dark. Oh, God, come my on. wife's afraid of the dark. Well, his she wife is me... Chinese. <laughs> right. And my wife's afraid of the dark. She saw me naked. Now she's afraid of the light. You think it's easy? That's good. I like that joke. <laughs> she wants to have sex in the back seat of the car, and she wants me to drive. I'm having a rough time with her right now. That's a good one. I think we heard work that one already. Work with me, Zach. Zach, work with me. <laughs> also, <laughs> work got... with me, people. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Bingo! Are we keeping the catchphrases, or are we doing something new? Uh, I honestly, Zach, <laughs> I have to say something interesting. There were a lot of comments, and a lot of them complimented you and me being together. They said, you know, we were like a good team, and you yeah. you looked like a star, Zach, the way you were dressed and how you carry yourself, because you're bigger than me. And when you walked around, I was watching, and it was like a good little vibe. It really was. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but Jimmy, you kind of look like Neo right now. <laughs> it looks like you're in the Matrix. It's there's like a green tint. 
There is? I don't yeah. see the green I think tent. It's kind of... Maybe it's just me. You want I me? think it's I just the reflection on his dome. Maybe. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting. Do you want hey, me hey, to go back in the dark? Hey, no, this hey, is Jimmy, good. No, good. Good. hey, Jimmy, will you put on a hat? Your butt, your head is causing a lens flare. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> just kidding. A lens flare. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm having a rough time. When I was a kid, I wanted to play tag. My dad, my dad drove a car to find me. That's funny. Well, no. I think. No, no I'm laughing. Know, you, you, I'm, you gotta I'm, laugh at Ethan on that one. Yeah, time. I was laughing. Wait, is this what you're seeing? Because I don't see this. <laughs> Hold on. This is what you guys are seeing. Ooh. <laughs> are they are not seeing it like this? I are think they? they're putting the color in because I, I have normal color here. No, I see you just I'm fine. At. Is that how you see it, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those. It's, what do you think of my glasses? Blue dress. What do you thing. think of my glasses, Ethan? They're great. Do you think I'm making a spectacle of myself? Oh, you gotta, you gotta Shut cut up. that one. That one, that one is just. We counted. You said that like thirty in times in 2022. The whole spectacle shtick is just no good. not working. No, no. Uh, I'm having a rough time. All right, but is he... you got Go one more. Go ahead, one more. You want another joke? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a clean one, fresh one. Whatever you got. Well. I got a really, a really fresh one. I don't know if you want to hear it. I think Zach knows it. Are you ready? Yeah. I went to a meeting for premature ejaculators last night. Now, I went, Ethan, I came early, but I was there. Right. No, no good. You didn't like it. I think it no. should be more like, I came early uh, and left. <laughs> I yeah. came early, but I was there. Or maybe the but come, the, fun. The come yeah, came early. I came early, but I left. Satisfied. I came early, but and uh, no one. I came early. Came early, had a good time. No one else was satisfied, though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah there, there. That, like, yeah. That's actually not that's bad. pretty good. Well, thank what you, you think Jimmy. It, what do you think, Ethan, of the Arab joke last time? <laughs> I, I thought, personally, I liked it. I mean, I it was, it was funny, it, but not for the right reason, right? Not for the right reasons. Okay. I think we were all just shocked that. That was your an attempt at a clean joke because it was like clearly racist. <laughs> well, guess what happened today in my dental office? You want to hear a weird thing? Sure. <laughs> two two Egyptian people came in and they parked their camel right in the front of my store. That's not a joke. No, it's a truth. Two camels. <laughs> He's my cousin. And I walked outside. I said, "Get off the hump, your mother. Get off the hump." <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Wow, that really happened? Yeah, Zach was there. Yeah. Well, you know, that's really not a joke as much as it's just like an anecdote. <laughs> I believe it. I have a, I have a camel outside right now. AB travels are by you, camel. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dead serious. I think I think you're in denial. Oh, see, that was that oh. was clever. That was clever. Yeah. Actually, this is really quick. interesting. I think you're in the matrix. Jimmy, you ever consider? Watch. Would you consider <laughs> what? playing what? What am Neo? I doing? What am I doing? Uh, can he see this, Dan, or no? Uh, if you put it... Uh, yeah, he's seeing it right now. Yeah, yeah. You Would that? you ever it? consider uh, doing playing Neo in a, in a Matrix remake? Sure. If Zach wants me to do it, <laughs> I do whatever Zach tells me to do. If he tells me to jump off a building, I'm going to tell him not again. Jimmy, I gotta, one more thing i got to call you out on. In, in your reel you posted... You cut out like the best part <laughs> the of the video. Oh, I know what you're gonna say when I said, "Where's the audio?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I, I want to check audio, 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 audio. Oh, audio, see, I never audio, asked audio, you about that audio, because audio. everyone was so hyped to get out, and then the minute you came out, you started and obsessing over the audio. What happened there? So my my video guy says that just paused the whole star feeling, and he said you gotta lift it out, <laughs> and I said. You're right, but you're wrong. It's funny to leave it in. He says, oh, you got to take it out because you had cool music. And then all of a sudden, the fans were there. And to pause it and stop that, that vibe, he didn't like it. So we lifted it out. I'm not saying you're wrong because it was funny when I came out. And the whole vibe went when I said audio. audio and I kept audio, checking audio, it. Audio, 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 audio. Uh, so, so next time, would you do the audio <laughs> stick or would you try to avoid? No, I, I keep, probably keep, the, keep, I keep the momentum. it in because it's funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I keep it in because it's funny. Right. So you would do it again. Yeah. I didn't tell you about <laughs> my girlfriend. 
Did I tell you about my girlfriend's Ian? <laughs> yeah, Ian. Did he tell Ian you? Ian thoughts. Ian. Uh, Ian, I don't think when you did. get well, I got a new girlfriend, and she's 29 years old. She's Spanish. She's a gorgeous, lovely lady. My wife don't care for her. Sure. Right. That, I can understand because that. Because that makes sense. The wife would be upset that well, you she, had a girlfriend. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Well, it seems like we're on the right track. There's a good compromise happening. So we're gonna this, the uh, redemption arc is still on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm doing. I'm doing how you guys want it. I already know <laughs> the kind of material you want. I'm all good. I'm all good. Great. It's going to be done, you know, nice and clean so we don't get beat up or thrown out or whatever. That's good. That's good. Because yeah. I was worried Waddy, about that at times. Well, yeah, why do you keep putting me in green? <laughs> I think there's something <laughs> What's wrong. That shit? I apologize. The, the video feed seems to be having Keeps some sort of glitching. That's what, okay, that's what shit, ABC is. I'm not losing it. You guys are gaslighting. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely green. Do you, do you hate the Jersey Atlaw that much, Ian, that you got to put me in green? Yeah, Ian. Ian? Thoughts? Thoughts? What are you afraid of, Ian? 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 It looks Ian? normal on my end. I don't see anything. Yeah, it looks normal it's on my end. Well. Yeah. All right, Jimmy, I, I got to let you go. All right, get ready. Wait a minute. You're going to let me go, but watch, e watch Ethan. Oh, we're back. Oh. In the dark. We love he that. knows how to kill. He we, knows how to slay. He knows how to kill. He kills every watch. time. <laughs> Here's Oliver Tree in the Jersey Atlas signing off. All there right. it is. All right, you Thank take you care there, Jimmy. Thank you guys for having me on. Thanks, right. Jimmy. All right, looking forward to... Uh, to the next uh, collab there, next all right? Chapter. Yeah, Put thanks for having me on, guys. Love you. All right, all right love you care. too, buddy. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. All right, see you. There it is, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 it's funny. I've seen people saying Ethan ruined pesto for me forever, yeah. which I, I find that funny. I'm sorry. I just do. There was one me <laughs> meme Cam sent of him next to Colonel Kurtz from uh, Apocalypse Now. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. that was Hold fucking on. amazing. I was trying to think what I was... Yeah, that's what I was referencing, not The Godfather. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Right, right actor, wrong. Uh, yeah. Wait, Apoc he has Apocalypse Now look? Here, oh, look. that. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. The lighting is very similar. That was yeah. great, Cam. <laughs> uh, as you guys know... Jimmy Lee, the, the the Jersey Outlaw, went out with Zach to Hollywood to do a set. Now, no offense, Jimmy, but Zach did describe it as the worst day of his life. And I think Cam and Love also agreed that it was the worst day of their life. I think, is that on? Yeah. I think uh, Zach kept thinking about Tuesday and... Uh, he got himself sick to his stomach, and uh, the day before, he, he probably started thinking about how to hang out with me, and he got real sick. And That's what I... I, I got a text. I'm on the toilet. I can't I can't breathe. I have keeled over. I'm this and that. I mean, he was so afraid to go out with me. This is a common reaction with people on the street now. You know, they get, they get nervous. Zach, is there any truth that you just dodged Jimmy, and that's why you... No, I was legitimately sick. It was bad because you, he was sick because he was he, he was legitimately sick sick of me you're talking very quiet today very uh, i'm just trying to do that until i start my my thing oh i oh. have a whole you want me to do like an eight minute monologue right all right so so here's the here's the here's Maybe. the game is can this oh i got it oh yeah got it Come on, you're a comic, man. Man, manhandle that thing. Hold it. I want to check audio, 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 audio. Here we go. Stop, stop. Here we go. Audio. Is that Zach doing that? And that's all Zach. That is all Zach. Yeah. So basically, Jimmy, he has a reputation for for being overly offensive. Let's say, and we had a bit of an intervention with him. Uh, I don't know, a month or so ago after he went out with Love and Zach and Cam. And we said, Jimmy, you won the hearts of the audience over. They were taken with the real Jimmy Lee. Right. And we want, we need a, a Jimmy Lee redemption arc. So instead of going out to Hollywood, we gave you the homework assignment to write a new jokes that don't involve uh, insulting random people on the street. In fact, you're not even on the street. So Right. It's just more like... Reminding me of when I did stand up before I started to do the YouTube. I did stand up for probably four years. Oh wow! And had about a twenty to thirty minute act. So I was trying to reinvent that. But last yesterday and this morning, I wrote a whole skit based on kind of 
what's going on with me currently. Okay. I, I would say it's about an eight-minute skit. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, since Zach, the, uh, he's the head guy, I'm going to let him, you know, count me down. All right, but he's, there are certain rules here just because, we, again, we don't, we don't want to go too off the rails, Jimmy. Okay. So we're giving you, we're implementing a three-strike rule, okay? Okay. So if a joke goes too far, that's one strike. Right. And if you get three, go ahead and show that, Sam. Wait a minute, I see your girl with the we hook. We have a comically oversized cane. Right. Can you show that? Can you put the hook down? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have a comically oversized cane that we're going to yank you off stage with, okay? Okay. Well, I have a skit. I don't know which ones you're going to like. I hope they're not offensive. I tried to make them not like what I do on the street. You know, my street okay. comedy yeah. is a certain style. This is different. No, I get that totally. Our views are dropping. we got to go back to Amber. <laughs> Johnny. What's that? What, your views no, are no, dropping? Just, no, it's not, I'm just kidding. It's not your oh. fault. It's it's just this, the Amber Heard thing. It's just compelling stuff. Oh. <laughs> um, so, Jimmy, um, I guess now is the time. Okay. So, Zach, I'll let Zach count me down. So, Jimmy Lee, everybody. Redemption Tour. All right. There it is. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. <laughs> Jimbo Kimball. You made it, buddy. Did you tell everybody I was on Jimmy Kimmel? I don't know if you could see, but, yeah, we did a whole thing for you. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, I, I do want to tell you, this morning, uh, Zach, taking a shower. Yeah. Blow drying my hair, gelling it, moosing it. Yeah. And then it dawned on me who looks down there anyway. It's pubic hair. You are ge he you was gelling his pubic, pubic hair. No. Nope. Right. No, okay. No good. Good. All right. It's pretty good. Checked in, did my hotel today. And I said to the guy, Do you have a room? He says, I have a room, but not for you. So, no. So, basically, uh, he said you have a room, but you got to make your own bed. So he gives me a key, Ethan. I open the door to a hammer, wooden nails. I had to make my own bed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. You check out All right. All right. Go into the coffee shop, Zach. And I got to tell you, the people in my hotel are stupid, Ethan. Go into the coffee shop. The manager of the coffee shop, he looks right at me, says, how many? Okay. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Waitress comes over, good-looking young girl, Ethan, with a, one of her cohorts. She says, what do you want to order? I said, I'll take you over easy and her on the side. Then she says, do you like juice? I said, of course I like juice. I'm one. And the busboy comes over, Ethan, out of his mind, off the rails, kind of like your show. He says to me, take out the trash. I says, you're friends with the waitress. You take her out. All right? All right, work with me, Zach. Bingo. Bingo. Give him a bingo, Zach. The hotel Go gives ahead. me a rented car. Bingo. Bingo. The hotel AB gives me a rented car, and they put a girl in the back. And all day when I'm driving, I hear it's a hurts. It's a hurts. It's a hurts. That one I don't get. Hurts rented car. It's hurts rented car, but it. it Somebody's in the back working the her over a little bit. Right. I could have been. Oh, Zach. there was someone having sex with her in the back. A B or Zach, but I don't. I don't want to give names. I'm not and it hurt, and she's hurt. She's, she's in going, pain. It's a hurts. But wait a minute, it gets it's better. It hurts. I'm driving the car, Ethan. Yeah. I go right through a red light, like all you people in L.A. Yeah. I make a right to hand a turn, and a guy plows right into me. At first, I thought he was Caucasian, but then I found out he was a drunk Asian. You see? He was. Yeah. He gets out of the car, goes right to the karaoke bar. Honest to God. I'm at a red light. Are we treading in a little racist territory? No, here? no. I do have my finger on the button right now. I no, was, no. But it's it funny. Minus, minus we're two. in we're in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let the I mean hold on, hold on. Sorry. First of all, I wanna say I love I love the storytelling, how it keeps going. I think that's so fun and such a oh, I did creative a story way. plot and I the jokes are I think that's so fun. I love it. But do you are you guys wanting you guys are gonna let that one pass? So, have we explained the rules properly? Yeah. No, I explained. He, he explained this three strike rule. I'm trying to be careful, but in order to be funny, I have to be a little. No, it's great. Yeah, no, 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 be no. yourself, Jimmy. Absolutely. Be yourself. Okay, so, yeah, we go, we go over. About it too much. This yeah. is just part of the game that we're playing. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we go so over. You guys, so, so, you said, so the joke was, I thought it was Caucasian, but it was an Asian. No, no, I thought he was Caucasian, but he ended up being a drunk Asian. A drunk Asian. And then he went to the karaoke. And then he got bar. out of the bar, he went right to the karaoke. And bar. what's the joke there? Well, the Asians, they all like to go do karaoke. Exactly. That's not really racial. That's not bad. Uh, we got Did three you strikes that? on that one. All right. Wait, who striked him? Everybody? Okay. Pretty so much. let me let me keep going. Because I only saw yours. Okay, so that's just, but keep 
to be yourself. Keep doing right, your so thing. So we go to a restaurant. Anybody? But yeah, the Asian joke. I think some people would find that one offensive, just because okay. you're like, well, he's drunk and they like karaoke. It's a racial stereotype, but okay. not that. I mean, we've heard worse from you for sure. Far okay, worse. Far so worse. Yeah. We go to catch a restaurant. Has anybody eaten a catch seafood restaurant over in? Sure, sure yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ordered the shrimp beef and came home with the crabs, which is a rough night. <laughs> now, wait a minute. It gets worse. My friend Paulie went, went to catch, too. He ended up with chlamydia. So where was the rough night for Chlamydia? Chlamydia. Chlamydia? Chlamydia, correct. Now, let me tell you, speaking about VD, the hookers in this town, Ethan, yeah. they got it made. They can drop it, drape it, and droop it. They're lucky. Drop it, drape it, drop droop it. Drop it, drape it, and droop it. What does that mean? I don't know. You figure it out. You tell me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. I mean, if you don't like the jokes, you pick a topic. Hey, or I'll no, warm my core. Oh, no, you're doing However great. You no, I I'm love the right. story. Wanna... You memorize the whole thing. That's pretty incredible. I memorize all this in in a day. You have now, where am I wow. at? Where am I at now? Oh, I want to tell you about it. it's a recession. I come out here. I realize it's a recession here too. I mean, I'm on Hollywood Boulevard yesterday. Hookers are giving away toasters. I pick up a homeless girl. Two blocks later, I dropped her off. She was home. Um, right, unbelievable. Right. She moved into right, an abandonment, right. and if you think it's bad, A.B., Snow White just laid off three dwarfs, and a friend of mine got caught stealing calendars at Target. They gave him 12 months. 12 months, Ethan. For stealing the calendar. Absolutely. That's, that is. And one of my doctor friends, A.B., one of my... Uh, hold it, A.B. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got excited. Don't write one. letters. Sorry. Don't call in. One of my doctor friends, A.B., mm -hmm. two years in jail for having sex with one of his patients. Now, what's crazy about that is, Ethan, the guy's a veterinarian. <laughs> I mean, it's a rough time. That's good. That's Talking good. about the wife, I know you're <laughs> going to ask about the wife. She's mad at me, the wife. Because last week I brought my new Asian girlfriend home. Uh oh Oh, and now when I have sex with her, I got to tell you, she uses protection, a rifle. I'll tell you about that. Wait, hold on. Her protection is a rifle? Oh, yeah. She screams when I have sex with her, especially when I walk in on her, too, you know. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike you on that one. That one... Uh, that one was, was above my low. comprehension level. Yeah, I didn't far. totally understand that one enough to strike. Oh, last night we were making love. We were trying to make love. Nothing was happening. I Wait, are you moving her. on? I looked at her. I said, what's wrong? Can't you think of anyone either? Wait, uh, Smart strategy. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we can't strike that. him. Wait, hold on. She I need told to... me my Chinese name last night. Come quick. Oh, hold on one sec. Oh, she's afraid of the dark. I, I saw her naked. Now she's afraid of the light. <laughs> That's funny. Hold we on. had mutual wait, 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 Two Jimmy. weeks ago, we had State Farm. <laughs> work with me. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to work with Losing you. Losing my train of thought. He... No, you're doing good. Just hang on. I'm tough, tough being funny coming off drugs. Work with me. Okay. Hold on one sec, Jimmy. So, I need to... Dan, where'd you go? <clears throat> so, can we analyze about the strikes that just occurred? We're, we're actually discussing it with the other judges right now. Yeah. So, I got a... a judgment I call, guys. And Oh, I had struck it because it seemed like the impl like the the joke was that it was marital rape. Marital rape. <laughs> well, it's just an old well, because you were talking about your wife not wanting to have sex with you and the protection that she uses as a gun. So it sounds well, like well, it's a little obvious, you know. I'm having well, a rough well, with well, hold on. I thought that it wasn't that. It's I mean, really not. I mean, it's over the joke. top. It's that was sort of for the me. Way it's a that clean joke. joke. So it's a clean joke for me. I'm not doing anything near what I what I. She do. needs a gun to hold you off. Yeah. Otherwise, what? Well, I want to tell you funny. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold it. I got to tell you. <laughs> no, something. wait. Hold on. Hold on. I, control, no. I, I protected a girl from getting attacked last night. I controlled myself. <laughs> hold on, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ian, work with me. And then Ian, what was your reason for the strike? <laughs> I. He, well, it was a bit of a Bingo. runaway. <laughs> it was a bit of a runaway. We may have to go situation. back out on the street, Ethan. He's, all, he's going up. Go Off ahead. Go ahead, Ian. It was a runaway about, train situation. Let me I tell did. you about my kids. <laughs> Wait, Jimmy, chill. Jimmy, AP, watch me. AP, you know pictures? Zach, can I? Oh, I got pictures. Tomatoes, huh? Want me to take one? Yes. No, I took yes. six. I'll take more. I got you. <laughs> All right. Wait, Jimmy, I'm going to tell you about my kids. Chill. I'm my Jimmy's kid photographer be, today, by the way. My kid wants to be mentioned. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, chill, Jimmy. Wait, go ahead, Ian. I want to hear Ian's reasoning. <laughs> hey, AP, I got more jokes to tell him. No, I know. I want to cut your mic. Dude. Today, don't. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ian. <laughs> AB, I love you, but they're, they're, they're heckling me. No, I'm not. I just want you to just, just give us a second. I'm not trying I'm to heckle you. I'm chilling out. Zach's got me. Go ahead, Ian, out. please. <laughs> I was just saying, it was a little off the rails, a little more than we're used to. So, you know, uh -huh. it was a, co a compilation of things. Was I assume one of them. What was the, your new, you said you had a new Asian name? Is that what one of them was? Right. What was your new Asian name? Come quick. Come quick. AB knows about that. Yeah, I come quick, for sure. 
<laughs> so you did you didn't like the. Oh, the let me tell you something, point. Dan. Okay, so that's two strikes. Okay. She cut me down to sex twice a month, but I'm lucky too, guys. She cut out completely. So I mean, I'm not doing too bad, Ethan. Sure. I want to tell you about my kids. Not that you look interested, Ethan, but I'll tell you anyway. I. I know you don't care. You're just being polite because you like. No, me. I, I love. I know you hate me. Zach hates me. I wait, wait, wait. Is this part of the bit? Or part of the bit. Okay. okay I got good. two good-looking kids, Ethan, and two ugly kids. But I don't talk about the ugly kids. My cut. My son's 21. He says, "Dad, what do you look for in a woman?" I said, "You see your mother." He said, "Yeah." I said, "That's what you run from when you see a woman." Right. All right. But I got kids in college. I'm getting good drugs now. All right. I told my oldest son about the birds and the bees. He told me about my wife and the butcher. You think it's easy? Oh, man. I'm my youngest one. I said, you're young. You don't have it upstairs. He said, Dad, you're old. You don't have it downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm having a rough time with the kids. You follow me? I do, man. You follow hard. me. I'll call the cops. Okay. I'm sorry. I won't follow you. <laughs> Can I tell you about my shoot that nobody here is interested in? I'm interested. We're interested, we Jimmy. You great, have a captive audience. We had a great shoot Sunday. We were like Kirby's. We were everywhere in town. And I wanted to tell Zach that our TV show's doing so good now, I'm the only one that knows about it. It's difficult for me to even get in to see me. Right, That's right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. We got some letters from the Hollywood Press, Ethan. We yeah. got two thumbs down. And the people in Beverly Hills, they all gave me one finger up. Okay, nice. All right? They and loved we got a it. beautiful letter from the people in Las Vegas. And they said, we're so happy that you're in Hollywood. Mm. Okay? <laughs> so in closing, A.B., yep. uh, I do want to, don't, don't point that beard. It may go off, A.B., but in closing... Yes, Wait, hold on, hold on. What was that? What did you say? I said, don't point his beard at me. It may go off. It may go okay, off? Okay. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that a bomb joke? Because he's Arab? <laughs> oh, you want me to go there? No, I just, no, I just that wasn't no. for you, Jimmy. That's for. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. it what wasn't even it? a. At the point, like it looks like a gun. My, my. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Exactly. You're good. You're good. You were, you were the one that. You're good. Yeah. I just wanted okay, to make but, sure. Uh, to be I fair. will tell you this, Dan. It's lonely at the top when there's no one at the bottom. <laughs> to be fair, Jimmy, you have made some racist jokes towards. Are you kidding me? Before. Compared to what I do on the street. This is the cleanest oh, this comedy. Is super, this is the cleanest stuff you'll ever get out of the Jersey. Yeah, yeah that's that seems true. Yeah. So how how was your shoot? We saw some people sending pictures of you out. Yeah, it looked like I, some guy wanted to beat you up in the photo. I thought took. Venice was really good because it was packed, and we went to Hollywood later, and that was good. And and the flea market was funny because they threw us out, so it wasn't that I was funny, but the 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 process of the the little short midget getting the police oh. involved and. <laughs> And, uh, well, he was a short guy. He's about 4'11 with heels on. I had to put a phone book to see him, <laughs> for Christ's sake. Okay. And he kept making a problem. You're not on a film here. And Dave's like, go film. So we're filming. And everybody's laughing. And then he, the cops come over and they, they ask us to leave. So, so Dave's like, start up and make a bunch of havoc out of it. So I'm like, why do you want us to leave? What's the big deal? You know, we're just kidding with people. And I went to the Jackie Mason thing. And Dave says, we're going to make the whole thing of the flea market getting thrown out funny. Uh, so it was an accident. Kind of like me. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Wait, Jimmy. So, so the word you said. Uh, that, the accident is the funny part. No, but of the so flea the market. word you said, I'm just going to say it. So you, so, cause I don't think you're going to understand if I say it, but you said the word midget. So that's considered an offensive word these days. Well, what would you say, a little you, guy? <laughs> yeah, little person is what they Well, prefer. I could say this. If I talk about Zach, I'll talk about the biggies. If I talk about the uh, whatever you want to call them, I'll talk about the smallies. <laughs> you want to call them the smallies? We Was he actually a dwarf well, or something well, or just a short No, person? but I had a, a guy, a dwarf, put me out of commission two weeks ago. He ran through my legs throwing punches. Oh, yeah. I'm not, bull yeah. I'm not bullshit, you, yeah. this son of a... No, I believe you. I had it up to here with him. I'm not... He's a <laughs> guy takes a lot of preparation H. That's why he's shrinking. Okay. Work with me. No, I'm I working mean, this with guy you. is a short guy. I'll tell you. It's rough out there. Stuff being funny coming off drugs anyway, Ethan. Not that you know about that. Because I'm not funny or because I don't do drugs? I don't know. You're proof that... Uh, I don't know. I don't even have a joke. <laughs> uh, you almost got there. I don't know what routine uh, AB's doing, but I wish I was doing it with him. I don't know what he's doing. He looks there. good, yeah. He's a nice guy. Drop the skincare routine, right? You got a great head on your shoulder, AB. Whose it is, I don't know. I think, Dan, I, I don't know what mine. makes you tick. I hope it's a time bomb. And Zach, Wait, you're a real treasure. No, Somebody ought to bury Dan, you. Not for okay, me. Okay. <laughs> Close. So, Ethan, you are one of the world's greatest possessions. Israel. <laughs> I am one of the world's greatest possessions. Israel. I wrote I, that for you. I, Compliment. Wait. Wait. Israel? Israel. Is you it know, like I, a play on word like it's real? Israel. 
I understand the, the, the country, country of Israel, right? Because he's Jewish. Did you know Dan? Your boss is Jewish. I, I was aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Can I, you unpack the joke? I'm trying to you understand one if of it's the a play on words. Possessions. Israel. It's a compliment because you're Jewish. What's no? I know, but not, so if it's I'm not a, a pun, it's just a compliment. Everyone wants. I'm not going to do the lock yourself it? in the bathroom joke. Oh, is it, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Can you just explain the joke? Like, what's the possession in the Israel thing? Because I just because I would say you're one of the world's greatest possessions, right? And the reason the punchline's funny is number one, it should be short and it should be something you don't expect. <laughs> so Israel, who the hell would come up with that? Me, goofy me. Okay, but so I it's guess just, that was a bomb. A, it's a it's a very like um, like Dadaist joke. Like it, it's it's the absurdity of of the punchline. Right. That okay, okay gotcha. That's like a joke. Cool. I was I was trying to un, un, unpack a, like a It would be a joke like there, this. But. I was thinking about the sun going down, then it dawned on me. Mm -hmm. That's my perfect joke. That's my son, by the way. What's his name? Theodore. Hello, Theodore Klein. Or can you, Hello, there. It's just a soundbite. You play it again? What the fuck? He said, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Hello, there. They asked me, Dan, last week to be the center full for Reader's Digest. Mm -hmm. But I don't like where they put them staples. Right, right, right. Not doing it, A.B. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. Don't do it. All right. That's the Jersey Outlaw. That was good. That was Woo! a lot of fun. How did I do? Am I getting the redemption arc? I would or am say. Am I getting shoved back to the hotel? Look, I would say you were right on the verge of having three strikes. But, I'm like, a, I would say you, I think you passed the test. What do you guys think? I mean. I we, tried to be guys nice, so different than on the street. Far, I'm really rough on the street. I tried to be really easy. Absolutely. It was far cleaner than your typical routine, and it didn't really involve saying viciously. I took any insult joke out. Any of us you know, I didn't room. do any insult joke. But it yeah. sounds like you were on the street doing your usual shtick. I won't lie to you. I, I did yeah. Sunday me, my yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, and I yeah. planned if Zach and I were going to do this to do this type of stuff, and I had a lot of other, you know, material. I wrote something like this. I said, all you people in Hollywood, you have smartphones, you drive smart cars, you drink smart water, but you're all sitting in traffic two hours like dumbasses. Mm -hmm. So I that's, was coming up fair. with like... Uh, clean nobody, stuff. nobody would be offended by that. Right, I was trying to come up with generic stuff that I was going to use with him, and then he started thinking he had to hang out with me. He got, he got, he got the, the GIs, he got sick, he started throwing up, and then he felt better when he realized the shoot was canceled. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you offer right? to no. prescribe him antibiotics or anything? Well, I wanted to give him some Viagra and some prune <laughs> juice. Jimmy, and of course, you guys don't know this, is an actual MD. Dentist, DMD. A, or DMD. But you yeah. can, yeah, so this is the, we have a real I wanted doctor. to give okay. Zach Viagra and prune juice, and he said, why would you want to give me Viagra and prune juice? I said, so you don't know if you're coming or going. <laughs> right, sure, of course. Okay, that's no, true. That's, that's actually a good that joke. Was, that's a good joke. Coming or going. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's very good. That's cute. <laughs> so how did it go on the weekend? Did you it went it? really well. Did you get any trouble? No, I counted 22 people that recognized me, and a half were because of you. But I got to tell you the funny story. You can leave it. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the half phone. were because Wait, of you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Half were because of us. Yes. Hold and I the other half from the street comedy, which could be really related to you because you promote me. But what? Which one girl blew, blew me away in Venice? She came up and she says, oh, my God, the one fucked up Dennis. I love you. I can't. Uh, I have a picture of her. I could probably text it to you. And she was so excited. And she says, that was eight years ago, and I love that stuff. You should do more than one effed up Dennis. Dude, I She love. was so Ethan. No, that was an iconic. I just couldn't, I couldn't get over it. And, and even Dave said, like, that girl, like, loves you. She's like a real fan. I said, I only have one. At least I found one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a fan. I love that one fucked up Dennis. Yeah. Man, so. Yeah. People are saying a, a Jimmy Lee versus Gary collab. What do you guys think? Mm. Night on the town. You know, my dad. Gary's my dad. I floated that idea once. Your father? Is he do comedy? He thinks. I mean, uh, yeah, he he thinks he's funny. <laughs> he thinks he, kind of like you know me. I mean? Kind of like me. You guys have a similar. There's some overlap in the energy. God, I would. I, I, I would. I don't know even what that energy would. But be. you know what would be funny? Because my dad is kind of. PC, so like the dropping like the Asian jokes and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, no, what would be true. funny if you did it in a restaurant, like Don Rickles did that dinner with Don, where he would go with a celebrity and they interview him. If if we were in a restaurant and we had a private area, it would be funny when the waiters coming over because I could do skits with them. And then you're I've seen your skits bomb. with waiters, man. That well, no, it wouldn't nervous. be like that one. <laughs> I wouldn't be like that. Okay. I hope that not. fresco. You have I my word. I don't want to. Because that one upset you. I would never do that again. Okay. No. Good. Promise.
Yeah. It wouldn't be like are that. We getting, are we getting dinner at the Ivy? I did lunch at the Ivy. If you guys wanted to do something later, it'd be my pleasure. Maybe I'm we here. should do a dinner with Gary and Jimmy just to see what happens. I, I am kind of, it's like a science experiment, like mixing those two together. It, what I, type of personality is your father have? Is he laid back like you? I think they do jokes. They just end up like talking about like dental Being practice Jewish guys. and bike shops and shit like yeah. that. New frenemies. Oh, <laughs> new frenemies. <laughs> Let's do everyone in the audience. There's 40,000 people watching, by the way. Thanks for having me on. You guys believe Absolutely. in the little guy, and uh, I'm happy that you promote me. You always have a spot here on our uh, show. You guys are nice. Thank you. So let's, let's how, how should we rate this in the audience? Like maybe a one through five, like star rating? Well, on the YouTube polls, there's only four options. So for let's do four star Rating. So, so four star rating, one, one star, two, two, three, star, or three four. Star, four. Four being the best. You want me to sit there? But sure, yeah. We, uh, you might, you I think it's sit. important. Can you adjust the camera, please? Yep. Thank you. Um, I think it is important to oh, yeah, ahead, understand the, yeah, the no, metric no, that is, we're is my, rating is this on. Is this Ethan. Ethan. Yes. Okay. Yeah, pull that real close to your so, fist away. So, Ethan. Got you. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the four, uh, the star rating. Are we rating him in terms of like how he progressed from the last time that he was on in terms of, you know, cleaning up the act and less offensive uh, insult comedy or just did it make you laugh or not? Why are we doing this right now, AB? I, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Taking AB, pictures, thank you. Jimmy. I think um just overall, I, I, I it's too hard to say, but just combine both of what Dan said progress plus comedy right you know we're gonna do a one to four stars here so let's throw up the polls so let's see all if right let's love you. take now what do you can I, can I ask you an honest question because I'm older and um, I don't realize things sometimes my youngest son he's very smart he says dad you don't realize that you're offending people and you have a personality disorder and you don't know um, is my cleaner comedy do you feel you being a younger crowd is more acceptable to people like I think my stuff. If you if you took that show on the road, did you like that better than when I'm on the street? Yes, that's yeah, what I want yes, to know. Yes, that's but if I you mean. took that show on the road in its current form to a young audience, I think people. I think just being honest, mm -hmm. I think people would probably be upset by some of the jokes you told. So even my calm Do down version. Yeah, like I, I mean, we're coming at it with a lens of like we love Jimmy, we know Jimmy, right. but a few of those jokes I think would have people. So even the tame version of me is too much for the new generation. In a way, because my real side is the old school Rickles danger field, which is way over, and that's so toned down, and that still would offend some people. There's just wow. a few. There's a few of them. The 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 midget one. Sorry for saying it. I just need to say it for you. Uh, we'll call just, them the smallies. Just the smallies. Okay. The biggies and the smallies. I guess. What do you call them? Little people. Little people. Okay. And then um, the ones about like the Asian drivers and stuff. Was that bad? Um, just I just a little use it because it, it rhymed. Caucasian, drunk Asian. Yeah, just a little bit the racist. Bar. The karaoke one's a little racist. It's cute, though, but I didn't think it was too fresh. I was trying not to get too fresh. Well, good news. Did I get a good rating? Four stars is the, is the uh, top vote. And yeah, I, actually, I found a way to, uh, That's great. to calculate the, the actual like average star rating, like if it were on IMDb or something. Okay, that's so interesting. Plugging in the numbers right here just by percentages. And yeah, so 42% say four stars. So if your comedy special was on IMDb out of a score of four. Out of a score of four, we have a three point, let's just call it rounded three up and say 3.1. That's so great. 3.1 out of decent. 4. That's not bad. Like, what's it, a B? Like a B? Definitely, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That's great. That's a, that's great. So do you guys feel that that shtick was better than my street shtick? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I, I just need to know, so if I'm the doing street, the sh I'm ch I try to tell you, Jimmy, the street shtick is just out of control. Like, you've got to drop that whole thing. And my, I'm being just honest. Okay. That shit is just brutal, man. Jimmy, you got to take your glasses off. You're making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> hey, he learns Zach's from the best. Little, Zach's getting a little revenge. He learns there. from the best here. You know Zach's stage name? He, I don't know if he wanted it. Zach the Rabbi. We were going to put him on. Oh, Zach, Zach the Rabbi? The rabbi. Is that right? Just to be clear, he texts that. He's like, this would be a good name for you. And I'm like, uh, you <laughs> He know, didn't want I, it. He's Zilly Zonka. That really stuck. I know, but because he 
big and he's funny and he got the long hair like who would think he's a rabbi that's why i thought it's funny that you know? is I interesting like i mean know? well i thought it was funny i think rabbis can look all different ways potentially i don't you know but uh well, you said your son says you have a personality disorder is that what do you think about that that's a pretty he that's a told pretty strong me word and, he, for and he's right and then he said something interesting he said people that have them don't realize that anything's wrong with them what does he think is your personality? It's called histrionic personality disorder. Histrionic? Is that a? Have you been diagnosed with that? No, he he's he's very he's, smart, my oldest son. So what it means is it's a person that needs to be in the center of the action, always has to have the attention. Um, Here I found it. It says it, histrionic uh, personality disorder (HPD) is a mental health condition marked by unstable emotions. Do you feel like unstable? Yeah, but then I run my business normally like you run yours. So it's yeah, like I have a different type of personality, but when I go into Jimmy Lee strike mode, me as very Jimmy. you know. It, it says, it says a, a distorted self-image and an overwhelming desire to be noticed. Okay, okay. so like, those second me. two, yeah, that's me. for sure. Uh, it yeah. says people with HPD often behave dramatically or inappropriately to get attention. That's, that's what I do. My yeah. son said it. And, and what's weird, and I'll say this to Dan because he's very serious, is I kind of know I'm doing it, but I like the attention. I like to be noticed, and I want to be wow. noticed. So it's almost sad I have to do so many of these things to do that. I'm wondering why am I doing it. And Are I'll you getting you, a fix or something when no, you go out there on the street it's, comedy? It's, it's, it, it makes me feel good to make people laugh and entertain even, people. But even if people are angry at you, you still like the attention. Yeah, and that's that's bad. My wife said it's bad in a way. Yeah. Do you have a? Ha, do you like being humiliated in a way? No, I just like attention because I didn't get it as a kid. It doesn't that's matter. All. It doesn't Growing matter up. what kind of attention. That's what's though. bad. And that's what my yeah. my oldest son was saying. He said you should get attention in a good way. Sounds you know? like a smart guy. My, my oldest son's very very intelligent guy. He told me that many many times, and do you, I believe him. Jimmy, uh, do you, are you do you know somebody named Zachary Whitson? He's a guy that was right, wanted to write for me, and he texted me a couple times. He's gotcha. a nice kid. Yeah, because he, he made a donation, and he said, Jimmy, uh, how many he's writes a, for jokes? He's a nice guy. There's a guy, Mason, who I'll shout out to, who's been a huge help, who's a fan of yours, found me from you, who's doing a lot of my social media, and he's a kid out of Sacramento. He was going to come here, but he couldn't make it. But Mason, I know you're watching. Thanks, because he's been doing all my social media. My TikTok is going up. In about a month and a half, fifteen thousand followers. Cause yeah, your have, TikTok's popping. We popping. have noticed the production yeah. quality on but this TikTok. I, I want to ask up. you. I want to ask you a personal that's question, Mason. if that's okay. Yeah. You yeah. say, you say that as a child you weren't getting any I didn't attention. Get the love from the family. I left with an empty suitcase, and then look what the hell happened to me. So Not at what age thing. did you leave? No, I mean when you grow up, you don't you don't oh. ever recover. So tell me about your child. Uh, tell, where were you born? I'm da from down the shore. And, Jersey? Uh, Is that what that yeah, means? and I had a mom and a dad, and my, my mom had, you know, mental illness. So my dad took care of mom, and I had a brother, and there was no time really to take care of us. It's really I sad. See. So I'm telling you that because you asked, but... Um, so, you, you know, my wife says you left so, home with an empty suitcase, so what you do now is you, you overcompensate. Can I, I just, can, I, can yeah. I ask you questions yeah. about, more questions about your childhood, if that's okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. curious. Yeah, you're a good so, guy. What, go ahead. So what was the, what was the mental illness that your mom was afflicted She with? was bipolar. I see. Yeah. So she would go through, would she, would she have like psychosis and... It's manic depressive, so she's up or down. Now I'm diagnosed as being unipolar, manic -y. I'm just never manic depressed. Just right. I'm always, I get up in the morning, I'm down at the coffee shop kidding with the waiters and right. the staff. I'm, I'm always up. I see. So I'm unipolar. I thank God I'm not bipolar. Right. Yeah. The, just the. Bi, but that's the reason. Bi. Yeah, but that's the reason that I am as I am. I don't think it 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 happened on purpose. I don't. It's not like I do it on purpose. It's. The, yeah. No. It's, it's interesting a, when I can a, learn um, why. Byproduct of how you're brought up. So when you say you didn't get any attention growing my mom up, couldn't, my mom, my dad took care of my mom, and my brother and I were kind of on our making sandwiches when we were ten years old, doing yeah, everything you ourselves. Put yourself in bed. You go to school by yourself. Yeah, there was there was yeah, we did everything ourselves, and maybe that's one reason I'm good with business and successful. I have to do everything myself. I was used to it. My and, brother too. And and did your dad and mom work? Dad worked. Mom didn't work. And were there times where you were, where you were alone at home with your mom? Sometimes mom was in a hospital. Oh yeah. When we were young, yeah, and dad was home alone. What was it like? When it you wasn't were a. It was. You know what's weird? You want to hear the weird story? Growing up, you don't even realize that you had, that you had this kind of childhood. Mm. When you get older, you realize it. 
I don't know, Ethan, my brother said, we were from a dysfunctional family, but we didn't know when we were young. Yeah. I don't know if that happened to you, but this is the byproduct. I'm older now, and I want to be in the center line, like famous, and like we'll do anything. And it's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's like I'm murdering or killing people. It's just yeah, I, yeah. I'm a big ham. That's yeah, really all yeah. it is. So were there were there times when you were at home with your mom? Did, like, yeah, she home? was home sometimes too. And yeah. what was it like, kind of interacting with her? Hard to get along with her because she was an unstable person. Really? Mm hmm My father was easygoing. Your father. My brother's pretty easy going. Yeah. I'm pretty much, I, there, nothing bothers me really. So you think the, the big problem was not getting love for your, from your mom? I think from both. From both? Yeah. My mom was too sick to be a parent, you know, talking honestly, and my dad took care of my mom. And growing up, did you ever reconcile with them at any point when you became obviously very successful professionally? How did that affect my your uh, mom? My mom died. When I was young, and I have to tell you, no, I didn't with her, but with my dad, I did. My dad recently died in the last four or five years. We got closer, but not my mom, because I was angry. You were holding on to anger. Yeah, it's funny. We're talking serious when I've been doing comedy. Yeah, I, hold, I held on to anger, and um, I'll tell you the weirdest story, and you'll, you'll, I don't, I don't know why. And I told this to my wife. When my mom died, it was in '91. I didn't grieve and even go to the grave. But when my dad died a year ago. I went to the grave twice a week for like six months. I like really grieved hmm. for six months, and and I couldn't figure that out, and I still can't. Isn't that the weirdest thing? It's, I, I have well, to it tell seems you that. like you know. I'll tell you that. It seems like you have a lot of uh, anger to your, towards your mom, and I think you know maybe in retrospect, especially now that you're a father, you can kind of. I try with See my more kids to from be your nice perspective. From your, yeah. Never, never try to be mean. I don't have a mean bone in my body. I'm, I just want to be out there and have fun with people, and I like making people laugh. And I got to listen to you and not maybe be so offensive, but that's just my personality. You can't well, change your personality. Well, I think it's really interesting just to kind of learn about uh, a person, why they're the way they are. Exactly. Learn. So maybe, maybe people on the air may understand a little more why I'm. And I, and guys out there, thanks for being fans and, and loving what I do or whatever and understand maybe why I am as I am. I'm not this axe murderer. <laughs> yeah, nobody I'm, thought you were an axe I'm murderer, a dentist who likes to go out on the street and have fun and do street comedy. That's really all I do. You ever talk with your brother about kind I'm of... I'm not close with my brother. No. I didn't reconcile with, with my brother. Really? Nope. So what was the conflict that drove you guys apart? Well, do you have siblings? Yes. Close with them? Fairly. Were they nice to you when you were young? Yeah. Well, my brother wasn't. And off air, when we have dinner, you and me by ourselves, I'll give you the list. So I, me and my wife talk about that all the time. I can't let that go. Hmm. Because of the things Ethan, he did to me, my in-laws, my wife's family, loves me. And they treated me like a son better than my own brother. I can't let that go. You and feel like that bad? was when you, when you met your wife or was accepted into her family? I learned what a real family was. Right. And I almost did cried. Did you? I almost cried, and every time I'm with him, I thank him for accepting me in and loving me. Yeah, wow. because I didn't get it. And Lynn's mom, I will say this on the air, and I know my son Colby's wife, Lynn's mom I love, and I would do anything for my wife and her family for all they did for me. And Lynn knows that. I just, I'm getting ready to buy her a handbag. She's going to be on the air laughing because she wanted something out here, and she's not here because I don't really care. Because mm -hmm. my wife was with me from dental school, Ethan, wow. and stood by me when I had the zero. Wow, good woman. And your wife. Yeah, same. And same your way. wife, you have a lot of money, and I have nice money, and you got to stick with that person that stood by you when you were nobody, not somebody that comes right now because you're famous and you have a fancy car yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because they're all people that want you for the wrong reason. My wife worked in my dental office in the beginning before wow. we had kids. Wow, good for her. Yeah. That's beautiful. I'm glad you found a good I'm glad I talked to you about this because I, I, I never thought this podcast would even go like this. Hey, you never but, know. It's the, it's, we're off the rails. Well, this one went from comedy to tragedy almost. It's Am not I right, Zach, in a way. If you look at the screen here, this is our uh, chat. There's a oh, yeah, lot of love dropping all these hearts for you. This is, oh. this is for you. Well, thanks. I never thought, guys, on air I would do this. And you know what? I have to say something. My wife or son's going to say, why'd you do it? And you know what, guys? I did it because I, I, I felt it. I think it. they'll be I touched by it. No, I felt it. And again, I'm the, the guy in the hotel, Jim Little, at the Peninsula. He loves me. He says, you speak from your heart. I go out. I picked them up. Two dozen donuts. I went to um, Sprinkles yesterday. Why? Because they're nice. 
It's not hard, Ethan, in life to be nice. And if you have a little money, you share it. It's even easier. It's even easier. Yeah, right. I'm going to buy my wife something. I bring them stuff. They go, Mr. Lee, you said one from Richard. Mr. Lee, you're so nice. Guess, guess that spend money over there. They think they got to break their balls. They got to kiss their ass. I'm the easiest guest there. So they're nicer to me. Yeah, By the way, you guys, if you want to come over, come over. Have breakfast. I don't care. Okay. Sign it right to the room. It doesn't matter because you guys are like friends now. Okay. So thanks, guys, for actually allowing me. Let me ask you this. Do you, are you in therapy to deal with all this stuff with your family? Have you ever been in therapy? A little bit before. Yeah. But you want to know the truth, Eve? Yeah. I'm, I'm older, and I'm me. It's and, a little too late. Eh? And you know what, Dan? Some people like me, and some people don't. <clears throat> and it doesn't matter what personality you have. Always you're going to have winners and losers and haters and lovers so am i changing at this age how am i going to change at my age yeah. 40 49 years old don't say anything what's the real age what's the real age <laughs> we'll talk we've at, been guessing we'll talk at the Can ivy. i see your id we'll talk at the ivy jane jim we'll talk at the ivy give me a squeeze off, my arm off, for dear life off, he's saying please god don't push sack. this the rabbi says no. If I guess, camera. will you? If I no. Guess? Okay, because we're not even playing that. Lucille Why are you so insecure about your age? That's the personality thing. That's what my son said. Oh really? So what is it? If you're afraid, you're afraid, afraid of people to get old. Got your real age. Afraid of getting old. And Lucille Ball always said, keep it ten years younger. Okay, so you're so just I'm 40, 45. You're seventy-five. Seventy-five. <laughs> now wait a minute. How'd you come up, Zach? I thought he loved me. How did I get hit like it that, It doesn't Zachy? mean I don't love you. That's, it doesn't mean I don't love no, you. No, I'm, I'm not even close to that. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you off here. We'll talk off here. 55. No, stop it. Get, getting warm, getting warm. We'll talk you 65? No. no. 32. No, he, he was close. He was close. I find it interesting that you're so protective of that. I'm protective of you my You think age. people will judge you if they find out you're real age? Well, once I get the neck lift and everything, we'll, we'll come back on here talking, and everybody can look and say, yeah, you know, he looks younger now. How old are you? 45, and they'll, they'll, they'll buy that then. I, I just wonder, because it seems like you have a lot of trauma in your past with your, like, mom and dad. I think and... I buried a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened with me is, you ever you ever notice a person that doesn't want to see it, and they just forget it, try to forget about it? Sure. Because I'm working so hard doing my career and this that I, I don't have time. And I don't want to dwell on it and think about sure. it. Sure. Because you know what? It, it doesn't make me feel good to do it. I want to do stuff that makes me feel yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, you're, you've come far enough in life yeah. that maybe it's just time to move on and let that's, it pass. That's what, my business, that's what my business guy Because the, the good that's thing is, you know, you already you managed to find a partnership in a, with a wonderful woman. You've had wonderful children. Two, two nice you've been boys. very successful in business. Right. I mean, people's emotional troubles, generally you want to treat it so that you can achieve all the things you want, but, I, but, I but have. you have, right? you've overcome. Thank you. You're like, a real, you're becoming like a real friend. Yeah. I mean that. Thank you. You've overcome a lot. You've you really achieved a lot in your life. Most people with what I, how I was brought up would, wouldn't be able to do. And I'm trying so hard to make this a career. And I hired Mason to help me on social media. And I'm doing, I'm, I'm getting a few more reels on YouTube from Dave from Deja Vu. And I'm trying so hard with the comedy because I want to be loved and accepted. And I, I would like to get a name for myself doing comedy so when i die nobody's going to remember i was a dentist and owned five dental offices mm -hmm. but to remember you know with don rickles and i can remember dr uh irving schneiderman the dentist in brooklyn right that filled my tooth when i was 11. sure but you know you don't need to be who cares if you're remembered in a way See, i mean we that, all we that, all die i know but isn't that weird Ethan, that i want that See, again, that's... I mean, you're not the only one. A lot of people live their life for glory and fa and they want to be remembered. So, and like, yeah. obviously, it's something that, that people think about. But, you know, in a thousand years, nobody's going to remember anyone. That's true, or too. Ten thousand years, definitely. Or that's a million years, you know. Except for Romeo and Juliet. They'll be remembered. Sure. Well, you don't... You you weren't there for this for what happened. You weren't there. When Romeo no. met Juliet on the balcony? I was not there. He said, get off the balcony and get on the pill. Right. It's yeah. like a Romeo and Juliet. It's a sound bite. Oh, that was cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, was it hard to achieve all these things? Were you kind of battling with these demons? and, not, and kind I of think, like to be honest, I think to hide of it all, if I worked all the time, I never sit still. I'm always working. At breakfast, the guy said to me, Dave, what are you doing? I said, I got to go on a podcast. I have to write this and memorize this in four hours. He goes, you're going to eat and do it? I go, I'm going to eat, do it, and I'm going to talk, text my controller and my operation manager and my business while I eat and do all three. 
So you think in a I'm way... I'm constantly working. I think it may be to block yeah. pain. It, now that you're bringing that up, I never thought of it. It but could I think be that be. Uh, you're constantly moving, so you never have time to think. Yeah. And, and I swear to God, one of my video guys said, why are you like this? I, did you have trauma in your life? And I didn't even think about it because we were shooting on Sunday. Now we're doing this. I think that's the reason. Yeah. It may be to hide it because yeah. I do have pain, but I never really projected it out and, and, and solved it. Mm-hmm. So maybe I solve it by being funny. Is there ever and moments, I, is there ever quiet moments in your life where you kind of just I sit and I relax? Think. I'm doing it on this trip. Yeah. And what I'm, do you think about life and wish i was younger and um don't don't wish i did anything different because uh one thing i've always done in life is what i wanted Mm -hmm. so a lot of people get older and they're like i wish i did this my wife and i've traveled Mm -hmm. all over we have a beautiful family um i've got to pursue a passion of mine of comedy and entertainment that i love i don't want to get famous but i'm getting to go out on the street and do these things and Mm -hmm. the camera crew and afford to do it and make videos and enjoy it and uh, i can't feel bad because i'm doing everything i want so um so if you could go back and change anything would you no no i i i would if i had gotten famous say when i was young and was like this big celebrity i may have wanted that route but the problem is my mom you know you're jewish like me and when you're jew you're going to go be a doctor or a lawyer and since we were eight my mom said you're going to be a doctor you're going to be a dentist so she had that's basically what happened so she did have some input on yeah yeah she did so you think you became a dentist to make her to make her proud I think in a what way jewish people do is they get that indoctrinated in their head they have to be a professional my friend greg rosen he's the same way his parents his grandfather was a dentist his dad was a dentist he's a dentist his brother's a dentist. why did your mom want you to be a doctor or dentist i guess you're just saying it's the jewish thing because my dad was a blue collar guy she wanted to step and up my mom wanted yeah all her friends were doctors when we were growing so, up but and do you think in a way you became a dentist to to please her maybe maybe in a round about way yeah it seems like and my brother you, my brother also by the way he's an anesthesiologist he's retired oh you both became doctors yeah. wow and i'm a dentist yeah mm-hmm. i think so i really do because uh, did you have trouble kind of um uh getting her approval yeah you know you know what you know what my business guy said he said um you never got your parents approval and you, uh, you wanted it your whole life and you never got it yeah that's the and way. you still did everything they wanted. Over. And I tried so hard. And maybe this is what he says. He says, that's probably you try so hard with your staff. And when you go in the street to be loved and you try so when you if anybody you go up and apologize, like you don't want to fight with people. I'm always trying these things so hard with people. Mm. It could be the milkman. It could be a patient. It could be. I saw a patient of mine at the diner for lunch before I came here. I bought him lunch. He's an older guy. He went to school with Michael Landon mm. from Little House on the Prairie. I what? mean, I'm just always wanting to be nice to people and be liked. What did you do, A.B.? What did I do? Everyone's saying A.B.Y. I said, <laughs> what did he do? I said, Jimmy is me if I stayed in med school. In the chat. Oh, you're typing in the chat. Yeah, oh, my sorry. parents were the same way. Oh. So I think you, you brought something out that you made me think of something. I think I hustle and move so quick so I can avoid pain yeah. and, and, and trauma and thought. I, th- I think it was very interesting. Do you, you know. think that the way this turned was good or bad for your fans and us? The in terms that it went well, from people a, love to see the uh, the real person. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to say I didn't know if it's a. What do you think, Zach? You think it was a good thing that we swung it this way? Jimmy, I think people are seeing a side of you that they never saw. We needed to see. Oh, so maybe this is a really good yeah. thing. Wow, it's like the Jimmy. the outlaw is like the tip of the iceberg, and I think it's a fascinating to understand what's going Why? on underneath. Hmm. You're this a sweetheart. A, people yeah. are loving really, it. Lots really of love am. for Jimmy. And Jimmy, can I say something? You're worried about people remembering you. I think a lot of people remember, especially those close to you, is that you are someone who continued to pursue your dream. Uh, even though it's later in life, you have been successful. You're still chucking towards your dream, and that's very commendable, I feel like. You, lo- you, look, pretty good for, nice. yeah. you look pretty good for 80, my friend. 70, good not, for 79. Who said that, Zach? That Zach, <laughs> Zach I, you I'm, know, I'm, calling, I'm calling Rabbi Kimowitz. You know, I love When we're you. done. He did my circumcision. Jimmy, did you think this would uh, be a redemption like this, or did you think you no. this is a full okay, redemption? Yeah. Look, at I the heart. thought the redemption. we were doing this, and we were going to talk like about my shoot Sunday. I didn't have no idea this. All right, it got way, it got way too good for you, so I just no. Got, I, I thought it's nice as long. No, as it's it's, it's too nice. So what I wanted to do, throw it back to you. Tell us your most racist joke now. <laughs> yeah. Tell us your most offensive joke. Something about it. We got to swing it back because it's just 
people like <laughs> me too much now. They okay, so you want a racial it. joke? No, yeah, keep, no slurs. No, yeah, just no, no like racial slurs, like the N word or anything. Here, like that. here's a racial joke, but it's not a bad one. Um, if I go on the street and there's a black guy, I'll say, uh, "You need the Jews," because the blacks got the rhythm, but the Jews own the instruments. Okay. So that's basically, pretty bad. Pretty that's bad. basically, that's basically bad. like. Um, <laughs> that's pretty bad. You know, it, or you would say. The blacks got the rhythm, but the Jews owned the clubs, the nightclubs. So back in the day, the Jews owned everything. Yeah, the blacks yeah, were the yeah, yeah. No, I get so it. So it's an old style joke. So no, that's yeah, a it's rich. definitely old style. But yeah. Racist. Um, I another, give you the Arab pass if you want to make any Arab jokes. I'm the Arab jokes. Um, uh, if I see a person on the street and they they say they're Arab, I say I'm a Jew. Don't don't hurt my family. I do like one of oh, them. Oh, you tell them, yeah. I say. I'm a Jew, just don't hurt my family. I'll give you my money, my passport, whatever you want. Just don't hurt me. Yeah. But I'll tell you the funny Arab joke I said. I said, God looked at the, the Jewish people and the Arab people, and he said, oh. so the Arabs get to keep the oil, and the Jews get to cut off the tips of their what? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Arabs actually also do that. No, oh, but it's funny because it's an old style joke. But it, who what? laughed, Zach? Yeah. Zach, was it good? I've, I've no, but Arabs one. also do circumcision. I'm oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, right, A.B.? And then, he, yeah. Yeah. then yes. the other Arab joke was the one that, what was it? The I stink. had so much gay as I thought I was being followed by Arabs. Yeah, that, that one. Bad. That one's bad. Yeah. There's also the Osama bin drinking one. That's the one Zach did. So, yeah. do you have any other ones that maybe we could retire now about, like, uh, any kind of minority? Or, do you have any uh, jokes about white people? Well, I did a, I did a thing with with Mason, it was hysterical. So uh, it's a picture of me with an Asian girl on the street. It says, bring them Asian, never Caucasian. <laughs> Meaning like, we have I was those an Asian girl, and, not and an the, American girl. But it hit like on, on Instagram and it was funny. So there was a clip where some guy I prompted on the street in March, and I said like, if you're not gay, you're on a wait list. He goes, bring them Asian, never Caucasian. He said it, not me. So he was saying my tagline, and it, it, hit, a, it hit pretty big on TikTok. Oh. TikTok we, is we have slamming. his memes in the doc. Uh, if you want. Oh yeah, let's see. We have some Jimmy Lee stuff. Oh yeah, guys, I wanted to show everybody what Jimmy's been up to on Instagram. Maybe you guys can go follow him there. And on TikTok, here you are with Noah Beck. How did? What the hell is this? That's a picture at Boa. About two months ago, my and then son. How do you even know who him. he is? I didn't. My son said, "Dad." That's Noah Beck. I'm like, who the frick is Noah Beck? He says he's a famous TikToker. I go on. He's got 36 million followers. I said, let's go, Blake. He goes, what are we doing? I said, we're going over to meet him and get a picture. My son's like, you can't do that. You can do that. Which one's Blake, the older one or the younger? The older one. Blake got so embarrassed. So Blake, I said, Blake, here's what we're doing. We're going over. You're taking a picture with my camera of me, and I'm going to do you. He goes, okay. So we go over, and I said, hey, Noah, uh, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. I'm a street comic, Yeah, we're in town. Could we get a picture? Because sure, the guy couldn't have been nicer. Yeah, he's, he seems like a nice guy. And can I tell you something weird about him? You even got him to do the jazz hands. Yeah. Did you? Did you? I told him he's got to that. Play. Yeah. Hey, can dude. I ask you a question? What did you do to your face? Face tuned it. My yeah. son said, "Stop face tuning." You have face tuned the hell out of that. <laughs> I mean, it's airbrushed to goddamn That's hell. A, <laughs> oh, my son's like, "Stop face tuning." Jimmy, we love you, but you're starting to look like a wax figure, my guy. Okay, I'll <laughs> stop. I better <laughs> stop face tuning. So, but this is a this is a direct post on your Instagram. Who did this? This amazing. So that's what Mason does. Mason does all my graphics. And who's Mason? He work, he's worked. He's with you a and social media social guy. Social media like stuff. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. Jimmy Lee and Noah Beck gone wild. What do you mean gone wild? We just took a picture. We had to come up with a tag. Gone wild. You know what I did, forgot to tell him to do? I wanted him to. I wanted to roast him, and I thought about it after oh. that night. I said, Blake, if I had asked him if I could roast him, and he filmed it, and I went on his stage. Do it now. Noah Beck, if you're listening, get a hold of Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Atlum at the Peninsula Hotel for a couple more days, and have dinner with me and Ethan and the group, and let's roast us, wait, and wait. let's get you right on the, to the TikTok. Wait, if you have a roast for him, you can do it now. He might see it. So if you're watching, Noah Beck, me and Ethan, we want to know what job you're doing. When we figure out what job you're doing, we're going to let you know. All okay, right? It's kind of just the classics. It's the classics. Yeah. Ethan told me it had a lot to do with your career. He tried to stop it. Okay. It's the it's, classics. It's basic. Yeah. It, yeah, because I don't know too much about him. But if I met him and he prefaced me on his history of himself, okay. I would be able to do a better roast now, on him. Now, you want to explain this post? This, this Again, this is a post. <laughs> wife, the Jersey Atlas on the street. What's with the tiny? Uh, <laughs> That's uh, Mason. He's on some heavy duty drugs. Yeah. And he put Ouija's in and all that. So I don't know why he did it. Maybe because he's very, emojis. I mean, he's very talented. Uh, emojis, uh, emojis. Uh, 
the multimedia stuff. Yeah, it looks more like, of these. It looks like whatever you're paying them, double it. Double it? Well, I give them about $250 two, every two months. Okay, then. then double it? Okay. Yeah. Mason, you heard that. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, you guys are good. You guys are good. What he does is he'll put the TikToks up and down and he'll put words in and they get a lot more. No, that's good. Your TikTok's popping. Yeah, so again, TikTok's I just got to say, good. you know. With the face tune? It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> you're killing me. I'm just being I'm honest. Insecure. Well, I'm just being honest because it's when you look at it, you're like, this man is face tune. It's just, it's kind of. Does it look Zach too face tune? It looks ridiculous. Looks like Jimmy. you got it done by the mortician. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jimmy. I love you, Jim. <laughs> Zach is out for a blood. AB, he's, he's out for blood upset. today. He's still upset he's still about upset. the last time. Jimmy, you look great. I mean, you, you not even just I'm for your age. You're a good looking man. For 75, yeah. you look great. You don't. <laughs> You're a handsome stud. You don't need to. Uh, you guys edit. are nice. You're too. You're too. You, you worry too much about your vanity. Your your look. Um, like you, Zach. Yeah. Who exactly. said that, Dan? Zach, Zach's the same way though. So. No. You're I, right. I said that. You're right. You're right. You let's, just you you're raw, dude. You got to raw dog it and just go out. Here, let's see. This is another post. Oh, go on to TikTok. Well, hold on. Either. These I love. Okay. Jimmy likes to rock, but the Jersey outlaw loves to roll. Like rock and roll. Did you write that? I wrote it. And well, I gave him the pictures. No good or good? Like it? Or is it not current? Um, it's not. I mean, not good. Are those the Bandito girls? <laughs> they are the Bandito girls, yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of face tune, I'm just saying. I mean, you can even see. It looks like the glasses were like. No, their glasses are on. They're actually on you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lock the doors. That's and Greg. All the cops. That's Greg, my buddy, the dentist from back home. So we, we had a limo drive us around. So. Lock the doors and call the cops like I'm on the loose. And then That's what's Greg. with the hundred and the flying money? That you have to ask him. Uh, Why is there a Mason. blind guy walking here? <laughs> Mason, Mason's got some. I said he's on heavy duty drugs. There's someone with a walking <laughs> stick here. I know. Okay. I don't know what Mason. Mason, what are you doing on these uh, things? Do you know what this emoji is? What's that, Mason? No, I'm asking you. Mason, text on the thing what you're doing. Okay. For, for yeah. Ethan. And there we got the craziest son, son's bitch, <laughs> the craziest son's bitch alive. <laughs> the crazy son's bitch live. <laughs> no, it says the craziest son's. Son's bitch. a bitch. Yeah, like you're Italian, like you're uneducated. We did that on purpose. No, the craziest son's, son's a bitch, not son's bitch. to be have an A. Son's a bitch. Son's a bitch. Okay, son's bitch. Right, alive. Uh, that's that's the one I want you to bring. Them Asian, never Caucasian. I wouldn't post that. That's bring them Asian, never Caucasian, but be sure to wild. bring them. Yeah, but that's wild. And also to show who is this? Just some random girl. Zach's ex. That's a lot. <laughs> I, 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 you know who that is? <laughs> can, am I allowed to curse one? Of them? Yeah, yeah, you can say it. That's a, a girl Zach dated. Very, very dumb Asian girl. Name's one dumb fuck. <laughs> that's bad. You, guys, you, you oh said I could God, curse. Jimmy. I had to that throw, was the worst. <laughs> I had to throw one in. It wasn't the curse that was bad, right? <laughs> what? It wasn't the fuck. Oh, what was bad about? <laughs> it was the racial, racial. connotation. Well, I know you said I could curse. So no, it's it wasn't curse the curse thing. that was bad. Oh, the racial connotation. Was, some dumb. What did you say? One dumb fuck. Yeah, that's racist. <laughs> oh well, you, you said you want a racist joke. No, I know. I'm just. I, we're trying to help you. That's <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. But yeah, and then the Brigham Asian never Caucasian is a lot. And it's heavy. Yeah, is, heavy. Isn't uh, the full line, Jimmy? Correct me if I'm wrong. Bring them. Bring them young. Well, the whole full line is bring them. Bring them, but bring them young, but not the university. Bring them young, but bring them in stilettos, but be sure to bring them, but bring them Asian, never Caucasian. When you say bring them young, what kind of age are we talking about? We did this when we were in our 20s, me and King James. We would go to clubs, we'd say bring them young, but bring them in stilettos, but just bring them. What age are we talking about? In our 20s. Okay, that's okay, about 20, bring years, young, about bring 20 young. years ago. Okay. Aren't you in your 20s now? No, how? About 20 years ago. Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, real quick, Jimmy, your phone is going off. You're getting a lot of Instagram support. It seems oh, like. people are following you on yeah. Instagram. Ooh, wonderful. Could we go and tick? There's Here. Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, wow, you actually made it. Jimmy. I did this one. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> That actually Shh. looks real. Does that? What does that do for you? Does it make you feel good to see that? It looks real. You know, it would be great if I got a call and the guy said, "We, we know you're working hard doing street comedy. Would you guys come up and and stop up?" I would die. Who that cares about Jimmy Kimmel? Life. You're on the Issue podcast. Oh, I know. I love being on this, but could you imagine getting on late night? Yeah. See? Could you picture that? Oh. That chopped be... liver. Jimmy, you're I not love chopped you. liver. You're, I love you. Stop that. Don't ever say that. Jimmy, I love you, but you got to talk in the mic. Sorry, Zach is so fucking sorry. So raw with Can you, you show man. the TikToks? Because I have some no, good TikToks. Well, hold on, hang on. 
Bruno Mars meets Jimmy Lee? Oh, yeah. What he met Bruno Mars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's a stroke? AB, stop. I'm with AB on this one. <laughs> Bizarro and off the rails is Jimmy Lee. You like that one? Oh, no. I, I, I didn't mean to hit that on that. I meant to hit I it. thought that uh, was good. You don't like that face and everything? That was oh, it's the face that's funny? Well, it's like you're, you look crazy, so I wrote Bizarro and Off the Rails. I got the Off the Rails idea from you. Yeah, that one's good. I meant to hit mute, not... Oh, okay. Yeah, crazy son's bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else we got? I mean, we've, we've looked at your TikTok. I just want to tell the fans the TikTok, any, any support on the TikTok, it's at the Jersey Outlaw. That's our driver and branding tool and we would appreciate any love and followers on that it's linked in the uh doing description great. all right well or 12 Jimmy, of them listen no offense but we since we have the cane i want no 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 do it if you do it around his body oh we're am i getting tripped it off yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're, no the show's about to end oh the show's ending can no. i just walk off on my own no 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 yeah no, you have to important. do this this is important oh. we got the cane we got the cane all right all right all right actually you want to try on the jimmy come sit uh, I, I had a funny idea. Okay, come sit. Yep. And then, yeah, try it. Tr so we're going to use the cane to drag you because your chair has wheels. Oh, you want to do the whole thing? Okay. Yeah, so, so, bye, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're out of frame. Well, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Is there any, actually, is there anything you want to say as we, as we end the show? Yeah, go ahead. Forget about all the, the Mishigash. Uh, it's hard when you're in entertainment. doesn't matter what type of entertainment you do to have a friend. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sons of bitch, what are you doing over there? <laughs> he says, Christ, the Arab, the Arab picking on the Jew. <laughs> the Arab picking on the Jew. Zach, call the rabbi. <laughs> no, I, I want to talk very serious. It's hard in entertainment to have a friend and somebody that is in your corner, and you've always been in my corner. Always. And I appreciate it, and I love you. And Zach, as much as we kid and have fun, I appreciate the love. And Of uh, course. You're I mean part of that, and I just, I just wanted to say that. Now, wheel me off. Love you, Jimmy. I love, love you, Jimmy well. Lee. And guys, wait. Come. I'm, I'm here one extra day. Come if you just want to have uh, lunch or something tomorrow. Okay. I'll take you all at my treat. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, what a nice time. What a powerful episode. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Lee. Oh, Jimmy wants to call in. Are we ready for... Well, I was, I was, do, you, do you want him to call in? Right? Out of the frying pan into the fire, as they say. <laughs> Well, let's see what else we got to talk about. I mean, I was enjoying that Jimmy Lee. Let's do a poll. You guys want to transition from that to Jimmy Lee? I mean, listen. Well, I kind of wonder if we can ask Jimmy if he can do anything. For I would like to know Wally. about the teeth thing, but I have to say, Wally didn't seem too keen. I guess, yeah, let's bring Jimmy on. Let's just run this episode into the ground side of the mountain. <laughs> okay. It's off the rails, baby. It is off the rails. So Can't say we didn't warn you. I don't know about you guys, but I was enjoying the Jimmy Lee Street comedy. It's just so insane. <laughs> Personally, mean, I like it. I don't know how if some of y'all just it's too much for you. I get. <laughs> Can we take a poll? Do you guys want more? Do you guys want to finish the Jimmy Lee finish saga? The we can Jimmy have Lee saga. There's, there's it seems very polar polarized here. We got a lot of absolute no's. We got tomatoes. We got. Yes, is. Yeah, as the crew described it when they went out with him, they called it trauma bonding. Like, we're all experiencing this together, so I think it really is something special. I, f I find it endlessly <laughs> fascinating, guys. I think it's super entertaining. I mean, now, not, one other not, way of looking at this poll, though 30%. A third of the people watching right the now don't want. <laughs> I know. I, I I considered that, Dan. I did. That is. Are you in that category, Dan? <laughs> of the audience? No, I'm. I I could go either way. I mean, my only concern with bringing Jimmy on is basically it's kind of just trodden ground. I mean, we've already, in great lengths. I mean, extensive lengths, pretty much as as much as po humanly possible, explained it. All right. <laughs> what is the issue with his street comedy and uh he uploaded this yesterday so. yeah right there's really not but you said there's one particular part you like cam yeah it's coming up um he goes inside a mall or something no hard, hard, hard rock, rock. that looks yeah, like it's right there i right see the hard rock okay, right, okay so why don't we bring jimmy on and okay dan will you uh, we'll just do a short all right i'll, I'll give you the link what will you whatsapp that to me yeah let's just watch the hard rack cafe part which i heard was very good it's the highlight just of because the, i know the behind the scenes of how how all this went down. He just walked in and started recording. 
Like there's no. Uh, yeah, it just bombs away, man. Yeah, it was just chaos. And like it just bombs or away. Anything. It was just chaos. And, uh, just it. Well, yeah. let's have a look then. Without further ado. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey out of the Hard Rock Cafe. We have our promo event tonight with the press and the media. So I just want to let you know we're actually going in now to meet press media to promote our comedy television show, Dangerously Funny, which actually, guys, isn't. We're here for the Jimmy Lee uh, roast in the event tonight. <laughs> okay, thanks. Wait, she's taking him somewhere for real? That's probably the reservation. He probably put it down under the Jimmy Lee Rose. Under the Jimmy Lee Rose, yeah. He's just at a restaurant? Yeah, Hard He's Rock. at the Hard Rock on Hollywood Boulevard. So it's just like a whole shtick to make it seem like there's an event there for him? Well, that's what he did last time. Uh, Interesting. That's exactly we, what he does, yeah. Yeah, and then he does it again in this video, I think, three times. He keeps going into random restaurants. Okay, right. let's, let's, let's check it out. Okay. Whoops. We're here at the Hard Rock Little Cafe. Stair Press sticks. and media are coming any minute. We're filming everything. Tomatoes it's coming, coming to you live in Hollywood, California at the Hard Rock Cafe. How you doing? How you doing? Look at him. He's How you doing? Place. Good to see you. How you guys doing? How you doing? Everybody's going to be here in a couple minutes. Good Ace to see you guys. Theme. How you doing? Everybody good? How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks the for coming. President coming through. How you guys doing? Thanks for coming. Good to see you. Thank you. We'll be we'll be filming in a while, guys. Just sit tight. That's Everything hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> Aaron is in the house. What did he Jimmy say? Jimmy Lee right? fan. He was Let's just going up to random yo, yo, people yo. going, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for coming, coming out. out. Which is a, <laughs> a different take for him because he would normally just go up to people and just roast them. So it's yeah. like he's like the owner. He's like the fucking ace of the club. You know. I'm super interested in that shtick. The He's thanks on, for coming out. I'm the big star. All right, thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate that. He's yeah. on the campaign trail. Here, meet, meet oh, people first what place. a time we had at the Hard Rock That's Cafe it. with press oh, and media. You. It's a wrap, it's and we're on our way out. Chiconis, here we come. Chiconis? All right, all right, all right. I'm over it. All right, I'm in the lobby. Audio. Audio, audio. I want to check. Audio, 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 audio. All right, Jimmy is back in his... Uh, go on, H3 Podcast Live, Fred. You can watch me. No, go to H3 Podcast and watch it live. <laughs> yeah, but you can see. Hey, Jimmy. Can you hear me? Hey, Jimmy, who, who are you talking to? I'm with Cousin Fred having dinner. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, hold on. Hold on, honey. <laughs> okay. Jersey Outlaw right here, Ethan. How you doing, oh, honey? Oh, he switched the glasses. Nice. So wait, 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 wait. I have to. Ethan, uh, Zach only wants me like this. What? So, um, he, he's doing this. Can you guys hear thing. me okay? Jimmy, um. I can hear you okay. You're, is, uh, it, is, is it too noisy? Do you want me to go outside? No, it's I'm, just. I'm eating a, dinner in a restaurant. Can I do it here? Audio is fine. The, it's, no problem. The audio is fine. The video I want to check. Little... Audio, audio, audio. Your audio, audio is always great, Jimmy. It's one thing. Audio. <laughs> audio. Uh, all right. So Jimmy, thanks for uh, having me on. Yeah. Jimmy, what is going on, man? You posted a video yesterday that is just as bad as all the other stuff. We, we've been. Uh, are we not getting well, through to you? No, you're getting through. And by the way, I did clean stuff on the shoot. The problem is it doesn't work. So when I was editing with Dave, he's like, Jim, the stuff you do to be nice and, and clean and all that, it doesn't, don't mind I'm eating. Who is he? I'm um, not sure I trust his comedy work. instincts. So I did some of it, and I did listen to you, but the problem is when we were editing, the people weren't laughing. So we had to revert back the classic stuff and i i'm sorry if i offended anybody it's just it seems that seems to be kind of what what works you know what <laughs> i mean this episode is so fucked <laughs> jimmy what are you eating <laughs> i'm eating i'm eating a roll okay. <laughs> all right all right a jewish yeah. danish roll all righty uh so um i'm well, at a seafood restaurant the last time ethan i came here i got the shrimp but i came home with the crabs it was yep. a rough night. I'm not going to do that again. Right. Uh, all right, Jimmy. 
So you think you'll be able to do <laughs> some pro? Do you think you'll be able to do some free work for our boy Wally? I'm going to take care of that out of my respect to you and my love for you and how much you support me and love me. I told Zach, yes, I will do that. So I wonder, so here's the problem, Wally. Look, hey, look. Yeah. What Is was... Wally lived by me because I'm in New Jersey? Yeah, that's the problem. He lives in Texas and he's in a mobility chair and he has no way of traveling. So what can we do about that? I'll drive him. Oh, that'd be great. Um, you mean, Zach? Well, that's... If somebody brought him to me, I would take care of him. Okay, but okay. He's very right. far away from me. Would you be Would you be able to pick him up in Texas? <laughs> of course I would. Jack would drive. <laughs> Dan would Dan would um, Dan would lift him up into the car. And AB, I don't know what he would do. He'd probably wait. So I got to tell you, Jimmy yes, Lee. Could, hold on, hold on. I see movie we magic could pick happening. Him up. H3 Podcast exclusive, Jimmy Lee picks up Wally in a, in a handicapped van. It's like a whole cross-country adventure. Jimmy drives we are. We're to New do Jersey. This like a shabby I mean, this, this could be huge. Adventure. This could be huge, Jimmy. I think we need to do it. Wait, you know what would have been a good joke for you, Jimmy? AB can take care of the gas. That would have been a good joke for you. Well, let me tell you about farts. a bit. Yeah. Hey, he's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. I don't know where he parked his camel, but I hope it's in a oh, safe God. spot. You parked your no camel? Good. Damn. Jimmy. This, no man, good. this man cannot change. <laughs> hey, Fred, can you get more cocktail? <laughs> Jimmy, try the veal. <laughs> Try the veal. He is pigging out right now. Did you hear that one, Dan? He said, "Baby, where'd you park your camel or something?" Can I get more cocktails? He was trying to outdo Wally. This is yeah, right. We just got off the phone Wally. with an Islamophobe for like an hour. If you could cool we it. Gotta, yeah. We got to get Wally. We got to get Wally to New Jersey, Zach. I think Zach is going to take the reins on that one. Here's what I'm thinking. Zach Rooney's doing it. Here's what I'm thinking, Jimmy. I can. Fly you out to Texas, or you can, or I'll, I could pay for you to fly to Texas. If you're a first class guy, you can, you know, pay for that yourself, right? I could do my flight. I can pay for Go your ahead. flight. Okay. And then I'll rent a van. Right. I'll, and then I'll, I'll rent a van. Okay. You hungry, Jimmy? Go ahead. Storm. Yeah, I can tell. Um,. Why don't we find the dentist in Texas and I'll fly out there and do his denture there? You can we do that. You can get a temporary. Country. You can get like an office to work well, out of there. I don't know any dentist in Texas. We'd have to find a dentist, and I don't know anybody. That would have to be Zach's job. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. We'll probably have to bring him to New Jersey. What about one of those mobile dentistry vans? Interesting. Like the mobile, and then Jimmy could just no, be you like need a on tour office. doing dentistry across the country <laughs> on the way down. We could do comedy and dentistry. Yeah. I think if Zach isn't going to be on the van with me, and Zach and Ethan, we may have to do it that way. Zach and Ethan. All right, but wait, 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 wait. No, but let me flesh this out because I do think there's something here. Jimmy, <laughs> I'll fly you to Texas to meet with Wally. We'll rent you a van. Uh, with the handicap access to drive cross country to New Jersey, we'll pay for it all, and we'll catalog this beautiful journey of these two men. These two, you guys will become best friends, com com comrades. You guys are gonna and and just and just film and capture the whole journey uh, to the east. Okay. And then ultimately, you get the you give them the teeth. Watch it. I'm telling my cousin to watch the podcast. Yeah. Can I say um, hi to your cousin? Sure. Freddie, say hi to Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Hey, Freddie, can you hear me? <laughs> no, but if you say something, I'll tell him what you said. Just I say, just say, Freddie. Uh, just say, Freddie, are what you. What do you want to say to Freddie? Say, are you embarrassed by my street comedy? Are you embarrassed? by my street comedy. I've known, I've known Jim since I'm three years old. It's, 
the same routine since then. <laughs> same routine growing up, he said. There you have it. You want to ask him another one? He's right here. Ask him, do you think Jimmy should um, keep doing the street comedy or call it a day? He wants to know if I should quit while I'm behind doing street <laughs> comedy. <laughs> He go said, to, "Absolutely, quit." <laughs> yeah, go back to go back to the music business. Go back oh, to the music. Now he wants me back to the music business. <laughs> Jimmy's actually a very talented musician, believe it or not. Zach says you're a very talented musician. I wonder why you made that segue from music to comedy. Um, I did it, uh, Ethan, by accident. I met a guy doing a music show, a little comedy booker, and I asked him if I could do an open mic. And that was that was it right there. It Jimmy, can you do me so a I favor? The comedy. Can you put the phone mm -hmm. in the bread basket? Like that? Yeah, and then just put a piece of oh. bread right in the so there's a little bread in the frame. Yeah, but put it down. So it feels like I'm in your bread basket. I want that the POV to be that I'm in your bread basket. Do you know what I'm saying? Is that it right there? No, put the phone down inside the bread okay. basket. Don't hold it. I whatever you say, Ethan. I and yeah. then put put a bread covering the camera halfway. Okay. Like that? No, but looking up at the ceiling. Like it's you know what I mean? Like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's what, a fact. What is that's what is, is that what is that what's that supposed to do? <laughs> Just it's just a vibe, Jimmy. It's co it's a comedy thing. You wouldn't get it. Jimmy, you're making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who said that? <laughs> that was Zach, of course. Who said that, Zach? Yeah. Can we get a more close-up as you chew as you chew your food? Get the camera right bingo. in your mouth there, Jimmy. <laughs> Say bingo, Fred. Bingo. No, let loud. Go. Bingo! Scre bingo! Scream it so the whole restaurant gets scared. <laughs> can you Can you scream... Uh, oh, hold on. Do it I as loud a, as you can. I got can. an idea. Do it I as loud as you can, Jimmy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Liliana. Liliana. Oh, no. Is that the waitress? Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't do oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Is he doing street comedy in the restaurant? Hey, I'm doing so. This woman's no, on no, the I'm phone, a, Jimmy. I'm a famous... Celebrity, I'm on a podcast. There's like 50,000 people watching. Play Lady no, is a tramp. No, I'm not saying you don't want she's to on the phone, the Jimmy. They want my song. No, <laughs> Tell them what you want. No, listen, they want my listen, song. No, listen, Wait, can you please is Zach stop? Bernstein is can here. Is this random working? people or is You're he working? with them? I'm getting hollered out here too, Zach. Tell them you want Jimmy Lee. Say, we want Jimmy Lee. Go ahead. <laughs> it's going on. I'm gonna. I'm oh, 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 oh. Wait, I think, Jimmy, got, I think Zach, we got, we got booted. Zach, who, Liliana. Jimmy, who are these people? <laughs> uh -huh. Liliana plays the piano. Yeah. Uh, these are these are guests at the bar. I I come here all the time and eat. So you're Liliana, regular. I'm not gonna put a tip Please in the tip jar. What? Don't huh? interrupt what I'm doing. Please. Don't interrupt her. Nah. <laughs> so you're regular. Say hi to Ethan. Say hi, Ethan. Uh, what's your podcast? Say, say, Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw is a funny guy. Is this say off the rails or what? Say, <laughs> this is the most <laughs> off the rails episode maybe Say it ever. like you mean it for Zach. That this is somehow insane. worse All right, cool. than Tell our Leanna last guest saying one. he hates my people. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I tried so, to get so, on the so piano Jimmy, with Liliana. She didn't want to do it. Jimmy, do you We're know those people? Table. Yeah, I come here a lot. Okay. This is a place my dad used to come so, to. So, so would you go to a uh, table? When we were kids. Would you go do some straight comedy to a table of people that don't know who you are? Let's do it. Hold on. <laughs> no. oh, God. Leave the people alone. You asked for it. How you guys doing? Oh, You're on God. TV. Say hi to Ethan. What like behind the scenes? You, you like Don Rickles? Of course. You like insult comedy? Okay, nothing like got, Rickles. Sir, you looked a lot better when Rickles you were alive. Rickles has been dead for a while. Bro. Okay. Where are you from? <laughs> You know what Paul Revere said no. at the Boston Tea Party? What did he say? He said, tea, we got plenty of coffee we need. Where are you from? We bury you Tuesday, throw dirt on you Wednesday. And what, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Suzanne, oh. play the banjo and go down to North Carolina. You're good. So you're on, you're on TV right now. There's a podcast. So 
Thanks for uh, dinner. Oh, Don't God. get the shrimp. You'll go. You'll go home with the crabs. Take care. <laughs> Jimmy, go take a piece of their food. No, 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 stop. Hold on. Uh, no, hold stop. On. Okay, get... don't, 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 stop. don't, don't, don't. Stop. Okay, okay but guys, say chill. Hi to Jim, it's the Jimmy Mitch, show. you're on TV. Say hi to Ethan. Oh Ethan, how you doing? He's got the oxygen tank oh just in case. Yeah. Jimmy, you're going to kill him. What's your name? Oh my God. That's the lady I'm... on the $1 bill, A.B., right there. The lady on the <laughs> yes, he is. This guy's going to tear his nose down. And... They're going to tear his nose. They're going to tear his Davis. nose down. Let me, let me get it in. They're going to tear his nose down at a shopping center. And uh, hold on, Zach. How you doing? <laughs> It's this lady Kazam from 1972. Now, oh my now God. she's uh, Edie Edie Gourmet. <laughs> Jimmy, can Mitch, I make an observation? Give a, shout, give a shout out to Zach. Say, Zach, you give him a bingo. Bingo. No, Zach. do it. Bingo. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Nobody's better than the Jersey Outlaw. Jimmy, can I make there an you observation? Go. You asked for it. You oh. asked for it. Wait, you Jimmy, 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 Man, Jimmy. Right hey, I, I don't know if he can hear me. There's, he's just there's he's no Jimmy. He's, Jimmy. He's in the zone. <laughs> Jimmy Lee. He's off the rails. Outlaw here. Yo. Right okay, here. can I ask can I ask your cousin what did he think about that? <laughs> what do you think about what I just did, Fred? I have no idea. I'm just sitting here having dinner. <laughs> Poor Fred. Uncle Fred is he's embarrassed. He didn't follow me around. No, of course not. That's that's he has more sense than that. That was horrifying. And was you, that good, Zach? Uh, 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 Zach Rooney. <laughs> Zach Rooney. What do you think, Zach Rooney? Zach Meister. Was that good, Zachy? Zachy Chef, baby. Chef's kiss. Zachy wow. Bernstein. And, 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 and Jimmy. Mama. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this Jimmy, do you feel? Put down the rifle. What? Do you feel embarrassed <laughs> at all or no? What's that? I like how my bang. Do you feel embarrassed at all or no? No, I like all this crap. I got I got personality disorder. Remember we went through that. <laughs> Three weeks ago. That's the whole problem. And you took the hook and you said, get the hell off. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever Freddy's heard. Freddy's I love Freddy's this crap. I have a personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> Holy shit, man. We went through this, uh, remember? Yeah, no, exactly. I just love the way I you put it there. I you 86 times. Don't, don't forget that. No, I will never. <laughs> Jimmy, I may, can I make an observation? I got personality disorder. No, no, no. No, It no. just seems that you're making fun of all the people there who are old, but you seem to be, those people seem to be your contemporaries. You think, <laughs> it seems to be that it attracts. He says, Fred, that older people get my jokes from my contemporaries. What do you say to that, Fred? You hit it on the head. I'm just saying that, that whatever guy. restaurant you're at seems to attract a specific crowd, and you might be a member of that crowd. Is all I'm saying. Jimmy, do you need to show an ARP card to get in there? <laughs> don't don't be so pushy, because right now I'm doing the free denture, AB. Don't be pushy. Well, that's a humanitarian effort. Come on, Jimmy. I'm doing a wonderful thing. I did a wonderful thing for uh, Las Vegas, uh, Ethan. I left. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> I'll get to the funny ones a little later. Do you want me to go bother the piano lady and aggravate her now? <laughs> no, I do Should we love it. Lily but... on again? <laughs> no, I think we need to aggravate Lily on and get no, her pissed. No. You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, well, she's should, Russian. Should, she's should, Russian. Should, should, should we get him to put his finger in someone's water? No. no, I'd like to see him eat a piece no. of food. If I'm being completely I mean, honest, that wait, like, wait, we're waiting. Fred, what you order? Uh, <laughs> he got soft shells. I got the flounder. Yeah, this Zach, is a once Zach, in a lifetime. Zach is requesting that you. No. Eat food. Take a piece of food off someone's plate you don't know on the restaurant. Is this like uh, pra Impractical Jokers? It might be. Yeah, it <laughs> might be. It's, it's Jimmy Lee. Yeah. Yeah, take food out of the hand right. of the man. Dude, we've seen him do it with no the ice cream. No, you're just a lunatic. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, my oh God. God. Don't do it, dude. We've seen him do this with the ice cream already. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Mitch. They have a request for me to eat some of your food. No, why so this why? guy again? Oh, oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he goes up to the guy he knows he can't. No, Jimmy, it's got to be a random. No. Got to be random. What are you doing? Zach, Zach's gay. Whoa! <laughs> he said Zach's, Zach's gay. gay. Ethan's married. Ethan's Mitch got said a lot of Zach's got gay. A <laughs> He's got a Rolls Royce and his wife drives him around. Ethan's got a lot of money. He's going to have more money than Mitch. What do you do for your job, Sam? I do, uh, what do I do? I don't do uh, nothing anymore. <laughs> what was your line of work? What did you do? I real estate. The real, real estate, estate guy. Yeah. Real estate guy. 
Uh-huh. All right. You're a nice guy. It's a nice outfit. Trick or treat is about three months from now. <laughs> Trick or treat, Charlie. Jimmy. Trick or treat, uh, Charlie. Jimmy. Jimmy. Say hi to Ethan from H3H3. What's up? How you doing, buddy? How you Tell doing? him your name. Eric. Eric? Eric. Where are you from, Eric? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Let's see your papers oh just to make God. sure you no. got your coat. You know, no. 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 You're all right, Eric. <laughs> Could Jimmy, food, food. Good. We said food. <laughs> we said food. <laughs> food. Stop. Don't get Stop. so don't get so pushy. I'm trying to. Entertain. This is exactly oh, what it was like for the shoot for six hours, dude. <laughs> and I love how he, he won't listen to anything I say. Then throw him get out of here. This is crazy, man. You've been going, going there a long yeah, yo, time, but you, that might be your last hey, time. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna get 86, man. Say hi, Zach. Hey, Zach, what's like your name? Time. Uh, John, you got a you look, nice outfit. It's a nice tie. You're making a fool of yourself. Uh, so I'm kidding. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's not a joke. Ethan and Wait, Hillary. Say hi, Zach. doesn't stop. <laughs> Wish Zach happy Purim. Say happy Purim. <laughs> happy Purim to Zach. <laughs> he said happy Purim. Hey, Let's can, you, can, you, give, can you give the phone... Go in the kitchen, Jimmy. What's your name? Can we go in the kitchen? I can't get through to him. I can't get through to him. I can't get him to stop. Oh my get the podcast. Go get Somehow the only thing he heard is the kitchen. Go grab him. Go one in the kitchen. Check immigration. Hold on, we're checking with Mike. Oh my god, I know. We're ripping listen, Dan. You stop. Take your Viagra, Dan. Stop. <laughs> I have him dying. It, Dan, take right, your kitchen back. it is. Let's go. Here we go. Into I, the kitchen. I, I can't break. Oh, can't my God. Anything. I can't Into stop the kitchen. Him. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, my, my God. Can we just reflect on the fact Here that we are. Got... Hold on. I was begging him to stop. Into the kitchen. When he was. What's thrusting. going on, guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mike, my God! You want to get on TV? Say hi. Oh, this is Mike. He's the expediter. Say hi to Zach from H3H3. Hi, Zach. Hi, Mike. How are you, my friend? Check everybody's oh, papers. God. Make sure we're good. Oh, Jimmy, go cook, cook something. Go for my neck. Back to the port in the morning. Hello, amigo. We go back to the port in the morning. Zach Bernstein, the Mexican Jew. He don't know if he wants to steal or own the bank. Okay, let's Holy get the food. Shit, let's look Jimmy. at the food, Zach. This is a take a piece. Get the <laughs> diarrhea. There's the soft shell crabs. The great, great day. Mike, you missed the my whole dad staff a little is bit. Just looking at him. I know. This is I a health my, violation. Cover, he's spitting this all over the place. <laughs> Dude, he's Say hi to Zach. Humanity <laughs> Zach's a Jewish guy. He's getting, How are they not uh, kicking Zach. him out? I, they don't kick don't me out. I'm a regular. Yeah, but they, <laughs> you're, you're running. You're ruining the kitchen. I haven't heard from him. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna tell you that another time, Mike. When you come out. That's hey, take, not a good story hey, take a bite. Hey. Say hello to say hello to the Sally girl. What's your name, hon? What's your All name? Right. Amy. Amy. You married Amy? Cause Zach's looking. I'm not. Zach's looking. I'm in a happy relationship. Zach is looking. He's a rich Jewish guy. Plays the guitar at night. Not very well, but he plays the guitar at night. <laughs> Peppy, it's Peppy. Hello, Peppy. There he is. You you got a whole tour. Dishwashers God, back that here. one it was so bad. We I know. I literally forgot to say that. <laughs> say that. It was God an intervention. For us. H3, H3, you're on a podcast. If you're watching this later, we're you know, sorry. H3, H3, Ethan and Hilla, that's your on. Say hi to Ethan. Are you Ethan, serious? That guy needs to be out. That's awesome. <laughs> Trevor's here. <laughs> Shout out Trevor. Food uh, Patrol. I got to get out. They're throwing me out. Yeah. Trevor's here. Oh, cool. Trevor. Who, who's got the balls to do this, Zach? Who's got the only, balls to walk only, through the rest? Only you. Just. Only you. Only a person with severe mental illness could. Uh, yeah. Somebody with histrionic personality disorder can pull this that's, off. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. Audio, Jesus. audio, audio. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. Oh, my God. That was right. You ready are you for the piano you now, Zach? Wait, wait, wait. You ready are for the piano yet? Oh, my. Okay, everyone Hold chill. On, Everyone relax. Just relax, Jimmy. Let's just tone Hold it down. On. I want to ask you some questions. Tone it down. Everyone just t just bring it down a bit. Tone it down. Okay. Lil, you ready? No. All right. Liliana blew me out. That's the end of Liliana. You're still maybe okay. go back to your seat. I'm, I'm coming down. I'm sitting down. What's up, kids? All right, let me talk to your cousin. Tell him I took my pill. There's no pill. There's cousin Fred. There's no pill. There's no pill. 
<laughs> yeah. So, so Fred, so Fred, what did you think about all that? And be honest with me. Fred, what do you think about the kitchen? Thank God I wasn't in there. As long as they're making my food, then I'm good. Okay. That's and, and, Fred, and, and, as long as he wasn't and, involved. And was Fred begging you to stop to leave that waiter alone? No, Freddie's known me since I'm a kid. He know I've been doing this since no, I was, ask Fred. Since he was three. Ask Fred. Here. What? Since you were about nine or ten, and I'm about three years old. Right. So what am I asking, Ted? You were asking him, was he begging you to leave the waiter alone? Did, did you want me to leave the waiter alone? Jim is Jim. I let him do his thing. Wasn't he you saying stop? Oh. oh, my God. This, well, no, I, they, this, this, like this cheers, is television. It's like cheers on uh, Okay, acid. what's up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hold on, Zach. I think he's getting yeah, yelled at right now. Hold on, hold on. What's up? Can you turn up the box? What's up? <laughs> I know. I apologize. Oh shit, he's getting bitched out. He's getting fucked. He's getting bitched out. Oh, he's getting the shot for us. The problem is the people from Ellis Island are around the corner. I don't want any trouble for you. That's the whole thing. It's okay. I'm working here. Oh, you're working? I wasn't sure you were here. I know you play the piano. <laughs> I make fun of it, but the notes on the piano don't go that low. He's still going. You play. Oh my God. So this don't is don't interrupt the... me. I'm I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay. It's a real pain so, in the ass. You get okay, real cookie, okay. she goes away, Zach. All right. So what just happened, Liliana, Jimmy? What just Fred, happened? Fred, what just happened? <laughs> he said Liliana looked a little a little pissed or a lot pissed. No, but is Lil is Liliana the piano? Since the uh, is Liliana yeah, the? But ever since the invasion <laughs> of Ukraine, <laughs> yeah, ever since oh yeah. the Ukraine invasion, <laughs> the Russians get moody now. Ever since the goddamn war started, they want to take the whole goddamn world over. Jimmy, stop! No stop! Is, you know, stop! Jimmy, I'm stop! Done. I'm done. Thank you. Was that the piano player? Who was that? That's Liliana, the piano. She's a little steamed up right now. And, and what was right she? Dread. And she was mad that you were interrupting her playing? Yeah, and correct. That, right. Kind of a dick. She wanted to do a little chopsticks. That's all he wanted to do. It didn't work. So, a duet. Just a little duet. She wanted to do a little duet. That's all. We were doing duet. I'm afraid that Cousin Fred is enabling Boy. Jimmy. He totally is. <laughs> yeah. You a little duet. You and Zach. What are you talking that. about, Dan? Well, first of all, that Zach was the one that said, go to the yeah, kitchen. Zach was definitely the most He guilty. said, go get food. I was just Whoa. relaying what Zach said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think oh, about Zach. I'm afraid, I'm afraid your cousin Fred Zach's is enabling you. Mm. Sometimes when you have a cousin like that, they, you just got to let him go off. There's nothing you can do. I don't need an enabler, he said. You make it a spectacle, you said. Does Fred does ever does Fred ever think about does Fred does Fred ever think about hosting an intervention or anything like that? <laughs> Killing himself when he's with me, yes. Fred, do you want to host an intervention for me? No, definitely not. It won't work. It won't work. He says it won't work. That's true. Fred's like I mean, we did that. We basically did a whole episode doing I'm an intervention sorry. with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, Jimmy? Jimmy, we can you do Jim me a favor? Apologize. Did it work, Zach? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Zachy, baby. I, oh, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go eat. My my meal's here. Wait, no, 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 Jimmy, yes, Jimmy, love. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. There's one more thing I need what, you to honey? do. I need you to do something. Can last you thing, can you can, can you please go apologize to all the people whose dinner you interrupted? That's not the Jersey apple. That's not his Jimmy, way. please go do that. Oh, it's just for the. Here it is, right here, Ethan. Look. For the podcast, I'd pre uh, you don't want to do any oh, apologies. Yeah. Well, I think they. Oh, you know, Ace Three? Say, say hi to Ethan. What's up, Ethan? How's it going? Hey, dude. He's a, he's a fan, Ethan. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Can I get a side of butter? <laughs> How are you, Chinese guy? How you doing? <laughs> little, little less starch on the collar. Okay, please. Jimmy, do what Ethan says. Go apologize, please. Just quickly, just quickly. 
Do you want me to really apologize? Yes, you it's know. Freddie said it's over, though. Nah. The people are cool. They know me here. I'm a regular. I'm for real. Like, I come here a lot. Okay, but it's maybe like maybe stranger. just apologize. Maybe just apologize to the piano lady. She seemed upset. Okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to go my, interrupt my her plan to cold. apologize? Just a, quick, just a quick apology. We don't want your fish to get cold. Good guy, Jimmy. Lou, I want to apologize for before. I'm sorry. Seriously. I was only... I'm sorry. I know. I apologize. I know. I'm sorry. You know, you know I mean well. I'm just a little... I'm on that... <laughs> I get on that and get a little crazy. I'm sorry. You too. All right. I think she liked Fred. We apologize. That was good. Uh, See, that was nice. Didn't that feel good? Uh, well, she's known me a long time. I sat and played the piano with her many occasions. So it's, she didn't like me being disrespectful. That's all. So I think I, I think if you led with I have a personality disorder, people would understand the jokes. Wait, did he? Did you interrupt her playing the piano? Sounds like it. That's what Zach asked me to do. I didn't ask you to do that. <laughs> I would never have you do yes, that from one did, musician Zach. to another. No, 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 no. I didn't know she was playing the piano. Well. Either oh. way, uh, okay. I mean, him running around the restaurant like a maniac was probably Still interruption bad. enough. Yeah. Let's take a look at. Let's I take, think that's a better skit than the real. Yeah, I would say so. Let's see. Let's see the plate. All right. Try the veal. Can I eat, Zach? Because my food's going to get cold. Yeah. Why don't you enjoy your meal? Okay. It was nice catching up with you, Jimmy. Clearly, I love you guys, and yeah, and, and Ethan. Yeah. If the guy honestly can get here, I can do him. It's hard for me to go to Texas. I mean, on a serious note, I don't mind doing something for you, nice. So maybe we can you. maybe we can rent him a van or a van and 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 uh, have someone. If he drive came him here there. to New Jersey, I would do it free for you because I love you guys and you're very nice to me. Okay. Well, maybe what we should start with is we can get some picture of his teeth over, and you can kind of see what you can even do for him. You know. Okay, I would do that for you. So let, maybe we can get a diagnosis from you. And, and I'm then, coming at the end of July if um, your dad wants to do a little thing with yes, me. Yes, I'd love yes, to do it. Yes, yes, I, we <laughs> I'd should. I'd love to do that. Only if Zach says it's okay. I'm not the boss, Jimmy. I, 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 oh, <laughs> can I get an ice tea? <laughs> Say hi to Zach. Uh, tell him what you told me, that He's a lousy guitar player. Tell him what you said. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> no, you tell. You told me he's not very good. You tell him. I'm not going to say it. All right, I Jimmy. Be back Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. It's cool. No, I'm. All right. I'm cool. Thank you, buddy. Enjoy. Enjoy your meal. Okay. I love you. All right. All right. All right. Love you, Jim. Jim will fix it. All right. I will. And guys, on a serious note. Wait, you. isn't that the pedophile show? <laughs> Jimmy will fix it. Jim will That's fix the Vales show. Yeah. Oh, was that what it was called? I don't yeah. know. All right. Take care, Jimmy. <laughs> not 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 talking about you. We were, we were talking about the other Jimmy. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. All right. That was unexpected and wow. totally off the rails. Yeah, I don't think there's any, there's no changing Jimmy, you know. Um, Personality disorder. Imagine a six-hour day of that. Oh, you know? shit. That was so wild. How, how did his cousin just endure all that? I might have just He's left. probably just used to it. I mean, 50 years of that. I have like a tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> I have an anxiety. Yeah, that tummy ache. Ache. That was pretty overwhelming right there. Um, by the way, uh, I'm seeing people point out in the chat, and this is a good point that um, if uh, Wally's on probation, he can't leave Texas. Oh no! Yeah. Shit. Jim will so, have to uh, go then. I think I don't know. All right, let's move on. Let's let's go. do let's. You let's know what? I'm go. really excited about um, this Jimmy Lee segment we've prepared. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So is he standing by, Zach? Is he ready to go? Uh, or? He is in the waiting room. Okay, so here's what... Let me set this up, guys. You guys are going to love this. We had the idea to do a loyalty test on Jimmy. And I don't even know if Jimmy knows about this loyalty test yet. Does he? No. He's, he's uh, finding about, out about it now. Yeah. So we had this idea. First, The first part of our uh, experiment on Jimmy was to call him... The thing that started all this, okay, is that he was leaving comments 
under Keemstar's tweets. So this is what gave us the idea to goof with him a little bit. Where is that section? Do we have the tweets that he was leaving Keemstar? They're in the edit that we made. So yeah, play the- play it up to the the uh, first part where we go ahead. Just play it. You guys will see what what's going on here. All right, so we're doing a loyalty test with uh, Jimmy Lee. We see he's been in uh, Keemstar's replies. And we're gonna we're gonna test to see if the Jersey Outlaw really is a true foot soldier and uh, dedicated. You gotta pause it on the tweet. All right, so we're doing a loyalty test with uh, Jimmy Lee. We see he's been in uh, Keem. So Jimmy was responding to Keemstar. Like he just said, we know that. It's the Jersey outlaw. It's nonsense. I don't even know what he's getting at. I'm not sure what that But means. we're like, okay, Jimmy's trying to flirt with Keemstar. So we called him and we said, Jimmy, just so you know, Keemstar's a bad dude and he hates Ethan. So we'll avoid him. That was the first step. So that he couldn't deny that he knew mm-hmm. Keemstar was enemy of the show. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, let's watch the first part here. Stars replies. We're gonna we're gonna test to see if the Jersey Outlaw really is a true foot soldier and uh, dedicated to the show. Zach, what's going on? Give me a bingo. Bingo, baby. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the picture with Coach Malone? I love the pictures, but I, I gotta kind of talk to you something about private. Is there any way you can get off speaker? So, we we see that you've been. Uh, posting in Keemstar's replies on Twitter. Is that you? No. Maybe it's Mason. Mason is? Oh, wait a minute. Keemstar, what, what is the response saying? He, he posted something on Amber Heard LMFAO, and Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, and responded, we know that it's the Jersey Outlaw. Was that you? I don't know if I did that or not. It doesn't sound like me. It may have been Mason. What, what else is up there? Well, that's what we've seen. But anyways, you wanted me to just say, don't do it. No, no, no. Just, just, I just, Keemstar's a bad guy. He hates Ethan. We know that when we did the second shoot. We know that. Right, right, right. He's just a bad dude. And so I gotta tell Mason, don't even respond on his thing. Okay. Yeah, just, just no Keemstar, nothing. Um, oh, you got it. I got you. Okay, yeah. I'm glad he, you called me. I don't think I did it because I don't do my Twitter. I- that's not your Twitter account. Honestly, I, I'm always honest with you, Zach. All right, I, we, we'd appreciate that. Well, for what you do for me, please. All right, thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate it. I love you, buddy. Tell Ethan sorry. I'll take care of it right away. All right, thanks, Jimmy. Okay, love you. So he claims that it wasn't him. That's the first part. By the way, the guy just brought me pizza. <laughs> you guys all got pizza too, right? Yeah, there's enough. Okay. So at the, the, the strategy there was to give him no out. To say, oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is all for you. Hila, did you want another, another kind? No. <laughs> I'm good. Is there any more? <laughs> what other kind you got there? Oh my god. I have to say, so far, Jamie's passing the test already. Well, he was... His reaction was very nice. Well, he denied that it was him. Yeah. I think it was him. What do you think, Zach? Oh, without a doubt. It was no. definitely him. He, he works with a guy. Uh, his, his name is Mason, I believe. Yeah. Um, who's a social media guy. And then it's in the video uh, immediately after this, but he texts me and he's like, I think our Twitter got hacked. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was <laughs> definitely Jimmy. Oh, without a doubt. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know how he found Keemstar or got the idea to write under his... I, I believe it's this guy he's working with. Oh, yeah, that's why. He found out about Keemstar because he got harassed on the street by a Keemstar fan. Right, 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 right. But he doesn't know what's going on. Right. So we said he has no deniability now. So the next phase in our loyalty test was to have Olivia pretend to be a producer from Drama Alert (laughs) and offer Keemstar the opportunity of a lifetime. (laughs) His own show, a huge pay, Drama Alert loves Keemstar. Let's see. Let's see the next part, please, Ian. I think That's we still need good. to roll the dice with this one. And I, I kind of believe him. I, you I, believe him? I think he's innocent here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I think he'll pass the loyalty test. After I think that he will call. too. Yeah. I think he will too. Olivia is going to call as Keem's assistant or uh, producer for Drama Alert. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. 
So here we have Olivia. She is our uh, actor today. Mm. Jimmy ended up saying his Twitter got hacked. So. Hi, um, Hi um, I'm looking to get in touch with Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw, for a business inquiry. Yeah, what's your name, hon? Um, my name is Kat Everdeen. I'm an associate producer at um, a YouTube show uh, entitled Drama Alert, and we were wondering if you would possibly be interested in co-hosting an episode or two. Yeah, I would help you out, hon. Okay, great. Well, we're we're huge fans. We've been uh, we've been following you online. Yeah, what's your company called, Kat? It's called um, Drama Alert, where the host that you would be with is named Keemstar. He's a comedian on YouTube. Keemstar, I think that's Ethan's enemy now. <laughs> oh, Ethan H3. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard about him. The thing is, is, you know, I'm very loyal to H3H3. They've really been good to me. So I'm an older guy and I'm very loyal, so. Well, we're not looking to step on any toes. We just, right. we don't have That's to. Ben and Zach and I are tight and I love them and they, they, they love me now. And I don't want to do anything that would jeopardize that relationship. Um, we just, we just want to create a funny show. Obviously compensate you for your time. It'll be 10K for the first episode, if that's. If that works with you, we could obviously, we could negotiate something that works for both of us. What's your last name, Kat? Everdeen. You're not coming up, Kat, on the internet. You're not come up, you're drama alert. Well, I'm fairly new. I mean, I graduated last month, so. Oh, so it's Keemstar's idea. I want, we start with an email. You want my email? Yes, please. Will you send me an email with all the information and all that? Yes, I will do. I will get right on that and I'll. Thank you. No, bye now. Thank you so much. Bye. You're going sweet, over here. Who's sweet, though? No, nah, that's not loyal. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> pretty interesting result. People are saying it's cruel. It is It is a little bit of a goof, but Jimmy's a rich dentist. He's not like... He, he, Jimmy's... Jimmy... Or Jimmy... Yeah, Jimmy. He drives a Rolls Royce. Okay, don't worry about it. He does? Yeah. He's got a colon... He's got the same car I used to have. Whoa. He's a baller. What color? Do you know what color it is? He's got a... Uh, he's got a... Uh... A phantom. It's black. Mm. Yeah. So, but the, the guy, this, he was tweeting under Keem's though. We're having a little fun. Don't feel too bad for Jimmy, okay? We're having a little fun here. No, it's all fun. It's my birthday. Yeah. So yeah. far, he already responded really well, though. So at first, he passed the test. He mm -hmm. straight up said, we're allies. That's Ethan's enemy. But once the subject of money was brought up, <laughs> 10K per episode, it turned into uh, send me an email. I got to give it to Olivia. She was a great actor. And yeah. She, uh, oh, she uh, did uh, great things off the cuff. <laughs> and um, she, she just did a great job. Oh, thank yeah. you. Well, Zach fed me some great lines. <laughs> well, your, your original um, debut, Olivia, was as Keemstar's girlfriend. It's true. Oh, my God. The Out band. Of, the band, yeah. The other band. band. And the other band. came back. <laughs> so what was the email we sent, Jimmy? Um, let me pull it up. Is it in the video? Should we just play the next part? This is so this is the email we sent. This is Kathleen Everdeen. I'm associate producer of Drama Alert. Your client Jimmy Lee and I spoke on the phone about him hosting with Daniel Kim. <laughs> this is a project that Kim starts very interested in pursuing. Compensation is ten thousand dollars per episode. Keem is willing to offer Jimmy twenty thousand for the first episode, <laughs> based on the response from our audience and how the team feels about the show. We can discuss and drop the contract. Please let me know. So, how did Jimmy respond to this? He did not. He didn't respond he to the email. He well, texted the number he had for me from his own phone, and he said, "Have Keem call Jimmy." <laughs> That's what he was hung up on is Keem calling him. Yeah. So I wonder if we could have You gotta you gotta finish the video. Yeah, we have it... a few more phone calls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get yeah. someone to sound like Keem to call him? No, we didn't get that far. <laughs> well, let's play it. Go ahead, let's watch the next part. Zach, how would I he... That's not loyal right there, dude. It was though. No. Hello? Is this Kate? This is Kat, yes. Kat, do you know that you were on the Hunger Games? We need to know if that's you. 
No, that is Jennifer Lawrence. What's, what's the next step, Kat? Well, I'm, I'm putting together an email right now. I'm, I just want to make sure that, that you are interested before I, before I do all of this. Well, um, I don't want to jeopardize a relationship with H3H3. I've been very loyal to them. So if it's anything that would do that, I don't want to do it. I'm going to be honest with you. But if it's something that doesn't jeopardize that, okay. I don't want to do anything to jeopardize because I know Ethan and Keemstar do not like each other. Zach told me that. Yes. I'm, a, I'm an old school, I'm a good, honest guy. So I have the cat be up front. I don't want why money or no money. Right. We're we're not looking for you necessarily to be combative toward Ethan. That's that's all keen. Um, we're just interested in the dynamic that you two would have. Right, and that's fine. But here, here's what you gotta understand. I'm older. Okay, I'm in my fifties, and I have a regular business. I would never do nothing to hurt them, and I wouldn't want to be on a podcast with Team Star. I don't want to do anything combative towards Ethan, Zach, none of them. Because they're like my second family. They brought me in, and they love me. And then that's how I'm very old school. No, but that, that, that's very, we want to be your third family. They love me, and I love them, and we're really tight, and Zach, that, that I can do it, but as long as that's a promise, it, it'd be nice if he called me and you know, told me that too. Yes, I, I will definitely pass that along. Okay. Yeah, that's good to go, Kat. Thank you. Thank great. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds great. Have a, have a good day. Thank you. All right. Bye. He's so nice, you guys. I can't do it. So there it is, Jimmy Lee. I, I'll i be honest, from the top, I think we all were unanimously like, oh, he's going to he's gonna fail this spectacularly. Really? I think the opposite. Really? Because mm -hmm. we, we figured he was so, he wanted this opportunity the money and everything. But he keeps saying he, he doesn't want anything to do with uh, going against you. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, the th loyalty test has been absolutely slammed <laughs> by J Jimily, people are calling him. <laughs> is there more? Is that the whole? Well, yeah, so. That's all we got. So there it is. Jimmy actually passed with flying colors. Mm -hmm. Family. He's a, he's a true one. Wait, yeah, actually, pretty sweet. You, Zach? He, what, what's that? Didn't he text you the email? Yeah, yeah. He, I, I sent that to Cam. Yeah, th that's the picture in the dog. Oh, okay, so he, uh, he actually ended up texting me uh, huh. a printout, and then he took a picture on his phone <laughs> of the of the email, that's awesome. um, which is which is in the dog. God damn that. it, it doesn't work. Here, uh, I can see if it opens on my. Screen. I just got to do it incognito. So this is. So he sent you the email. He was actually even giving us all the intel. He sent us the email, a picture of the printed email. <laughs> um, and j below that saying, um, Zach, look at this. They reached out to me, Keemstar. I told them, period, I'm loyal to the H3. And, and Damn, not Jimmy Lee. <laughs> no, the That's goat, just... man. He's the goat. Wait, what, Dan? I was just saying that message. Look, oh, no. Zach, look at this. They reached out to me, Keemstar. I told them I'm loyal to H3 and not interested because I'm with Ethan and you guys. <laughs> what a guy. He's loyal, man. You got to give that to him. Jimmy yeah. is a loyal, loyal. Loyal. Man. Let's bring him on the phone. He's he's standing <laughs> by, right? He was for the last like 20 minutes. He just hung up. I swear <laughs> to God, just now. Seriously? All right, I'm texting him. <laughs> tell, him to, tell him to log back in. There you go, he's though. He's literally been sitting there for this entire time. Maybe he got upset. He was he was gypped. Mm. He's big time on us. He's calling Keem. Someone say he may be the Jersey outlaw, but he's our Jersey outlaw. That's right. That's right. Can you rip this tag? <laughs> you want me to rip this off? Yeah. The the, the tag keeps like Is it that off? yeah. Okay, there, you there you go. go. Thanks. Well, that was wholesome, actually. That yeah, turned out pretty good. Very sweet. I wish we knew, had more people to do it to, but I couldn't. I wanted to do it to a bunch of people, but I, I really couldn't. I, I it was it would be too mean to do it to Gabe, you know. I couldn't loyalty test. Yeah. Um, I feel like Jimmy was... I, I feel like he's going to be okay with this. and he's, Yeah. He's, he's going to joke her. And he's like, oh, okay. That, that, well, he passed it. He's coming out looking mm -hmm. better than ever. Fucking seriously, man. The goat. Yeah. Mm. I, don't, I don't think he could have performed any better in the way he handled it. <clears throat> I was trying to push him the other way. I wanted to see how outrageous he could get towards Kim's team. <laughs> I wanted him to send a middle finger back. I just, <laughs> I just texted him. He read, uh, I just said, hop back on, click the link. We're ready for you. 
He read it. So. And didn't answer? He didn't answer. <gasps> well, if Jimmy gets back on, we'll, we'll take the call. But there you have it. Our beloved Jimmy Lee. Oh, there he is. Mm. He just popped in. All right, let's say hi. Hold it. Jimmy. <laughs> Outlaw. Dan, <laughs> did you take your Viagra, Dan? <laughs> what? Oh Are we all ready? Are we all ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday uh, to you. Who are these people? Happy again? birthday. He's in Atlantic City right now. You. Are these just random people here? Happy yeah. I think so. <laughs> to Ethan the Jew. Oh my God. What? Yeah. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Jimmy. Say on H3H3. 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 Sideways. Jimmy, flip your phone, dude. <laughs> can you make it bigger or is it because of the. Is there, oh, it's the yeah. is that, now, Jimmy, can I ask I you a couple it? questions? <laughs> Not until I fix my phone, honey. Hold on. We've been waiting for you. I now, made me stand in front of the hotel and tell corny jokes for a half an hour. Is that better? <laughs> God help us. Can people. you see me or no? I can, can see you. You, Jimmy. <laughs> right. Now, where are you right see, now? I don't see. I don't see you. Oh, you don't. Julia, what do I do? Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Audio. 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 <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. That Mother wasn't you, Zach? No, that was that him, was, dude. Him. Oh, oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on, you son I of a bitch. I thought it was Zach. <laughs> did you, Eva, did you see oh, him rampaging here. through the restaurant? I saw uh, half of it. I saw a little that, bit of it. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> I need to go back wanna, and watch that. Joy, you want to go back out yeah. and go back in? Okay. Jo so, hold on, Jack. Jimmy. We're Jimmy, can I just? Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. I got oh. you. We got you. Hold Jimmy, on. can we... I say something to you? It's time. I'm here. So where are you, Jimmy? We're at the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and there's the Hard Rock guitar. And, and, and here's and, Julia. And who? Who? Your fans. who okay. And, fans? and these are all the other fans. Oh, you got they're all a fans? Lot of fans. A lot more than me. Okay. Okay. Wow, where did you find? You. Come on, Jimmy. Where did you find these people, Jimmy? Uh, uh, Julia, <laughs> tell tell Ethan how you found. Wow. Jersey Outlaw. <laughs> and what about the other guys? Cool. <laughs> they're with Julia. They're with Julia. Hey, and Julia. I have Dr. Greg, the plastic surgeon friend. Yeah. That's birthday. Dr. Greg. Happy birthday. Hey, t hey, tell your Dr. Greg, he, he, you could, he, he, why is he helping you out a little bit more? Because you're interested for the day. Why aren't you helping me with my plastic surgery, Dr. <laughs> Greg? Give me well, a hard time. Uh, plastic surgery. He says oh, he's going to add a tail. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks. Thank the girl What's for that? us. That's really that? nice. Do but I Jimmy, you passed the test. You 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 get the keys to the chocolate factory. What do you mean I passed the test? <laughs> What's the test? <laughs> do you not? Were you not watching? I'm afraid to ask you. Where are you listening no, to the we show? No, we were out here doing jokes. <laughs> no, no, we were out here doing jokes. Have you heard anything the, uh, about a loyalty the... test, Jimmy? That's so funny. Are we talking about the thing that I sent Zach? Yeah. Star, drama alert. <laughs> it was so, the thing that I sent Zach? Yeah. Star, drama alert. <laughs> it was, so, it was what, us the whole me, time, what? Jimmy. We were testing you. <laughs> Julia, they scammed me. <laughs> yeah, they tested me. <laughs> but I sent them the thing. So I passed. I'm good. You passed. Good? You passed the loyalty oh, test, Jimmy. <laughs> It's a birth. I couldn't ask for a better birthday present than Jimmy <laughs> delivering on the beers, loyalty test. Fears for all the hookers out here tonight. All right. 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 Okay. Hey, 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 Ethan. You know the cool thing about hookers? They got it. They sell it, and they still got it. Think about right, that. Right. 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 Because it's it's it, it's a it's not like a commodity that gets used up. It's it's you could. They can you, drop it, drape it, and droop it. Right, A B. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's hey, what my father hey, always hey, did. Don't make me do the camel joke. Don't make me do the camel joke. Oh. It's my know. favorite one. Do the camel joke, <laughs> the Jimmy. Camel Come joke. on, it's my birthday. Do the camel Come joke. On. <laughs> nope. I hope you find a parking place for your camel egg. Oh, uh, God. hell yeah. <laughs> Can you no, please no, refer to me as no. A.B. the Arab the way you refer All to right. Ethan the Jew? Oh, I'm, yeah. going, <laughs> I'm going with Julia. We're going in the kitchen. Let's go. 
<laughs> so I told Jimmy to go find a quiet place to do this. <laughs> There's no quiet the place in Jimmy's life. No such thing. Because he brings Zach, the noise. Zach, the bar has a band. It was loud, right, Julia? Really loud. We, ha we had to come outside. To Too loud for audio, audio. Give him an audio, audio, audio. Audio, audio, audio. <laughs> audio, audio, audio. <laughs> Teddy Fresh. Go, Teddy Fresh. Thank Give you. Go, Teddy Fresh. Go, well, Teddy Fresh. We love go Teddy, Teddy Fresh. Fresh. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> Jimmy, uh, I just want to say thank you for <laughs> passing the loyalty test. You made me a very happy Aww. birthday boy. <laughs> Well, I love you, and I told Zach, I sent him the thing, and I didn't really know it was you. I thought Mason thought it was a prank, oh, and smart, we didn't think man. it was you, and we thought it was somebody playing a game, <laughs> and I said to Mason, we got to show Zach, and then Zach, <laughs> you, you fooled me too. You're like, what's this shit? I got to show Ethan, but Zach, <laughs> you, you obviously knew. Of course right? I knew, dude. <laughs> but, but Jimmy, so, let me ask so you something. Zach, I'm going to... Were, were, were you ever tempted? Uh, did you ever think it was real and maybe a good opportunity for you? No, because you have been loyal to me, and you're one of the reasons I'm where I'm at. And if you ever thought I jeopardized that for $20,000 when you know I have money, I would never do it. I'm, I'm, and my wife, who's Asian and, and rich, she would never do it either because we're about uh, character and loyalty and love. And you've treated me great, and, and the last couple times I've been on, Things have been getting good. So why in the F would I jeopardize you guys? Smart for man. Star? And Smart I know you man. don't I know you don't like him anyway. I found that out when that goofy kid was on the street when I made fun of him. Remember <laughs> that? Yes. Oh yeah. What of is course. it you said? Yeah. Uh, what was it you said about your wife being Asian? What did you mean by that? She's like the crazy rich Asians from the movie, right, Julia? Who is this, Julia? Wait, 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 Julia. Julia. Yeah. Julia's just a fan. Julia's a man. Yeah. 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 Julia, oh, oh, Julia, she knows all about listen, him. Zach, she's a certain, wait, she's what, a certain you're, type wait. of friend. She's a certain stop type it, of Jimmy. Friend. That's not that appropriate. Stop, 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 stop. I'm teasing. Yeah, but you're making her uncomfortable. Come on. <laughs> she is uncomfortable. You're sitting on a bench. Put a, put a pad there. Right. Right. They get worse, Hilla. Don't worry. What? <laughs> Jimmy, um, your, is your wife come from money? Uh, yes, oh. but I'm not allowed to say that. Well, you did already. You just did. Me. So no. But that Zach told me I can't talk about my wife. When the fuck did I say that? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right, Jimmy, you, you take care. You go have fun in Atlantic City, okay? Go have a good time. Thank you, buddy. Not, not, not. In, wait a minute, Ethan. Hold it. Hold it. One second. <laughs> hold it. <laughs> One, two, three. And many more. Okay, yeah. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Jimmy Lee, the thank Jersey you, Outlaw. Thank you, Jimmy. Forever loyal. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, thank you. Peace and love. Have a good night. Love you guys. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. Love you, Jimmy. Wow. Audio. What a guy. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. He passed with flying colors. Yeah. Really good. Shout out to Julia. Good luck. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome that they found each other. He makes stuff that make. It, or I mean, he says stuff that make no sense to me, and like I, I really have no idea what is well, the meaning. Well, he said worst. You know what kind of friends we are. You know what he's talking about, right? I guess. Like I guess it has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then but what said, did he say? Something about the bench with a pillow. He said, "Put a rag down." What? It's just you just gotta call it a Jimmy Ooh. joke. That's all it is. <laughs> just I, the Jimmy joke. That she's dirty. That she shit her pants. No, because you said no, you're making her uncomfortable, and then he said, "Oh, oh you're sit sitting on Oh, bench. like be put comfortable. A put a pillow under it. Very literal. Very, Very literal. Yeah. Joke, actually. yeah. So <laughs> I asked him. The the reason I asked him to call in was we want you to wish Ethan a happy birthday. Uh. So. He's like, okay, okay, but then can I do jokes? <laughs> He's like, we want to go in the kitchen again, like last time, it was great. I'm like, Jimmy, we struck lightning in a bottle with that. We just want you to sing happy birthday to Ethan this time. Okay, but I'm in AC. Okay, cool, find a quiet place. And he just wouldn't listen to me. There's no quiet place in Jimmy's life, and we love that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so Jimmy's calling in. Yeah, and then, uh, which is actually, just about ready. And then we're going to play Smell My Funger. Yeah, did you ask I me? sent him the link, yeah. Okay, you did. Okay, so let's get it this set up a little bit because Jimmy posted this. Now, I'm just going to be warning, it's a little offensive to some people, uh, some of our smaller statured legends. Is that the preferred nomenclature? Little people. Smaller statured legends. 
STLs. Uh, here's Jimmy's joke. I hate fucking midgets, man. And that's a lot to put out there. Just saying. And in the role of a life, that's a hell of a t way to open up just, a video. That's just the start. Yeah, oh, that started. I hate fucking midgets, man. I don't want anybody sniffing around my fly unless they're serious. <laughs> I. So he says, "What? I guess they're because they're at dick level." And he says, "Hey, if you're gonna be down there, you better suck it." You know what I'm saying? Unless they're serious. Oh, okay, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, like they Hold intend it. to fellatio him. I had to unpack it a little Something bit. tells me we didn't get through to him. So, he, uh, <laughs> last episode, he messaged that before he posted it to me and Cam. And I was shocked by it. And then I go and see that he fucking posted it to Instagram. Oh, he sent it to you first. He sent it to Personal. me first. Did you tell him this, the shit's, this is not it? Well, I didn't get a chance to... Uh, I mean, we were doing the show when he sent it. I see. So, I mean, I see, yeah. oh. have you guys seen what's going on in his Instagram? By the way, it's so out of control. He's just been fo photoshopping himself. He <laughs> he just texted that to me five minutes ago. He, he literally just. I, I think he just sends it to me and then posts it. Can I come clean about something? Here he is. He no, you're not making these for him, Cam. Are you? Not not these, but I made a few. <laughs> oh, like, you! Fucker. I made a SpongeBob. Which ones did you make? Uh, he posts so much. I don't. I made a SpongeBob one. That's the last one I made for him. Like, check this out. Audio, audio, audio. He oh, also uh, uh, the great words. The great words. <laughs> he also keeps implying that he and Diana Ross is your uh, parents. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic. Like he wants that point across. Well, he's about to meet my dad and and have a day with him. So he's yes. gonna when, and that's coming up like next week, right? Next week, next week. Yes. Guys, this is going to be explosive. My dad and Jimmy Lee together. Maybe they should go to a ball game and just start stabbing beach balls. We got to get them doing all kinds of stuff together. Uh, this is my favorite Jimmy Lee post. Histrionic, histrionic personality disorder. Hey, oh, I, yeah. I got dot, 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 histri histrionic personality disorder. If you don't like me, you can. Love that he's just owning it, though. You know what? This is very histrionic personality disorder of him. He, uh, I think, posts at least like every hour in the day. Yeah, this is a weird one. He keeps posting shit about that he's my real dad. And I just don't quite get where you're going with this one here, Jimmy. Well, the, the whole um, thing with him being your dad and Diana Ross being your mother, it goes back to the roast we did for you, Ethan. Okay. Where we had to censor uh, his. Um, oh my God, that's right. So <laughs> I think that's where it's it's coming from. What was the joke? Do you remember? He made a, a very awful. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. Um, he made a very offensive joke yes. about uh, you being the product of him and a black woman yes. um, having intercourse. Yes. I'm half black. Well, it was his phrasing of it. He that, did not use yeah. the best language. He used a racial slur? No, well, not the racial slur that you're probably thinking right, of. Right, but right. Like velveteen rabbit eyes cut type deep. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some deep racism. Yeah. Here's another one. I got histrionic personality disorder. Hey, work with me. <laughs> Bingo. His roast was the uh, origin of tomatoes in the chat. <laughs> It's true. Oh, that's good. That's how it all started. Well, okay, Jimmy is uh, late. I said join. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. He hasn't but joined yet. Apparently. Oh, this is the one that Cam made for him. Oh, here, I got it. So, Cameron, you've been sending him these? This is probably, yeah, this one's good. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy Lee, the undersea outlaw. We love that. Hey, work with me, people. It's clean. Should you should be paying you for that work? Yeah, he's I great. agree. He rolls. He drives a Rolls Royce, man. You got to shake him down, Cam. Uh, when he comes back, I'll, I'll shake him down. Yeah, he owes you money. We'll have to hit him up. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, yeah. talk to me. Hi, guys. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. We're here, baby boy. How are you? Oh, where are you right now? 
We're at the famous August Diner in Marlton. And before we go any further, happy birthday to Cam. Come on, guys. Oh, that's nice. Birthday to you. Happy birthday oh, that's, to that's you. That's very nice. <laughs> happy birthday, That's respect. <laughs> didn't even finish the song. That's pretty nice. Is that oh, Ringo? Is, is that, uh, stop, Dan. <laughs> boy. <laughs> He actually picked up on a social field for the first time in his life, and you forced him to finish it. Thank you, dude. The Boston Strangler. There he is, Cam. (laughs) (laughs) The Boston Strangler. Hey, uh, Jimmy, is that Ringo Starr next to you? No, I have to confess that Osama bin Laden, Ethan, is not dead. There he he is. He doesn't look anything like him, buddy. Who who is this? Can I get a piece in love? A peace and love, Joe. There he is, Harry Mandel. He does that look, or he'll do to Kenny Rogers. We'll put the hat back on. There Let me is. talk to him. Let me talk to your friend. Oh, Give him the phone. That's Walter White. That's it. He's hiding Who are you? There he is. How you doing today? Good, what, are you, good. what are you doing with Jimmy? Uh, isn't it embarrassing? Jimmy, we're good buddies. Been friends for uh, 20 years now. Almost. Wow. He's a good guy. Very, very and- thoughtful, kind, generous. He's a photographer. He's an actor. He's a paid <laughs> actor. Get him out of here. It's Jimmy's photographer in New York, actually. It's my photographer. <laughs> this guy's a paid extra. Now I have. <laughs> He's paying know, him. Ethan, you know who Ripley is? From Ripley's Believe It or Not? Uh, I I don't know. Are you guys too young, Zach? Do you remember Ripley? Yeah, I Ripley's don't. Rem- I know what not. Ripley's Believe It or Not is. Yeah. We have the world's tallest man here today, Jolly Roger, eight foot six. There he is. Hey, I'm just the Jolly Roger. Stand up. Let's Jolly get a look Roger, at you. Jolly Roger, there he is. Can, can we get a look of the up, full stature? <laughs> no, Eight he, foot six, Zach. He doesn't want to. Okay, great. Now, Jimmy, I have wanted. I need to confront you on something, okay? Okay. Now, you put up a, um, a video on, on Instagram that was just a tad offensive. Which one was that? Yeah. You don't have any idea which one I'm referring to? I know which one it was. Which one? <clears throat> I don't like midgets, Ethan. I'm oh, sorry. I can't hide it. my feelings. I so, can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't get mad. I just never liked them. Oh the crowded elevator thing never went well with me with midgets. Yeah, that's a hard that's a tough one to put out there, dude. But first of all, the the word no mid, the word midgets is very offensive. Okay, we don't use that word anymore. We got to get that well, out. I have to confess that AB asked me to do it. <laughs> what the hell, AB? I think What's there that was an offhand Where's AB? Muslim joke. Wait. AB, how, are how, you yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, no, he's Oh, here. AB's there. He's just stunned. No, I'm, I'm stunned, yes. Yeah, but so... so. All right. <clears throat> here, let me play the video uh, for, for your re- reference here. You says... Midgets, man. I, I don't want anybody sniffing around my fly unless they're serious. So, so what's the joke, basically? Huh. I thought funny. it was a pretty good joke. Jolly Roger liked it. Pretty funny. Okay, all right, Jolly Roger. <laughs> now, now the joke is that little people would be at dick height, and you're saying, hey, if you're going to be around my dick, you better suck it, huh? If it's a chick. If it's a chick. So you don't, you're not down yeah. with, so you, so you're okay with little people who are men, but you don't like little women. No, I said not guys, chicks. Right. Got it. It's just an old style joke. That's sure, really sure, what it was. Sure, sure. Yeah, no good? Old school. <laughs> hey, hey, Jimmy, what's your what opinion is that on, Bernstein hey, thing? hey, Jimmy, do you have any jokes about abortion? Oh boy! No. <laughs> wow! That's, the first. Uh, you that's a awesome. Word. Wow! <laughs> Holy Bingo. shit! Hey Jimmy, what's your thoughts on the? Uh... Oh, did we lose him? Yeah, I can still hear you. What's your thoughts on the abortion uh, bans going on around the country? Ro- Jolly Roger. It's the worst thing that could happen, man. It's a right-wing conspiracy. Oh, what's up? J- Roger claims Talk it's right-wing me, baby. conspiracy. He's right. Put that man up for yeah. Jolly Roger for president. Jolly Roger. Shout out to Jolly Roger. 
We may have to I'm because he's running for Congress, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Where? In which state? New, New Jersey? A A E E. Yeah, go you ahead. You have a real big fan, Reagan, from Israel. <clears throat> and she just texted me. She went to the Wailing Wall and asked two Arabs to leave. And they did. <laughs> yeah, but that's also their land, Jimmy. Come on, I, I thought it was a good one. Why? Why is that no a good, good. one? Dan, Dan didn't like it. Jimmy, Jimmy, what's I, this? I loved it. What's this personally. surprise you keep telling me about? Jimmy said he has a surprise. Okay. All Did morning. You see a pictures act that I sent you. The one you posted on Instagram? Yes, and I think it's time Ethan needs to know now that he's older who his real parents are. See, here we go. And I think we need to fess up now. And Ethan, we put the picture up on the weekend. Me and the Kunatana Diana Ross are your real Whoa, mom and dad. What the, hell? <laughs> the young picture of you right before Did you he were born. Matata about and, her? and we need to fess up that we are your real parents. And Ethan needs to own that. <laughs> Well, you're about to meet my dad. You're about Why to have. Why did you buzz that? Why did you buzz that? <laughs> well, you're about to meet my real dad. You can tell him that joke in person. No, that's we had to have you adopt because Diana was on tour with the Supremes, and we didn't have time to bring you up because I was managing her. So Gary is the adopted father. He didn't want to say anything. He'd upset you. So we um, gave you up right before you were born, Mitzvah. Okay, so that's interesting to know. Did you call Diana <laughs> Ross um, Akuna Matata? Yes. Well, now, do you want to unpack that for me? Well, I think it would be best if Zach unpacks that. <laughs> if, if Zach doesn't mind, because Zach used to date her when he was very young. Okay, I'm, I think Zach Ethan, needs to, to let that let that out of the bag. Ethan, I'm gonna I'm gonna message you the word he meant to say. Do not repeat it. Send it to me. Jimmy, you're. I feel like we had an intervention, and you've just completely regressed. <laughs> I regress. Oh, true. true. You have completely. What did you say, Raj? Oh my! If, God. if they knew how regressed he was, it would be. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh shit! That was his original wording. That, and that's what we had to blur in the roast. Yeah, funny. We just talked about it. I mean, I feel like he. It's super racist, but like you could show it. I Hold mean, on, Ethan. We got we got H3 fans coming from August Diner. Wish Cam a happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, 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 guys. What's up, everybody? Make sure, hey, guys, do Jerry me a favor. Hill, hey, guys, no spitting in Jimmy's food, all right? <laughs> Every time you get the shrimp, Ethan, you come home with the crabs. Every oh, time. Oh, oh, tell them. Tell them. <laughs> That's Anna Banana. And this is Big Bad Dom, who eats the profit. Where are you, Dom? Right here. There he is, Italian stallion, Rocky right Balboa. All right. The big man. All right. The big bang. Forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, Jimmy, I don't know, man. I, I, I you know, you really you gotta make a stronger effort here because you're regressing and and you know, we made a lot of uh progress at redeeming your your kind of racist tendencies, but you're really slipping back into old habits. So I have to come do my set next week, my clean set. Where I don't get buzzed too much, right? Oh, you're gonna get buzzed. And AB and I have to shake hands, and we gotta pretend the Jewish Egyptian things under the water. Forget about that, <laughs> and just let that go. And uh, by the way, AB, I hope you find a place to park your camel. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that one. <laughs> well, he didn't laugh the first twelve times, so I wanted to throw it back at him. <laughs> Yeah. And by the way, AB, you look good. You got your fur gama sweatshirt, your hat. They're going to indict you for looking too good. Hey, Jimmy. Um, um, Ethan, want to do some lines? Do you know the uh, Do you know the chef? <laughs> Who? You could do some lines for my comedy show. No, I don't think he meant. Oh, I thought oh, you know yeah, he meant blow. Yeah, uh, no. Do you know who the head chef there is? Are you guys buddies? Oh God! Please yeah, don't. this is my regular spot. This is the world famous August Diner in Cherry Hill. Yeah, who's the um, head chef back there? The head chef is Dominic, who eats the profits. That's why when you order, they don't bring too much food out because he pretty much eats half your meal before they bring it out. And when they bring it out, generally, if you order something hot, it's cold. If you order something cold, it's hot. It's a whole fucked up diner. But you know what? They're nice people. Yeah, I wonder if maybe the <laughs> chef would like to say hi to you or something. Maybe she'd like to meet you. He may be saying bye after that. No, I'm trying to get. I'm trying but to. But I he doesn't want to go. Uh, he doesn't want to go. 
What's that, Jimmy? I think, Zach, you, you being kosher, this would be a great place for you. I'm, I'm not kosher, though. All right, that, Jimmy. Listen, true. we look forward. So, we, I, by the way, I, pre- I just want to say I appreciate you embracing the histrionic personality disorder. That's a, become a really funny going on joke. Did you like the um, post with where I said it? It's I love it. It's kind of funny, isn't it? No, it's great. It's like, I've got histrionic personality disorder. Work with me. <laughs> you liked it. Good. I love it. I had to accept it. My son told me, you know, when I was out there, when I saw you for the podcast, you know, he, he mentioned it and uh, we had to, we had to own up to it. Hey, you know, what'd be funny. Oh, I, I don't want to have to say it, Jimmy, but uh, you're back in a restaurant <laughs> and we had a lot of fun last time. Jimmy, you know what to do, man. You know okay. what to do. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, Here God. we go. Oh, boy. You oh, asked man. for it, Zach. I can't do it. No, oh, we didn't Lord. ask for it. We didn't say anything. Oh, oh, yeah. on. Peppy. H3, Dan, H3. don't leave me, Dan. <laughs> say hello to him. Oh, my God. Hello. That's Peppy. <laughs> Peppy. They want to know if you have your papers. Stop. Have your papers. No. No, no we don't. Oh. No, we don't. Oh. Jimmy, oh, stop. Yes, you do. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Hey guys, you come, can't do that. Come uh, say hello to H3. No, no, H3. Uh, These are the chefs. All right. I regret Say hello to Ethan. Hey, Jimmy, just explain. Uh, it. Jimmy, just explain that you have histrionic Hi, personality the disorder. Brothers, they just got out, Zach. The Melendez brothers. They <laughs> oh are out. All right. Get out. Oh, stop. Stop. This just, is Dylan. We got to close the stream. This is Dylan. Dylan, say hi to Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Jimmy, can and you now you're Jimmy, say hello to Anna again? Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, is that machine gun Rocky or Ethan. Kelly? Wish Cam a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Tell Cam to go on a vacation. Say Cam yeah. go on a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I already booked my he's, he's not listening. Yeah. Not listening. Yeah. Jimmy, can you ask him if they have a large oh, cane bad. anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy! They have the cocaine. Can you hear me they or don't what? Have a large cane. They have the cocaine. Jimmy! He's purposely ignoring you. He's gone rogue. All right. Dan, where'd I'm you here. go? We need to cut this shit out. He went to, he had to, he couldn't leave. watch it. I he had to get up. Why would he leave at this point? Kitchen. We need him now. Dan! You don't need to make you another leaving your post, dude, Stop during war, bro. Stop with the king I'm, I need you to cut That's it off. He's in the kitchen asking where's their papers. <laughs> He's asking about the <laughs> That's a classic. Okay, Zach wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Jim, you got to apologize for that joke, the papers one. I just did. Apologize to the chefs panic. and just explain to them that you have histrionic personality disorder, so they know I did. you didn't I mean told it. them that I was told to do it by Zach, the, the King Jew. And, okay, just, uh, just, they accepted just, it. Sorry, sorry, everybody. Zach is the King Jew. Yeah, we'll see you next week with my dad. Okay. <laughs> oh, now you're mad. Don't be mad. No, we're not mad. Just Dan, don't be mad. We're not mad. Just Seattle. disappointed. <laughs> yeah, we're not mad. Just disappointed. I thought we yeah. worked on this, Jimmy. I, you, we had you in here. You had a new set, like. I thought this was going to be the new uh, Jimmy Lee. I, I had a great so time. Ethan, I can answer any technical question about Jimmy Lee. I've known him since 1980. Okay, interesting. Oh, so he just went know. back in the kitchen and asked the chefs if they have their paperwork. What do you think about that? It's a classic. It's you know, a classic. You know, you know he's right. going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. He has certain things he can't help but say. Yeah, because... So, I'm the best man. I, I'm this. I was the best man at Jimmy's wedding. So I, okay. I, I wow. Know so, so you have a high tolerance. And you know who? The, you know the real star is his wife, who's still with him. You yeah, know? I know. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> That's actually fun. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Any, you... any questions you can ask me offline? So okay. Here, here's yeah. Jimmy. Okay, good. We'll, we we'll... do love you, and if we offended anybody, we didn't do. We wanted to be fun, have some fun today, and entertain the folks. You know, and can you just do me? A fi- you know what would make me feel better, Jimmy? Yes. Just go back to the chefs and just apologize for the papers joke. Do it. All right, come on, Raj. You gotta go. I got to bring security. And in. just you Hold can on. just yeah, just tell them you know you're sorry, and uh, you know. Well, we gotta find them. Where's Peppy? Yeah. Did you guys see well, that that one here. chef the was? One guy. No, it's. It's not the guy. The guy we saw, he's just, not here. Just go back That's in the, the kitchen. Chef. They're just right. there, there. Well, no, you can't eat and go all the way back because they they get mad. You can't go back where all the oh, other people are. You can go yeah, in right. front of the kitchen. Yeah. Somebody wants to say hello from um, Afghanistan. 
<laughs> Wait, you're back at the there table. He, is, he won't go and apologize. Jimmy, you won't apologize. You go in there and say the offensive thing, but you won't. I can't find the guy. Oh, oh come on. Hey, we were only kidding around with you. Come here. That's the guy. Hold on. We were only joking with you. We're on a podcast. We were only, no, we were only teasing you. This? Yeah. August Diamond. There he is. What's, your, guy, name? Not What's your name? Miguel? Miguel, you're a good yeah, guy. We were only yeah. joking. Yeah. Yeah. We're yes. only teasing. You, you We're just, just say, joking. No, you didn't say. No, yeah. no, no. That's not an apology, Jimmy. Hold We're on. sorry. We're just joking around. No, he knows. He's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's right. cool. All right. Ever since the Spanish American right, War, everybody's good. Hang up. It's all done. Oh God, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, my they God. surrendered, and it's all over. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, you can just hang up then. and deal with that later. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my God, Jimmy Lee, everybody. <laughs> Horrible. I thought he was reformed. Yeah, it, he yeah. has completely lost his way, man. He's relapsed. He is totally relapsed. He's back on the wagon. Yeah, comedically, yeah. he has relapsed. God, that was brutal, man. I think Who's it's ready for our big Jimmy episode next week. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Jimmy, to- he got so, he got a big head. He missed her showtime now. I'll t- it's because he's on the Instagram now. He's on Cameo now. He's on Cameo. Yeah. He's on Instagram. He got a couple of fans with, he picked up on social well, he's media. he's with his buddies too. They you know what I mean? Again. They might not be a good influence. Jimmy just sent me a question mark. <laughs> I'm cutting off the photoshops for now. Cam, no you got damage control on that? Dude. That was nice that they sang you happy birthday, though, Cam. Yeah, well, thank you. That was thank kind you. of touching, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The Photoshops are still on pause, though, but thank you for the birthday wishes. Damn, man. That was rough, dude. I didn't expect them to go straight with the show me the papers, and then I thought, mm, I've made a terrible mistake. Right. <laughs> <sighs> well, we never asked him to do that. Go back I honestly kitchen. didn't expect that one. I should have, though. That's a doozy. Well, let's move on. <laughs> well, this is off the All rails, our... so nobody can oh, be mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our Spanish-speaking audience is saying, adios, adios, adios. <laughs> adios, adios, adios? <laughs> that's fucking good. In the words of Jimmy, that's actually pretty funny. You can, audio, you can use audio, that one, Jimmy. Audio. Uh, someone said, Kirsten said, racism is not funny. Please stop giving him a platform. If he does have history on a personality disorder, this is only hurting him and en- enabling. Well, uh, you're right. We th- we work. We thought we could reform him, and he's 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 relapsed. You know what I mean? Aye. But uh, we're we're trying to te- we're trying to make him a better man. You know. Trying to teach him. <laughs> he was doing so great, too. <laughs> he was. He he really was making progress. He was doing fit. But then this is just, you know. But you know what's going to be interesting? Because next week he's going to meet with my dad. And my dad is very PC. He's very, like, he doesn't tolerate racist jokes and shit like that. He'll get, like, he'll confront them if it goes down. So it'll be interesting to see how the oh two boy. of them get along. Those parks are going to fly. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll give my dad instructions to not let racist jokes fly by him. Mm-hmm. That'll be fucking real interesting, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone said, it's not that the racism is funny. It's the fact that he is an unteachable unte- boomer. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's actually a racist. I think he's just uh, a terminally... Uh, he's got Libra in him. <laughs> terminally... Boomer, yeah, he's a terminal boomer. Terminally. 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 Nice. All right, well, nice, thanks, nice, Jimmy, nice. for the call. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Let's move on to a, a fun segment we've got here today. Oh, yeah, and so obviously um, Jimmy Lee and my dad had a powwow that was totally off the rails. Let me pull up the picture. Uh, where was that photo? Jimmy Lee posted a pretty crazy photo. It's great, but also pretty crazy. It's going to take a lot of editing, you guys. These guys are not tra- media savvy. They're not trained, uh, right? Cameron, you may. how long do you think you're going to need for that one? Probably like at least like two weeks, right? <laughs> I could probably get it done by later next week. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Um, but it was. I think it's going to end up being something really good. Where's the picture you posted with my dad? He took it down already? Oh, let me see. Or did he just post that much? He uh, just. Oh my God! He does post <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's that, a lot, dude. Yeah, here they are, the two legends. 
we had to paint. Well, Jimmy didn't have his hair makeup, so we provided the hairline for him. And then, you know, I didn't want to make him feel bad because my dad has a pretty good hairline for his age. And uh, I didn't want anyone to feel oh, conscious, so we filled in my dad's hair a little bit, too. I've fallen, and I the can't special. get up. There you have it. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be he, crazy. Did you notice that he made his hairline a little bit darker there, too, to make it seem more natural? Yeah, Jimmy did he Photoshop it a little bit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> Love that for him. Uh, but he was a he was a trooper, man. Oh, you know what's crazy? We met Jimmy's kids. They were here. He has two, like, I would say upper teen or one of them's 22 and one of them's like a teenage. Upper. One's in uh, 22 in college becoming a dentist and then the other just graduated high school. Super nice guys. Well adjusted. His sons were great. Yeah. Cra which was nuts. I was like, how the fuck do you guys come from Jimmy Lee? Like super well adjusted, his nice wife, his dudes. His wife must be a saint. He, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my dad, my dad can't. Sam, you might be funny to, uh, to know this. My dad has been unable to get the color out of his hair. <laughs> he said he washed it four times. <laughs> I keep telling him to send me a picture, but he won't do it. He said he's out at a Dodger game and he says, <laughs> he's like, I refuse to <laughs> take off my hat. Wait, hold on. He said he sent a picture. It said and... that it lasts through the next wash. I don't know if that means it goes away after the next wash Here, or let, if it... Let like, me send you... There's a few that need to happen. I have one photo. He said he washed his hair four times, so I don't know. I mean, it looked good, so I mean... Pull that up, Dan? Yeah. Uh, well, I think it looks pretty sweet when he tried to wash it out. It looks like he's got like kind of a cool auburn thing going on here. Oh, that does look good. Look at his slick ass. Here. Oh, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. I agree. He's being dramatic. And in the role of a lifetime. Gary, Gary Klein in the role Gary, of... Gary. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's good. <laughs> Gary. In the Gary. role of a lifetime. And in the role of a lifetime. Gary. Gary. <laughs> that's awesome. But okay, enough about that. Let's move on to what everybody's waiting for. Speaking of my dad. So I'm not ready. I, I'm not sure I know I'm ready for this. The elderlies. So the backstory here, of course, is that everyone had this bright idea with Jimmy Lee being, you know, the character he is. We says, let's see what happens when my dad meets Jimmy Lee. Now, how long did we film for it, Ian? It was like, must have been like three hours, right? Uh, yeah, around there. Yeah, something like that. So we had games prepared for them quizzes, tests, and a surprise call, which will shock you. That's in this edit, right, Cam? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> I've fallen, and I can't get up. I'm nervous to show this, guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> so they came. This is a 10-minute edit of the three hours. Like I said, the two, full two-hour unabridged version, director's cut is on for members or will be to be clear or or will be okay yeah. and so i don't know what was the experience like for you guys because at one moment i had to step out to do the first week feast i was there in the beginning and end do you guys want to put some context to this i <laughs> somebody else is probably huh? listen i i <laughs> i have to come clean <laughs> jimmy lee huh? is my kryptonite man i i i can't <laughs> I can't with that man. I really, really? can't. And I mean, I know he knows that because every time he sees me, he's like, oh, this guy hates me, doesn't he? And I have to be like, no. But it's not really so much hate, Jimmy, as much as like, I can't be in the same room as you for longer <laughs> than like two minutes. Like, you're just, you're just a singularity of cringe for me. Like, and, and I, I have a high tolerance for cringe, but I don't know. It's just something about Jimmy yeah. is just really... <laughs> It was it was nice meeting. It's brutal. It was brutal. It was oh yeah, his kids were there. Yeah, it was nice meeting. His kids them. were really nice. Super and totally well adjusted. Very nice. Absolutely. Nice. No, he's an enigma. I don't know. I uh, I oh. don't. I it's got all be the the mother, as far yeah, as yeah. She like, must be. Yeah, he says yeah. she's a saint. Everybody yeah. Really yeah. and I yeah. and I absolutely believe it. And yeah, again, it's not it's not that I hate the man. I I do think he has a good heart, but it's just the the just giga level of unawareness that he possesses mm. is just it's kryptonite yeah. to me like i just can't well we gotta cam and i have to deal with it 
when we go home because he texts us still yeah. uh, uh, 30 times a day the same fucking picture that we've seen a million times. Yeah, he was trying to get my phone number. I said, absolutely not. You will never get my phone number, Jimmy. <laughs> and he just, he spams us. And it's just getting to a point where it's it's very frustrating. No, I mean, I, d I don't mind talking to him when he's out of character as much, but, you know, he does, he does send a lot to us. He's always and on, I don't, though. I just ignore a lot of... Yeah. No, I mean, when he when he was when the cameras were off and he was over here talking to his family, he was a nice he was a nice right. Very nice yeah, person. personally, I like him, but I like it, Jimmy. Yeah, it is, it is a lot. I had to walk away, and I have to commend Ian for really like taking charge with this segment because I, I a few of us just kind of deal with it. I don't think we had to keep leaving in different uh, at different times. Yeah. The th my my problem with Jimmy at this point is that we invested a lot in this whole redemption arc for Jimmy. People said it couldn't be done. And yet, should have listened. <laughs> and that yet we did, we did, we tried, and there was a moment where he was redeemed. It did seem that way. And we were all on board with the Jimmy train. And then he posts this video what? on Instagram, that and a bunch of other stuff. And he goes, "This was kind of the a big factor in this video, where he says, I can I say the M word? Is that I can say it in context of it, this, right? What of the little people slur?" Oh, the M word. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I could say that, right? He goes, he goes, I, man, I hate midgets. He has this whole bit. And we're like, Jimmy, you can't say that word. You have to say little people. And also just don't, look, it's just a weird thing, bro. Like, I hate midgets, man. Well, the other thing is I think he's adapted a little bit of an ego now. Right, he's big time. Right. Uh, so it's a lot. <laughs> on top of his histrionic uh, personality disorder, as he would say. So anyway, um, we tried to confront him on that, and like the whole thing was like, dude, there's certain brands of comedy you just have to stop doing. And, you know, everyone thought I said N-word. No, 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 no. Back it up. Uh, <laughs> I was that M, 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 M. M, M. Mike. Michael. Michael. Mega. Marshall Mathers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. M Mama M and M. Yes, yeah, so um y'all thought I was about to drop that N bomb, huh? <laughs> well, I just misheard you. After we barely survived the weekend, if you guys know what I mean. Yeah. I didn't even want to say it anymore. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's, but if yeah. you know, you know. I'm just happy to be here, guys. <laughs> I'm <Dilla. laughs> So funny. He goes, I th I everyone, everyone heard the N word. Thank you, Carlos. That's Is that Carlos, you right? emphasizing the, the mm yeah. sound? Okay, got it. How did you identify that? So I can. Like... I know it's Carlos <laughs> just from that one like yeah, no, me too. split second. <laughs> and you know the problem is that we really thought we were making progress, and then he just busts down the door with like just super offensive stuff, and it's like Jimmy, I just don't know. I don't know if we can do it. Dude, he walked in uh, making an uh, uncomfortable joke. What did he say? Uh, it was towards Lena, right, A.B.? Wait, what? What did he say, Lena? <laughs> Lena, what did he tell you? I forget. He asked if I'm Arab, and I said yes, and he put his hands up like that. Okay, oh, yeah. he goes, don't shoot. Oh, he goes, that's, he goes, a, that's a classic. He that's said, a don't cla shoot. And then yeah. he, he does that to any minority. And then he, says, <laughs> he said something about Sam, too. What did he, Wait, was, what? Did he, oh... He just asked if I'd ever heard of the sun. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all. That's all classic, Jimmy. Because <laughs> I'm pale. I don't know. There's Is no that, turning him off. Were, were you offended by that, Lena? No, I. I yeah. It was expected. Yeah, you expect. <laughs> kind of expect that harassment when Jimmy's around. But he, that's kind of a that's a funny bit because he literally says that to any minority. It's like, bro, think about what you're actually saying. Every minority is a criminal. Hey, don't rob me. What are you Mexican? Hey. Don't shoot. <laughs> and then his thing is a uh, son's bitch. It's son's bitch. I hate midges, man. Them sons of bitches. Sons of bitch. Sons bitch. Sons I, bitch. I think he was making progress after we talked to him. Yes. And then he started on Cameo and started to get more people who probably were encouraging him to mm. make distasteful jokes about their friends. And then right. he's like, oh, people love this shit. I'm going back yeah. to the Don Rickles. The the Style. the off the rails he called in the first time in the restaurant that was gold that was fantastic he wasn't offending anyone so funny it was it was great and then it just kind of went downhill from there.
I think you're onto something, AB. And also, he's getting lots of DMs with people like tell me a joke, and yeah. then they get posted to the subreddit. Right. So I don't know. What do you, you guys tell me? We'll have to take a poll. Let's do a poll right now, and then after the segment. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you yeah. like Jimmy Lee? Yes or no? Right. Just simple. <laughs> And my poor dad, man. I hope he. I hope he got out of this. Okay. I thought my dad. For the most part, he was fine. It was all all Jimmy. Okay. And it's okay. just again there, there is, a moment, and unfortunately, it might be the worst moment. It was bad. I remember. Thing. It was but... bad. Hold it. It was so bad. Do you like Jimmy Lee? Yes. No. I, I think your dad looked at it more of like he was a guest here and he was hosting him and was trying to make him feel comfortable at different points. Well, I'll be honest, we hit him with a, uh, don't I don't it. know if it's a gotcha, but it was what? what did I do? That wasn't me. I don't know. They said don't spoil it. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm giving context. They're right, though. Like, it's better if it just happens. I'm voting yes, even though, you know. It's very split. We're at 50, about 50-50. Okay, so there you go. The majority are saying yes. So, Jimmy, that's pretty good. 51% saying yes. I mean, that's that's powerful stuff. So let's watch this, and then we'll do a poll afterwards and see if it if it moved any minds here. I guess, let me end the poll because I don't want people voting during this. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. We want to keep this pure. All right, guys, without further ado, it's The Elderlies starring Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, and Gary Klein. Here we go. Hey, Gary, Jimmy Lee, very nice to meet you. Gary Klein, I am Ethan's father. Great to meet you. Very nice to meet you. We're going to have to, you know, go in to do the hair makeup, get the hairline right, the makeup right. Little powder, little paint makes me what I ain't. Okay. How about you joining in and doing it with me? That'd be great. I don't need help with the hairline, okay. but the rest of the stuff definitely uh, I could use. So let's let's do it. Okay, let's go. The viewing gars in about two hours for both of us. Okay. No pain yet. Throw dirt on you Tuesday, they bury me Wednesday. I, I actually did some research on you because I, I couldn't actually believe you were a dentist, and it's not going to come as a surprise to you, but you are actually a dentist. With I three, wasn't aware. I was practices. I was aware I had histrionic personality disorder, <laughs> but I wasn't aware I was a dentist. The first of Do many. Do you know, Gary, what histrionic personality disorder is? Well, I could probably make a good guess. Uh, you tend to be histrionic all the time. Gary, you look marvelous. It looks just like you. Well, thank you. I <laughs> feel at least six months younger now. Three. Al. Two. One. Jimmy, do you not know the numbers? Three, two, one. There we go. One, two, three. No! <laughs> Olivia! I knew not to let you do my hairline. I'm about to lose all my gray. I want Gary non-gray for this episode. Olivia, no, no lower. Well, I'm going to hold it. Is it even right now? That's it, Olivia. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> all right. Oh. No, Ethan! <laughs> it's pretty good. So hold on. <laughs> it's too low. Well, thank you. Dan, it's too low. <laughs> Gary's Gary's not gray anymore. Gary. Gary looks fucking I look like I have something on my head. I'm not sure what it is. Welcome, everybody, to The Elderlies, starring Gary Klein and Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw. Two of the great comedic minds, uh, comedy titans, meet together at last. To get you guys acquainted, we have arranged a little game, poll one card, and it's going to explain. Make an assumption about me. I assume you're a dentist. I assume you're uh, someone with a great hairline. I assume you got a cool L.A. shirt just yes. to wear out here for the trip. Correct. And uh, I assume you're going to have a great time out here in Los Angeles. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Well, My wife's. Okay. So pleasant. <laughs> Think of something that you dislike that most people love. Zach's personality. Beach balls at a baseball game. Yes. Now, so now I want you guys to create a secret handshake together. Change. One, two, two three, three, and then four. And that's just Jimmy and Gary's handshake. <laughs> there is 
a house in New Orleans. Ooh. They call the rising sun. Taking care of business and working overtime. Zach, work out. Get that guitar, Zach. Ooh, the hair dye boy. is not affecting our memory. The hair yet. dye is not <laughs> affecting our memory. Under the laptop in front of Gary are instructions on how to open the show document. Hey, Kolb, go get my readers. I'll help Gary. I can't see. My I'm readers. I'm fallen, and I can't get up. That's Adobe, Gary. <laughs> Now what do we do? By the way, start to how, how long did it take them to get logged in? I think it was like, Cam, do you, was it like 10 minutes? Uh, hold on, I'll look. Maybe longer. Yeah, I mean, all they had to do was the both of them together had to log into a Gmail account and open a doc. Yeah, which... Which they, is great because my dad was specifically making fun of my mom when she couldn't, you know, do that test. True. And there was the two of them. My dad goes, when I saw him the week, he goes, dude, it's like, you know, I just, I'm not used to the Chromebooks, you know, it really threw me off. I was like, oh, please. <laughs> I just love how they ended up on Adobe. <laughs> and on the yeah. Adobe website somehow. Yeah. Anyway. So well, far, was, so good, right? Uh, yeah, it's going great. What could possibly go wrong? So far, so minutes? good. Everyone's having a good time. Here we go. Go. Uh, Zach, I love you. I love you more. You like my hairline, Zach? It's fantastic, Jimmy. It's receding like my jokes. Hey. But Gary, I'll say to you, I hope you jump on your bike and there's no seat. And that could hurt a mother. No, Dan, he's not going to hurt his mother. Just take a Viagra and chill. Okay? Gary, today, you finally found the rabbi and you said, I'll join him, and you went and became a Jew. Wonderful to meet you. <laughs> Jimmy, I got to ask. So you said that your issue with people these days is that they're a little too sensitive. Is that what you said? Yes. We've prepared a little something. Listen, you're shrinking. Did you take Preparation H? I hate fucking midgets, man. I don't want anybody sniffing around my fly unless they're serious. <laughs> yeah, I need to confront you on something, okay? I know which one it was. Which one? I don't like midgets, Ethan. I'm oh, sorry. I can't stop hide it. my feel. Don't get mad. I just never liked them. <laughs> The word midgets is very offensive, okay? We don't use that word anymore. I thought funny. it was a pretty good joke. Jolly Roger liked it. Pretty funny. Yeah. It's just an old style joke. That's sure, really sure, what it was. Sure. What'd you think of that, Gary? All right, so <laughs> we're basically, we planned the intervention for the, for the whole midget thing. And I was expecting my dad, you know, to kind of, ride for the social issue he thought that was a highlight reel he's clapping so <laughs> uh, just praise yourself guys go easy on my dad please some classic offensive humor i i think it's very clever and very smart because if you're going to go after a my minority new group who is less apt to hurt you than midgets yeah. or little people right you what make fun of other groups they have big Serious, threatening people, not midgets. What are they going to do? Come up and kick you in the knee or something? That's uh... okay. I'm really glad you said that, Gary, because <laughs> yeah. we actually. Okay, so clearly he <laughs> failed. He failed the test. But actually, the worst part is, guys, uh, what comes next? And boy, just notice their face. I mean, I. And in the role of a lifetime, Gary. All right, I'm just going to play it. Everybody, tighten your sphincter. <laughs> actually have a little person on the call. They've been listening. And so Dan is going to bring them in right now, and we can sort of open a dialogue here. <laughs> okay. So this is Aubrey. <laughs> So far, so good. <laughs> Gary, uh, Gary, uh, Gary. Uh, Hello, Aubrey. Hi, Gary. How, How you are you doing? How you doing, kid? Yeah, love you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Even though you think I would come up and kick you in the shins. Well, oh. I have pretty low shins, too, so. It's... And you, you guys are both pretty short, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be coming out to our community. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, Aubrey, a comedian who wrote to us uh, a few weeks ago. They posted on the subreddit, actually. Uh, so he posted on the subreddit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. And he was saying that, you know, 
he could talk to us about this whole Jimmy Lee midget arc. Right. Little people arc. And so we had planned this call in, and the setup was just really, really rough, man. Uh, but here it goes. Let's see if, if in the, either of them are going to learn anything. Let's see. Shout out Aubrey, by the way. Shout out. Oh, yeah, here's the post. Maybe Many of you may have seen it. It says, Ethan, I'm an actor with dwarfism. I'm currently making a documentary comedy series special about a disability hate group on YouTube that's been cyberbullying me for over a year named Jimmy Lee. <laughs> right. Just kidding. I would love to call in tomorrow during the Tippy Toes segment and chat about Jimmy's... Oh, right. The post was actually about the tip. Right, thing. which, which then as you guys know... We, we knew we had this Jimmy thing planned, and so it ended up working out for that. He says, I want to chat about Jimmy's little people phobia and do some dwarfism representation. So we, we knew we wanted to get him on the show. This is him, legend. And uh, this, is, this is what we did, and I'm so sorry. To him, of course. Yeah, to him. But let's see, does he break through? Let's see. Um, Jimmy, the comments that you made, you weren't really serious. Like, you're not actually, you don't actually dislike little people, right? This is a, an act. It's exactly, a, it's an act, exactly. And I'm a loving, big hearted, nice guy that does a comedy act, and I don't mean anything I say. No, it's just Jimmy, intended Jerry. to laugh at ourselves, Aubrey. That's all it is. Right. No, yeah, I am. I love, how, me, I, <laughs> I love how Jimmy's thing is always. We got to laugh at ourselves. It's like, you know, you're, who's ourselves? <laughs> you're consistently slamming other people only. I've been performing since in the entertainment industry, in the circus since I was four. Now I do stand up comedy. I trust me, I was not offended. And I think I could tell it wasn't really a serious comment to me. No. Do you actually know any people with dwarfism? I you have know? patients. Okay, who are little people. And I didn't do that joke on them, Aubrey, in the office, by the way. Oh, I know, Jim. Because <laughs> I'm a dentist in the office, not the comedian. You do come from a very different generation where there was very different representations, obviously, of little people. Even medically speaking, doctors used to still use the word midget, even though there is no such thing as a midget. We are people with dwarfism, and there's hundreds of types of dwarfism. So my only question was just if you do know little people and you're not really scared of them, but do you see how maybe that would have like real-world implications? for a group that has no representation I that understand. is ever shown in a sexual or violent manner. Like, so I'm saying, even just as a comedian, I really just don't think that's the lane you want to go down. Okay, I got I you. Do you see how it's nothing about if I find it offensive? I understand. I don't think you're that person, but as someone who's literally making a movie right now about how YouTube allows people to follow us around who sometimes are minors and go around calling us all of these names, but that aren't even names that a reflective of a medical condition, literally just a slur. Like, I just figure that you are someone who doesn't actually hate little people. I and don't hate anybody. And um, Zach's been telling me to quit for years. I may have to take his advice. <laughs> I don't think you should quit, but I definitely think you should realize that comedy can be sustained without literally using someone else as a punching bag. I and got I think, you. What do you feel? You can be honest, Jimmy. No, You're I have a, plenty of other jokes. I don't have to use the midget joke. Everyone can be joked about. I just think it's the offhandedness and the fact that you're just quick to move on to another joke where I get followed in stores and I have someone online literally who's been stalking and threatening and harassing me just because I have dwarfism. He calls it Midget Wednesday. And I just don't what think you would want to be associated with no, that. No, I don't. I'm going to let that one go. Jimmy, this is an iconic conversation then, you realize. <laughs> well, I'm not ever going to do a little people joke again. We're going to knock that off the dock. We're letting it go after listening to you. Can you look at me without your sunglasses and give that to me in the camera? We're swearing off little people jokes. <laughs> oh, he even got you the term right. To do it that easy. <laughs> I have a zillion other jokes. I can take the little people jokes out. We appreciate, you know, your, your perspective, Aubrey. It's been very informative and enlightening, and I hope it's resonating. Like, I love talking and arguing. It's If I ever came across a certain way, please don't think. You are not offensive in the way that you talk about little people that I hear every single day. So it's not about being offended at all. It was like, harmful intended. I just do comedy. I, I love it. And again, I'm a comedian, guys. You don't know my humor, too. So you don't know. I could be just as... You can no, make fun I, of a Jew. I'm right here. Just don't shoot me. <laughs> we don't even make fun of Two Jews. Two Jews in planting a fire. Two Jews walk into there's a bar. Other, there's lots of other content out there, and that's what I would just like to say as my final. Well, thank and you. Thanks. Thank you, Aubrey. Please, please look up 
DearAdvertitePeople.com, making a documented comedy festival about that disability hate group because YouTube just doesn't care enough to protect small creators. So it's DearAdvertitePeople.com, and we're raising money right now to finish the film. Jimmy, you would love this. It's a comedy special, Jimmy. We're making fun of ourselves. We're making fun of everybody. The point is to bridge the gap between people like you and people like me. I want to say one thing. Me and Guy are going to say it together. We love you. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Thank you, guys. Aubrey, yes. thank you. Okay, it was great. Thank you great. so much, Aubrey. Thank you. Take so care. Aubrey. Good luck. Whoa, that, that went thank better you. than I thought. I mean, Jimmy basically, well, I think, okay, there was a lot of finessing. <laughs> There's a lot. You actually finessed that to making it look like Jimmy learned a valuable lesson. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bumpy conversation, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of back, back and forth. I had to cut a lot for the sake of brevity, but it'll be in the final um, cut there. But that was nice. But ultimately, in the end, actually, there was some progress with uh, Jimmy there swearing off little people jokes, even using the correct term there. You got that? You got to see his reaction at the end, though, after they... All right, up. here we go. Let's see. Beard purged. Why'd you do it? Oh, that's not what I wanted. You too, guys. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Oh. Now, I think I need to take my Metamucil. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker, you need to take your Metamucil. Am I allowed to use the toilet before we go to our next segment? Sure, yes. I may throw up. Oh, don't. Yeah, then definitely <laughs> go in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, it's stressful poor, for poor old Jimmy. He's going to shit and puke. <laughs> I guess you did a pretty, you did a generous job of cutting that together there, Cam. So well, I don't know. Like I don't you said, know. the final cut has the full context and everything, so. Cam Grant, sing with everyone's up, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was some excellent editing, I must say, Cam. It yeah, was a... Shout out to Cameron, who basically conversation, yeah. did the impossible. Yeah. Thank you. All right, well, let's do a poll then and see, uh, I think... I think I was expecting worse. I think maybe uh, this didn't hurt. Uh-oh, this was Jimmy two days ago. Oh, no. No, he did this two days ago? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This, so we put, we ha he had this conversation last week. So this was a few days after the intervention. And he posted, I hate them midgets. Jimmy, what the fuck? We almost had another redemption arc. I hate them midgets, man. Oh, shit. All right, well, just to give you guys context. He has not learned his lesson. What happened to the Jimmy Lee fan meetup? Uh, do you want me to get him on the line? I mean, <laughs> so Jimmy was going to do a fan meetup at 2, which is fucking hilarious in Atlantic City, and I was so sure nobody would show up. <laughs> or maybe, like, one person. I don't know. I wanted to have him report live from the fan meetup. Okay. Um, here's some of his posts about it. He's been hyping this up, eh? Jimmy Lee, fanfare in Atlantic City this Friday. Deep fried meme. <laughs> Man, the guy doing his posts is a fucking menace. Dude. <laughs> Where are you going to be? Bad boy. Bad boy Jimmy Lee, live at Atlantic City. Wait. Does he say where to meet him? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's just a generic... Are you just serious? In somewhere in Atlantic City. Is fan fair a place? Because he says, bad boy... <laughs> thank you. Bad boy Jimmy Lee, Atlantic City, Friday at fan... Or he says fanfare. Hmm. The thing about Jimmy Lee on the streets is it's, it's not hard to find him. You know? True. You, you're gonna find, run into him eventually, whether you like it or not. All right, well let's let's get him on the line. I just I want to know how his day's been going. If he's run into any fans, what Jimmy went after Arab World News? Yeah, and he made a camel joke. We're all come on. To an actual I'm Egyptian. I'm so fucking. Oh god. I'm so sick of it. That shit. How dare he? Yeah, Arab World News is like an angel. We're not worthy of him. Where's his camel at? Shut up. I dare you. I'm he really learns nothing. He yeah, does. I'm fucking mega over Jimmy. I'm not. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. Right, I I was just captivated by the idea of a fan meetup for him. I, it is a problem that he does not learn. 
<laughs> yeah. It's quite unfortunate. All right, do you want to talk to Jimmy Lee? Bring him on. We'll make it fast, guys. Don't worry. We'll, right, we'll, keep, we'll keep on a short leash here. <laughs> Artistic. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy is, we're seeing the oh, side of a building. Window. Some kind of scaffolding. Okay. What? Oh, wow. Look at that hairline. <laughs> that was a good entrance. I love that. Okay, hold it, guys. Hold it, guys. Guys. Hold on. Hold on. What the? Put the new glasses on. Jimmy is... Hold on. Hold on, Easton. Okay. Great. Jimmy is calling in from his Atlantic City fan meetup. He calls Here, it Bill. fanfare. <laughs> And I just, he looks like he's at a hotel pool, not a great place to <laughs> congregate. <laughs> I think you forgot to flip the oh, camera. Oh, who's that? <laughs> oh, Wait, is it the beach? She be that way. How do you flip it? How do you flip it? <laughs> yeah. He's asking the hotel. <laughs> oh wait, are Hold these fans or hotel Bro, staff? <laughs> he paid them. Yeah, but that's. There you go. There you go. Oh, hold on. Are these just hold patrons on. or? Oh, those are those are employees. They're all employees. Hold on, Ace. Yeah. Okay. We're all there to help. Oh no. These are our big fans worth the Hard Rock Beach Bar in Atlantic City. Morty's the manager. Hardly has a oh, they're all employed. They all Wait. work there. <laughs> guy was at the buffet. We just stole them. Is the workplace <laughs> even okay with this? Track. Zach used to run with them. You know what I mean? Is they, no, it's not, they're, I'm sure they're not. That's, they be work. <laughs> That's like half the pool staff. <laughs> we got a security guard. Abraham Lincoln's younger brother. Right what? Oh my god. Maybe okay, we should, maybe we should abort? Him. Yeah. Can we just bail on this? Because he's not going to let me get a word in. For... Ethan, Ethan, what's going on? The outlaw's here. So, Jimmy, I just wanted to check in. He's got to get away from the music. <laughs> on the fan meetup. Um... Let me lower the music. Hold on. Oh, my God. It, it's You're not the we only person there, Jimmy. we do that all Jimmy. over again. Hold on, Ethan. We're going to cut the music. Jimmy, you're Just not the, the, the restaurant to yeah. cut. No, 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 no. Jimmy, you're not the only <laughs> person Step there, man. I'd like to He'll film you. Just walk away. Ethan, you got a fan here. He wants to ask you something. Go ahead. Um, how's your day? What's his name? What's your name? My name's Sabil. Do you have Sabil. any idea who Jimmy Lee is? No. Nah. Right. Cool. Run. <laughs> Get away fast. I've met him, but I'm already a fan. He's a fan. He heard some really corny jokes. Mm -hmm. Get away and fast, my friend. Fan. Apparently, I'm gay. And he's gay. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So, Zach, Zach, you're going to get along with him perfect. I think we got to cut it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, Have fun. Is that it? <laughs> I think so. Well, I just wanted to know how your fan. You cut the jersey out? Oh. I just wanted to know how the fan meetup is going, but it doesn't seem that they even know who you well, are. Well, it was medium today. It wasn't as big as I wanted. I'm not gonna lie. Well, medium implies that anyone was there. Was there anyone? Well, we had Ian, who's a big TikToker. We ran into him. He's a fan. I'm a fan. We ran into the Bruno Mars, who, who's a, who's appearing at the Hard Rock. We got a picture with him. And now we're at the beach bar. So it was a handful. It wasn't as many as we anticipated. And you, Bobby's here. You mentioned Bobby Shades. He's a big TikToker from uh, New Jersey. J Jimmy told me he hired security for this. Did you hire security, Jimmy, for this fan meetup? Uh, we hired security, and he got stuck in traffic on the expressway. <laughs> no. And that's the truth. Can I, I, mean, um, can I ask you a question? I looked what? over your post to announce the fan meetup. I don't think you ever said an address. Could that be a problem? <laughs> no, I said Atlantic City. What? what, that's, all, what? that's not a specific that's place. That's a city. Uh, yeah. Next time I need specifics. I think you're right. Yeah, Atlantic I City. Jesus. Zach, Zach, that's your fault. What? How is it my fault? <laughs> Because you're my promoter, you didn't tell no, me. No, I do not condone anything you do. Yeah. You know, you well. know to you know to help me. So honestly, it was okay today. It wasn't as much as we thought. Right. That's okay. Bruno Mars showed up. I, that is hey, I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm being honest with you. What? Okay. Uh, Ethan, go, go I ahead. sent you, I sent you five <laughs> T-shirts yesterday. Jimmy. 
It's a city of half a million. How do you expect people to find you? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't using my noodle. Noodle. Mm. I have histrionic personality disorder. I oh, forgot. Really? Right, right, right. Hey, <laughs> Dan, you're getting your shirts next week. I even got one for Dan who hates me. I really do. You're an asshole. I know. Oh, don't say that. I know, and I'm all right with it, Dan. It took me a while to accept it. Okay, but good. I'm cool. Glad Dan, you know. Come on. Jersey Outlaw loves H three H three. All right. All right. Cool. Ha all right. Well, <laughs> how, what? What? So you're out there on vacation? What? Are you just having a good time? We're uh, we're here with uh, Doc Greg and me, and we're having some dinner. We're going down to El Molino in a bit of a little while. And we were just relaxing today. We were on the boardwalk. They have a big uh, country music festival. So we came down because we figured it would be busy. And it is very busy. But a lot of people going to the concert. Right. Cool. So. Well. It is what it is. It sure is. All right, Jimmy. Well, you take care, okay? You have All right. a fun time. Hey, say hi. Say hi to Gary Klein. I certainly <laughs> will. And make sure that you bring security when you go to that concert. I don't want you to get mobbed. All right, and yeah. uh, I love your support, love you guys, and I appreciate it. When you get your shirts, reach out to me. Let me know you have them. Okay, I all right. Bye. Thank you. Okay, all right. We'll be looking out. Love for you. Them. Thank all right, love you. you too, Jimmy. All right. So there it is, Jimmy out in Atlanta. Somehow City. worse than we even anticipated. Yeah. Now, do you did, really... did the guy say that he made a gay joke about him? Yeah. 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 Just like of course. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. He goes, apparently I'm gay. Yeah. But it, it's an old timey joke. And he goes, Come on, old Eli. It's old timey. It's an old school joke. And he goes, You'll get along with him great, Zach. Yeah, he he that's his yeah. shtick. He's like, Zach, you're gay. You're he just gay? keeps calling me gay, yeah. <sighs> Do you think Maybe that you're he... Arab, you got a camel. Ha <laughs> It's I, really a shame. I, it's just a shame. Mm -hmm. Look, he has histrionic personality <laughs> disorder at the end of the day. <laughs> I guess he does. Uh -huh. I have a question. Do you guys really think he went there with security for a band meetup and never said the address? <laughs> yeah, that, I think so. That, he, how could yeah. you, that sounds true. That's how could you pretty weird. say the address? He said, uh, what was it, Atlantic City, three to six. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. Come find me. <laughs> I can't, no, be, no, I I can't be real, Jimmy. I mean, the man is a working dentist. I think he got the, the idea because uh, apparently last weekend he went to Atlantic City and he did run into some fans of the show. Oh, you know what I think maybe so he, he was thought thinking? he would just run into people? Right. I know what he was thinking. He's so famous mm -hmm. that the whole of, of Atlanta City will be on the lookout for Jimmy Lee. Mm -hmm. Right. People yeah. will be shouting out of their windows, running yeah, down after him. Cars will be pulling over. And that's why he brought the security, uh, because he expected pandemonium. I heard that uh, he didn't even want to send us T-shirts at he, first. Yeah, we had to bend his arm for the T-shirts. He, yeah. he, he said he was going to hook us up with T-shirts at first. And then we all gave him our sizes. And then Zach was asking him, hey, where's the T-shirts at, Jimmy? And then he said, work with me. <laughs> and then he's like, uh, what did he say, Zach? He, he couldn't afford the shirts at the end of this? No, it was he... I, I forgot what it was exactly, but it was some. He didn't want to. He didn't want to send them, because he has to buy the shirts. He didn't want to buy us the shirts at first. This dude drives a Rolls Royce and owns like five dentistry offices. And all the shirts are. They like won't H3 send us BMW. fucking shirts. Hey, don't push, Dan. Yeah, don't push. Exactly. It's all using my IP. Yeah. He uses my fucking picture in his Instagram <laughs> posts. Oh yeah. I fucking despise the man. Jim, oh, come on, Dan. You you're too hard on the man. I'm not too hard. He's no, a softie. I mean, he has histrionic personality. He's not a softie. <laughs> hey, he's not a softie. He uses it, that as a defense. He's the a problem, you're ableist, Dan. You're being ableist oh right God. now. The he's gonna... problem is not learning. Like we keep telling him, this joke is racist. This joke is offensive. You know, like but it's old he can't timey. do it. And then he goes and does it again and again. Well, that I, is the problem. I hear he's problem. gonna be in Europe tomorrow from four to eight. So. You know, we'll have to find right. out. <laughs> For real. Look alive, your <laughs> Yeah, people, I see someone asking, why are you so attached to Jimmy? I don't know. You know, we have so much history together, and 
I just got a soft spot for the guy. I was happy to. I, we I wanted too. him to succeed. You know, he, we wanted this to be a success story. Well, I think with the the thing with Jimmy is when he's out of character, he really is a nice guy. Mm-hmm. I will yes, say he, yes, he, he really is. is a yeah, nice guy. Yeah, that's why it's hard. But when he goes and you know, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde type shit, he totally he yeah. he goes off the rockers. And you're right, he like, he will not change. Yeah, we've tried so many times. Sucks. Everything, it's just. Look, I think we we tried. There was a redemption arc. Everyone was loving when we got his background and stuff. If we want to, if we want to enjoy Jimmy from now on, it needs to be in small, controlled doses, and we need to accept that the man is not going to change. Like our dads and grandpas, you know, they just who they are. Okay. <sighs> Shout out Jimmy Lee, Atlanta City, eat your heart out. And that's that. That's so fucking awesome, though. <laughs> Three to six. <laughs> it is very funny that he just named an entire city. <laughs> we should do that sometime. H3 Fan Meetup this weekend, guys, here in L.A. Yep. We'll see you there. Keep your eyes peeled, <laughs> Los, An- Los Angeles. Six to ten Every in L.A. Every an H3 Meetup in L.A. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be on the... Uh... Heads up, California. <laughs> We're going to be on the continent of <laughs> South America from four to ten. Heads up, people of California, I will be somewhere in your state from three to six. (laughs) Oh, that's funny, man. That's really something. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so Jimmy Lee, as you guys know, continues to have a rough redemption arc to the point where we're pretty much swearing him off. Right, right, right. It's coming to that. But here's the last one. Dan went all out on poor Jimmy Lee. Here it is. <laughs> Dan, you're getting your shirts next week. I even got one for Dan who hates me. I really do. <laughs> you're an asshole. I know. Oh, don't. You did it. You actually did it. How are, you, how are you feeling about that now that you've sat with it for a minute? I, I feel fine with it. <laughs> I feel... I, I wouldn't. I couldn't lie to him in that moment. Yeah, you yeah. know he always does that. He always like, Dan, you hate me, and it's like I, I, I don't really like him. And but I would always be like, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to make him feel bad. But as as we'll see, I don't want to spoil anything. But there there was an incident that morning on social media with Jimmy that I had seen. That's that what we're getting to. Left a very bad taste in my mouth. And so when he said that, I I did not feel like protecting his feelings this time I okay okay so we'll get to that don't say that i know and i'm all right with it dan it took me he's made his peace with that dan though so so mm-hmm. you're good by the way do we have all the memes of people getting a- angry at us for uh, well, oh yeah we do yeah yeah in mm-hmm. fact the subreddit has been torn to it's really bit. more of a uh, civil war it is it is experience. a civil war yeah. and as you guys know a country divided cannot stand Man, as the great King. Abraham Lincoln said, and I like to always compare myself to Abraham Lincoln as much as possible. So let me be the peacemaker, or if you can't make peace, I will fucking invade you. Um, somebody says about me, Ethan pities Jimmy like Frodo pities Schmeagol. He sees a part of himself in Jimmy. <laughs> now, I don't know Does about that. Does that make that me part. Sam? I don't know about that. Because that's, that's, a, that's a W. Sam's Thank the you. shit. Sam saw no, that right makes Dan Sam. Dan now. Wise Gamgee, dude. Dan Wise Gamgee. All right. Dan Wise. I'm down Wan, for that. Wan, Wan, Wan Wise Gamgee. <laughs> so I thought this was pretty funny. I don't know that I see myself in Jimmy, though. Let's take a step back here a little bit. <laughs> I see my dad in Jimmy. Does that count? Um, it con- continues on. Another post says, We, f- we hate fucking <laughs> Hobbitses. We don't want anyone sniffing around our precious unless they're serious. Bingo! <laughs> he was having fanfare. They're having fanfare. Did you make this, Cam? Yeah, I did. This is so fucking Do funny. Do you like his spray on hairline? I love every <laughs> single thing about this. This is so clever. I'm a nerd. Bingo! We're having fanfare, Ethan. I didn't make the Reddit post, though. I just made the meme there. Okay. Uh, this one got a lot of upvotes. Um, Almost 2,000. I'm with Dan. No more Jimmy. He's just an asshole. He doesn't deserve a platform. He's not even funny. Please, for the love of God, stop having him on. <laughs> can I Can I submit that that's why he's so good? 
Like, that's what makes him great. Like we're poking the bear? Have you yeah. ever met someone like him in your life? No, he's a completely unique individual, and I'm not going to pretend like I haven't gotten a lot of laughs out of our goofs with Jimmy Lee, but when he is asking me or stating to me that I hate him, I'm not going to be like, no, I don't hate you. Yeah, I, I, I think he's a dick. Yeah, well, he asked. Sometimes don't he ask asked. questions you don't want to answer. Exactly. To uh, this top comment has a good idea. They says, I loved other Jimmy content, but today was cringe. Well... That's the that's the nature of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> they says maybe we can watch him give people root canals. That's interesting. Oh. So obviously a lot of people are against Jimmy. They stand with Dan. But here there's other ones. I love Jimmy. Six hundred points. I've been watching H three since one fucked up dentist days, and it honestly hurts me so much that the H three audience hates Jimmy. We know he's an ass that embraces himself. That's why we love him. I'm a progressive, by the way, but I can understand Jimmy isn't actually oppressing people with these shitty jokes. Whatever happened to the H3 whack pack? Peace and love. We don't use that. Where would we be without our audio? Soundbite. Audio. Sound <laughs> Hold it. Yeah, somebody said, I love Jimmy in doses, biannual doses. I I'm with you, Kyle. Kyle Brain. That's interesting. Well, guys, <laughs> yeah. when, I when I hear he's having a a fan meetup for the whole city of Atlanta. I gotta check in on. <laughs> I mean, and that's that's see, that's the new. I thought it was great. Again, I love that. I think he's an asshole. I don't like him personally, but him calling in, being at a fan meetup where he didn't tell anyone the address. That's that's comedy. fucking funny. That's he fucking did tell him. people the address. No, he didn't. No, he, he said didn't. Atlanta. He, did. he gave them Atlantic said, City. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What more? Very would you want? very clear guidelines. Guys, I will be I will be attending Earth. For the next three hours. Three to six, baby. I'll see you Come there. find me. I'll be somewhere in the Milky Way galaxy. There was a picture of the Earth on our Reddit, and it was like, photo of the next H3 meetup. <laughs> yeah, somewhere <laughs> on Earth. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy texted me this morning. His new endeavors, he's going to start doing shows. Okay. See, now that sounds fucking interesting. And he's like, he's like, Zach, you got to do the shows with me. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> doing that. Show, what does he mean by shows? Fanfare. He's doing a show. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, why do I keep doing that, idiot? Oh, wait, no, I do want to do that. Idiot. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> I agree with Dan, another one. Jimmy's an asshole. He says shitty things to people, hides behind the fact that it's a joke, then gets people into feeling bad for him when they call him out. I'm all mm -hmm. for edgy humor, but there needs to actually be a punchline. Some of the shit he says can be kind of funny, but just saying where's his camel to an air person isn't a joke. Yes. Spoiler alert, but yeah. Ethan can and should do whatever he wants with his own show. He is clearly good at what he does. Well, finally somebody says that. But I will continue skipping the vast majority of Jimmy Lee content, and I'm sick of seeing people act like people don't like edgy humor if they don't like Jimmy. I agree with that sentiment. It's not about edgy humor or not. But there you go. It's a very polarizing topic here. Um, and the, the Civil War goes even deeper than this. We're leading to something really shocking. <laughs> This was one meme. I feel like I need to defend myself a little bit here. This had 3,000 points almost. Hey, Jimmy, do your thing. H3. Tells offensive joke. Jimmy Lee. And then I get mad. But the whole the thing was we brought him on as an offensive, uh, out of his mind comic. And then we had this really promising redemption arc. And so we're in the wake of this redemption arc that has clearly failed. And I think that's where this last frame comes from, you know? So, I don't know. But maybe it's starting to feel like that, which isn't good, you know? That's not, that's not good if it feels like that. Yeah. And also, it, the label says H3, which is you, but it was really me who did that, so it's not really fair to criticize you. Maybe it's just a general label for everything that goes on here. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, if that's what's being perceived, that's not good, but... We're leading to something really cataclysmic. Uh, Jimmy Lee reminds me of Michael Scott. People say that about me, too. Doing a fan meetup without giving an address, then rallying, rallying up the employees at a beachside restaurant to make it seem like you had fans was a beautiful thing to see. It really gave me Michael Scott vibes. I totally agree. I thought that was fantastic. But here's where it goes off the rails, okay? We're getting there, but Jimmy has been kind of moping around on, on social media. Would you say he's moping? 
Yeah. Yeah. He literally put a few photos in black and white. He's kind of baiting so, yeah. sympathy now. He says, they love me. They hate me. You got to keep going. <laughs> and read the caption. H3H3, make up your mind. I'm the Jersey, uh, the Jersey outlaw loves you, but do you love Jimmy Lee? He texted me this too. He texted you that? Yeah. Oh, he texted I feel me. Feel bad now. He texted me. He'll just watch the show. Did not go well. I think it went well. I mean, it was funny. I mean, I don't think it for Jimmy. I think it was kind of uncomfortable, and I I definitely contributed to that. So I apologize. Listen, I couldn't I couldn't hold back in that well, moment. He, yeah, it was, he it also was, contributed to it. He asked first. He asked you. He asked. He asked you. And he keep and he. Keep, that's like the fiftieth time. That he's done that, Just and I've that. always, I've always been like, it's okay, sweetie. I don't hate you. It's okay, little baby. This is like, this, you're a grown adult. I don't, but in a way, no, I don't like. In it. a way, it's wrong for us to keep bringing him on and then ridiculing him. Well, he's, we we tell right. him he's got to show progress, and he continuously yeah. reverts back yeah. to the things that we have told him he should not. He had a whole freaking. I personally love Jimmy. I have a soft spot for him. He's my bestie. But I understand people that, uh, you know, the, are over it. The problem is he's getting a little too big for his shoes right now. He's getting a big head. <laughs> he, his ego is tremendous he's, right now. He he's hit been, 11K on Insta and it really... Like, he, he thinks he's Mr. Me Marino and, you know, like, that's why he's reverting back to this old-timey joke shit. An old-timey joke. It, it's all cameo. You know, because he's been doing this routine for however long, 20 years, 30 years, and no one has ever, to my knowledge, liked it. <laughs> but now he has people paying requests for them to get shit on. So he's like, oh, shit. He's a professional. I made it. They love it. And he's right, man. He did. He is a professional. He did make it. And I am a fan of Jimmy Lee, and I have been. But, Zach, you talk to him. Yeah, every fucking day. So what, how, do you have any, um, any anecdotes of him getting too big for his britches? Just, uh, he, you know, I, I think it's great, you know, he's making these memes, but he, he come out with this merch and uh, the cameo, like AB said. I mean, he thinks he's, he's feeling on top of the world right now. You know, and uh, that's one, one thing that kind of surprised me is that he refused to send us his merch. <laughs> that was a little bizarre. He, he claimed that there was a mix up with some of the shirts and the ordering process, but he, he did eventually sent him. He didn't send us all shirts. He just sent five, which should be here. He, he complained. Well, anyway, so here's another one. He says, whoo, whoo, whoo. It's just me, myself, and I. Solo ride till I die. My man. Friends are the family. You choose age three. Who's this? These memes are so fucking nuts. <laughs> I kind of love him, to be honest. I love his... I think it's Mason. I love his, his meme game. Dude, Mason is on another level. He says, my, H, my family, H3H3, H3, we love H3, but do they love Jimmy? Look at this one. So remorseful. <laughs> he wrote, not one of my proudest moments, <laughs> but this in black and white. That, of course, was the faded, man, I hate... Little people. Little people, yeah. With but not. Word, yeah. But hold on, guys. I promise there's something coming up. Okay, so here's where the Civil War actually breaks loose. As you guys know, Arab World News is our new news correspondent. We love him. He's a total sweetie. Uh, here he is, his recent video. Uh, hologram of Field of Dreams. I don't know. But he, he always he, he always hits hard with something. This channel again we just watched now hologram of legendary cops broadcaster Harry Carey sings uh, take me uh, out of the ball game. This video is anyway. He's our official news correspondent. Whenever there's breaking news, we turn to Arab World News. But I don't know if Jimmy got like jealous of our of our new. I think so. Um. Our new acquaintance here, but Jimmy started heckling him on Twitter, <laughs> totally out of line. Look at this. And, you know, this is a joke we've talked to him about. Uh, everybody give Arab World News some love. He's the most wholesome person in the world. This is, I guess, uh, our subreddit as a Twitter. I didn't know that. I think it's just a fan. It's that a does fan it. that, yeah, retweets stuff from our sub. Yeah. Anyway, sweet. 
post, wholesome, everyone's happy. Jimmy Lee, he says on this, where's his camel at? Boo. Where's his at camel? Boo. And now, Jimmy, we've talked about this joke. Yes. This and is like your go-to, and we keep, the, we, you know, but what did he do? To, now, now, you know, Arab World News is not one to sit down and take it, and this is where the Civil War really begins. <laughs> not, not, I mean, to Jimmy's credit, I feel like he's being informed of all these, these things we talk about on our show through the people that are in his... His team, if you will. So, I, I, trying to throw Mason under the bus right now? A little bit. Hmm. Just to defend him, Jimmy, just a little bit. Hmm. How much do you know about Mason? Not a lot. I just know that he runs. Do we know that he exists? Because he, <laughs> also, he also has a manager. Yeah, Steve Rossi. Steve Rossi, who does not exist. Who is Jimmy. Is just Jimmy. Yeah. But he pretends Steve. to be somebody else. So, maybe that's Mason, too? S Steve Rossi. By the way, yeah, United Steve Talent Rossi Agency. Yeah. Steve Rossi really still another. emails me. <laughs> Are you get, fucking serious? I get emails from Steve Rossi every day. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? No, I'm 100% I'm serious. Oh, I'll God. tell you when was my last one. Here, I'll look at my emails. <laughs> God. Steve, Steve Rossi. Rossi. Let's see. Jimmy knows last we one know. Was August 14 from Steve Rossi. So yesterday. Oh, that's yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> is it, what, it, what, it? Can I ask what is it? Is it like a PR thing, or it is just it? Says the title is "We Love H Three H 3 and it's a picture. It's a meme of him with Jimmy Kimmel saying Jimmy Lee appears in Jimmy Kimmel for the show of a lifetime. I don't know. It's just a stupid it's meme. Just, I know he'll send out the Steve <laughs> Rossi emails for like his PR shit, like trying to get on other things, which he's done in the past. <laughs> um. <laughs> the last one was this. This was. Um, July 31st, so two weeks before that, Jimmy Ware Collections. He sent me a picture of his merch drop. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, Steve Rossi just emailed me yesterday. Shout the fuck out. <laughs> Shout out, Steve Rossi. Can I ask you guys, is Air World News commenting, like, on the cruise, like, personal social medias at all? Eh, not that I, I know. Did you know? I thought I'd notice. Are you asking if he's a clout goblin? No, he's been commenting a lot on mine and Lena's stuff. I didn't even notice. Lena's the one that pointed it out to me. Oh. I wonder if the Civil War, he's making his alliances. Well, he sees the fellow Arabs. Yeah. He's like, I need to get in good with, so, with these folks. We could ride in our camels. I don't really it. look at my response. I don't know if you guys saw. I've only seen his drops on YouTube, on his like, YouTube community posts. <laughs> well, anyway, so Arab World News saw Jimmy's response because he's sharp, man. He doesn't miss a thing. He says, my H3 family, if you want me roast him hard, say yes. And you know everyone's like, absolutely. <laughs> your match, motherfucker. This is civil war. Jimmy and Arab World News are fighting. I mean, who could have predicted this timeline? <laughs> and, and I'll be honest, Jimmy's the aggressor, man. He's Russia right now. Right. And again, so just to clarify what I was mentioning earlier, this post of him making the camel comment to Arab World News, I saw like an hour before we went live. So yeah. it was fresh on my mind. And then Jimmy was like, oh, Dan hates me. I was like, yeah, I kind of do. Like, you're kind of an asshole. You just like, this Arab World News guy, he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know who Jimmy Lee is. You're just a stranger on the internet making racist Arab jokes to him. Like, and he doesn't honest, have any of the he, context, man. And he seems a little sensitive to Arab World News. He's, yeah. he's been thrust into stardom. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this guy's wholesome. Like, he's wholesome, and he's so a little nice. sensitive. Yeah. yeah, so, like, leave him the fuck alone, man. But anyway, he's ready for war. Which I didn't ever see in this side of Arab World News, but I love it. <laughs> he says, you ready? First of all, in well, the top right, please clap. <laughs> which is when he, tra he, he thought we were beefing. Please right. clap. Please clap. He says... You ask me where my camel? Here's my camel. What a stud, dude. I love it. <laughs> that, Seriously. That's a great photo. Go, here we go. Hold on. In Here's my camel, so run away before it bite you. I am the king now. <laughs> Roasted. And here he is on a camel. Who could deny it? Owning it. Yes. You just got, took the L, Jimmy. <laughs> and the emojis, too, were such a good choice. The flame. <laughs> Flame and crown. Yes. Also, like sick f skills, bro. He got some nice. He got a nice border and backdrop, shadow. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Sweet, like he came for war. It's a good graphic. Better meme than Mason. Mason, meme. it I rivals Mason. Better meme. Jimmy's gonna get him on the payroll next. Watch. You gotta love this man. Had a pic of him on the camel, ready to go. 
<laughs> no, he fucks, dude. He's very photogenic, too. Look at this. <laughs> Do you see what? Oh, my God. What, Ian just done? Holy shit. No, I haven't. Show me. This 14 one. minutes ago, is this a Jimmy ago. post? Yes. I'm, so I'm sorry I upset you. <laughs> <laughs> with my histrionic personality disorder. <laughs> it's, it's all like even, cropped off. Yeah, it's not even in the size oh, of an Instagram This is like a Pokemon battle <laughs> going back and forth with new attacks. Yo, that's <laughs> so funny. It's so that funny. Is scary. <laughs> and see, again, like I've, I've said to Jimmy in the past, his self-deprecating humor can be funny. You stick with that. Stop calling people gay and telling Arabs to not bomb him. Like, stop, stop with Asking the offensive Hispanic shit. Asking Hispanic people where their papers are. Yeah, on. and just fucking, just roast yourself. It's well, funny. Th that's people what, like it when you do that. That's what, when we had him on and Ethan had that sit-down conversation for, like, I think an hour or something like yeah. that. That was fucking amazing. Guys, Absolutely. I think we're talking in circles, because we've had this conversation with him so many times. He cannot change. Yeah, he has his exactly. chaotic personality disorder. Work with me. He's I, a, think. I think he's watching right now because he's like texting me. Mm -hmm. He's like, shirt sent, Zacher. My camel is parked at Zach's house. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I think before we have <laughs> on again, if we do, we should have some conversations behind the scenes. We've had. We've, we've, I know. we've, we've, tried. Had. we've tried. We've tried. We've tried. There's no, there's, it's the ego right now. I, I people just, asking if he was diagnosed. No, that's a self diagnosed Yeah, he was diagnosed, which is something I'm interested. I want to kind of get. He refuses to go to therapy, which that's what he really needs. Sometimes when I watch Real Housewives, it seems so insane to me, but they bring the cameras into a therapy session. And I was like, first of all, what therapist would yeah. allow that? They did that, weird. They did that on that, Kylie Jenner's show, it, too. See, I, it always strikes me as the weirdest thing. It was so funny. It might be interesting to do that with it Jimmy. It seems like borderline illegal, but I want to tell Jimmy, let's get you in some therapy. Let's get you in a, an official diagnosis with cameras inside. That's fucking interesting. Work with me. Jimmy, what do you think? Text Work that. with me. I will say, though, um, he is funny when he goes after people that are, you know, kind of asking for it a little bit, like that kid we met at the meet yeah. and greet. Yeah. And he asked him about the where the pimples come from and all that, and he just mumbled his insult. That was pretty good. So he has, he has to pick his targets way better, and like, you know, obviously off the right Guys, stuff. we, he, t whatever notes we have, it's lo it doesn't work. In one ear, out the other. And that's the problem. That's what we've learned here, and that's why people feel like we're stuck in this cyclical, yeah. bringing Jimmy on, making fun of Jimmy, being offended by Jimmy. It's because the man is incapable of changing, and we've tried our best uh, through love of the game, our love of Jimmy himself. He he just asked, can Dan be his therapist? No, dude. It I'm needs not accredited. To be you need to go to a real therapist. A real fucking licensed therapist who can give you a clinical diagnosis, Jimmy. I'm not asking you to, you know, get on medicine or anything like, anything, you uh, like that. I just want you to talk to a person. He says, yes, I can. Interesting. But let's finish, I guess. Uh, so, guys, just trust me. This is good. Jimmy Lee versus Arab World News. This is the battle that nobody asked for, but here it is. We have to. We have to observe this. Please, my comedian legion to Jimmy. Give me something funny about you. British? You look British with the teeth. No, I'm Mexican. You're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take anything from table 37. Leave. <laughs> Work with me. We're going to try it right now. Follow me. Turn around, Zach, and do your stick. Do your, do your catchphrase. Work with me. Let's try it again. Right. Yo, he burned him with that little <laughs> shit. He's right. Nobody's laughing. Nobody's though. laughing. And he gives a thumbs up in the corner. You see that? Dude, Jimmy, you're getting fucking owned by Arab World News. But I got to not do full screen because you can see his reactions here in the corner, which is important. Yeah. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Reaction. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Thanks for all love and support from my H3 family. Love you forever. 
Love you forever, bro. Comedian star Jimmy mocked me and my beautiful camel. Yeah. So please clap to my camel. Please again. You know, just clap your hand back, back. What can I do with my comedian Jimmy? I will make him laugh little like he uh, draws smile on our faces much. So I am the king now. Listen to me. I hope you <laughs> hear me okay and nothing is wrong with... <laughs> Your mic. Audio, oh, audio, yeah, got audio. him. You have my audio. Where's he? You have audio. In Egypt, we have a beautiful camels, especially in the pyramids and the Santa Catherine. I invite you visit Egypt and see our handsome camels. I think <laughs> you will like it. I will give you the one like this as a gift. <laughs> 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 Yo! He's got the stunk camel waiting for your ass, Jimmy. What the fuck is up? Al, Lemmy. <laughs> Lemmy. <laughs> Arab camel here and watching you now. <laughs> we need to call Arab World News Arab W News now. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Egypt, come in your bowl. Camels love the bowl. Personality disorder. <laughs> That's it, old lamp. Uh, oh, oh. Woo. Thank you. That's what I'm Woo. <laughs> All right, I'm home. <laughs> good makeup, but say goodbye to your hairline as I did with Trump. <laughs> What's he, what, what, what's he say? What, are you, what did he say? He said goodbye to your hairline like I did with Trump. Um, that's in reference to he had a video posted the other day making fun of Trump and he used a bulb filter and put it on. Oh, okay, okay. On, so that, that's for fans of, of his show. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a callback. It's okay. a callback. Okay. Yo, I haven't seen that Bingo. one. Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! 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 No, no. Bingo! Try it. Bingo! You say all time, bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> so, what is the meaning of the bingo? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it prepared speaking Arabic, Lena? It sounded yeah. like Arabic. Yeah, but it was weird. I don't know. You want to, should I go back? You want to try to catch that? Yeah, play, yeah play let's hear it again. Okay. Yashar Mood, you know, is that what he said? And I heard Yahya Yuen. Yahya Yuen. Animal. You animal. You animal. Oh, you animal. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Owned. Next. You ever want to really piss off someone <laughs> from overseas? Owned. Next. Who speaks Arabic? Say Yahya Yuen. Owned. Oh, and then this, well, this parrot is talking to the H3 family, so uh, let me know if you hear something, Lena. You're so cute. Hey, no, that one's just Dan, giving a kiss. And you're getting your shirts next week. I even got one for Dan, who hates me. I really do. <laughs> he included this. Not I didn't see that. Only people will not like you if you continue in this way. Mm. You must respect the other people in your Damn, country. he did deep research. You will lose oh my God, that's from fans. the. I wanna see. This man Whoa. has done his research. That's the old age three video. And actually, he's skewering him, and where he's on the same page as us. He's saying, "Yo, bro, you got to change." Yeah. That's where I'm at. Reaching at the top is easy, but keeping at the top is so hardest. So you can choose. Anyway, at the end of the video, please give me your feedback and wait many surprises for you. Thank you for watching. Surprises all around, baby. Jimmy's done. Jimmy's career is over. He ended, he ended him. Jimmy Ross. Wham. Rossi. 
What's his name? Steve Rossi. Steve Rossi just fired Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's warning you with peace and love. No more camel jokes. Thank you. Thank you. You can't spell Lee without L. L. Fucking mm -hmm. L. He also posted this one. Uh, he's preparing for war against Jimmy. He said, he says, Dear great comedian Jimmy Lee, you are really dangerous. You made Arab world news wake up for 24 hours without sleep. Whoa. Well, it seems like he did put a lot of research and work into that. That's true. For this, uh, this is for a video I'm preparing about you, starting with writing the video script. Then the difficult step is the process of searching and searching and choosing the proper memes and filming as well as editing and editing. The most difficult out of all this is language. I'm doing it on my own to make the H3 family happy. Thanks for all the brothers who helped. So my H3 family wait and enjoy this crazy, hilarious video. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Arab W News, ladies and gentlemen. Shout wow. out Ahmed. Dude, is that his name, Ahmed? Ahmed. Is, that, is that how you say Ahmed or Ahmed? I think it's just Ahmed. It's A H M E D. Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Do you, uh, uh, you know? Ahmed. Hey, Lena, how do we say it? Ahmed. Ahmed. Lena's dad. Okay. Ahmed. Lena's dad is. Ahmed. Am I putting yeah, too that's much? My dad's name. Am I putting too much stink on the H? A lot of people do. Yeah, not a Ahmed. lot of people can okay. say. Non-native speakers can't really say Ahmed. Ahmed. Or they mm -hmm. overemphasize Ahmed. It's like, where are you getting the from? I think it's well in Hebrew. That's kind of what that mm. sounds like. That kind of situation. No, I wasn't calling you out. I just meant. No, I, I get it. You know, just be more sensitive next time. <laughs> <laughs> it is a syllable that is not common in English to yeah. emphasize that H so much. So, yeah, if Jimmy has any thoughts, he can text you, but he can't call in, okay, Zach? Got it. Yeah, we need to curate him. J uh, Jimmy Lee posted this. Check out Jimmy Lee, like off the rails, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's been shit posting on Instagram, but this one definitely caught my eye. Audio. Wait, what happened? No post yet? What happened, Jimmy? Oh, there, there. Like, he's just been so off the rails. Look at this shit. When you're stoned at your minimum wage kitchen job and you see Jimmy Lee walk in with the camera crew. <laughs> Dude, his man is just, look at this shit. Uh, this gave me a gackle. Welcome to Jimmy Mole. Jimmy Mole Crossing. <laughs> With me and Ela in it, and Jimmy with the absolutely blown out lighting. I want to speak to Mason. I'm more, I'm now officially more interested in Jimmy's social media manager. I want, and I wonder how much he's paying him for this. Here, exactly. Here's the thing, though. There's people more and more sending him these memes. So it, it's not just Mason, I don't think, right now. It's multiple people. I see. This is a whole thing take. Yeah. Um. Well, let's <laughs> check this one out. My Italian ass hates Keemstar. He, his dates could be his daughters? Not very slamming. Ugly, too. In my professional dentist opinion, bad teeth, too. <laughs> this is the same fucking photo of himself. Now, too. I don't condone that message. I think Kamestar is perfectly fine the way he is. He's beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. He's beautiful like everyone's beautiful. Inside and out. <laughs> I just want to be clear. Because some people, some people, times they say everybody's beautiful in their own way. Mm -hmm. He's beautiful in that way. Not in any other way. Sorry. He's beautiful in his own particular way. Yeah, and like the snowflake, every snowflake's unique <laughs> kind of way. Mm -hmm. But not in any other way. I just want to make clear. Sorry. Sorry. Why is, um... Beautiful. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> is that, uh... <laughs> on stage left? What, Jim? On stage left? <laughs> it's no, Ethan it's Bradbury. Bradbury. Ethan Bradbury. Oh, yeah, he's, he's not very slamming. What's he doing there? Because oh, he's, he's Italian. Oh, we just needed allies with Wait, him? who's Italian? I don't think Jimmy's Jimmy, not Italian. I don't, I don't think he's, he's Italian. Italian. Yeah, wait. <laughs> well, Nobody here is Italian. Ethan Bradbury likes to pretend he's Italian. That, Ethan Bradbury's not even Italian? No. Oh, no, come on, dude. He's like Palestinian. <laughs> he's Arab. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, forget about it, huh? Ethan, <laughs> you come to me. Do you know my children are 7% Italian? He texts me something, um last week that made my jaw drop really what uh, a, re a request from him tell me he um <laughs> i guess i'm just gonna have to read it to you um it, it has to do with his merch it has to do with what his 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 merch 
Okay. He, he wanted us to take a picture in his shirt, mm -hmm. post it to our personal Instagrams. Like my main one? Yeah, and then on the podcast one. He wants us to plug him big time. We owe him big time. We owe him everything. He, he didn't even send enough shirts for all of us. So he <laughs> <expected> <laughs> us to buy That's it. awesome, bro. My, my jaw dropped? Read it, read it. Okay, hold on. Jimmy, he, he, yo, he's hustling, man. You gotta ask. I, I, you know, the grind don't stop. You gotta ask. Um, if you don't ask, you never know. He's all, Zach, can I ask, a, can I ask favor of you? I'm like, what's up? He's all, this would greatly help me. Could the crew wear t-shirts I sent and take an image, put them on your Instagram, and also send to me and put on mine? It can help me on sales we have coming. Jimmy, oh. what do you even need merch sales for? And I'm like, you so have you a Rolls Royce, bro. So I'm like, you want us to promo the shirts? He's all, please, and put <laughs> on our personal Instagram. Dude, there, how many of us are there? There's like ten of us total. Right. Ethan and Ela. He sent us five shirts. <laughs> if, and he wants us. And then he wants like us to all put them on. Hundreds of thousands what, we gotta, of dollars like, of pass promotion. Pass back and forth the five shirts if, that he sent us. If you're comfortable with that, your call on Instagrams you have and H31. If you're comfortable. Dude, I love that, Jimmy. If you don't ask, you never know. No, it's true. But <laughs> my jaw dropped. I'm like, if we maybe we should do it. If he fixes my tooth, I'll, I'll wear his shirt. <laughs> the biggest marketing campaign we've ever done. Oh, Jimmy's. Promo. Let me see Bell Jimmy's uh, merch store. I, I'm actually curious. I'm not. Holding. I'm not trying to get anyone to spend money on this. Just to be clear, I just want to know what kind of merch I'd be. I'd be promoting in this hypothetical marketing blitzkrieg. Yep. Here. A truly Jimmy Ware. Jimmy Ware. Yo, is this, I wonder. If, <laughs> yo, who doesn't want an audio, audio, audio shirt to a beautiful New York backdrop? Audio. <laughs> Work with me, Jimmy. This is this is so interesting. Better call Jimmy. He's got this whole Better Call Saul versus Jimmy Lee campaign going this on. This shirt's right fire. I have hey. histrionic personality design. Hey, have to me real quick. This fanfare. Yo, Kev's got it. Did you buy that or was that no, sent to this us? This is one of the ones he sent to us. You want the other options over there? Anyone else want to wear one for That's Jimmy? the best one. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Fanfare. Did, they, did he sign them for us or anything? No. I think they're just print on demand. Watch the latest episode. What is this? This is his whole. He's got these new campaigns where he goes against people. So like Jimmy versus oh, Saul Goodman. This. They claimed. Yeah. Okay, so so guys, um, I don't waste your money on this, please. Buy Teddy Fresh. Yeah, buy Teddy Fresh. If I were to buy one, though, it'd definitely be this one. If I were to buy one, it'd be the purple one. I think. You want that purple one? Yeah. I have histrionic purse. That's like his new catchphrase. I love that. You like this mm -hmm. one? Just classic. Yeah. I think he sent one of those. <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Bro, what the fuck is the hair? The posture, the hands. Just staring the into hands. the fucking nothing. Oh my god. Also, like it's Photoshop poorly. That's yeah, so bad. He's made of oh what? <laughs> that oh is so goodness. funny, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. This one's kind of fire. What do we think? Audio, audio, audio. <laughs> Zach was joking that he was going to wear that to his show. Yeah, that's what I was going to wear at the Viper Room. I'll, I saw really funny suggestions to put Jimmy Lee into the metaverse and do a set at the comedy club. I love that idea. <laughs> Does anyone else love that idea? Uh, think about it logistically, though. How do we get him in there? <laughs> his kids could do it. His kids are slick. They're young. They're young uh, bucks. Slick with technology. Damn, what's that face? I feel like he would still manage to, I mean, even if they got him into it, you still have to manipulate the controls to, like, walk around. They just like, put him on stage, and he does the rest. He wouldn't know Come what to on, do. I, I, I think it's funny. The only thing is, I don't know how long he'd last in the metaverse. I feel like he'd get banned after, like, one joke. That's fine. That'd be great. He'd want to be with the live audience. He wouldn't give a shit about. This is live. This is but... live of the future. Let's do a poll because there seems to be mm. some conflict in uh, opinions. <laughs> Should we get Jimmy to do a set in the metaverse? What about the last vote where we said no more Jimmy? Yeah. And <laughs> Once a year. And that one I don't overwhelmingly. Think he won. I don't think. Yes, it did. Once oh. a year one. They changed. They, they, every, this is a recount, man. Okay. This is a, a new referendum. 
Also, he's not there physically. There's a barrier, right? He's in the mm -hmm. universe a little bit. People seem to want it. I mean, dude, it's such a funny idea. You guys know it is. <laughs> Get out Text of Text him. See if he's interested, Zach, if he's not already watching. He's going to ask me a million questions about <laughs> what the fuck is a metaverse. That's a segment on its own. Just Zach helping him with that. I would actually like to record that call yeah. and listen back to it. I'll message him. Thank you. What is this? Jimmy Lee dropped. What is this Jimmy Lee post? <laughs> so Read the fun. text he sent us. <laughs> Jimmy Lee is out of control, man. What is this shit? This is a group chat with Zach, I, and some number I don't recognize. <laughs> yeah, he, he'll but, just add you to shit with random people. He'll call you with random people on the phone. Ryan Kavanaugh says, I love Jimmy Ware. Show Ethan. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Do he, it. He do peer it. pressured you do into it. it. Yeah. I, or was he talking about the sound? Do it! Do it! Is he watching no. live? Oh, it could be. Do yeah. it! He's, he's probably watching. Jimmy, what do you want? Just post it on Instagram. You want me to show every meme you make? There's like a thousand a day. It's an old timey meme. It's yeah, this one he's especially meme. proud of. Oh. Probably because it's right. the only one he understands. <laughs> 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 All the other ones are like deep fried to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Suki has clearly taken this semifinal. I'd love to see Jimmy's sales numbers on Jimmy's wear. You know, I'm sure he'd share it with us. Wait, he I want to see what he's he doing. He just texted again. Do it. He said, "Zach, you got lot rhythm. Do it, Jim wear." <laughs> Do it's his new bingo, I guess. <laughs> Jimmy, you're so rich. What could you possibly stand the game from making like five dollars on a shirt? I'm very curious what his numbers are. Jimmy, send Zach your numbers. I want to see what, what's doing back who there. Doesn't number, know. Who, who doesn't does he know? Us with? Probably Mason. Mason doesn't exist. Mason doesn't exist. No. I'm convinced. All right. I'm sure he does. Enough of that. Damn, Jimmy's been so wild on his Instagram, Mila. Have you been seeing that? <laughs> I just see the kind of stuff you guys... Let me show you some of the, no, the insanity that's going on, Jimmy. <laughs> he, uh, he wants to host the Steamies now. That's his new campaign. Jimmy, I can't, I wouldn't be able to get through one award with him. I mean, he's such a, oh, here he's got a rip queen. <laughs> rip queen of England. You would have loved the Jersey outlaw. Oh, they, nope. were, they were about the same age. I mean, that's giving me Bieber and Frank vibes. It's funny because, you, you know, remember that scandal? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People have, um, people on the, who watch the show are well aware of how I feel about Jimmy Lee. Um, but all of these Jimmy posts on Instagram, all of the usual suspects here, they keep telling me it's like Jimmy is the, they're ruining my Instagram feed. Like they need to stop. It's like way too much. This is the funniest thing Jimmy Lee has ever done. Is He's the, not the, doing it. He's just posting it. Still though, it is the funniest thing <laughs> Jimmy Lee has ever done. It is incredible that he's posting it. Like this one I loved. Uh, <laughs> this is a serious message. Jimmy and the meme team are just having fun. Can't mute the Jersey Atlas. Because one of you guys said you were going to mute him, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the response to that. <laughs> oh love, yeah, I, I have a muted. Yes, yeah, see, so this is for you, AB. <laughs> yeah. We love the H3 crew. We support Zach at his live show, support Olivia's plays, support Sam's art shop, buy Teddy Fresh, don't ask AB about his camel. Be nice to Dan. And nothing for Ian. <laughs> Doesn't support my art shop either. What the fuck, Jimmy? <laughs> mm. Well, there's one where, where Jimmy oh, yeah. has actually replaced me on the show. Did you see that one? <laughs> uh... He's taking my job, and Ian says it was for the best, so... I mean, this is just such a shit show, you guys. <laughs> Ethan, it's hell, my friend. And it's like 12 posts a day. It's pretty incredible, though. It, yeah. it, I feel like this is what the Gates of Hell is like. This one was good. Ryan Kavanaugh loves... <laughs> says, I love Jimmy Ware. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, so... Pretty interesting. Where's the one he replaced you? That's what I'm... Important update on the left. <laughs> Middle okay. left. Important update, Jimmy Lee has taken Dan's spot on the podcast. I love you, Dan, but it was for the best. And then you're just saying Teddy Fred. And whoever is making, because I think there's a number of people that are making these memes and sending them. There's one person in particular who likes just putting this same picture of Bobby Lee in every single Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why he's there, what the relevance is. But it's a funny I, photo. I love it. Love the consistency. Yeah, Jimmy, you're out there, man, doing whatever it is you're doing, huh? So there's that. You guys can show the new Jimmy Lee meme and the pokey mentioning love. 
on stream if someone wants to take the reins on that. Sure. The new Jimmy Lee meme. <sighs> yeah. It's an old timey joke. <laughs> it's an old timey joke where we threaten to uh, <laughs> to kill oh. our crew members of the H Street podcast. Classic. Who was it? It was you, maybe, right? That he Yeah. Yeah, he said kill, kill Star Killer. Kill Star Killer. Yeah. Uh, so Ian died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Anyways, who cares? Merch in the bio. And his head is long and pixelated. I'm like fucking this pony cone head. Stinks. You suck. He's going to text Zach and I immediately as soon as that goes through. Well, funny enough, he, he texted me like two minutes ago. Sending me the meme. Oh, actually, he sent it to me. He sent it to me. Too. <laughs> I told him. I told him. He's all. This is funny. I'm like, no, too far. Yeah, I guess he's not saying that he's gonna kill Ian. He's just saying that Ian is Wait. is dead. Oh, he sent me one where I... AB is killing him. Actually. Oh. Ian, I wish you the nice. best. Hmm. I mean, and now Balmoral... people are gonna think it's me. People are gonna think this is me. Balmoral's a pretty high honor, right? I like the Twilight movies. Did you guys enjoy this Jimmy Lee meme? I I posted. I said this meme stinks. You suck. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! Fucking rocked it. Ian ass. died peacefully at Bell Morrow this afternoon like the Queen. Anyway, who cares? Merchant <laughs> Bio Savage, bro. Jimmy, are you reading this stuff? Do you see the one he just sent me? I dropped it in our Discord. Uh, let's see. AB is going after the Jersey Outlaw. There is just no camel, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck am I looking there at? Is no Give this to AB. <laughs> We're just having a good time. Wait, 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 wait. AB is going after the... Can you zoom in on that? This was an edit cam... And not this edit, but initially, there was a cam edit of me driving. Yeah, when we went to the moon together. Yes. That's insanely good. The back of you and then the bongo in the rear view. I mean, yeah. like, whoever's making these is fucking awesome. The love and the dashboard there too. Is Dude, <laughs> this whoever's doing this should make memes for us. Like I want to post these to our socials. Yeah, reach out. It would, it Let's would steal do all these people. You guys gotta start posting memes on the sub again. It's a lot of known memes. I've been looking for memes to post. Mm. Yeah, you know, just putting that out there. This Credit content is so freaking good. Stop your what your talents are wasted on Jimmy. Come to us. <laughs> yeah, uh, this would kill on on our network. <laughs> 